Paper State boiled the other day. <laughs> those who did not uh, expect that are those who were not trained in the field of Godfatherism. It is the only field in human psychology that says if he didn't dare, he didn't dare. <laughs> Watch. You give yourself that respect. I say, I have done my own. If you want my advice, it's okay. If you don't want my advice, it's okay. But for me to begin from day to day, that he must do this, he must do that, that's not acceptable. Now, Godfatherism is a terrible phenomenon until you are in a position to be a Godfather. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> the effort by former Governor Wiki of uh, River State, who is now the minister in charge of uh, the Federal Capital Territory, to remove um, his, um, what did they call it? Handpicked governor, yes, in River State, failed. <laughs> he had staged an emergency impeachment of the governor for disobeying him. It didn't go as planned. <laughs> the governor got wind of it and went to fight for his job. Who will blame him? Watch the man. On my way there, I was shot at directly by the, the OC operation. <laughs> now, uh, Governor Sim Fubar, yeah, that's what they call joined a long list of new governors who slayed the godfather who had picked them. Yes, listen to the man. But it doesn't matter. Somebody will die one way or the other. Yes, you die once. <laughs> Wiki has yet to learn any lesson from history. Nothing. Not even from what happened between him and Rotimi Amechi, the man who handed over to him. He didn't learn anything. The unforgiving one was that Wike did not learn a thing from the movie, The Godfather. Come on. Watch. You're my older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. <laughs> yes. People should. You don't go to school just to study law, study history. You learn from everything around you. You know, you know. Former Governor of Hayoshe of Ekiti State, the man who had seen Governor Wiki consume several bottles of 40 year old Ogogoro, warned Governor Simi Fubara to avoid looking at things that didn't look at him. <laughs> Else he will see evil spirits and be in trouble. He warned him. Listen to the guy. My counsel is to you God will help you. Don't see more than what you are supposed to see. The moment you want to see more than you, you are supposed to see, you begin to see spirit. Now, for resisting his impeachment, Governor Fubara has said to Wike to bring it on. <laughs> and trust Wike, he won't mind abandoning Abuja for Shegumi and returning to Potako to finish this fight. He won't. I know Wike. I know we can, oh, now, if he say he will fight you, it's either you surrender or you look for that trouble to the end. God will not find you with his problem, oh. Only, um... Thank you. How are you two? Yes, sir? How are you two? How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm Good. Okay. Patriotism I'm means okay. supporting okay. your country at all times, but also supporting the government when they deserve yeah. it. Mr. Onokosa, I put it to you that you came here to misrepresent the facts today as regards subsidy removal, President Tinubu and now subsidy gone on inauguration day. And that was effectively pulling out subsidy. So you say he didn't remove subsidy, quoting the PIA law that had been there for a while, is misrepresentation of the facts. That's number one. Number two, since President Tinubu got, they, got they, in, they let me not, finish, Mr. Nopasa, let me finish, let me finish, please. Secondly, hey, don't, don't, since he please, got, please, since please, got in, raise, don't raise your voice at me, young man. <laughs> don't raise your voice at Let me, me finish, I, Mr. Nopasa. Let me finish. Want, I'm your guest. So, you since President Tinubu got will in, respect me. since President Tinubu no, got in, I, I will the economy. Walk out of your studio, if you raise your voice at me, Mr. Nopasa, me respectfully. You may will take your nothing. decision if you want to. I'm asking a question. You might decide to walk out if you want to. Uh, Mr. Nopaza, since President Tinubu came in, the economy has tanked. 
is at an all-time low as we speak. It has not. I, it has not. Let me finish my lie. question, Mr. Nokbasa. Let you me finish my question. You are a liar, Mr. Nokbasa. Moderate yourself. All right. Moderate Do you yourself. Know what you are doing? Good. Listen, listen to me. Your Secondly, mind. Do you know what you are doing? Since you President Tinubu came in, the economy has tanked. You are pretending to be, and, uh, to be a journalist. The indicators are the there. With you? Since he Don't came in, the indicators are there. Number one, guest. the you cost of the dollar me. to the what Naira. The, matter with you? the cost of the dollar to the Naira has tanked tremendously as result of the flotation of the currency. All right, that's one. Is that secondly, fault? secondly. That's why we established resort delivery unit. At the end of this retreat, you are going to sign a bond of understanding between you, the ministers, the permanent secretary, and myself. If you are performing, nothing to fear. If you miss the objective, we review. <laughs> if no performance, you leave us. No one is an island. And the book stop on my desk. And I am ready to die defending Nigeria in whatever way. When it is God's time for us to go, and you took my you talent to God. Them. You are ready to defend my I gave I'm you coming. my talent. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Alexi, Alexi. <laughs> hold on. Please, you already started. <laughs> what I'm saying, defending Nigerians is this. I, I gave him my time and he's using it to defend my... <laughs> no, sorry. Alexi. I'm sorry. Very dynamic. Say, nobody is a criminal. Yes, of course. A categorical grade one criminal. The only person more criminal than Tinubu in Nigeria is probably Babangida. So, so, but, but he's a criminal. And uh, is he fit for, for, for purpose? Absolutely not. Should Tinubu be the president of Nigeria? Categorical no. Is there a better option than him? That is subjective. So show me who he is. Hello, welcome to the show. My name is Rudolf Okunkwo. It's Saturday, November the 4th, 2023. And we're here in New York City, wherever you're joining us. Welcome to the show. This is Have Your Say, a program that will give you a chance to have your say on issues in the news uh, today and all of the week. Uh, welcome everybody who is joining us from, um, I see our people are here in the studio. If you're joining us and you're watching, uh, thank you so much for joining us. If you're on the comment section, we appreciate you. And uh, we are going to have a wonderful conversation today. There are so many issues in the news, but uh, the big one is um, whether you call it a yacht or a yacht. Um, we are discussing uh, the five billion naira that the country spent buying what is called the presidential yachts or yacht. Um, and we're going to talk about expenditure and the federal government and the government of uh, Tinubu in this day that we know that the country is broke, the country is borrowing um, another $7.8 billion. Um, does it make sense? So we want to hear your view. We're also going to talk about other issues, including the fact that our ancestor, uh, General Sanya Bacha, is just uh, returning some money again to us, um, another 150 million from France. Uh, what will happen with the money and how much more do we have uh, out there? So we're going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to talk about um, journalism today in Nigeria. You know, I've been bringing in uh, on the other show, 90 Minutes Africa, some reporters to talk to us about the practice of journalism. And um, recently we've had so many reasons to discuss um, uh, issues in the profession. 
Uh, we are going to talk about it in reference to uh, Rufai, who has been on the other show, and uh, the way some people are giving him um, knock. Uh, we want to talk about what people really understand as uh, journalism. Uh, other things in the news we are going to bring to you, but let me bring our people who are in the studio in to join us in this conversation. Uh, Man of Prestige, welcome to the show. <laughs> Ovia, welcome to the show. Praise the Lord, somebody. Dan, welcome to the show. Good evening, sir. Paul, welcome to the show. Thank you, and good morning. Dr. Alexander, we thank you. Welcome, everybody. Um, let me just, before we begin, uh, let me just say that um, there's an understanding that I hope everybody, uh, we all agree to. Uh, when you come on the show as a panelist, you know that whatever you say here will be, can go far. <laughs> I didn't know that I have to say that, but I, I needed to say that very at the very beginning. You know, anything you say here can go far. So, uh, and um, people will take your picture and your video and, and run with it. So, I think we all understand that. I just want to make sure that from the very beginning, people know that um, I, we don't have control of what will happen to your video or to what you said here. So, all right. Man of Prestige, how was your week? Great, great, great. Okay, good. Yeah. It's nice to have I, you. Agree, I agree to everybody. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Ovie, how are you? Uh, uh, they can't play. Just play like that. Okay, so so uh, let's just do this. Let's add stories to what we have. Um, if there's anything we are missing that is important to you. Oh, Ruben Abati got married. Uh, that's a very important story, I think. <laughs> we want to talk about that. The third wife. Um, what else? Are we missing anything, man of prestige? Well, is he actually a third wife? I've been at just uh... Uh, when we discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. thank you very much. Um, Dr. Rudolph, it's nice to be on this same platform, you know, which I consider to be the best platform. So I greet everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a key topic to add to the um to this subject. Everybody's not talking about it. I'm even surprised the news media is not talking about it. Me and Ovia Ovi has brought it up in his in his platform, so we discussed it at lately. But this could have been a catastrophe to Nigeria. Is the P and I D, you know, with agreement Nigeria, you know, enter for gas processing company? I think it's before 2010, right? You know, and the arbitration, you know, would have cost Nigeria by 11 billion. But they rule in favor of Nigeria, so we can expand on that. And one more thing, I need to add um, about my state gov government, you know, in Imo State. Um, what Zodema is doing and some other things, you know, the guy they beat up, you know, Ajaro, they beat up. So that, that should be discussed because it just happened last week. So it's like a chaos in that state right now. So if we can add those two things, you know, that would be good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, actually, yeah. What, one thing I, I didn't mention is the election coming up uh, next Saturday uh, in uh, Imo State, Kogi and Bayelsa, the election for governor. So uh, it's important to review that. Okay. Ovie, go ahead. Yeah, thank you for actually bringing that up. I know, I know by now all of us are we are pissed off. We don't even want to talk about politics no more, right? But while while we are that uh, coming election, it's good to also know that the official, unofficially, Nigeria is not a one political party system. You know, when you have the opposition party leader at the top of the HLM praising the opposition leader for settling their own private matter, and that sets it also. We don't have opposition party no more. We are official. We are unofficially one party system. And another thing again, I actually want us also to talk about is the fact that uh, why we get carried away with George or Yachty you talking about the ruling party has successfully nominated about ten INA commissioners that will serve the next election. Because you no, know, I always, I they always say we we'll all of us followed. I think we we'll go Chicago. We forget why we lost the election. We lost the election because election was rigged. Well, I read the election. He only in rental street. He used people like these appointees, commissioners. Ten were sworn in while we are debating about Yorch or Yach. So I think that to me is something that we should talk about too, because the next election is over. Well, the next one is over. I mean, I mean, if you, if the man is appointed and the commissioner who are card carry member of his party, what do you expect? Are you gonna win the next election? All right. Okay. Look at the thing. That's why we lost the last election now. Look at the things that make us lose. We didn't lose the election because Bonatudu was a fraud or a no-go school. We lost the election because it was rigged. <laughs> we forget that thing totally. 
I think you carry our mind go Chicago. We'll forget the body, we'll forget that no matter how we wait, no matter what happened, we are still going to have another election. Regardless of what happened. But they don't set themselves in a place, in a position whereby they'll clear them again. So the same thing all over again, but what do I know? All right. <laughs> Thank you, Obia. We'll get to that. Dan, welcome. Yeah. Good morning and uh, greetings to everybody again. Nice to see you all guys again. Anyway, for me, Obi, Obi uh, said what I wanted to say. I think Ukarios go another level. Meanwhile, they don't remove our, you know what I mean? That, uh, that's uh, Atiku's contribution, looking for something where we no need. It was a big disattraction. They are all the same. APC and uh, PDP, they are the same. I wanted to say those days, the time we were talking about it, but I thought, let me just keep my mind, because how we lost the election was based on rigging. All those site, site att attraction that uh, certificate or no certificate did, did not make us lose the election, Dr. Damage. You understand? But they, they, because of their party party government, like Fela used to say, they say, okay, carry them, go, make the, they talk about that. Meanwhile, and now they don't already set the table for. <laughs> we are talking about uh, 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 this thing, certificate. Meanwhile, they are setting table to stay there as long as they want. You understand? I'm very happy you will be raised that point. That's the only thing I wanted to add for now. Yeah. So hold on there. Let me let me get something clear. Ovier and Dan, you guys were talking about we. Who are the we? Let me let me say this. Um, there is there is well, there is there is this saying by um I forgot the name, but he said that the only only three people are allowed to use the pronoun we. Those are uh, editors. When editors write editorial, they use we. Uh, presidents. Presidents are allowed to use the pronoun we. And then the other the third group is um, people who have tapeworms in their stomach. Otherwise, you can't use the pronoun we without explaining who are the we. Okay, okay I will tell you who are the we. Let yeah. me tell you. Yeah, Let me yeah. tell you who are the we to, to my own understanding. <laughs> Nigeria has, a, has two groups of people. The people who have succeeded to take over, over our life in, in Nigeria, which some people used to refer to them as cabals. And we, the poor people, we who, who has no say, we do election, our election doesn't matter. You do this, nothing matters. That is my understanding of the we, the, the uh, helpless people in Nigeria. We, yeah, that's but, that's but my that, level. But then there are people who are happy today that Tinubu you know, is president. There are people who are celebrating whose lives have improved. They Are they part of the we? Excuse me, they are part of the we. Those celebrating, they are not celebrating. Follow, follow. Now if I call them, follow, follow. They are just following, like people like, uh, sorry to say, your brother, you mentioned his name, that is Mary's third wife. People like Abati them. They are the follow follows now. Don't you see his uh, utterance these few days? Because he's trying to gain something from uh, Bola Tunubu. Anything, anything they say now in that arise, that their room. Only him will, will clarify the ground. Tunubu is doing well. The retreat, he, he asked Tunubu to do. Tunubu have done the retreats now, telling them if you don't work, you get out. These are the things we call, they are part of the we, but they are follow follows. They don't know their direction. They follow anywhere the breeze blow. They join that troop. So all those people you are, you are thinking are supporting Tunubu, they are just the follow follows. What do we go do? Let's move on. All those group. Thank you. All right. Ovie, who are the we? Yes. I, I stand on the understanding of uh, Dan on, on his definition of we too. Yes. We can pretend to be elite as we as we care because just, even though we dispute grammar and all that, expression and all that, we don't have the power of the elite. So we means here we the the, the losers. However, I want to describe what however I want to classify it, right? Those who are saying that who are happy that Bola to the congratulations to them. That I can't control how they feel, right? I can only chest inside the people that yes, I know that we are in the same. We are feeling the same uh, branch of the elite. That's why I'm always angry that why are we fighting ourselves? We are not, we are the losers. We are defeated. Why are we fighting ourselves? Right? Those who are celebrating this victory, they have a reason why they are celebrating. But I can tell you that it at least maybe uh, six six out of ten people here can relate. I, I can relate. With, I can relate with them on, on one thing that we are all hungry that we have this kind of government or we have this kind of system. Those are the we that we are talking about here. 
why should we be that's why should we be waiting for them to dictate to us what we should talk about right i'm not saying we wait for them but unconsciously and that's why i was emphasizing on gaslighters and amplifiers right they gave them something to just the talking point and they pass it down to us and we stick on it right instead of us to actually say come on is this actually going to solve the problem that we are facing this is 2023 we don't have power but they will come and tell us that they want to talk to the production they want to go from a consumption to production how do you produce when you don't have power how do you produce when you don't have education system me and you know this but of course it's not important for us to talk about i'm not accusing you directly Dr. Damage, but everybody that is listening we all know this but no we prefer to say no is a fraud is not a christian is a witch is it that how does that actually take us from where we are now to the next level it's 2023 is that so that's where when i mean we that's what i'm talking about I'm talking about people that every day we come here we complain about the, the same thing how we feel bad about the system but of course we still wait for them to tell us what to talk about right i mean we all agree that we are all rigged the election was rigged we all agree but how did the man not uh being a, a fraud little rigging the election he rigged the election because there are elements among us because that's one thing I actually want to. All right, Ovia is frozen. Let's go to Paul. Paul, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Good morning. I could remember last week I have uh, a little bit heated moment to be so, uh, coincidentally again. It looked like he just want to repeat himself because energy I say or do use against me again. So I keep saying that let us look about all great nations. Institution make great nation change. That is people inside the power choose to go the other way around. It's just like today, every one of us that feel we want change in this country will say, oh, the only TV station that is helping us in that narrative is Arise News. But guess what? A good percentage of us, again, will still say, we think Ruben Abati is going contrary, which means within that station, there is somebody who is going contrary to our belief, you understand? That's how it is. When we talk, let us even use the US. It is within the institutions that make people change things. We see what Abraham Lincoln did. We see the change that is trying to come with JFK, take his life. We see the change with even um, Johnson and every other thing. So when black people fight, today I'm in America. If black people are still slaves today, I don't think I will apply for visa to go be a slave. They fought for it, but they've been fighting for God knows when, for hundreds of years. But when within the institution choose to say, let us change it, change come. The civil war America fight today, they fight because of black people in Texas on their own choose to say, no, we want to be slave. Because how do we live? Doctor, I hate to say this. My Igbo people, even after the civil war, they still give them 20 pounds. You understand, the black people, they leave them with nothing. These are all the things that men met up for us today that brought this gun thing, when they let people go with nothing. The institution fights for them, for them to, to pick something. So sometimes when we are thinking, we have to fight, we have to fight, we have to fight. We have to fight when the institution will fight for us. You understand, somebody will obstruct the institution, inside the institution, to bring change. Not we in the street. You think if we just go protest, 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 it will bring change. The answer is no. It doesn't really work like that. Go look at it. It take, it take uh, uh, South Africa so many years. Nancy Mandela all, was in prison all, for 27 there was, years. There was a, a figure in South Africa to make that change. All so, these institutions Nancy, we are talking so, about is so, controlled by the cabals. For, that, there you go. That's why I said within the institution, somebody will change and say, let us change our ways. Who you is understand? that? When, Who? when, that's exactly what I'm telling you. So when we talk about institution, yes, it is good for us to protest, but we will protest, we will talk. And that's exactly what we are doing right here. That's exactly what we watch for us to say, we like this person, we like this person, because the person but, is but doing, Talking is not enough. Talking is, uh, is not enough, Paul. So that's it. That is the tools that we have. If you go more than that, they call you different type of name. You become militant. You become rebel. Let you them become... call us any kind of name. Exactly. So South Africa did that. Till nations started protesting. 
Go and look at the statue of Mandela in London. Go and look. Go and look the same UK, the name that they call Mandela when Mandela was fighting. They call it terrorists. They call him all type of thing. But when they choose to say, okay, let us change, let us support his fight, they call him hero. <laughs> the same England, the same America, nations of the world, they keep calling. You see Trump two weeks ago, he is talking that he is the Mandela of America today. These are people who call Mandela all type of name. But when we keep talking, 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 that is the only weapon we have. But within those people that will not support us, when they support us, that is where freedom will come. Remember when America go against colonization? That is when you see countries, just look at it, 57, Ghana get independent, 60, we got. Look all the old countries, because a bigger nation within that their own institution choose to say, stop this nonsense. Every country started getting independent. Every country started getting independent. But if we say we want to take the fight by ourselves, we will just be fighting, we will be losing, and we will not achieve much. That's what you are seeing in Yemen, uh, Hamas today, Palestine and Israel. The day nations will start taking, you look at the way the world is going today. Nations, and you understand, the big, the big, the big West, still in the side of Israel to some extent. It makes Israel is doing the shenanigans they are doing. But slowly, slowly, they are changing a little bit. Oh, let's pause. Let's do this. France is looking. Our population, all immigrants, whether Christian, definitely will still support Palestine. They are looking, hey, I don't want to lose the election. No. Slowly, 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 with the utterances these people say, when their utterances started changing, that is when it will work. That is also institution. So when we talk institution, it is not the you and I who fight. Labor is threatening for strike. Opus or Dima today, the beating of Joe Ajero. You understand? Let's say that Opus or Dima is trying to do the bid of Tinubu to send a signal to labor. And it's making labor, some side of labor say, labor, you cause it because you are too weak. Maybe labor now, labor now they threat it. Bring it up fire. We're going to go on strike. Maybe this time they might actually say, let us even test this strike if it will work for us or if it will not work for us. This is how it works. So every time when we say the people, the people are those side, the people are those side, the people will seem to be those side, but the only weapon the people have is to talk. Even from the Bible days, go and look at Moses. Let my people go. From the Bible days, you can't fight. When you fight, they give you name. But as you are talking, it's affecting them slowly, slowly from the other side that is pressing you down. One person will just choose to go abnormal, just like the way you see a Ruben Abati going abnormal for the station that every one of us feel is pursuing our narrative. You understand? That's how it work. Slowly, slowly. Arise News know today that they can't fire Rufai because if they fire Rufai, they're going to lose that view. Remember yesterday, every one of us, we push our narrative to channels. We feel channels represent us. But when we see channels a little bit getting weaker and everything, we see Arise bouncing up and everything. We are in Arise today. That's why you see somebody like Rufai is there. You, you understand? Rufai being a strong man in that station, it is because of you and I. Who knows that if we don't see Rufai, they will start losing their views. That, that is the only weapon we have. You might think it's not enough. No, it's enough. You understand? But the, the, the enough that I tell you is what I call slow and steady win the race. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you, Paul. Let's let's hear from KJ. KJ, welcome to the show. Oh, there are a lot of people. KJ, thank you, me. Dr. Davidis. I'm I'm on with you. Okay. I'm on with you. I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Thank you so much. You see, um, I've been listening, and uh, I I don't know where Paul is. Neither here nor there. Um, I totally agree with um, what uh, uh, my friend has said. Um, you know the reggae man you know now the, the question is um we should be asking ourselves are we ready for a country is this how we will go and say we'll make a country we'll build a country why i don't agree with uh, paul so much is that if you notice this if you read the story of the struggle in zambia and uh, the kenekayonda's experience and the mau mouse uh, uh you know group um it came to a point where it was not because the system wanted to give them independence that they got it. It's because they were tired of the struggle the people put up. A very resistance, a very, you know, thoughtful 
I don't know what to call it, whether it's call it voodoo or something, but they were totally defeated all around and they had to run away. If you read the story of Ethiopia, why they why they, why they, how they were able to defeat their you know their colonizers? Because the people feared that they were flesh eaters. Okay? And so the war was lost because they came and mistakenly saw them eating flesh. And the reason why they were eating the raw flesh was because they didn't want to make fire so that the enemy don't know where their position is. But it was assumed that they were flesh eaters. And so the people who came to fight had to run away. Nobody, no slave gets freedom because his master wants to hand it over to him. I have never seen it. If you saw one, let me know. Even the struggle you quote about the United States and they are blacks here, they struggled for it. They fought for it. Many died who were not written in history. Okay, who stood that? Who stood in the gap for what they got? In the case of Nigeria, in the case of the United States, why I don't agree with you totally is because these are different colors. But in our own case, we are all black people. We are all one country. We are all Nigerians. So when you make that reference that at the end of the civil war they gave Igbos twenty dollars, twenty pounds, it really angers me because people like my father became poor after the war and they never got to where they were until until his, he passed. Right, thank you. Okay. And, and 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 you say that they gave them twenty dollars. Do you know how much they had before they became because before they were giving twenty pounds? And these are the same people who say you don't want them to be Biafra, you want them to be Nigerians. And you are you are glad to say they were giving twenty pounds. That is so 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 demeaning. And I don't I think you should deceive from saying that because some of us who suffered you know the adverse effect and our parents who saw that our parents couldn't get back and they keep telling you till they they passed away how that affected them and turned their, their, their fortunes overnight. Those who were businessmen, who you know, were traveling up to, to Spain to go and do business, how to now begin, begin to serve as, as house boys and house guests to be able to make an end, even for them to be able to marry. So don't say that, please. And it's not the same thing. We are from the same country, for crying out loud. If you say you didn't want them to go, then you should have re 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 rehabilitated them and given them enough resources to start their life. And re, re put them in, you know, re, re, reabsorb them into the system. We're saying we are looking at a Nigeria where nothing seems to be working. Okay, we are looking at a Nigeria where institutions are, are are the ones now stamping good what is evil. Are you saying that now statistical forgery in Nigeria is not a crime, and because you can get away with it, you should do it, and then they court to stamp it? Somebody quoted the PIB uh, uh, judgment here. You didn't hear what the British go, the, no, the British uh, judges said. He said he was considering the Nigerian people, the people in Nigeria, how this will affect their livelihood. And he doesn't, in good conscience, is that part of the, 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 the request of the, of, the, of, the, of, of the people who brought it to court? He was considering in good conscience not to go ahead and award this. Go and read it. And so because of that, he fired against the company who, who was supposed to have ordinarily got judgment. And then your own lawyers, your own judges, couldn't in good conscience see the evil they are doing to the future of Nigeria. They couldn't do that. And then you come and tell us this. You know why I'm on camouflage? Um, he said, uh, look, I don't even want to discuss uh, uh, Nigeria issue any longer because after that, I'm done. Not because I thought better was going to come from me, but because I, I was totally shocked that a learned lawyer who has come to the point of being a judge and people who have gone to school and read, spent how many years doing research, being doctors, professors, can back evil or seen before in the African continent. Tell me why is that happened. Okay. And then we sit and just, you know, say, okay, it's, it's good. Let's go. Let's go ahead. Tinibu have become president. What is this? What? One man, one man. The whole institution is, 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 is you even use the government money to fund his stupidity. And all of you, all of us are clapping hands and people are even saying, coming to the media and defending it. What is there to defend? Is that how to be the nation? And before you, before you say it's anything, people will tell you, Rome was not built in one, in one, in one, in one day. Was Rome built in 100, in 100 years? Was it built in 100 years? Must we rewrite the history? Must we reinvent the, the wheel before we come to a place of, of, of development? Must everybody do go through the same route before we come to the place of development? No, no, bros, no. And 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 I I, I like this. I mean, I mean, I tell of all of you on this panel because I see that some of them are gleaning from this panel to make some of the policies, even though they don't know. Instead of just to call you and say, 
this thing you said, how do we go about it? You know. So, um, Rudolph, your 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 platform is going far, and is making a lot of in inroad into the Nigerian uh, politics. But I I have to say that you see, this is not the how, how a country is built. If we are ready to build a country, this is not it's not this where we are going. You're not going to get out there. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Hold on. Excuse me, Doctor Rudolph. Let me say something. I thought we are just having an introduction. You know what what is missing, but it seems like people are going in depth. I mean, am I missing something? You need yeah, to, yeah, you yeah. need to stick to your protocol. No, no, no I'm, I'm sorry, my mistake, my mistake. I didn't just it's not uh, only, swallow it's not that only that pause. Said. Went in depth. I'm, sorry. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No obey, obey the rule. I yeah. don't know what Doctor Rudolph is doing. But anyway. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, what I was what I was going for at the beginning is simply to add to what the subjects that we came up with, uh, topics that we're going to talk about. If there's anything important that we need to add. You know, but um, you know, sometimes we we are we're not very very strict, so that there's flexibility for people for us. Doctor, uh, it's a serious issue. It's, we are in a serious dilemma. So sometimes don't blame anybody when you because we have a lot to say. There's a lot of pain in the heart. You but, know? but Dan, if this, is a, this is just an introduction. We're gonna talk about it in depth. But I'm just saying, you know, Doctor. Man of precision, I understand your point of view. Follow. Let us stick to the rule. But the pain in the heart of people. Except I don't know how the pain is affecting you. For me, uh, it's killing me. Uh, so what you Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Just to say, you know, all all the topics have been well uh, articulated, especially that of Ajero. You know what was what happened to him in in, uh, in the Imo state, mm. and uh, it's it's unfortunate, really. It's unfortunate. So we should touch on that. You know, okay. not because I I pity him. You know, because he's part of the system, but because uh, a man was able to grant him to that point, I don't think it's necessary. Thank you. All right. All right, thank you. So, Paul, you want to, wanted to respond to something? Yeah, I just want, just want to respond a little bit. I think uh, KJ didn't understand where I'm coming from when I said uh, the Igbo people got 20 pounds. So what I'm saying, the Igbo people got 20 pounds. I said, I'm making you understand, KJ, the height of wickedness they take because of the Igbo people won't change currency and they give them just 20 pounds. But what I'm telling you, I'm telling you during the African-Americans, Black people in Texas, precisely, on their own, because of they saw the punishment that other people are going through, where they say, we've free slave, and a free slave with nothing at all. So these people felt, if I'm still slave, at least I'm going to eat in this farm. I'm going to feed, I'm going to feed my family with, from my slave master. So on their own, they, they said, we want to be slaves. Go and look at your history. That is where I'm coming from. You understand? So this is how the height of wickedness. But what I'm telling you is that I'm telling you, say, within that institution is among them that fought against themselves and say, this thing has to stop. That is what I'm making you understand. So I'm not telling you that I'm happy that they give the evil people 20 pounds. That is the height of wickedness. You understand? Because of the evil people, they change currency just to punish them for those that have their money on that bed. You understand? So I'm not telling you that they give them 20 pounds that is better compared to the African-American. But what the African-American saw in other places, it made the Blacks in Texas choose on their own to say, no, 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 leave us like this. Let us be slaves. Because we just don't want to go and we'll be roaming around the street. Then somebody will just shoot me because of the fear you want to come steal from my farm. You understand? So this is where I'm coming from. So I'm telling you, within the institution, they fight against themselves. That's why I quote the same thing. It is America that fought that Britain started giving people independence. You understand? America had to even put warship down, threatening that Britain started giving people independence. That same institution is also bad. You understand? So what I'm telling you is that when you think we fight, we fight, we fight. Yes, it's good because it's the fight that we are fighting that makes people recognize us, that makes somebody choose to change. You understand? Two labor leaders in England were fired last week. You understand that choose to support Palestine. You understand within that same institution, two labor choose to go the other way around. That's how it is. So, which means we are talking, somebody is listening. Like you said, KJ, we are talking here, somebody is listening. You understand? They might take some of the things that we say here and work with it. You understand? So, don't think the talk that we are talking is not working. No, it's working. And that does not mean I'm not condemning your own past. Because if I also feel all of us should pursue it in just one direction, I don't think it works like that because 
different countries have their different ideology. At the end of the day, if they deliver, not a problem. You understand? The British style of government and the American style of government is different. But these two countries may be doing well in their own context. Thank you. All right, Paul, thank you. Ovie, you were saying something when we cut you off, um, or when you froze. I think I was driving at the point. Yeah, I said, yeah, we're talking about we. The, the we, I mean, I, I think I've, I've always made it on this platform that anytime we come here, we don't come here because of we that are on the platform. There are a lot of people are watching. So the we here is that is the way the people actually don't agree with the system or the government we are saying. And I think I disagree with, at this point, I disagree with people that say, oh, we should, we should, we should exempt the people, they don't know better and all that. Two people were born to death. For what? Say because they commit crime, they stole something. And that is what I keep saying. The idea that we cannot actually punish our public officials is ridiculous. If we can punish ourselves, I, I often use this example. I say either if Rudolph or me go out of the way, do something really terrible on this platform, say it's really terrible. Instantly, now we start to punish us, either begin to unsubscribe, begin to insult us and all that. Where is that same energy when we know the people who put us in perpetual darkness, people who read our election, we know them, we die with them, we sleep with them. Where is their own punishment? Two people were born down to death. Human beings, just because they stole something, they did not steal your destiny, they did not put that in. That, that, that's the point I'm driving at. Um, for the fact that, and I say that's why we always follow them, so we follow them to uh, Chicago. Why the news, I'm glad that we are going to talk about journalism later, why the news always make sure we don't talk about these people? Because as human, as human being, if you begin to point person, say, now nah, this person, now nah, this person be your problem, your problem. If you not take long before one person will just best go, take, just take justice into his hand. That is why the news media will not actually stay an issue that actually has to do with our progress. Because the people who are directly involved with our darkness are dying with us, are their bosses. They know that. And that's why I'm always hungry. Why are we talking? Now we'll talk about yet, for God's sake. Right? Why it really, really is okay. Even if we want to talk about the years, can we go in depth? I'm not talking about us again here. I'm talking about the media because media gave us what to talk about, right? We go on newspaper and other before we come here to talk. The media, why are we they go detail and tell us this is this is this is who is responsible? Because they know the man of press brought the idea of uh, PI, the, 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 the case that we won. Now Nigerians they responsible. But the media refused to talk about it because if they spend one, two, three, four days talking about that case, guess what? They will get down to the root. You will find out that it's one of their bosses that is actually responsible. And that's where, as they come, there's, there's a need for us to actually pay attention to signals, not distractions. All of the journalists that we, we, we take praise, we praise them about everything. I can't go, we are going to go there. How, how long I actually stay in details that actually matter to us? Why is it that there is no, there, there's no, among all the gas lighters and the uh, amplifiers, why is nobody calling for protest for the fact that we don't have lights? Nobody, not before that they respond to the fact that, not before that they control our lights, that we don't have lights. But politicians will come and tell us that we will go for consumption to production. How? This same politician, all his life, he made his billions doing what? Importing. But we'll come and tell you we'll move from production to production because, and this is where the media will stay on. They will never give you details on what actually matters. And I'm, 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 I'm this angry because uh, Rudolph, the fact that he said that yes, this platform is become, is becoming is be, is getting an inroad to our our, our politics, which is what we want. And that time we start measuring them. And I and I'm happy that you said that. Anybody that comes and says anything. anything Whatever that person is saying is on his own. Whatever I can say anything, I mean, you will, will carry that into that person, not necessarily the platform. So we should start going into details. Who are those people who are responsible for our today? They live among us, right? Because I always use that example. They are the people who fought the civil war. The people who actually fought the civil war, the direct victim of the civil war, are the same people who wrote our constitution, are the same people who are inside of our political parties. The same generation. They, they live with us. We know them. But why is it that we don't call them out in our news medias? 
So that's where I'm driving my point at that. There are some things that actually matter. If we are actually, actually serious, of course, I said it during the campaign, there's time for everything. All right. Okay. This is the time for action, okay. not just protest. We'll go, we'll go quickly on, on the topic, so I don't want to uh, be around when we talk about the media and everything. Uh, Prince, uh, Mazi Prince, uh, California, welcome. Yes, uh, Dr. Rudolph, uh, good morning. And uh, good morning, other panelists. Oh, KJ left. I was going to tell KJ, uh, it looks like uh, both of us are in military attire this morning, so probably we are ready. Um, first and foremost, I just want to ask, are we giving submission or are we just giving... So we are we're giving submission. If there are topics that we haven't mentioned that you think is... Uh, that's where we are now. We're still at the beginning. Okay. Um, just a little bit. Let me just touch a little bit on what Ovie just said. Ovie, when you want to go direct at somebody, say it, Peter B said, uh, from consumption to production. Okay. And just say it, call the names. And what he meant, he has explained it time and time again. From you know, consumption to production is a you know a, a way of first financing this, you know, the small and medium scale businesses. Okay, and at the same time going into agriculture. He is not the one in position today. The person in position, what did he tell you? He never gave, he gave you, um, what do you call it? Manifesto, something and said, and, and now he's saying that he has an eight point agenda. In his eight point agenda, any of the things written in those eight point, eight point agenda, have they been implemented? But rather they are after things, to buy things and all that kind of a thing. When you talk about, oh, distractions, okay, that's a yacht was being placed in a, a budget, a supplementary budget, and people raised eyebrows, it's not a distraction. And for your information, that yacht is bought. It's already bought, okay? And look at the illegality that they do in, those, in the Senate and the National Assembly. They now say they move the money to educate uh, to to what do you call it to uh, uh, to fund edu you know education kind of like uh, student loan student loan. 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 loan student loan but that is not there they've already they've already bought it it's already been supplied so it's kind of like to shut everybody up they say oh we put it in loan it's not there it's illegality because. Budget is item by item. What is it? What is it? I bet you I'm gonna see, I'm waiting to see how many students that will be able to get that loan next year. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, apart from that, PID happened. P in PI, uh, the, the PID, whatever you're talking about. Yes, the media might not talk about it, but guess what? Most of the politicians are also involved in it. They are involved in it. It's only by the grace of God that Nigeria was being saved. Because if Nigeria had not gotten that judgment, you know, the positive side of it, Nigeria would have gone bankrupt. So when we come here and we talk, I know to some of us, for me, like I said before, it's kind of like a therapy for me. It's kind of like a therapy because sometimes, you know, believe you me, during the week when I listen to all the news, sometimes I just like feel like throwing the gadget away or doing something, but it's not going to solve the problem. I've been waiting since last week. I wanted to see people like Sam O. I saw him, he wrote something when Omoya was saying something last, uh, last week. But I'm trying to see him come on, you know, come on the panel. And I will give him my own piece of advice. Because he's also among the people who were talking about, oh, that whatever we're saying, that as if we didn't know what we're saying. Whatever that is going, in, going on in Nigeria, I don't know about any other person. If it doesn't affect you, I'm sorry to say, it affects me. All right. It affects me. 
Yeah, <laughs> Dr. Rudolph, can I say something? I'm, because I'm going, to, I'm going to leave soon. You know, I have some engagement to attend. You know, because people are already talking, going into detail. But I'm not going to be here long. So let me make my own point about this about the yard. You know, we're talking about. Now, can, can um, you hold on? Let me go to AK and and Chim, and then. We'll I mean, they're gonna be, they're gonna speak all day. I mean, you already yeah, you already to... broke the oh, guideline. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead. Oga emi loko. Oga emi loko. Go ahead. <laughs> thank you, Papu Doka. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, thank you, the panels. Um, well, you, we haven't started the topic, yeah. but I just want to kind of go Great. to um, what Paul said. Actually, Paul, um, I'm one of those people that lost too many people during the Civil War. I remember as a child, I was I, I'm a project of I'm a I'm a son. And um, a son of uh, outcome of um, the Afrian War. My mom is a nurse. My dad was a captain in the Civil War. And my mom treated my dad the rest of the story. Here I come after the Nigerian Civil War. So I think that is the only outcome that is good. Because if there was no Civil War, my parents would not meet. But I remember as a child, my grandmother's... Uh, I don't know if you know those metal box, metal box with black and red color. That is where the the money is. They call it ego mega. The money, piles of piles of piles of money that was rendered useless because of Nigerian civil war. And guess what? In any war, there's a rehabilitation. So there will be a closure. Nigeria Civil War, there is no re rehabilitation. And when we talk about the people say, let it go, we can't let it go. I lost three big uncles, grown uncles, that would have contributed to Nigeria today. Highly intelligent individuals. But we can't close it. It's a wound. Hebrew people say, when wound heal, you forget the pain. Onyana, it is all for follow. You forget the pain. You can never forget the pain of what this war have done to our people. So when we say it, you guys say, oh, let it go, let it go. We cannot let it go. Because what caused the war is still what is happening today. It's still what's happening today. Could you imagine? I don't know if anybody see the posting. All the commission of police in South in southern part of Nigeria are Yorubas, including Imo State, including Anambra State, including every every state in Igbo land. So, how can um, a commission of police from Yoruba land understand the intricate part of Anambra State, intricate part of Obaru, intricate part of Somalia, where I come from? I want you to understand that what is still happening is what caused the war to happen. Who have tried to make Nigeria work for everybody? The only person, the only group that have gone to any parts of Nigeria and established and built a home and bought their land and built a home is the Igbos. So when we say that you guys need to understand, we are only ethnic group that have made it work, but we are the only ethnic group that have been marginalized since inception of Nigeria. So I want you to understand, when you make that comparison with America, um, Black Americans and Niger and uh, the people that, indigenous of Igbo, like Igbo, the Igbos, that is not a fair comparison. I'm sorry to tell you, that is not a fair analogy. You need to make a fair analogy. We are all Black people in Nigeria. We are all black. We just no white. Nobody should be any slave for any ethnic group. But all the ethnic group in Nigeria have made Igbos, different Chinese Igbos in every aspect. So I want you to understand that. Please never make that kind of analogy. 40, like 40 pounds. Guess what? We are more educated. We are more, we are better than a lot of people a lot of ethnic group in Nigeria with that 14 naira that they gave us. 
So I want you to understand. He was do not ask for give a handout. We are asked to put in the same fair game so that we can play our own game. Then every ethnic group can play in their own game. Since 1970. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's let's uh, end here. Let's hold, hold on, Doctor Rudolph. Let me let me correct something about Ikena. Ikena, no, 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 I, no, I man, no, no, no. Yeah, that will not help us. Um, I just want to defend Paul because no, they, are, no, they are changing the narrative. That's not what Paul said. No, man of person, no. Don't go there. Okay. Actually, Tim, any 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 news story? Uh, anyway, thank you. Thank we you. go we go to when we go over there. Yeah, thank you. Achim, go ahead. Any news story you think we should uh, talk about? Well, I don't know about a news story. Uh, the thing that I was going to bring up um, has already been mentioned, which is the uh, thing is that the PIB thing that the case that Nigeria has recently won, and how. But I, I wanted to address something that you and I have uh, had a conversation over the week, and that is uh, something I said here last week um, that people have misconstrued. Um, I said last week that Peter B needs to lead the way. And then I said uh, he needs to, you know, not be afraid that his life will be at risk and all that. And people misunderstood all that. So first and foremost, let me quote Br Brutus to reemphasize my point. Brutus said that uh, there is a tide in the affairs of men, which when taken at the flood leads to fortune. We all know this. In, in, in simpler parlance in Nigeria, we say strike while the iron is hot. Uh, going back to the elections we had, um, I told somebody as soon as that result was released and people were con contesting it, and then Peter B made that his uh, appeal for peace and calm. Uh, we are going to the judiciary. I trust the judiciary. Told, I told somebody, I said he has lost it. Uh, that's the end of the road. When there is injustice anywhere in the world, the response that literally helps to bring back justice or lead to an addressing of situations is not calm. The solution that brings it is always spontaneous response and a pushback against the evil happening. The moment you start negotiating calm and civility, you've lost the plot. The elections in other parts of the world where people contested the results and the way they responded has shown it. So um, when I said that, I told people, I mean, and in, in the labor in the labor movement, they had people who were, uh, for a better use of word, hot headed, who could have easily, you know, created fear in the system and made the system to pause and perhaps even if they are not going to address it exactly the way people expect, but will give something that is middle course. But the moment we began to trust this system, we lost it. I listened to uh, Professor Chidi Odinkalo yesterday and then in a conversation he had with channels, with uh, Sheung to be specific. I'm not sure how many of us have seen that video, but I, I, I shared it with you, Rudolph, and I'm sure you watched it. And we heard the things he said about the system, how systematically our judiciary got to where it is. First of all, there were no corruption allegations initially in the 80s at the highest level. We, we only had that at the magistrate, magistrate level, where magistrates were taking cow, collecting sheep and you know chicken for passing judgments and little bribes here and there. It is those same people at that magistrate level that have been moved to the appellate level and finally now are in the Supreme Court. What do you expect those kinds of people to do? Do you expect them to give you justice? Seriously, I mean, really, let's think about it. We don't know that things are graded, are graduated. It is that your classmate that was, I keep repeating it here, that used to cheat in an exam. He is the one who has become a member of the house and is doing the things you and I don't like. It's just a simple fact of life. So the point I was trying to make last week that people misunderstood is that there was an opportunity, a window where Nigerians needed to push back. But incidentally, and this does not take away from whatever Mr. Peter Obi has accomplished in this past election cycle. I give him his due. He has made his point. But when it comes to trying to change the system, he was not 
but perhaps a P2B would have been good in a society where things were working, but not in a society where the elites already knew the kind of system they wanted. And then you were coming to say that you would not buy a yacht if you become president. That you are coming to tell them that they will not be getting the kickbacks if you were, they will not allow you. I always say, and I'm ending here, most Nigerians, why we don't push back on evil is because most Nigerians are waiting for their own time. The Emil Emilokon concept did not originate with Tinubu. Tinubu only expressed it. It is, I, I mean, for those of us who have entered buses in Lagos and somebody forgot their change, you hear something like, Oluwati Shefumi. I speak Yoruba, so pardon me, it's easier for me to use Yoruba language to express my point. I've entered buses where somebody forgot change. Driver, give me my change. Ah, I don't get change. Wait, wait. And then the person gets to their bus stop and comes down and forgets their change. And, and people are looking and the conductor moves on. At the end of the day, the conductor will tell his or her friends and family, Oluwa Shefumi, God did it for me. And I've always asked, this God that lost to rob Peter to pay Paul, what kind of God is he? Oluwa Shefumi. Tinubu will go. If Tinubu was a Christian, he will, his wife has already gone to give thanksgiving at the economical center to thank God for how her husband became president. Presidency he stole. He stole. So, without over digressing, the point I was trying to make is that Obi lost a fantastic opportunity of pushing back. See, people say, oh, he took us on a journey. I wasn't interested in going on this journey with him. I knew that already the Nigerian system was corrupt. So I don't know the journey Obi took me through. Obi did not reveal anything new to me. I have gone to police station with a colleague and the police told him that if he continues to insist on his rights, that they will put on, forcefully put on a, a, a inspector's uniform on him, shoot him, and then allege that he was impersonating a police officer. That is not new. It happens every day. So there was nothing Mr. P2B was proving. We always knew that our elections are always rigged. We knew that. We know that our Supreme Court and our judiciary, you know, make wrong things. <laughs> we knew this. So there was nothing new. What he needed to do was to show for once that we had somebody who was going to insist that things be done right. And if it meant people demonstrating, going on the street, putting fear on the system, and forcing the judiciary to step back a little bit and think before they pass their judgment, that was what he was supposed to do. But he lost it. And Brutus, through what I just read here, has told us, you strike when the iron is hot. That was the point I was trying to make. I'll leave it at this until we go into the core of issues. But let us just realize and know this. Majority of Nigerians are waiting for their turn to have a go at the national king. It is a national mindset. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Tim. Um, let's begin the conversation. Mr. Mr. Rudolph, Mr. Rudolph, please, if you can, I just want to give just a chip in, a man of prestige, please. Let me just say something to what Jim has said. I think I heard Jim, I, you know, I wasn't in the panel when you said that. However, I had a song where, and I was wondering, it was your voice, okay? And I was like, I was even coming to address it today. Um, Tim, you believe with me that this is this is two fingers. They are not equal, right? The same way that these two fingers are not equal in psychology is called two personalities. Now, why am I talking about when I talk about personality trait? I'm talking about you and I'm talking about Obi. Obi is not a desperado. Remember, he said that he got into politics when, uh, is it Humphrey Mosu or somebody came to him and, you know, Professor had ABC, to, Professor ABC, Professor ABC Mosu, yes, and had to talk to him on all that. Do you think he didn't know that all these things are going to happen? He knew it. But one thing I am very grateful that he did is that he never took that that position you you know you're talking about to strike because by now 
Nigeria will be boiling. And you already know the target. The target is not going to be any other thing. It's going to be... Azika was blessed many times before their death. There's no know? explanation. Let's move on, please. Leave that matter. Let's just move on. I, I, I just came here to clarify please. that. I, I don't think I want to go into that conversation, um, sure. uh, Mazi. Sure. Because the uh -huh. thing about the matter is this. What do we want? Do we want to change Nigeria? Or do we want the status quo to continue? If we want the status quo to continue, Come on, people, then they can the status quo continues. But if we want a change, we cannot say we want a change. You don't get change by negotiating it, especially when you have the kind of cabals we have. Something dramatic and radical has to happen for a change to happen. But Rudolph, please, let's move on. All right. Yeah, um, Dr. Rudolph, can, I, I came in first, you know, I'm going somewhere. Can I just speak on my, you know, please, if you don't mind, the panelists, I was the first person, but I have, have an engagement, please. Oh, go ahead. It's your turn now. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm going to start, but let me, let me start. I'm going to be very transparent. Dr. Rudolph, um, I mean, now I've learned my lesson. Whenever I come to my turn, even in the introduction, I'm going to use it to utilize what I want to say, because you're just missing the guideline. You know, a lot of people here have spoken about 10, five minutes, you know, when it's supposed to be an introduction. But anyway, having said that, let me let me begin my, I'm going to start begin my by defending what Paul said. Because I, I understand Paul's narrative. When he's an American slave, and the, you know, the, the Biafran, you know, giving 20, 20, I think it was 20 dollars or whatever. I don't know what it was at that point, 20 pounds, I'm sorry. He was, he was putting it to be something not good. You know, like the American slave, they were not giving any money, to, you know, the Igbos, they gave them like 20, 20 dollars, whatever. I mean, 20 pounds, I'm sorry, I keep on saying dollar. You know, he said none of them is good. You know, it's like a slave. You know, it's like a slave mentality to bring them into the fold. That's what he was narrating. He never come here and degrade the Igbo that they gave him twenty. You know, twenty dollars. They're supposed to survive. That's not what he's trying to say. So I just want to correct that. I don't know why you're going after him. Like he said something against the southeast. No, he did not. In my this is my my strictly opinion. But anyway, let me let me start my conversation. I'm going to start about uh, what happened with um, the Tinubu, the Yad, and something like that. You know, I think people are making a big deal about it. Yeah, there should be a big deal about it, and I'm going to come to that about um about, <clears throat> about the first lady. Okay, in Nigerian constitution, there's nothing like budgeting for the first lady. That is true, but we model our constitution through the American constitution because if you look in American constitution. The first lady, there's a budget for him, even at all, it's not in their constitution, but it's been, it's been approved by the government, I mean, by the Congress. I mean, the first lady has a chief of staff, he has a press secretary, he has a communication director, he has the White House um, secretary too, he even have the chief of fl um, flora designer. So they budget a lot of money for her, you know, it's not something new. And this is the way, you know, Nigeria does. It has been happening, you know, previously in Nigeria. This one, it just came out because of the social media we're having right now. But I have an issue with that. This is not the right time to do that. You know, that's a lot of money. I mean, people are suffering, you know, don't even have, you know, don't even drink a cup of gari a day. They should have been very conscious about that. And, you know, I'm not, they should publish, whether they publish it or not, you know, it's going to come out because we're at the age of social media. People saying that they're spending too much money on that. Or, yeah, yes, yeah, too much money, but this is not the right time. That's my main focus. They are not doing something right. They shouldn't have, you know, they shouldn't have budget that money. And moreover, there's a mistake they made. They call it a supplementary budget, not a budget. For you to have a supplementary budget, it has to be something very important. So what is so important, you know, about investing all those money, renovating their, you know, giving to them that amount of money for his yard, even in Lagos and something like that, you know, um, the first lady giving him that amount, giving her that amount of money. That is wrong. I'm totally against that. You know, this government is not performing good. They need to learn. I don't know. Even their communication, you know, is kind of dosa. You know, I don't know who is guiding the whole thing. This is why nothing has taken off in Nigeria. Tunubu need to, you know, redefine where he stands for because everything he's doing right now is just going down. I mean, we are regressing. Let's put it, you know, I don't know when they're going to start what they propose, you know. So having said that, something again I was very much interested in was, um, the retreat that they went. I was so baffled about what the, I think it was the British uh, Montgomery or whatever that was praising Tunumbu. I mean, did, I don't know if you see the praise he was giving Tunumbu. Like he's, he's an icon, you know, he's, you know, he's breaking all kind of, all kind of ground that he's making Nigeria to be the best, you know, in Africa. I mean, I'm just, this is just my own statement. That's the way I understood it. So you're going to see how the British people have so colonized or so whatever, you know, happened in Nigeria, they're going to follow. This is the same British. They said nobody died in the, you know, in the in the end star you know 
So this is how they operate. It's just something wrong with that country. I don't know when we're going to learn, you know, not to, not to listen to these British people. Every, they just want to go wherever things go. They, they, have, they have something to benefit from Nigeria. There's no doubt about it. So that's my point on that. And if I may have the time, you know, I will speak on the emo stuff. Um, hope who is the man wants to win an election, which is coming on the level by any means necessary. That's exactly what he's doing. From what I understand about that Algeria, because there's a video circulating when he touched Danny Emo. I don't know his main motive for being there. We know that, you know, um, <clears throat> he supported Labour Party. There's nothing about it. You know, he, you know, he may be partisan, but there's nothing wrong being, you know, with being a partisan person. Because if you look at the video, because they were saying that they were fighting some other faction people, you know, were against him. Some other faction of of Emo State Labour Party were against him. That's not the case. That may have been the case, but. They was already at the secretary of Imo, you know, Imo, Imo Labour Party. That's when the police came and they just dragged him and beat up some people and took him away. So he was actually beaten up in the police custody. It wasn't a fight, you know, that started from somewhere. It's not that. So hope who's other might just want to win. I mean, that's my stage. He just want to win any, any means necessary. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm thinking he has gone to the... He has gone to um, weekend school of um, whatever, you know, school of politics and learn. And now he's even, you know, more dangerous than weekend. So my state is, is like in a chaos right now. And I think he's going to win because he has pretty much commanded all aspects of Imo state right now. That's the way I see that. Thank you, Dr. Rudolph. All right. Thank you, man of prestige. Um, let's go to show. Show, welcome to the show. Good afternoon, Rudolph. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Um, let me first even say, been in the UK for what two decades, and I somehow missed it. Um, I joined now, and I thought you know the show was about to start. And I remember we've gone back by one hour. So when I saw the invite to say four o'clock Nigerian time, in my head it was still four o'clock, not knowing that you know um, I should have joined three p.m. UK time. So you need to include that for those of us in the UK. Don't forget the notification. Time. You should use the notification we're, we're joining, button. We're joining, we're joining tonight into Sunday morning. Use the notification <laughs> okay. button next time. You'll see. Um, yeah, I have the notification. It's just that I wasn't with my phone. Um, anyway, um, uh, let me touch on a few things quickly, and then I will leave and come back much later. Uh, I'm not sure if people mentioned it, because I know the first thing you discussed is the news that probably um, that was missed. Now, these sort of news are not things that we're going to discuss or necessarily de deliberate on, but just for, you know, um, sharing news sake. Uh, the Minister for Power, uh, Adelabu, uh, who is from Oyo State, was, I think, I'm not sure if he was on board, but um, the private jet conveying his team, maybe himself was on board, uh, going to Ibadan today, had a crash, uh, the plane crash landed. But the early reports are saying that everybody on board are safe. So, you know, that happened this morning, uh, Adelabu, who contested for uh, governorship in 2019 under APC. Um, so that happened today. Um, also, Lagos State, I think they had a 50% rebate on Lagos State-owned public transport. The governor um, introduced that in August to ease the suffering, you know, so anybody who boarded the Lagos State transport was paying 50% less, but they've said from tomorrow, go find the full money. It's now 100%. So... Uh, Bonanza don't finish. Um, also, uh, maybe a bit of good news, so it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, uh, Ubu State, as you know, uh, oh, sorry, I hope I'm not cut off. Yes, yeah, Ubu State, um, they, um, they launched, yes, I think, 17 buses, CNG buses, uh, during this week. Um, I know that's, that, that's very little. It's not going to solve the problem, but it's a good start. My only worry is, you know, I don't want to find out that they've spent a, you know, a trillion naira on those buses on the conversion. But, you know, Ogun State have rolled out um, some CNG buses. And the federal government are saying next week they're going to roll out 11,500 CNG buses. And they're planning to roll out about, um, maybe not buses now, but they're looking for about 1 million cars by 2027 to run on CNG. You know, that's positive. And also, I think yesterday, the first uh, freight train directly from the port, directly from the port um, to Ibadan, you know, um, took off yesterday. And it took about two and a half hours. And I think it took about 30, 40 foot containers directly from the port to Ibadan, you know, in two and a half hours, which is good um, because all these containers falling on people's cars and killing people needlessly, you know, that would help 
you know, in some way. So that's some sort of, you know, positive news coming out of Nigeria. And um, I'm going to touch on the uh, the yacht quickly. Uh, I read news this morning that the Navy are saying that they have custody of the yacht. It's currently with the Navy. So the Navy confirmed that they have it. But they are saying that, you know, they don't know what to do with it now that we've not paid. Um, so they are saying that the decision has to come from above. That is beyond them. They cannot decide what to do. So they are waiting for decision. But the fact that the yacht is in custody of Nigerian Navy, that tells you that we're going to pay somehow. They don't, I think they, ju they just won't announce it now that they know that people will push back. They will find a way, to, uh, sorry, find a way to pay for it without people noticing. Um, so yeah, those are the sort of things I wanted to mention quickly. Um, but I'm going to come back much later. I'm on my phone right now and I know it's going to overheat. So I'll go fire up my laptop. Hopefully in another hour, I would fire up and I can join you later. All right, thank you, sure. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go to Rez. Rez, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Mr. Rudolph, and um, thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, well, I just want to, I would always, I mean, I've, always, I've only had opportunities to speak a bit about once or twice. I guess this is my second time. I see every one of us here and I just would love us to actually focus on possible solutions that could actually help. In as much as we all discuss several things and we discuss the problems, but we tend not to focus on solutions sometimes. People are still languishing. Our country is going down by the day and we're just here talking about the politicians who are actually so comfortable them and their generation are so comfortable, while the people that really matters are still languishing in abject poverty. I don't know if you still remember that that country, I don't want to call the name now, we all know which one we're referring to, is actually referred to as the poverty capital of the world. What are we going to do about these things? What are the solutions we actually propose? Most of us here on this panel are in the diaspora. Life is better for us. What can we do? How do we change things? Do we have to rely on these same people who we see that are not actually willing to do anything but just to enrich themselves? So since this is the realities we're having right now, then what do we do? You see, I would really love it if we can begin to focus more on solutions. There are several things we can do Dear brothers, there are several things we can do. I mean, we can come up with initiatives on how to actually create employment. We don't necessarily have to rely on the government since things are not really working the way we, we intend them to do or the way we would have preferred they do. What then can we do individually? We may not be able to accomplish so much, but we can at least start from somewhere, you see. So I don't know if it's the best thing to actually talk about the problems that every one of us are already aware of. I don't think anyone from that part of the country needs anyone to tell them about what the problems are. What do we do? What Race. can be done to better people's lives and all this? Race. Anyway, thank you. Yeah, Riz, don't go, don't go. You still have uh, three minutes. So you can give us a few solutions. Um, and people might know you as a solution guy here. Why the other people are just ranting? We get you to do this. All right. Solution. A very quick one, Mr. Rudolph. Thank you very much. And Chin, thank you. Thank you. I see you. You want to ask me a question. But please, do you know that as all of us are here today, we can actually look at the things that are working in the parts of the world where we are. For example, we can think of raising some kind of opening some sort of factories that can actually generate employment for the people, looking at the resources within the location where we intend to open these things. For example, there are people who do farming. If you're farming, you are not going to, you're going to require people. What is it they produce in the area? What can grow in that area? We can look into probably processing some of these crops so that they don't waste. For example, think about the ball pepper. They call it tatashe in Lagos. Tatashe, the red one, it doesn't have a, a long lifespan. So if it were to be spoiling, you can dry it. We have more than enough sun in Nigeria. When it's granted in the Western world, it's called paprika. Some of us know what this is. So it means such goods will not be wasted. 
if we begin to grow things like this, oh, listen, there's so, so much. I'm just talking about agriculture. I'm into IT. I would even love to talk about IT. What are the kind of IT systems we can put in place to at least expose some of these issues we're having or probably give us environments where we can actually we should blow some of these things that are going on so that we can call people out. How do we track the monies that are being spent? This yacht they've been talking about. I've seen the pictures on, on TV. I mean, how do we track these monies that are being spent? The monies that they've allocated to buy vehicles and all that, they don't want to patronize the locally made vehicles in our country. They want to buy it from elsewhere so that we know what's going on. So some of these things are some of the things we can actually begin to look into. I may not say all the solution in full, but at least we can all begin to contribute into things like this. But when we bring up ideas like this and we build up on them, we can probably go backstage and think of how we can fund it. Every right. little helps. Okay, can I chip in, please? Every Sorry. little helps. You're not muted, um, um, Rudolph. Oh, I said one minute, Jim, and then we'll go to KJ. Okay. All right. So, um, Ray is fantastic. I, I love your demeanor. I love your approach. I love, I mean, all of us are not going to be hotheads, and I, I like the perspective. But, you know, I'm, I will push back uh, respectfully right. in a few ways. One is, so it, people keep coming here to say we don't proffer solutions. We have proffered endless solutions on this platform. Now, as on a personal level, on a personal level, we're talking about a system that has an issue. And some of the things you're trying to talk about cannot be accomplished when a system in itself already has problems. I'll give you an example. In 2015, 2016, the road to my village was not tarred. It was horrible. And several efforts to get the local government chairman and the state governor to do something about it. These are taxpayers. Women, women will, you know, will harvest their crops and then they can't take it to the closest markets. My, my community is almost close to the capital of the state, but we can't even get those crops there. People kept having things that were spoiling and destroying. The roads were terrible. You take your Prado, you get stuck. I happen to have access to a particular media house in Nigeria. I won't mention their name. And they promised me that if I could get videos, take a video with a narrative of how long this has happened, then they will begin to put it in the front burner. That was going to be my contribution to my community. But I didn't live in the East. So I got someone who had access, gave them, and I told them, don't tell anybody anything. I will pay for the video. Tell me how much it will take to run a video from the beginning down the road of my community to the end that comes out of the express that goes to Portacot, Lagos, um, Portacot, uh, Enugu Expressway. I said, just do it for me. Give me the, the audio and I'll take it to this particular media house. This guy went and told people that somebody is trying to put them into trouble. And then they made him stall. I gave him the money. I gave him the money to do this. I, I mobilized him. A few weeks before I left Nigeria, I had to force him to return my money. Not too long, I realized that he was playing pranks. So what am I, where am I driving at? Sometimes look as if people are not making efforts. The issues we're saying is that the system needs to be addressed. If you don't address some of those issues, some of the things you want us to begin to implement cannot be accomplished. For instance, the Patashe thing you're talking about, this is a personal thing. It's, for me personally, it's not going to make any impact in terms of national growth. Where, what we're trying to say is how do we fix this system. Now, lastly, before I forget, some of the solutions we are proffering, it is these same politicians we're talking about that will implement them. I've been watching Arise and I've been seeing Rufai constantly asking senators why they are not patronizing Innocent and the other, there's another company. Yes, just yesterday, Ali Ndume was defending why they will not buy Innocent and why they will continue to buy uh, Japanese vehicles. Is this yeah. same politicians with this mindset that they are we're not going to help? Profess yeah. and we will take the advance who implement it. So if we don't fix that part of our system, all the good policies we are bringing up cannot work. And then lastly, I've had doctors here. I have doctors in Canada who have set up arrangements, met with Minister of Health. Don't we're not asking you for money. 
were just asking for permission to come and carry out a medical, uh, what do you call it, medical outreach and all those things. And Minister and PAMSEC will be looking for greasing. I have on good authority from Professor Pato Tommy. Once upon a time, there was an initiative from an American institution that came to Nigeria to set up something. It was technology driven. And he referred them to the minister responsible. And the minister promised he would do something. Four months, five months, six months, eight months, nothing was coming. They went back to Professor Pat, but said, okay, you know what? Let me find out from the minister what is going on. He goes to the minister. And what did the minister tell him? Ah, this your people are just talking. You know, is it, are they going to do this thing for nothing? And the man was like, what are you talking about? He was looking for a gunja to just be specific. Pat Utomi had to go back to these people to say, you know what, please, I can't get involved in what is going on. Where else do you want to go and set up this thing in Africa? If it's Ghana, please go there. And that's how Nigeria lost an investment. So, so the mind, what for me, our ranting is about mindset. I've spoken about it here. We need to change our mindset. The moment you start changing, if we have a raise, 10 raises with your kind of mindset, sitting in the National Assembly, sitting close to a president, making policies, perhaps we start having changes. But for the type of people, the principalities and the powers we have right now, sitting in Asorok, sitting in National Assembly, I don't understand how we're going to make this progress. So we're not ranting. I understand your frustration. Oh, we're actually, yeah. there are, many of us are even meeting behind and asking ourselves what we can do. You may not know it. Talking about how we can bring. Is that, I would to love to be. Place. I would love to be part of this because I mean yeah, so, somehow so, because if we don't do something, I don't uh, see the set of these you. politicians being able you. to do are you something. The, are you the floor, please? Rudolph, yeah. Rudolph, thank you. Thank you very much for for clarifying. Tell people to use their time to rebut whoever they want to rebut, and if that occupies all their time, that's fine. If you give us one minute, I haven't uh, made my own contribution on the allow topic. To remember, to their, allow people to use their time to rebut. Okay. The only so thing thank, thank you very much, gentlemen. Please, I would have to yeah, take Ray, my leave Ray, now. Ray, thank you. Oh, oh, oh Ray, 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 please, can you give me a minute? I just wanted a, a minute. I will use my minute judiciously. Uh, you gave a good idea. Okay. Uh, and one thing I just want to say, you know, in in kind of like in uh, contribution to what uh, Chim has said, is it not when you have security that you can actually think of investing? The Tatashi, you know, you're talking about, farmers don't have that safety. And nobody is even saying anything about security anymore. The other day, about 40 people were killed in the north. Nobody is talking about it. That we sit here and we talk. In every one of us, in my own little way, I tried a few weeks ago and I told um, somebody in my community, I said, you know what? What, else, what about if I establish something like a, you know, uh, a Babins, you know, college for you guys, you know, most of the guys that are, you know, that doesn't have uh, any job doing and I will be paying them, you know, just to learn. And guess what I was told? <laughs> Nobody wants to do that. They are more interested in Yahoo Yahoo. So... <laughs> I mean, am I supposed to go and force them to do it? But that is what is going on. The thing that is happening in Nigeria is systemic. Uh, systematic. We have a systematic problem. The security guys are not doing anything. They just collect money. You hear them talk about, oh, we we'll provide security, we we'll provide security. Elections is coming in Imo State, Kogi State, and, and I bet you the voters' apathy that will be in those elections but none of us we imagine it but i you know i rest my case for now all right thank you thank you my friends uh KJ. okay uh thank you so much um i don't know are we still contributing or we're going ahead to no we're now we are contributing we are on the topic number one which is uh uh yachts and um and the expenditure of the government in terms okay of um you, you know the interesting thing about the york is that um 
I don't know why people are kicking against it. You know, you should allow this man. He, you know, they are going to hold executive meetings at the, you know, the middle of the ocean. How do you want them to get there? You know, Nigeria is trying to build. A, you know, look at the extension that Lagos State wants to build now. How, where will the meeting be held? You know, who shouldn't be in a yacht? You know, you know, and they, you know that Nigeria has produced a lot of swimmers in the past who are experts. You know, and then we're not even talking about maneuvering the waters around Nigeria. This somebody should use those waters. You know. Um, tell the truth. Like I said to you, uh, Rudolph, I have lost, not be today, I re lost it again. That is, eh? I don't get any one cobo, one cobo, what you, whatever you call it, to that nation because we are just a bunch of people who do not understand the times and the season which you are living in. Okay? If not, you see, Alin Duma, one of the things you should know about Alin Duma is that he somehow manages to tell you the truth, whether I like it, whether I like it or not. So as he came out and told you, look, forget it, though. it has already been paid. That's the truth. Forget whatever the Air Force is telling you. Who will, you see, these things are, are done on commission. You give your prescription and they build it. You pay for it. They don't deliver to you when you have not paid for it. Please, anybody, uh, Paul, you are, in a, you are, you know, a aeronautical engineer. Do you go and get a plane delivered to you when you have not paid? You pay everything. You finish paying and they will deliver to you. Their hands are all. What, what is the maritime law? Yes. So, Okay, sorry. You also in maritime, so you know that already that ships are not built and then delivered, and then you, you go and deliver yourself, be waiting for your pay. No, you pay. So that is totally gone. Now, if you look at the mindset of those who wrote that, uh, uh, you know, who bought that yacht, you know how where far how far Nigeria is going, because if you are looking at the people who um, there's abject poverty, one hundred and thirty million to be precise, are living under abject poverty. And then your government can afford to buy five billion dollar worth, uh, five billion dollar um, naira worth of yacht, which you apparently use, okay. And then you are buying more aircraft for the, uh, you know, the fleet of the pre the president. So you what else can be described as an, you know, idiotic? What else? What else? I mean, there, should we even be debating this? And you see, my. Why I say I've lost total, I mean, I'm not going to talk about it. It's because the Nigerian people are just docile. They just sit there and nobody's saying anything. Okay? And uh, you see, again, I agree with Chim when he said, you see, Peter will be lost it. You see, look, as a Christian, there's a time the Bible asks you to take action. There's a time to be peaceful. But there's a time to go out. In fact, there's a scripture in the Bible that says that you should hold a javelin, your javelin in one hand and hold your Bible on the other. He didn't call you to stupidity. He didn't call you to forfeit your territory because if not, Israel should have also clapped their hands and gone to sleep. And those people who are hoping that Israel is going to relent, even if the whole world says Israel should relent, they are not going to relent. They are going to take that land each by each until they, re you know, they remove those uh, so-called people that are totally against them. Look, the, the, the truth remains. How do you hold a nation that has over a... 230 million people to, you know, and then you don't even, you, you wake up and you're just doing stupid things. Okay, you are borrowing money to go and buy luxury goods. You are borrowing money to buy luxury goods. Not money for education, not money to, 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 to repair the roads, not money to, you know, pop up the infrastructures, not money to build factories, not money to even try to stabilize your Naira. You are holding, borrowing money to spend on luxury goods and you keep telling the Nigerian people to, you know what, gear up, don't worry, sacrifice them more, you know. My brother was trying to get me to, you know, train him. He had to go and renew his, his license. To renew his license, everything is going to come to about 32,000 Naira, okay, which is all the pop-up they've done. And that's minus all the, non or nonsense, the nonsense stuff they put in the registration of the vehicle. Alpha. Hmm? So what am I trying to say? I don't know. Rudolf, Rub I said I should leave, and so um, you can explain what's on the screen. No, no, or what. no, 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 no. Keep talking. Keep talking. That's, okay. that's the subject, yeah. So, so what I'm now saying is that my brothers, if we are expecting something different from what we are seeing, I doubt it very much. I doubt it very much. Okay, I doubt it very much. I don't. I. I, I don't know. I don't. You see, uh, look. The, the the truth of the matter is that the best way for Nigeria to go forward is just let's go back to regionalism. If we don't want to let the countries, let's all go back to the journalism. Let the regions take control of their places and let everybody do whatever they want. 
But tell me which justification. I don't have I've thought about it and I'm I'm just like uh Pasa said, it runs my head crazy. Okay. You know, my head, we're not we're not in Australia. You're not uh, you're not uh, in Madagascar. Why are you buying yachts? Why are you buying yachts? And some crazy people are even following because they all have built in a gunja into that that budget. That's the only reason why they are proving it. Okay, that's the only reason why they are proving it. They built their a gunja into it. So that five billion, I'm still definitely sure some of them will come out of it millionaires. Okay. Because that is all, only what they specialize in. And I was telling my wife that I said, if I was Nigeria, I probably by now I would have joined APC because I had the best way, you know, to live a peaceable life. You join them and people eat the country down. Whenever it finished eating down, everyone can go their way. If you survive, survive. Because you, you look, even Dying in this, life. if you go to the panel, you know, the people making comments, they are calling you stupid because they are saying like where they're living should be good. They are calling you stupid. They are giving you names. They are saying all kinds of things. It's not because they're going to, whatever, if Nigeria becomes good tomorrow, it's going to be, you're going to be the part of the people to enjoy it first. It is them who are living there. And they don't see what you are saying as any contribution. Rather, they, this morning I was listening to Asare Dakubo and he was saying, oh, now he's warning Tinibu because this appointment, what he's doing now, is going to be a problem to him and he cannot defend him any longer. Oh, you're waking up now. You Good morning, as the Ibos will say. It's your morning now. You forget the song, Tom by Tom, no. Thank you so much, Rudolph. All right. Thank you. Thank you, KJ. Um, let me go to uh, CM. Yeah, CM, welcome. Thank you, Rudolph. Th thank you, Rudolph. Good afternoon, everybody. It's like I came at the right time. Actually, um, I had a, the last, somebody was saying we should be preferring solutions. That's good. But that's what we've been doing here. I'm not trying to hold brief for Chim because he said it all. That's what we've been doing here. But the thing is, how many of those solutions have been put into practice so that we know whether it has worked or it didn't, it didn't work? Because the English man will tell you, why make a law when you can't enforce it? Why, why do you waste your time making a law that if you park your car, this place, we tow it and then maybe smash it and somebody did it and you didn't do anything so it means that you shouldn't have made that law so you see we've been pro we've been preferring solutions but the thing about nigeria is one thing people should understand about nigeria is nigeria must first by hook or by crew whether we like it or not intended or unintended we must find ask ourselves the truth it's part of nation building dialogue is part of nation building what really are we doing? Do we really want to continue like this? Garbage in, garbage out. In 2015, Orubebe, people must have forgotten, God the Orubebe, held up uh, Jega and his, he said, look, this is a, sh a sham election. We can't accept this. We, we can't accept it. He cited so many instances to show that there, is mo there was massive rigging. Ordinarily, what a serial government will do is that they do what they call root and branch examination after everything. They do it in the UK here. You evaluate, you interrogate, you set up a panel, and then lesson learned from it, you carry it forward. People say, hey, no, let's move on, let's move on. Dollar then was around, uh, pound was it that 250 to the pound, as that when Jonathan was leaving. We moved on. Eight years later, pound was around 700. Now we moved on again. We are now talking of 1,500 naira to one pound. It's not, he say, move on, move on. Why are you moving? We've been moving on since 2015 at least. Look at where we are moving to. So Nigeria, I don't, Nigeria defies every solution. No matter what you say, it defies every solution because the people are not willing. The people are not willing. When a senator on Dume tells you that they don't want this type of car, they want a, 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 they want a car from Japan. Do you know what it means? Let me tell you. When you borrow money from China in dollar or IMF for anybody, you came home, you come home, with you, um, then you, you are back home. The next day, you offload this money to Japan. When you give it to the Japanese company, one, to this year, they will declare profit. Oh, this is a good business year. Two, if they, if they had the opportunity, if they had the, the plan to retrench workers because of bad business, they will say no. Or may even give a bonus this year. Three, the government of Japan will get more tax from their industries and workers. 
Now, what does Nigeria gain? Nothing. But Innocent is there. And Mali, the government of Mali is asking Innocent to supply them vehicle. South Africa wanted Innocent to come and open a plant in South Africa. But Nigeria ignored it. So when you, you do, there's something they said, there's something we say that uh, you that is running, uh, having diarrhea, it is you that will be in the front. Why me that will be escorting you to the toilet will be following you? I can't be in the front. Nigeria should help themselves. We don't want it. Simply because we are not one. We are not. But when you say, people will say propaganda, all this, until we sit down and they address the questions Bola Ige asked. Do we continue? Must we be together? Yes. Under what terms? That terms means constitution. Why can't we buy made in Nigeria to grow Nigeria? Okay. If those senators we are looking at, if you tell them that they have to attend the meeting from maybe Abuja to Kaduna and they are going by road and this a public a public bus, it ends up it might be nothing bus. So you can enjoy it. But why when you now move from the passenger position to the driver position, you now want a different thing? So you see, Nigeria is really that's why sometimes after all this, in fact, let me even caps, let me round up like this. The solution we've been looking for, most Nigerians, majority, found it in P2B. Because he's the person that is speaking the way we speak here, from consumption to production. Let us cut waste. I bet you, if P2B is in Aso Rock, that yacht, P2B won't look for yacht. Oil theft would have stopped immediately because he, he, knows, he knows what to do. But when you have a criminal, a certified certificate forger, age, you don't know. In fact, the world look upon Nigeria now as, as, as a country of uh, criminals. So how can some, I want people to tell me how something good will come out of an evil mind. It cannot work. But when you say it, people will always look for you to call you names and then say you are saying this. If you want, we can continue singing hallelujah and deceive ourselves. 2015 to 2023, eight years, what did we gain? We sank deeper, deeper, deeper because let's move on, let's move on. I mean, election has finished, we had to, have to move on, let's prepare for 2027. By 2027, the road between Benin and the Abwa may not be attacked and people are suffering. So please, gentlemen, when we want to say certain things, or let's not take a blame. Nigeria, we've proffered more than a million solutions everywhere. But the people who feel that they own Nigeria do not want it. Nigeria should have interrogated why was the beavers switched off? Simple, some, something as basic as conducting an election we cannot do. Is that not a shame? Something as we made our own law, we can't even obey it. Let us, okay, let's, we are 10 here on, the, on, the, on, the, on, on this show now, we are 10. And we want to say, Ovia is standing election, Ovia and Paul, and we vote. In the end, we'll be saying, eh, we don't know who win. It will take us three months to be dangling between Ovia and Paul. What we know is one man, one vote. Is that not a shame? Is that not a shame? We switch up beaver deliberately because we don't want P2B to get in. And because, because they, want that, they, they feel that Nigeria will continue like that. Look at the suffering now. What they sell petrol in Iraqiji, where Tinubu comes from, is what they sell it in Inewi. So does it make any difference? What is sold in Omwaha is what they sell it in Bauchi. Does it make any difference? So why can't Nigerians, you know, reason? Forget about all these tribal sentiments. If we want to go tribalism, let us sit down and organize ourselves in tribe. There's nothing bad with it. But if we must, if we must blow the line, let us blow it in truth and honesty. Then coming to waste our time, people will be talking. If you moralize, at the end of moralizing, you can't do anything. Somebody in Gombe told me that they don't go to farm anymore. A lady in Gombe, which is Christian area, Southern Gombe. I said, why? He said, there's no point in planting your crops. The Kafa Kafulani will come with their cattle and eat it up. People do not know that that is one of the reasons why we have high cost of uh, foodstuffs in Nigeria because the people of Benue State that farm very well are in refugee camp. And who put them in refugee camp? The Fulanis. Simple things we have to interrogate. When you have a problem, look from, start from the first principle. The simple ones, you put them together, you know where the problem is coming from. Our own problem, we inflicted it on ourselves in the hope that. Uh, when you cheat the people of Benue State, take their land, put them in refugee camp, then uh, you have arrived. But everybody is suffering it now. A tube of here and 5,000. Nothing is coming from 
um, uh, Benue State. No yam is coming from there. So everybody is now battling and they, they are printing money. Nigeria is in a mess. Let us tell ourselves the truth. Nigeria is in a mess. The earlier we come back to sort it out or we go our separate ways. Otherwise, let's move on. Okay, century 33 is ended. Let's move on. Supreme Court has uh, told us that Abuja is not in Abuja, 25% of Abuja is not needed. Let's move on. What of the forgery? Oh, the, the thing came late. Let's move on. What of is all these things? Are we not are we not ashamed? To be honest with you, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm no longer perfect. I don't what Nigeria is a scam. Coming, bringing people together, we are suffering. By next week, the pound will change, the dollar will change, it keep rising. Now we are buying yacht for what? What do you need yacht for? A president, you want a yacht for what? In a country that is the poverty capital of the world, in a country that Devu Mahi said Nigeria is importing bitumen. Nigeria is importing bitumen, and there's bitumen in those states. I'm not quoting, we, we, we all had it. Maybe the, the road between Lagos to Shagamu must pass, I mean, from Shagamu to Benin must pass through on those states at your If they want to tie that road, they have to go and import bitumen. Why bitumen is in under the soil there? What are we talking about? Do, I thought God helped those who help themselves. What really are we talking about? Why should Nigeria be importing bitumen when there is bitumen in on those states? Who are we deceiving? Tomorrow we say we pray to God, let us pray, let us all. There's no solution. The solution is in separation. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, thank you, uh, CM. And the basin. Okay, good morning, uh, good afternoon, um, doctor. And greetings to uh, my brothers and their sister. Um, we have um, spoken well. We all know that we have, we, we are looking for, we have been looking for solutions here in this, on this program. And uh, part of the solution was the election that just passed, we saw somebody who had a good grasp of what the what the country should be and how the country should move forward. That was the solution. Unfortunately, the powers that be, who want the old system to continue, who feed up the who feed of the old system, didn't allow things to run its normal course, and it, it, it happened the way it happened. So right now, is anybody surprised what is going on? What do you, do you expect less or more on how this man is running the country? Because they all feed from the system that has been their way all along. From the, all of them, you saw they are, they are only interested in what they will get. You are asking people to tighten their belts and instead of investing money in, in making things life a little bit easier for the people, you are uh, spending going on squandermania spending money on yash that you know is too expensive even to maintain apart from the the cost of purchasing it buying cars for first lady who, who doesn't who, who, whose office the constitution doesn't recognize a president's wife where has it happened in 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 same countries lawmakers justifying why they should own uh, suvs foreign suvs and many of them don't even go to their to their, to their villages because uh, bandits and the terrorists have sacked their, their localities. They only land in their state capitals and remain there. In Bonu State now, I bet half of that state, you no, know, there's no administration in half of those states. The, the terrorists have, have taken over those areas. Farmers don't go to farm. And these people are not interested. They're only interested in just what they will get, money, 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 for their own selfish end. And their kids are outside. By the time they are getting older now, their kids will come back, take over. Some of them, their kids are already in the National Assembly. In the judiciary, the same thing. What she was talking about, I, I listened to that Dr. Uh, Professor Jinkan Lose uh, talk. You know, it has been happening for long about the, the seeming uh, quiet corruption going on in the judiciary. He has been exposing them. And you saw what he said, that a justice who retired in, 20, in 2004, Justice somebody or wife said that in the 70s, 80s, only magistrates we are known to be corrupt. Like Shim said, they were asking for cow, goat, sheep, this and that, farmland, and all that as part of their bribery stuff. But in the 90s, it came to the high court, and suddenly, up, 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 at the court, and now this is what we have. And he, he achieved the second thing again, that the man said that the kind of people that have been brought into the bench, that many of them don't even have the capacity to 
manage those positions. And now they have all risen to the highest level now. This is what we get. They don't see corruption as anything. In, in those days, we used to hear that judges don't even appear in open uh, events. You don't see them in ceremonies because they don't want to be seen to be dining with people who are whose cases are before them. But now, what do we see? They invite them for events and all that. The country is just is, is gone. Anybody who is expecting something, say, let us pray for this government. The, 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 the person doesn't even know that this, this is their stock in trade. They will never change. In fact, they have not come in, like she said earlier. They have not come in to say, this is our turn now. It's our turn to eat. And those who are supporting them, they are hoping to get a, um, some, some cake off the table. Those who are supporting them. Because and some of them are even looking at, oh, this system, the way it's going now, maybe by the next election night, will be our turn. So now that we can get INEC to do our bidding, so of us can equally go, let, let us have a mass money. So that when, it's, when, 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 when next election comes up, they will, they will use the same system to come into power. But the country will keep going down down i can tell you that in many communities where there is massive farming going on who have been serving as food baskets in their local local areas people no longer go to farms again because of the situation my own little community in my own or local government in emo state where we have uh, people who are basically farmers they've all left because of ban because of uh, the high uh, military problem over there a small place some ragtag boys are running riots over there now the military cannot go and take them out and so the same thing in, in most parts of the country so the the problem the situation is that nigeria has been living a life for a long time we know it the military came up with a constitution that the people never ascribed to and then it was used to start off the the so-called fourth republic we are we are we are now in, into and there are so many lapses in that constitution that needs to be addressed and the National Assembly, they don't want to do it because they are all part of the system. If you get there, do your own. How can we be talking of buying cars when every four years they buy cars for lawmakers? Some have been, some, some have been there for the last three or four or five terms. So that, that means they, they have maybe four or five cars, official cars, from all those terms. And we are all looking. There's, there's so much to be angry about and, and uh, protest about. But it, it appears that probably they have making, they have, uh, they have worsened our conditions that Nigerians are now like uh, traumatized people. Nobody wants to do anything. Everybody just say, okay, let, let it be. The only solution, like I've been saying before, which uh, Tony Nadi has been saying all this while, no need for any further election. Let us come down and sit and say, how do we want to remain one? If we say we want to remain one, let us sit down and address all issues, be it ethnic, all kinds of issues we have in the country, and address it. Let there be equity for everybody. If nobody wants equity, then People should be allowed to stay or stay on their own, be, be, be their own uh, state or their own country. Because this, this really is not working. One set of people or one set of political class cannot be lording it over the rest of the country, dominating others. It's, it's not done anywhere. The country cannot move forward in this way. And I, I don't want to be hearing about next election because come next election, it will even get worse. Because if this madness is not stopped, people will be emboldened to, to act more. See what some governors are doing now. Those who want to return to government house or those who are pushing up their, their surrogates to become governors. See how, how they are doing. Like my own state now, I, I heard that the governor has bought, has um, booked almost all the hotels in no worry. For what purpose? Because that may be where he's going to do his thing. His vegan thing. And I neck we collude with him to, to make it work for him. And they will, they will ask him to go and vote. People may not come out so much to vote, but they will, they will write their results in their normal way and they will say we should go on. The country is only in a, in a mess, in a serious mess. I'm, I'm saying that for me, the only way out, the, the only way out is a systemic dress down of the, system, of, of the country, a true dress down. We have to come down and sit down and discuss Nigeria. How do we want to go? Because we can't continue like this. People go into powers in, in here, here in the US and other places for, to serve the masses. But over there, they go in there for, for their own selfish end. Even the so-called labor, labor lawmakers that we have voted in, they are, they are doing the same thing. Everybody wants to grab and grab. Thank you, doctor. All right, thank you, Ndubesi. Uh, let's go to Ngozeka. Ngozeka, welcome. Ngozeka, meet yourself.
Well, am I audible now? Yes, but yes, you are. You are now. Good evening. So please, I apologize for the mask. I have a really bad bout of Qatar and I'm in the market. So I had to wear a mask because it's Rudolph, is it an automatic thing? Something is muting her automatically. Not me. That is Nigeria, you know. That's why we are here. Everything is being am muted. I, am I audible now? Are you hearing yes. now? Yes, you yes, can, you can hear you. Go ahead. So I was saying that um, I apologize for wearing the mask. I have a really bad bout of Qatar, and I'm in the market, and it's really dusty here. So I didn't want to aggravate it. That was why I wore the mask. I apologize. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Dr. Damages, our panelists, and the viewers, and all the people in the comment section. So I I, I was watching in the background. I was going in and out because I was inside the market, like I said. And I only came to say one thing. See, uh, last week, we had an interesting session on this show where Omoyes Kona said something. Nigeria is turn by turn limited. And I really feel sad, very sad for people who, for whatever reason, feel Nigeria cannot happen to them. And when I say Nigeria happening to you, it, it, it might not kill you. No, it might not kill you. It might not be that lucky. Because, yes, I, 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 I consider people that are dead the lucky ones because they don't feel anything anymore. They are gone. It, might, it can happen to you in various ways. The, the, the failing institutions, when you need them to come through for you, they will chew you out and spit you out. That is Nigeria happening to you. When you buy something today and you run out of it and you go back to buy it and it's no longer the same price, that is Nigeria happening to you. When you have an appointment very early in the morning and you can't leave because... Of course, your safety is not guaranteed. That is Nigeria happening to you. When you go to the hospital like I did, and they misdiagnosed me, I was misdiagnosed, and given a prescription, and when I got to the pharmacy, the pharmacy people changed the prescription. So on top of the fact that Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir. On top of the fact that I was misdiagnosed, Jesus Christ. Thank you, sir. On top of the fact that I was misdiagnosed, I still got the wrong prescriptions. When I went to the pharmacy inside the hospital, they didn't have the drug that the doctor wrote. And they gave me a different one that had nothing to do with what was wrong with me or what the doctor said was wrong with me. So Nigeria can happen to you in many ways. And for people to sit here every other Saturday and talk as if they live in space, it's, it's I don't know what to think sometimes when I come home. Like that's why sometimes I just sit and uh, watch and no comment on that. Like the show we say, I I don't have anything to add. And this is me telling you that, yes, called obedient uh, whalers, they can sleep, like I said on last week Saturday, they can sleep with a clear conscience, knowing that they did not bring this, they, were, they had no hand in bringing this to them. So, but you lot that have a hand in this and are still supporting whatever wrong move this, this government makes, you people really have something wrong with you. That is the only way to say it. This whole yard thing, how can any normal human being defend this, this, this latest <laughs> addition to their madness? How can any normal human being defend this? How? How do you rationalize this? They are telling us to tighten our belt to the point that we don't have any, anything left to tighten the belt on. There is no structure to tighten the belt on. I am buying a yard. For what? Make it make sense. How somebody is defending it? Only this drafting nonsense to defend it. How? What? She didn't even use to laugh at me because she has gone to the market again and she's going to come to tell us price. If I tell you price, half paint of tomato is 2002. You know what half paint of tomato is? If you have five children, plus you and your husband, you can't cook Sunday street for you. The Sunday street will finish that day. That is half paint of tomato. It's 2002. So if you buy half paint of tomato, what else are you going to buy? Choose and cook this too. Are you are people come here and defend nonsense? What are you defending? Don't you have conscience? Is it like your consciousness or what? It's not, it's put me in the back seat. I don't have anything to add. Maybe I'll come back later when I get home. All right. Even, 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 even they said that bread, a love of bread, 
it's over 1,000 now. Let me give you that, price now. Shabi, somebody is, was smoking is, yourself is, and not me. That every time I come, I come and say prices of things. The, the, the decent bread you can buy now, when I say decent, something that is not cheap, <laughs> that is not cheap, that you can get now, it's from 1,011. Hey. And if you have kids, <laughs> if you have like two kids, you will use that bread for just that day. And it will finish. And the following day when they are preparing for school, you have to go get another bread. So in a week, if you're going to have, if you're going to incorporate bread uh, into your meal, like three times, you're going to spend 3,000 euros to buy bread. Who does that? Who? So bread is very do that. Are you, are you, are some of you come here. Some of you come here. Egg, egg, a crate of egg, a crate of protein, a crate of egg, it's now 2,800 naira. 30 pieces of egg, 2,800 naira. If you have kids, Wait. you know how many kids uh, egg do you use to make breakfast for them? To make lunch for them. And it is the cheapest protein. And the other thing I do not even afford it anymore. And people come here and rationalize nonsense in the name of uh, the, the, this government to favor me and my family. Favor you and your family, which you and your family. Are you okay? Favor you and me. People are suffering every day. You will see people that in their entire lives, in their entire lives, they've never had to ask somebody for one naira. This time around, they've gone to beggars and they can't help it. They can't help it. And people sit here and rationalize nothing. Mm. How do people do this? How? How? How do you sleep at night? Or are, are you paid to do this? Or you are really just that wicked? Because let me understand. I can't I can't hold it anymore. The people that defend these things that this government do, are you paid to do it? Because you have to receive payment for your wickedness. If not, your wickedness is a waste. Because you can't be this wicked for free. You can't be this heartless for free. There's no way. There's no way any normal human, unless of course you're a sadist. Which I'm beginning to think that, yes, some of you are really, yes, are really sadist for coming here every Saturday to defend every nonsense this government does. Every single Saturday and Sunday, you come here and defend it. And when people try to technate you, you call them all sorts of names and call them whalers. Are you even listening to yourself? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want Nigeria to work with you. Support, support, to, support, support it. I beg. <laughs> yeah, Doctor, right. can I quickly just weigh in? I'll go back to backstage. You know, I, I, all right, go ahead. I'll, yeah, I'll uh, Gozika, uh, I can feel your frustration. Uh, actually, your figures in terms of the cost of egg is, I think, it differs from state to state. In the state I sat two days ago it was three thousand. Yours is two thousand five hundred. Where where I'm from, Mugele is three thousand naira. So, and she's actually right. Let's put our jokes aside. We can pardon those who are in the comment section, and uh, but when we come on the panel, uh, what is happening in the country over there is real. Uh, to me, the yacht is not an issue. Uh, to, I mean, anybody can buy a yacht. Any government can buy a yacht as long as they are doing right by the people. I mean, uh, I mean, Biden can decide to say they want to buy a yacht, but when the figure is presented to the house, questions will be asked as to why do you need a yacht? How much does this yacht cost? Can we? Don't we have other things to do? So, and I keep saying, and I will say it again. It's a pro as a prophecy. Our major problem is when we hold those who are responsible for oversight on the executive, uh, then we will start to see the change. And when we also, the citizens, start to perform of our oversight duty on the legislators, then we will see a change. It doesn't matter if Spitobi that is there. Like I said this, and I'll say it again over and over. If he's there, the same principle will still apply. The rule of law. And if we don't address, actually, what's the name of, I mean, uh, Rudolph, what's the name of that uh, legislator that says they, they gave the, the, the executive presented uh, the bill for the cars and they didn't ask questions. All they do is they just... Ali Ndume, Ali Ndume, Ali Ndume. You, you can see that the executive presented 
to them rather than them rather than asking questions as to what do you need this money for why do we need to buy so so amount of cars don't we have enough cars there are other issues what do they do they will just sign it free to go so please don't let us come and defend foolishness uh, it's it's what in Gaza is saying is true I, I know some people take nigeria for a joke but those are lives there it's, it's not a joke those are lives generation to come will be affected is is affecting us it's going to affect generations to come if we don't do things let me weigh a bit on what Jim defended or tried to defend his statement earlier when he spoke about uh if peter b wants to be president he must be prepared to die if, I, if i'm quoting you wrong i apologize now it, the fact of the matter is in the present context of nigeria anyone who is coming forth to say they want to take the nation forward or recapture the nation must have that at the back of their mind that is just the truth the old truth and nothing but the truth because of the system or the corruption or the so-called evil, evil people that what that exists i will leave it at that because i'm going to run a broadcast on it sometime maybe tomorrow or sometime in the future rudolph thank you i'm going back to the backstage now god bless all right thank, thank you so much um so there's an as aspect of this that i want us to quickly maybe not everybody will wait maybe not for long but i, I want us to um touch on this um, this is the, uh, the list of what they had on the supplementary budget. And when it came out, uh, the first thing that happened was that uh, media picked on, on a few things and started talking about it. The yacht and the, um, and the vehicles for the first lady were the, the, the big ones. And the defense from the government, I want us to weigh how the government reacted. Uh, if you look at people like Bayon Onoga, who is uh, advice on uh, strategy and information, if you look at the, the genesis or how, how the defense he presented came about, uh, it raised a lot of questions. How many people saw this? How many people saw the, the supplementary budget before it was presented to the, to the Senate? What did they say when they saw that? What did they say about this? That you are going to spend 200 million naira, uh, naira to computerize ASOROC. Was it not computerized before? They are going to spend 2.5 billion to renovate uh, Shetima's uh, Agoda house. They were going to spend, um, I, I don't have all of them here, the, the, the residences in Lagos, uh, one for Tinubu and one for Shetima. So, so there are fundamental questions here. One is, did they feel that those things are really needed to be done? Or uh, do they think that there are no better ways to, if the president needs to go to Lagos, uh, could he stay at his home? And he had, I think he built a new house in Lagos. Would they fortify the house and have him stay there? Would that have been cheaper for the country? Um, so there are so many things about the reaction. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the reaction because it's important that we understand this process. Um, initially, the government said, oh, um, we didn't put it there. It wasn't for the president. It was for the Navy. It was just called presidential. Yeah, it was just, you know, so many things. And then, oh, it was done by the government of uh, Buhari, not by our government. And then we had down that, oh, it's been delivered. Uh, we are not really buying it. You know, so well, that tells you there's something wrong in communication, in the process, uh, how we do things, in even the, the, the passage of that. How, how many people, I'm interested in how many people saw this? Did they raise any questions? Did they think that they needed to explain this to Nigerians before it goes out there? And when it came out, now they started running for what do we say. So uh, let's weigh in on this and then we go to another topic. So I, I think I'll just, if you want to weigh in, raise your hand and then we can go. I don't want everybody to just um, to go around and around. We, okay. we never um, talk at all. It's, it's, it's my turn. It's my turn, doctor. Wait, wait, wait. No, see, no, okay. have to Who did I have it? on the issue myself. Who did it? It's my turn. We have not said anything since. So. We did all <laughs> yeah. the introduction. It's my yeah, turn. Let's start from there and I'm start sorry. going back. I'm sorry. I thought everybody spoke on the issue. All right. No, we just made introduction now. 
Okay, all right. Just, uh, so that, Dan, I've not spoken. I've not spoken of you. I've not spoken. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I've also not spoken. No, I've been it, talking about that. And the time. Yeah. All right. Okay. So That's let's now that I now that I introduce a different angle to that. So uh, Dan, start start the conversation. Okay. Thank you very much, Doctor Damages. I want be, before your show, you were saying that we are going uh, viral in Nigeria. I'm so happy about that because it, this is my own contribution. Whether that my being here will help Nigerians to to understand where we are going, and to be honest, I'm not. I don't care. Anybody can put my picture anywhere. I'm proud to fight for Nigeria because I've been looking for a way to fight for that country, and if this is my way, I'm happy. And through my music, of course. So, uh, before we are going to my my topic, I won't waste much time like usual. That brother who said that we are living in Europe. Or uh, the diaspora, we are feeling happy. Bob Mali was asked one question. They asked him, you have made a lot of money. He just kept quiet. Then after I asked that guy, what is money to you? What is riches to you? The guy was stunned. That guy who thinks that we are living in diaspora, we are in heaven. He doesn't know it. I wish I was in Nigeria, my own country, where I can walk freely, where I can eat the food I was brought up with. You understand where the sun can shine on my on my skin and give me vitamin D. I'm living in a very cold country. So it's not easy. I want to make that clear to that brother before I go in into the main topic. Yes, now, uh, uh, Pitobi, to be honestly with you, I he disappointed me personally. Because I remember there was one video that went viral exactly the time they cheated us in that uh, uh, election. I think the next day, one brother was asking, say, oh, I ain't Iwasiba. Pitobi was telling him and Andy Anogo here for so long. I gave you one a weapon. But Mali had a song too. He said, strike the hammer, strike the iron when the when it's hot. If not, you lose it. You want to change Nigeria, you want to rule Nigeria, you want to help the obedient people. And it came, he came when Nigeria was yearning. We are, look, we are looking for people. Shawore has come up in 2019. They brushed that brother away. You came up now. We decided to come to you. You just let us down. Now, in fact, now everything has lost because now Tunubu has legitimacy. Anybody will talk now, they will just carry on. Put one corner and say you want to... You know what I mean? It's, it's now, I forgot what that, what that offense is. When you want to take over a government where they don't Treason. recognize... Treason. Treason. So nobody can say anything again now. All what we are saying now is uh, maybe we just manage and pass through. Or maybe there will be something magically that will come up that will bring us back to the street. So Peter B for me, oh, for me, oh, I don't know other people personal, you know, my own personal opinion. Yeah. He let us down. He has he has made me very sad. And I know many Nigerians are angry with him. And let him just go out. But I don't want him to come up again because. He came to Labour Party, and the people who were contesting for Labour Party gave him everything he needed. People, people like Patu Tommy, tore his, tore his uh, uh, nomination in the television. Okay, this brother, so he come here, let's give it to him. He let us down because he's afraid. And I remember that saying in one of Macbeth's story or uh, Julius Caesar: "Cowards dies many times before they are dead." He's a, he's a coward to me. Yes. And to conclude, like my system used to be, all these expenditures they are doing, yachts, this, or whatever they are buying, first lady, and all this money they are stocking. Since they came to power, that's what we've been hearing, how to spend money. And they say we don't have money. They never said they want to open one factory to, to, to do one thing, to employ people. They never talked about uh, refinery, nothing. All what they've been saying since they came to power is how to take care of themselves. You have shown us a list now. They want to renovate uh, vice president's office, uh, billions. They want to, to, to put computer. All the things that has already been done. Many brothers have spoken. I don't have much to say again. They've said it uh, every time they buy a new car. Just like when they come in, they, they change the new uh, chief of staffs. Every time they buy, they, do, they just use Nigeria's joke. They use us to laugh. They fuck us up. But I know that one day, like they say, monkey go go market, you know, go return. I know there will be somebody who will rise up somewhere. Or 
when the hunger, you know, hunger can make somebody angry. When that hunger bites more, more, maybe one thing will change. And Nigeria will now realize that no, we have to get these people out. And I pray it won't get to that point. That is my own fear because. An angry man, a hungry man is an angry man. This is what is left now because we are watching them helplessly. You know what I mean? We are just like helpless. What can we do? If you talk now, look at our brother. I, in fact, I was very happy what happened to him. That guy with them blowing face, where, where, scatter all his face. I'm very happy because when they tell us they are going to strike, everybody's ready. They will just give. I don't know what, I don't want to, to, to contradict myself. Whether they give them something, you no. Know, they could just talk, so, okay, we postpone. I was happy the day they give him that blow because this is what they have been doing to Nigerians. They give us hope. Suddenly, they will bring the hope down. Now he went to him and said, now, okay, now the action, they beat him. Where, where? I'm happy. I'm very happy. And I was told they were going to fly him abroad to go and treat him. Uh, and God no, they, that trip to abroad, whatever, won't happen. Because poor people are suffering. When they beat a poor man, somebody says somebody stole bread or the other day, they kill them in Nigeria. But the politicians are stealing billions. Nothing happens to them. But when a, a frustrated person now goes and commits something out of hang, hunger, they burn, we same people will burn him alive. Let me stop you and continue listening. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much. Uh, Paul, you're next. Yeah, doctor. Yeah, talking about um, the cars that they're buying from the Senate and the, the York itself. It, it, it makes me laugh because when you're talking about you're buying that type of cars and everything, you talk to the manufacturers, they you they customize it to your taste. It's like buying a brand new house in the West. You have that privilege of saying, okay, a four-bedroom house, I need four-bedroom and suite. You want maybe, you want all the bathrooms in the room or you want maybe two bathrooms then they start giving you your coat and everything. When I was buying house, it's okay. I want all bathrooms there. It's okay. One extra bathroom in the kid room will cost you extra $25,000. Okay. I hear you. <laughs> Make it two and a half, not four. This is how you cut your cost or you say, you know what? I want it. The same thing with aircraft. The same thing with buying of a yacht. You can never go get a yacht and say you see a yacht in the showroom and everything. Nobody buy that type of yacht that everybody must have walked through the manufacturer and see that yacht. They walk the person through and see everything inside. Nobody does that. You want to customize it to your own taste. So for us to hear a yacht and hear that it's already in Nigerian water and everything, you know, this this is something that they've carried out. And if somebody like my old friend called Kulata who said this thing was appropriated during Buhari's government, so if the Nubu government is telling you about it again, which means they are still paying, which means price don't go up. Somebody is still re-customizing it again. More to say, no, I don't want that black and white TV. I want this LED TV. <laughs> you know? So these are the things. So by the time you check the actual cost of this yard, you'll be marveled. The same thing with aircraft. You must customize it to your taste. You have that luxury of doing so. In fact, not like you have the luxury of doing so. The manufacturer want to convince you to do so. They tell you, oh, this is the latest thing. Oh, when you check the gate yacht, he has this. When you check this one yacht, he has this. They convince you because the more they keep convincing you, the more you pay more. If you go buy a car, the same thing. They convince you with this, with that. You have intention of what you want to buy. Then they start convincing you, you, you pay more. So I think that yacht thing, it's, it, it, this is the height of, we not having the National Assembly, you understand, to, to check all these things because they are all the same. The National Assembly was the one that we were crying some weeks back. Now it moved to the executive arm. And when we talk all these things, you just look, it makes me laugh. Now some 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 other persons will tell you about uh, when Alain Dume is talking and every one of them talk about the innocent motor and the not cars and everything. The same thing goes to those people. You don't go buy a car like a poor man like me that will just go to the store and walk around, walk around, see one and say, I like this one. Then you close the deal. You don't go buy a brand new car like that. You are buying plenty. They're going to bring it to your taste. You can ask that same innocent 
You understand? You can get your own specifics. They're going to customize it, design it to your own taste. But love of a nation, we don't have. Doctor, when I look at my street, when I look at your street, we look at everybody's street, what we see, we see Germans, we see Japan, the Japanese car, the German car. Today, we see the South Korea, the Kias everywhere. We don't see the Nigerian cars in our Nigerian street and road. All we see is foreign cars. We live here in the West. What do we see? We see the American cars. We see the so-called foreign cars. Good percentage of the foreign cars are the cheaper ones. Some may be luxury, and it's not for everybody. You know, it's not for everybody. The Americans, I like the way Americans call Mercedes-Benz and BMW. Of you can testify. When you buy a BMW or a Mercedes in America, your American friend will say, damn, you got a foreign car. You know why? Because it's really, really expensive. But when you drive a Toyota, that's also another foreign car. They will tell you that, oh, I like that car. It doesn't consume gas. <laughs> because it's cheap. <laughs> you for, see? For, they don't call for, it foreign for, car. For Mercedes-Benz, is not, it's not expensive. It's just the maintenance that is expensive. Put together. Yeah. Now. That's why now, when they make you understand, you buy the high premium gas. You understand? Mm -hmm. Only when we see the high premium gas, we go buy gas. You know, we don't even go there <laughs> because sometimes you maybe you are talking, you make mistake and you press for the high premium, you stop it immediately <laughs> and restart all over again to buy the cheaper gas. You understand? Because we understand the cost that is going to tell on us. But in our country, our so called government, our so called leaders don't think so. That's what I'm saying. We might protest, we might fight, we might do everything. But within them, that's when you get somebody who will disrupt the system. You know, and it's good, you know, but the, the biggest mistake that we, have, we tend to understand sometimes when we bring the word called solution, people don't really understand how solutions work. Solutions, first of all, come with problem because problem expose the people. They're within them, some of them want to do. So people might think we don't do anything. All we come here to do, we talk about problem, problem, problem. We don't talk about solution. But when we talk solution, because my solution is going to be different from the solution of uh, chain. It's going to be different from the one of OVA. Then we just become united, we stand, divided, we fall. But in different ways, we can do things in a different way, in a small way. Doctor, some years back, I tried to help, we tried to put together our school association to help my schools and everything. I'm an Umbuka guy. You understand? I do all this casting, buy things, school district, 5,000 shares. You see, school rejects gifts that you are giving them. The school district, you inform them, they say it doesn't work like that. Because sometimes, again, this so called government, they get scared when you try to support their institutions, their schools, because they feel that maybe you have political intention to use it or you want to use it to talk down on them. Because if I'm getting all these things and I want to get tax free, I want to get this, I want to take pictures, I want to do videos. The schools that give me the second biggest school district in Arizona that give me all these chairs, I bought 5,000 chairs for 50 cents. That if I walk one mile, I'll pick 50 cents in the street. I'll pick coins, I'll pick 50 cents in the street. 5,000 chairs for 50 cents. You understand? And I can ship these things. They can support me. I can ship these things. They'll still support me with money. I can still use it to write up tax. But they want evidence to know that I'm not selling this. Now to take that video to show the school that you're sending it, they are scared. Is it that this guy wants to contest politics and he's not our party member? So which means for me to help in Delta State, I'll first of all go be PDP in Delta State. If I'm to help in Lagos, I'll go be an APC strong man. So that if I'm helping, they're looking at party man. But the person who is the party man who is strong over there, he's still scared again that for this guy to be doing this thing, the next election, you probably want to contest because people will start telling him, come and contest and by so we are not, we can't achieve much. But in our different way again, we can achieve. This is where it becomes more micro. I say, doctor, whether it's village or it's town, I don't know. They contributed almost $60,000 to do the things they want to do in his town or his village. I can't remember very well. So this is what we do. And it's so painful because when we start doing all these little, little micro things here and there, it just looks like we are not doing any, anything. It pains me when I send money every day to my siblings. I don't see any results. Their lifestyle don't change. You understand? But if we grow the city, the state, 
or the country, everybody will grow strong. This is my take. And uh, thank you. Let me take the other side. We can go chop before I fall. All right. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. Uh, over here, the next. Hey, Paul, there's a reason I drive one focus, okay? <laughs> Uh, on a yacht, <clears throat> I think I will, I will, I'll make my point in form of uh, rhetorical questions here. <clears throat> We're talking about yachts. Is there really a yacht? Really yacht? If there is a yacht, if there is a yacht, is a rhetorical question. If there is a yacht, who wants it? Who wanted it? If Tunu, if Bola Tunubu really wanted a yacht, can Lagos State government, you know, cop that easily? Why going through all their heights? So if it's not Tunubu that won the yacht, who? I think that's the question we should be asking. Who really won the yacht? Who decided in the Nigerian budget? Why is no. there no serious argument? Okay. okay, hold on, hold on. I think you your question is maybe it's not at this point, it's not the number one question. It's not about who wanted it or who inserted it. The person responds. Uh, hold on, hold on, over here, over here. I, I, for 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 the person responsible for the country today is Bola Tinubu. The person that turned in the supplementary budget is the government of Bola Tinubu. It's not we are not going to be asking questions who is they tell us who they are responsible. That's how the media look. That's how the media looks at it. You don't say that if Biden sends a budget to the to the Senate, then you now send who the Biden is the person responsible for that budget. Is that different? Uh, Dr. Damage, if you allow me to finish now, I Thank said you. the rhetorical question, and I'm, oh. going, I'm going through it. A rhetorical question. Okay. Maybe at the end of it, you understand where I'm coming yeah. or where I'm going with it, right? Mm. So if it's not Blatin, who? I think that's what I should be more interested. We should go to the bottom of it. But again, why is there no serious defense coming from the presidency itself? That's another question we should find out. Why the sweep action to convert the five billion from BH to student loan? And they did that by calling a press conference. So everything just went smooth like that. So again, who wanted the yacht if there's a yacht? Is it a premeditated action that oh they know this is how it's gonna happen and if it is that we're gonna do this? Is that, is that what is happening here? Since when did yacht company deliver yacht before payment? And I don't own one. I know we'll get any member of my family that own one. So that's the question. When, how the production company would deliver you a yacht before payment? Is it because it's presidency? Those are the questions that are asked. In the words of uh, Dick Gregory, Dick Gregory is the first black American to run for presidency. And he won. <laughs> Quote unquote, you can go for a half. That's where you know that. Now, by selection, right? It did actually gave the highest number of votes in the 60s, and there, uh, but they done a different case. Right? But what the man said is that if a state actually want to keep secrets, you will never know about it. And if you know about it, it's not a secret. But the question is that why would they want you to know about it? Those are the questions the man is asking. Also linked to the expand expenditure that we are talking about, how uh, the presidency is running a bogus expenditure and all that. I said it before. The only way to have a successful revolution is when we have a crack at the top and the readiness of the people on the ground. But let the board understand that. Hence, the expansion of the government. You have to bring everybody on board. I started earlier by saying that unofficially we are running a one-party system. So the extent of him expanding all this ministry appointment and all that is to make sure to bring everybody on board. He's saying it, the elephant is big enough. So hence, you are not seeing too much drama going on as we expected it to be. So there's every need for you to pull everybody in, in society position, give contracts, all these houses, they're saying they are there, all these they are lodges in Lagos, in Abu and everything. They are not going to be there physically. It's between, between the members of the community of elite that will be taking advantage of that. That's why I asked who really won the, uh, the yacht. So these are the things. So when the expansion hit them necessarily, and again, that's why I say we should focus. So those people who are saying, yes, they don't need to be again, I see where they are going with it because 
if you actually want a change that will come from revolution, we don't need the elites to be part of the organizers. Because they are our problem in this first place, directly or indirectly. So, and again, if we, on a, on a more light note, if we rent a brand new house, if we go carry only gross water for church, then they clean up, right? Then they get money. You know, Buari, if you are in my hospital for eight years, you now want people to come and just inside themselves like that. Man, those are the light notes. I say that to say there are some things that we can shout from now to heaven. They will do whatever they want to do if they, they find necessary for their cause. Anytime they do something that we think we win, that is because what we want tie with what they want. We should start saying things like that. These people are not stupid. So simply taking care of the elite class is necessary for Blatunu to stay in power and run however he wants to run it. You cannot run a new government. That means you are excluding a lot of a lot of uh, people, especially at this point that we have over production of the elites. We have a lot of people who are qualified for so many things, but they're out there on the street or they're in diaspora. There's a need for you to actually bring as many as you can into power. If not, you stand a problem at the top and at the, uh, and at the bottom. To answer, Chim, let me, let me use your example that you use, which also speak to the main problem that we are having as Nigerians. You, you use an example of how the effort you make to revitalize the road in your community. And the way you go about this directly apply to what uh, Omoye uh, was actually advocating for. Go out there on your own. Come on, go and protest and all that. You carry out that effort, even in the good way, on your own. And you are now you are now surprised that people are saying, hey, most here and I want to do whatever we can do. And that is where organizing comes into play. I guarantee you, if you actually share this your efforts to 60% of those people in the community, you get 20% that would really want to go all the way with you. For the fact that you actually have a connection already in media, which works, you need more of that. And that is where organizing comes to. Uh, to, to play here. When uh, I think it's Raz that was using Atatashi as an example, as an idea, can we get behind it? Make it a community. Okay, let's say, oh, this uh, 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 Rudolph community, we will make sure that I that now that uh, community will be a producer. What we are getting, even though we are not making profit, we are getting people employed. Even though the money is not going to change their life, but the father, they will wake up and say, guess what? I know what's in a good job. It will be very difficult for a politician to just come and swing there with money for them to actually fall for it. All goes into organizing. You're not going to, you're not going to see what you're organizing for immediately. That's not how you're going to work. Even re those that lead revolution, you can actually pinpoint one or two people who actually saw the end of that revolution. If you actually want to carry out the revolution, then it's not about you no more. It's about generation to come. And that's where, when somebody was asking at the comment section that our elites, why is that they don't care about us? Why they don't care about us? They are visionless. Their vision is not beyond their immediate generation. If we have somebody who have a leader who have a vision of hundred years, trust me, how you go take buy a house, buy a yacht, that is not what he's going to be thinking about. So that's the difference between our elite and their elite. And that is why it's very dangerous to actually see our nation political system becoming one. When you have a bunch of elites who don't have vision beyond their immediate generation, it is a problem. If our elites are like the Chinese people, who their vision is 100 years from now, how they would they conquer the moon, how they would they take over the whole world, you will not, will not be hungry that oh, everybody is taking over everything. But it's because their vision is just beyond, it's just within their immediate family, how they, how they would take leave from uh, Dubai, how they would take leave for uh, Manhattan, how they would, that's what they think about. And that's why it's dangerous for them, for we to just have them in one accord and all of them, they did jolly, 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 they go. So it is between us and them. And we don't need them in between us if we actually want to plan to, to achieve success. That goes to a uh, Chima, to I am saying Chima, uh, CM, I agree with him, right? If we both look together, let's find a way, but it is the way. How do we separate? And that is where the organizing and planning comes to place. And the, we have to learn how to work with these people in our community with a long spoon. Somebody, uh, Paul is saying that, oh, you need to go jump out the third before they agree with you. If that's what it takes for you to give your community what they want, so be it. <laughs> right? Maybe I talk too much. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Obi. Um, everybody waiting, I think. Uh, no? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, uh, I haven't waited. 
Okay, you know, as a friend, go ahead. Me too, me too. Nice. Okay, so pretty much for the um the budget. Um I had a little idea of what it was in the fact that you know and I, I didn't see the breakdown, but I knew what it was, you know, before every other thing. And uh, it's interesting how he asked for 2.17 trillion, but what came out is 2.18 trillion. Apart from that, um, the essence of the supplementary budget was as a result of him. When he came in, he kept on spending. Today, you hear that, oh, he's asking for this. He's asking for that. And that is why they ask him, why don't you come up with supplementary um, uh, budget? You know, um, the truth is this. Everyone will not be... Doctor, let me go down. Let me do on the back here. Sorry, brother. Let me go down so that I can fix something. All right. Okay. So pretty much everybody is of different temperament. Some people will be disappointed that will be never ordered for, you know, uh, protest or whatever it is. And I keep asking those people who ordered, who in their own time ordered, how far? If I want to talk, I talk about somebody like um, somebody like um, MK Wabiola. I was in Lagos when that happened, and I knew how far that went. I knew because of that was that particular thing how I moved from Lagos to Benin. I was schooling in Lagos. I had to move from Lagos to Benin because every day, why, you know, when we go to school, it's always one protest, Babangida must go, Babangida must not go, and all, that, all those things that we've been sprayed with uh, 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 the tear gas or whatever they call it. Apart from that, you, 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 there's no transportation, People, their bodies were littered on the streets. I saw that. So, if he has not asked for protest, for God's sake, he's saving a lot of souls. Because the people we are dealing with, is not a, you know, when you see a lion, you think a lion is a coward. A lion is not a coward. He might be gentle, but he's not a coward. And I bet you, the people that would have been affected, it was going to be a lot of businessmen would have lost a lot. That would have triggered a lot of things. And like I said before, Peter B is not desperate. He's comfortable. And people saying, oh, he should have asked for this, he should have... He took the right steps. And today, even a, 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 a white man that I was talking to the other day told me everything about Nigeria. You know? And what did he do? He saved a lot of souls. He exposed the corruption and the whole shenanigans that happened in Nigerian election. So people coming here to tell me, oh, he should, you know, he should have done that. Now, uh, 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 um, 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 what is his name? Charlie Boy have just asked for a reboot. Is the same um, Reno. Reno or Mokri or Mok is now saying that he said it before that their that these people are planning for war. Reno or Mokri just said it a few minutes ago. You know, so in the real sense, it just the whole thing is where is the unity? And if there is gonna be a protest, it has to be done with unity. I bet you some people will say, oh, it's Igbo's problem. Let the Igbo's deal with it. And I believe that most of the four, uh, most of, of, of the elders, I wanted to bring that up in our agenda. I don't know, is there anywhere in the constitution where the elders have been recognized? Because to me, 
the elders we have in Nigeria right now, I refuse to recognize them as elders. Why? They are not up to my dad. They only have a few years away from me. So I will not regard them as elders. Rather, I will regard them as, you know, a bunch of uh, corrupt fellows. You know, both the elders and most of the kings, they all received their Ghana must go and all that kind of a thing. So who, who, who will speak up? Who will say the truth? That's all I can say for now. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you, uh, Chim Yonis. Yeah, um, thank you, Mr. Um, Rudolph. I, I, I will resist the temptation of uh, adding to this whole OB thing uh, because I want to really contribute on this budget matter. But uh, the only thing I will say is, Bob Mali said everybody is asking for peace. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. So I'll leave it at that. Um, so on the budget, um, I'm not sure how many of us were old enough to remember when... Um, Bill Clinton was president of the United States and US was having this uh, balance of trade uh, deficit issues with Japan. Uh, and then they focused more on the uh, automobile industry and they were trying to place more tariffs on Japanese cars coming into the US, if any of us can remember that period. And, you know, the um, I'm not sure who was controlling the US Senate, but wh whichever party was pushing for uh, tariff, you know, that they should add more tariffs, you know, at America's, that the balance of trade was not favorable towards the U.S. And then on the day they were going to vote, something happened. Um, they got to that particular sitting and they started asking all the senators there to state what kind of vehicles they drive. If you are driving a Japanese car, you you state and tell, tell the, uh, the distant why. And it turned out that the majority of the senators drove Japanese vehicles. And the reason why they were driving Japanese vehicles was because it was more uh, economical to manage. So the question was now, why do you want to punish the ordinary American? Since you appreciate that the Japanese vehicles are cheaper to maintain, fuel efficient and everything, you want to force the everyday American to, to be buying the American, not American cars that are big and bogus and are not fuel efficient. I think that was how they ended that conversation. I'm not sure they eventually voted. What are, where am I going to with this? That is how you know how leadership is sensitive to the plight of the people. And the issue is apply the principles you want to enjoy as a person to your people. The Nigerian senators and the Nigerian government officials want to enjoy good life, but they don't want their people to enjoy the same good life. That's the point I'm making. Now, bringing it down to the Nigerian budget, so I would have thought that we have only two months to go. I do not see what the rush is to send in a supplementary budget. Supplementary budgets usually are, are sent in when you have like six months or whatever. This is just two months. Why don't you use this period to prepare for the 2024 budget? And if there are any exigencies that you would have loved to do now, you shift that, those things as a line item into the 2024 budget. That's something more reasonable and rational to do. But no, like I said, we have a bunch of people who want to have good life, but they don't think their citizens are good enough to enjoy this good life that they want to enjoy. That is the problem with Nigerians. Now, secondly, on buying, voting for cars for what I is a, a uh, I'll come to the first lady, but like our senators and co, and all these irrational defenses they make. In the US, at least I know that, they don't buy them official cars. They give them allowances to, you know, help themselves. I mean, you're a senator from Illinois, so you're having to move to Washington. Some don't live in Washington. Some stay in hotels for the period of the sitting, and as soon as the sitting is ended, they fly back to their constituency because they can't afford it. Those who can afford, they come to Washington, especially the top officials, maybe uh, you're the Senate majority leader. They go and rent a new house. Some even share renting. Rudolph, you know this. You see two senators sharing an apartment. It happens here in the US. Now, where am I going with that? We need to abolish this whole mindset of buying official cars for our senators. There are senators in the US who are very wealthy. They have 
private jet so they can easily fly into Washington and fly back to their constituency. But there are other senators who don't have that. They don't have, maybe one of the businessmen. Obama used to, used to hitch a ride with other people. He couldn't afford certain things when he was senator. You would see him, maybe he lived in a hotel. His wife did not come to Washington with him when he was a senator. He goes home every time they had a recess to go and help run his family because he can't afford it. And his constituents can't afford to pay for that. I think this whole mindset of a uniform system of every brand new senatorial or legislative year, we buy brand new vehicles. Nigeria needs to stop it. There is no nation in the world, even in Canada, members of parliament, they are not, their lives are not funded by the state. What simply happens is they give them a latent allowance. Some of them go and stay with their relatives. You will find senators who have a friend. They go and live in the person's basement. And from the basement, they go to the, to the National Assembly to go and, you know, do the business of the day. But we are funding a lifestyle that is taking people from penury. And we are making them millionaires with national budget. We need to stop this. We, whoever is listening to me, Nigerians need to start saying enough of funding lifestyle to take somebody from penury and make him a billionaire through national wealth. It needs to stop. Now, someone said that there's nothing wrong with first lady uh, having car. I don't know where that person is coming from. In the US, Obama is paid a salary. Sorry, Biden is paid a salary. But guess what? Biden funds his feeding in the White House. There is no separate salary for him and then a separate maintenance of uh, his lifestyle in the White House. It is from that his salary. He pays electric bill. It is within, that is his residence. So he's responsible for the electric bill while he lives in the White House. He's responsible for the feeding. If he invites six of us on this panel today to the White House, he will pay for our feeding for that few you know, hours are going to be there if he's going to entertain us. There is no special brown envelope they are going to give all of us. Nigerians need to begin to look at this. I, that, that's why it feeds into why I say some of us are excusing these things because we are hoping that one day we will get there. It will be our turn. It is this mindset of let me not stop this thing so that when it's my turn, then I can also enjoy it. That is why people are not asking for the right things to be done when it comes to the way our nation is being run. Until we begin to take away this mindset that so what happens today becomes my turn. Listen. The first lady is not a constitutionally recognized office. Yes, the Americans, we may have borrowed the first lady concept from them, but still, I do not know any first lady in America that was paid a salary or bought a special car. They drove the vehicle that was already allocated to their husbands. If she was going for a function, it's the vehicle that, that carries the president that will take her it, or in the convoy of the presidency. There's no special vehicle bought for a special, you know, First lady's office, it does not exist anywhere in the US or in any sane nation. It does not exist. It is what's already allocated to, you know, to the convoy of your husband that you enjoy. And then they go into having pet projects. Those pet projects that they run within that period is not funded by the government. They it becomes a charity. They source, they source funding for those things. So for instance, Obama will say, Obama's wife will say maybe she wants to go into horticulture you know, planting of flowers or whatever. She wants to see people, you know, not, uh, stop being obese and all those things. She will go and look for organizations that will fund it, give her the funds to run that project. There is no federal funding for her office because her office is unconstitutional. I think Nigerians need to understand this. Is it too much to ask? Painfully, the same people we are fighting for sometimes think some of us are not making sense. I have come to see how things are run. And I say, how did we get to this place where we are paying the president of Nigeria a salary? Then we are buying a bike for the president's son. Then we are giving his wife a stipend. How? Why? A woman we didn't vote for. If she wants to earn money from being a state official, she should have stayed as a senator. Go and be a senator and then let's know that she's in the Senate. But why now that she has moved in to be her support? She's there to help her husband be with him and everything, cook for him. Her job is not to go and own an office and start running a project that will now become a burden to taxpayers. We need to begin to understand this. And then let me end with Uzodima and the NLC uh, president. Well, uh, I'm happy. I, I don't know. Will I say I'm happy? 
I don't, I retract. I'm not going to say I'm happy it happened to him. But what I, what I want to say is, my question is, number one, where is Oshamale? Where is he? A comrade who used to be, who is now in an office he used to occupy. I haven't heard that man open up to say, even though I share the same political party with you, Zodima, this is wrong. This is a country where the NLC chairman is entitled to call out workers on you know, a protest or whatever it is he was trying to do. You were owing civil servants in Imo State 20 months salary. And the man comes up to ginger and call your conscience, size you to say you can't do this and you brutalize him. Well, the only thing I'm going to say is Imo people, Nakwe Cheki, Nakwa Abako. Because you know what? If you lose the opportunity of throwing that man out, <laughs> that guy will do worse than what he has done to Ajero. So I'm not going to wish Ajero bad, but I hope the, 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 the people who are in uh, those civil society organizations will rise up. Because you know what? It's, today is Ajero. Even if he has sold out, I'm not saying, I, I know that we have this conspiracy that, you know, the civil society people always sell out to government. I know, I agree. I'm not going to live in, in a, a fool's paradise and pretend, you know, but I think it is wrong because today it is Ajero. Tomorrow it could be the, it could be a, a NBA chairman. Who knows who else it will happen to tomorrow because that's how it, it starts die, degrading every day. Lastly, I'm happy with all this budget thing that is happening. You cannot come to office with ill intention through foul means and give anything good. It does not happen. Nigerians, this man says it is his turn. A man who, who did not deem it fit to come to the presidency and respect Nigerians. He never showed up for a debate. He didn't think the person who wants to lead you didn't think he owed you to even woo you. Imagine you trying to marry a lady. You're not wooing her. You're not showing her anything. You can't. You're not going to love that person. You're not going to treat her very well. But that is exactly what Tinubu and his Lagos clique are telling Nigerians. They are telling you that, see, this is what Tinubu is doing us. He's doing like this to Nigerians. And I hope they are seeing it. I, I pray, I pray that somehow there will be some reasonableness. Because I don't know how it's going to for right, right now. I don't think for four years at least. Tinubu is going to be president of Nigeria. Take it or leave it. Unless God in his divine mercy steps in in another way. And I am not looking for a miracle. Because I think a people deserve the kind of leadership that they get. This is what Nigerians always do. We allow ethnicity. We allow, you know, nepotism. We allow all manner of, you know, sectional this thing to bedevil and influence our choice. And then all of a sudden, we fail to realize that when that person comes, like uh, was this CM that said it, that the cost of Gari in Omoaya is the same cost of Gari in Kutuwenji, is the same cost of Gari in Boronu. I'm not buying, the person who is who lives in uh, Joss is not buying it cheaper than the person who lives in uh, Auchi. So it will, it, will, it, will, it will spread to everybody. I, I don't know if we're going to learn from this, but by the time there's a next election, People will say, you know what, we've had enough. Let's vote for something that is that shows sanity. Right now, that's my only contribution. And as we go along, I will chip in any other thing I have to say. Thanks. Thank, thank you so much, uh, Chin. Uh, let's hear from CM. Dr. Damages, it's my turn. <laughs> Somewhere, I see you. Uh, we are moving, uh, we're coming to you um, after uh, this okay. study. Uh, next. Okay, yeah. Um... The, the this thing you showed us, the supplementary budget, by my calculation, it's about 46.1 billion billion naira just to be wasted on frivolities. You see, actually, I don't think how much it is, it is not really how much or how how far we belittle or sort of analyze this and talk about it that matter. Is the people we are speaking to, those listening. What are we going to do with all this? Because, to be honest with you, I do not see why somebody will be defending this government. I do not see. I do not. The suffering is universal. The suffering is common. So, why really are we talking about? Well, who has Tinubu's government favored? He hasn't favored the people. All he's doing there is just to go and, like he's taking a holiday, 
<clears throat> he's enjoying himself. People do not under really under people do not appreciate the depth of mess Nigeria is in. They do, do not understand the hardship, the suffering we are talking about. And they need for them to yes, this is it. And they need for, for us to do something now. It is not enough for us to be complaining. Some people will tell you, oh, you need money. Oh, the man should be there. Be there for doing what? What has he achieved? I thought the purpose of government is to address the welfare, the security, and then the welfare of the people. Two of these things. Okay, issue of power has been forgotten. Completely. Nobody is saying anything about electricity. What if he had declared, sort of, sat down to say, look, how much will it cost us to have 24 power electricity at least within the next six seven months or one year and then you borrow this money and push it there they are not doing that all you are talking about is how to buy a car whether you buy a car i mean from uh, japan or you decide to you know you do not want you do not you do not want to buy from anything to me it's just the people mindset when i look at it i say look when people keep quiet it means that indirectly you are an accomplice you sanction it. You want the government to do something. I mean, you want the government to continue that way. Otherwise, I do not see why Nigerians should still be sleeping every morning, afternoon, night. For what? This is purely anti-human government. The coming, the setting, everything, even the oppression so far, is anti-human. I'm not in Nigeria, yes, but I sympathize, I mean, I, mean, I, I sympathize with those, what they go through. Therefore, yeah, there, there is nothing. No system is working, nothing. And then the man is just borrowing money and buying car. Those senators and House of Reps that are going to receive a 160 million naira worth of car, can any of them afford to buy 10 million naira worth of car before they came in? That is what you think. On your own, even before coming in, can you afford to dip, dip hand into your pocket and buy a car worth 20 million naira? before coming to the House of Reps or House of Senate. You cannot, but you are there receiving a car of 160 million. My disappointment even, let me, let, this one has to go a, a bit of personal. There's a senator that represents a nursing called Ifan Yoba. Did Ifan Yoba stood up, stand up in the Senate to oppose it? To even say at least, let us buy made in Nigeria, in the hope that it will favor his constituency. Because that is the way, that's why you are there. If you hear that Nigeria wants to import yam from abroad, as a senator, you stand up and say, no, people in my constituency can supply it. That is the meaning of representation. But if Anioba is there, and he will come back to Newi and be driving a expensive car, when your brother in Austin is there, and that goes to the senators from all the southeast, if I may narrow it that way. And then the, even the people from those representing uh, Lagos State or even the Southwest, they should have said, no, we won't do this. By the way, the president, why shouldn't he have said, since he, since he felt he's the owner of Lagos, why can't he say, let us buy this car from the car company in Lagos, at least to enrich the economy of Lagos State? So, whichever way you slice it, moving, buying a Japanese made car for a poverty ridden country like Nigeria. It cannot be justified under whatever guise. You can't. You can't. So I have my personal grudge with a senator representing me, which is Anambra South, if I knew about. You should have stand up and said, look, even if you are one, in the end, they, will, they overrule you. But let it, be on, let it be on record that you stood, you stood at the floor of the Senate and then said, look, this, should, this thing shouldn't happen. So these are the people you see. And tomorrow somebody will say, he's my leader. It is not. To me, the issue of Nigeria has gone out of hand. I don't know why people are keeping quiet. Because in the end, we should have done... Amechi gave us a clue. Rotimi Amechi said they do it everywhere. Say, look at Ghana, look at... That is what people would do. Nigeria should have been on their street, man. Saying, unless this government is pulled down, nothing, they, they are not going back home. But when you keep quiet, it means that, um, you know, you've, uh, you've uh, sanctioned, sort of, you've endorsed what is going on. So you cannot come back again and start to complain of a uh, suffering. Oh, we don't buy petrol. Oh, we buy a loaf of bread for 1,000 naira. Oh, we do this, we do that. When what you could do for yourself, you couldn't do it. So this is, the, the, to me, this is, this is my bitterness. When I say I'm bitter, this is why I'm bitter. Not because of me. I don't have personal thing to gain from the government. 
no but when you see people what you can do for yourself you should not wait for god to do it for you what does it cost nigerians to come out and demonstrate and protest and say look this is not what we bargained for they could do that at least let the world hear your voice people will answer at least so that those people doing it will now know that yes in uh, um, this thing is painful to the people even when they w they won't do anything but they won't do it rather people may even be talking about that uh, uh, turn by turn or whatever it is or whatever it is that to me nigeria is nigeria has tanked has grounded if you look at it the way if you if <laughs> if you look at it the way some people will be talking when you now look at it he said okay let us even say those are people making noise those that campaign for tinubu yes your life now I'm better or it's just just blind tribalism just to show that hey now my turn we deprive the i we make these people not to get it and so what and so what i understand that the market women at your joy battle protested because of high cost of living they are not selling this thing. are they the, is it not the people that voted for apc so you see nigerians should learn but if they are doing it like this well i don't know there is no need for tribalism in this type of thing the government is not benefiting anybody. Even the Tinub, the, the those that even buy on Onoga go to his village. Go and ask the people in buy on Onoga's village, maybe Jebuigo or, or uh, Odobolu. They are not benefiting. So what are we talking about? Why are Nigerians so docile? They can't do anything. God, God can come down to heaven. If at the end of the day all these things are happening, more will still happen. By the time you know it, the hardship will continue to increase 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 i don't care what people say about me i don't care because i feel for the people nobody is benefiting the way my somebody from my area is suffering is the world that's are suffering so why should people just be blind and just be talking tribalism or just sectionalism or religion it doesn't work that way everybody is suffering it more so if you are from my area and you have connection you can even benefit from tinubu more than even the people of eragwiji but does it pay is that what is that what this life is is for so when we preach like this or say these things, that is one of the contributions. We have to rouse the people, let them take, take their faith in their hand. That is the meaning. Whether it continue, when they say they let us move, we moved up from 2015 to 2023. What is happening? The people in the north, they can't even go back to their homes. Benue State voted for Tinubu, I mean voted for Buhari up to 60 something percent or 70 in 2015. Yet what did they get? Refugee camp. So is that what we are going to be talking about? Is that what we are going to be talking about? I mean, people should just search their conscience and understand. At this level, people, when I hear people make some very silly excuses or silly noise, you are not better, you are hungry and you are pretending. So what does it, who, who are you deceiving? Who are you deceiving? So please, uh, Dr. Damages, thank you very, thank you very much. I think I have to take my leave or I stay back backstage and then watch what people listen to what people say i don't believe that nigerians can be this docile tinubu is not benefiting everybody the whole country is in a sham in a mess and somebody will still be talking and so what so if you speak the same language with the president does that make you better than the person who doesn't speak the, another language this is the mess we were in 2015 when tinubu when buhari came in we moved on now look at the mess now and it's continuing every day and people are just keeping quiet thank you very much all right thank you cm uh, before we continue, let me just announce that tomorrow on 90 Minutes Africa, we are going to have Dr. Malcolm Fabi. He's the CEO of GAIN. Uh, GAIN is Government Advancement Initiative for Nigeria. He also was a co-founder of uh, the Shores Political Party, African uh, Action Congress, uh, former leader, student union leader at University of Lagos. So he will be our guest. He's going to talk about what recent opinion polls say about the future of Nigeria. So tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. So time is changing tonight in, in America. So instead of 11.30, it's going to be at 10.30 a.m. Um, U.S. time. But in uh, in Nigeria, it's going to be the same for uh, 4.30 p.m. Nigerian time. All right. I think we are the next person is Desta. Desta, thank you so much for for um, the impression. And, um, oh, and, I thought you said it was me. No, you are next after Desta. You know, I'm following the. the path. Thank you, yeah. thank you, Doctor Damages and uh, all the parliamentarians. Uh, I mean, I've listened to what everybody is saying. I think everybody is really um, echoing the same thing in different in different forms. You know. 
Uh, one thing I think, uh, the expectation, there's a difference between expectation and reality. I think we have a very high expectation of Nigeria. And somebody says, in the next election, let's vote them out. I mean, this is state capture. <laughs> Nigeria is under state capture. You can't vote them out. <laughs> That's the simple truth. I mean, look at what happened in River State. Nigeria is under serious state capture. So saying that you want to vote them out, you don't have an option, really. You know, we don't have, we don't really have an option. Then the part of uh, should Peter be what should Peter be do? I, I can assure you that most of the people saying, oh, Peter B should uh, declare protest and all that, they are they will be the first people that will betray betray him. <laughs> That's the simple truth. What happened to Abiola? <laughs> Just take a cue from what happened to Abiola. Did Baba Ghana King Gibe turn out to be part of um, <laughs> part of Abacha's government? Eh? So I mean, all this um, emotional um, talk of oh, do this. I don't. I don't think it works. And if we take a lesson from what Odessi said, he says you are allowed to be angry. He said, but the only time when you you should take an action from your anger. You know, every everything has to align. You know, everything has to align before you say, okay, you make an action out of your anger. You know, so it's not as much as we are angry. I don't think Nigeria is ripe for for the kind of action we are talking about presently, because just you can say something and then Nigeria starts going down. People start going down tribal lines in Nigeria. So you find out that the country is not yet united as one as one entity. For us to say there will be an action. If there's an action taking place in the West and it's not taking place in the East, it will turn to be a regional action. If there's an action taking place in the North and not taking place in the in the West, it will be a regional action. So Nigerians, maybe like the children of Israel, Nigeria has to go through slavery for 400 years so that everybody will come and realize that this suffering is it doesn't know tribe, it does not know religion. It does not know ethnicity that the suffering is for all of us and that for us to take the country forward we have to come together and decide that we want good leadership on the part of the budget uh, i just i mean it's clear we can clearly see the direction this administration is going into the all you need to do is look at the campaign promises look at the manifesto then look at the budget they are variance you know how can the first budget you are request first time you are requesting for money everything there is about consumption there's nothing productive there's nothing productive in that budget there's nothing that is going to bring back money in that budget everything in that budget is a consum is for consumption it's not what one bank, bank wants <laughs> it's not what one bank wants it's what <laughs> our people want it's what the new administration wants it's just telling you what this administration is going to be about. You have people that are out of job. 130 million people multidimensionally poor. You can't say, okay, let me bring out 1 million people out of poverty. For the next seven weeks, look at how much you want to spend on consumption. Just seven weeks to the end of the year. And they will be bringing out another budget for 2024. So that tells you that, first of all, these politicians need to cash out. They need to get back their money that they use for elections. You know, and, and that's the reality of what we are facing. We, the, the thing about Nigeria is that they are seeing these things brazen. They are not hiding about it. And they are doing it. And they don't care. And they are gaslighting you. I mean, I don't know who watched them. Rufai Oseni. I think that was on, on, was it Wednesday or Thursday? Where somebody came on, on, on live TV and said that Tinibu did not remove fuel subsidy. I mean, that's how bad it is in Nigeria. Somebody, they'll, they'll tell you to your face something you know that is true. They'll tell you, no, it's not, it, did, it did not happen. You know, the presidential, the presidential yacht, um, yacht, that's, that's just a luxury item. And the, the, the truth is that that item, if it was not in the Tinibu, if it was not ordered by Tinibu, then whoever ordered it, there was appropriation for it. What happened to the money? That was appropriated for that yacht. How come now you need to pay extra? Why do you have to pay extra? Where where is what is, what is changing in the specification? You know. So uh, I just think that um, first of all, Nigerians have not yet suffered enough because among us you have people that are that are saying uh, on, their, on your mandates we uh, on, your, on your mandates we shall stand. 
don't worry. This, this thing will go around. There's no need. People should not worry. When the um, when there was a um, the people in the um, in the uh, south south were suffering militancy. I'm sure people in the north that time did not understand it. After all, somebody in Jigawa was saying the oil in Bayasa belongs to him. Meanwhile, he's not. He doesn't have oil in oil polluting the water where he is. Now there is IDP all over the northern states. Are they not suffering it? The, the middle belt were, oh, it was not. Now they are also, don't worry, this team, it will sweep around Nigeria. Very soon, 50% of Nigerians will be living in IDPs. The government will be funding, the government will be giving stipends to 90% of Nigerians. Maybe that's when we will come to our consciousness that, look, we need a change. Because right now, we are not ready. We are not ready. Because tomorrow, if somebody starts doing the right thing, they will say, oh, he's doing it for his people. We are, not re we are, we are as a people, as a, except we say we want to break Nigeria, that's, we want to return back to the model the British um, made at first. Maybe then Nigeria will move forward in a, in a good way, because then you will know that you are doing it for your people. But now, the way it is, where it is consumption, where 90% of the budget is funded by Delta states and River states. But 50% of the money is appropriated to Kano, Lagos, and other states. I mean, it can't, no country will move forward. The sharing formula will not work. So there's no, it, you can't get that. You can't plant a lime tree and go to pluck mangoes. That's what we are doing in Nigeria. We plant lime and lemon trees. Then when it's time to harvest, we harvest and we expect we want to lick, we want to taste, uh, we want to taste pineapple. We want to taste mango. We want to taste something juicy. It's not possible. It's, it will be bitter. We will still continue. This team we will leave this bitterness. That's till in fact 2027. If we are not careful, we will lick another one. We will lick another one because this I want this suffering to let it reach everybody. Let it come to a point whereby people cannot even feed again. Whether so you will not care when you cannot eat. You will not care whether you are. Whether you're in Lagos, so you're in Soko, you will not care when you cannot buy food to eat again. Then you will realize that's when you will stand up, like it happened in Sri Lanka, when you can't afford the basic things again. Because if we don't get to that place, the religious leaders will keep on deceiving our people. Because when they go to church, or go to the mosque, they will tell them, "Don't worry, it is well. Bring more money. Uh, God will bless you." <laughs> you know. And we need to get to that point. And that's why if you read the Bible. God had to allow the children of Israel to suffer in Egypt so that when it was time to move, when it was time to move, they packed their bags and started moving. And even at that movie, some of them were looking back. So in Nigeria, we have not got to that point yet. We make we know this is our talk, and it's good though. We are doing the gospel. But I can assure you, the suffering, the woto woto, you need to go around more. We need that you need to go around more, like three more times. So that it will not be about um, uh, a miloko or whatever. Everybody, when everybody receives the water, water, well, well, like draw soup, or go no. Uh -huh. we will now, our eye will not open. Then we start choosing leaders based on credibility, not leaders based on sentiments or where the person comes from. I mean, nobody cares where the Nigerian president comes from. What we need is good governance. Simple. I don't care whether you come from Kafanchan or whether you come from um, Eket or whether you come from um, already local government. What we need is good governance. Thank you. That's the in contribution to what you just said. A minister just hired an illegal commercial aircraft. The, the plane that just crashed. Oh. And yes, a minister hired, you know, book that. I don't know if he's if he's you know dead yet, but the he the news dead. coming out. He be dead. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's go to Samuel. Samuel, I can't. Nobody see died. You. Nobody died. So we're not wishing anybody dead, please. Samuel, unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Okay, go ahead. Okay, good afternoon from my time, everyone. And let me start by contribution because somebody had said in the program, uh, making it look like we rant, but we don't rant. This is a family. 
And Dr. Um, Damages, thank you. Because the other day, a member of the family called me. Ovia called me. I said, look, a five-star member of this parliament. Five-star member is calling me. You see, that's the, that's the beauty that we have in this family. You know, we are united, we are connected. But what is the contribution of this family? It will be that of orientation. So yes, we are actually preferring solution. Orientation is extremely solid. Orientation is something you don't want to joke with. We are providing orientation, sensitization to Nigerians. And it's becoming difficult for this political class. Because the time that people were in darkness, they could get away with a lot of things. But the fact that every Saturday, through so many platforms, Nigerians, even, how, even with how bad it is for them to get data, Nigerians tune into some YouTube um, channels, uh, uh, TikTok, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, eyes are beginning to open. Illumination is coming. And it will just take a short while. They will not have it easy anymore. So yes, we are not just ranting. We are actually preferring amazing solution. And the solution borders around the area of orientation. One of the reasons that country is a mess is because we don't even have a national orientation agency. We don't know how that works. That is how you transform a place, the quality of information you are bringing out. So we don't have a national orientation agency. Now, Dr. Du uh, Dr. Damages is doing that for a lot of you people. We should, we should have to start giving him some offering. And maybe one of the ways to give him offering is to like his platform. So if you're watching, you've not liked his page and subscribe, go and do. Like the video and subscribe. You will like such a thing because he's doing well by us. Now, the second point I want to make is how action reveals intention. Now, the audacity of these people is frightening to me. Reason being that when um, Mr. Pito B came out, Mr. Pito B exposed them in the things he said. Mr. Pito B talked, how can you... Uh, fund ir irrelevant things. How can you fund flavorities, right? And everybody, I, I personally thought that, oh, since Mr. Hito be sounded like this, when they come into power, they will be afraid to fund flavorities. Lo and behold, they came into power and their action is beginning to reveal their intention. So actions actually reveal intentions. So by what they are doing, we know why they want to get into power. It is not about us. It is about to satisfy their insatiable needs, that's to satisfy their wicked appetite. It is never about the Nigerian people. So question is, how do we get out of this? The way we get out of it will be the activation of the um, office of the citizenry. That office is the strongest office. It's not the office of the president. It's not the office of the senior president. It is the office of the citizens. Now, because that office is buried, that's why we'll continue to be in the kind of mess that we found ourselves. But somebody saying, what do we do now? It's already the way it is. You know, I was thinking about at what point are we going to get a solution to this? And I want to read this out to us. You guys, please uh, um, forgive me. It is not me trying to sound religious, but check out Genesis 2740. And in Genesis 2740, a man was blessing two of his children had blessed one with everything, left one with the, with nothing. And the one he left with thought, he said, man, this is bad. What am I going to, how am I going to succeed in life? He said to that one, he said, you will live by sword and you shall serve your brother who defrauded you. This your brother defrauded you, took your property, took your inheritance. This your brother is messing you up and you will serve him. And it shall come to pass when you have when you become restless, then you will break his yoke off your neck. That's what we are waiting for. We are waiting for a point that Nigerians will become restless. Freedom happens at the point of restlessness. Nigerians are still comfortable. You know, they can still, they can still manage the nonsense. They can still accommodate the nonsense. It's, they are still okay with the hike of price. They are still okay with the, in, the dilapidated infrastructure, whether it is road infrastructure, medical infrastructure, they are just still okay, they are comfortable. But the moment they say enough is enough, all these people will look for their private jet, get into their private jet and run away. Nigerians don't even know that if we come out in mass, they will all disappear. 
to take over our country is not difficult. But because we are still, you know, romancing with the rubbish they give to us, our freedom will still be lengthened. And um, well, let me end on saying, let me end by saying, thank God for Mr. P2B because he has revealed a lot of things. He's the kind of person he is. He's not a violent person. He will never promote violence in any way. Uh, but, you know, they say that you seize opportunity in the lifetime of the opportunity. What that means is that there might not be that kind of sensationalism next time. I mean, we have lost the opportunity. If we didn't take it, we didn't take it. P2B will not, there's nothing else. They are going to be there for eight years. And if I'm going to sound a little bit um, tribal, which you should not judge me or accuse Dr. Rudolph, hey, this is Igbo platform. No, please don't accuse Dr. Rudolph and don't judge me. But if I'm going to sound a little bit tribal, it is disadvantageous to my people because it should have been our own Emiloko, but they didn't let it happen. He went to the Yoruba nation, which is not bad, but from the Yoruba nation, it's not coming down to South again. After eight years, it's going to not. So my Igbo people will wait about 16 good years if they will ever have a chance to eat again. So, I mean, it is what it is, but we are not realizing what they're doing to us. Dr. Rudas, thank you for your time. I just needed to, you know, share my own contribution. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And, um, let's go to... See, I, see, I don't use skills. Hey, this is no, 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 distate you from where you are. You know, say we are from I, I, I can distate you from here. I support okay. him. You know, you have spoken already. Is that just no, 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 I not Hey, over here, I thought we were friends, <laughs> but I, I can also distate you because also I have in-laws from your place. <laughs> now, the last speaker spoke so well, and I, I thank him for it. Um, Des, Destra, you may not be loved very well on this platform if you continue in that, in that, that direction you are speaking. But I encourage you to keep at it. Don't let anybody intimidate you, whether they're from the comment section or not. We are here to speak our mind, irrespective of whether you're Igbo, Hausa, or Yoruba. I don't care uh, where you come from. And so speak as it is. Because because not, we've, we've not been speaking the way it is. That's why politicians can, you know, do a 360 over us, you know, rub, you know run rub shoulders over us. You know, go the length and breadth of Nigeria, lie to everybody, and still, if before your face, do that same thing the people have complained about over and over again. I just like to say to the last last uh, speaker, the office of the citizen of Nigeria does not exist in Nigeria. It can exist any other place. What you have in Nigeria, the Nigerians are masses. You guys are masses, and masses don't have anything. You are the wretched of the earth. So that's why when your government address you, they say. We are trying to help the poor masses, forgetting that just a few days ago, they were the people in the back side of the street, okay? And you just voted them in. Now they are trying to help you who voted them in. And so when they want to go and commission those stupid gutters they build, they gather your village people. They'll be waiting under the sun for five hours. And then when they come, they'll dance their traditional dances. And when they are going, they'll pack all their food stuff and yams and chicken and goat and load in their boots. And then they drive away with it not knowing that the same money they use in building that gutter is your money. You see, that's the, that's the round trip that we have in Nigeria. And that's why there, there used to be a governor in Nigeria, uh, blessed memory now, you know, he must have died. I would read him when we were in primary school. His name was Bakinzuo, I can never forget it. Bakinzuo said, Go, um, uh, government house has government money. What's wrong with that? Government money in government house, what's the problem? So what we have right now is still that same mentality. Once you are in government, the finances of the of the country becomes your own absolute to do as you want, direct it in whichever way, whether it benefits the people or not. It doesn't bother you, okay? And that's why a a, a minister can can you know rent or hire uh, charter a, a private flight to fly around Nigeria to do his work. I don't know what the what the what the what the reason for that, but. Okay, I'm not wishing anybody dead. I'm just simply saying that in a in a place, if you if we are running Nigeria as our family, as our family business, 
and you have so much need, will you will you uh, budget money for this kind of frivolities? Will you budget money to go and buy Mercedes? Will you budget money to buy your first son exotic Jeep just because he has left the university when you know you have 10 other children who are yet to even get into school? School fees not being paid. So these are some of the things we should consider uh, before making some, you know, may, maybe those who are present because some people are thinking it's a tribal thing and uh, making all kinds of uh, assertion on the comment session. Now, the the problem again is this. The, the, the one, one of the reasons why I say I no longer hold any whatsoever, and I, and I want to put myself on record here. When I say I no longer, I didn't say I don't hold, hold allegiance to Nigeria. Nigeria is still my country, but I have no respect and no regard for whosoever that is in government right now because they have no regard for Nigerian people. They're not after Nigerian people. They are after their own pocket, what can benefit them and their cronies. And that's what they'll keep doing. And they'll come out with bare face, go to national televisions, and insult people. And when you ask them questions that will crack their brain, they want to intimidate you by telling you that you are not a well-educated journalist. They want to teach you your job. It's not nice that it has always been that way, okay? Because they have used to journalists who, who write questions and give them, they go and study and they prepare answers and come and read out. So now that you're having people who are bold enough to tell them to their face, Oga, you are lying. That is why they don't want it, you see? And it's in Nigeria I realized that uh, fake news in Nigeria is government inability to control the narratives. That is fake news. It, it may not be the same in any other place, but I'm telling you in Nigeria, it's government inability to control the narratives. The truth sneaks out because many people now have many platforms for which the truth can come out. It's no longer NTA at nine o'clock who gather to hear the news. The government did this, government did that. It's, they no longer have that control system. And so everything is fake news. When they cannot defend it, it's fake news. When they don't have any answer to it, they tell you, you, you are a journalist. Which journalistic school did you go to? Who taught you? You know, this is how you should do it. Okay? And so that is the problem that we are facing in Nigeria. And it's going to continue uh, until the people themselves arise. Remember, some of us think that this is right now. See, Nigeria has been this, in this trajectory for so long. And that's why I say I've lost all hope. So Neo Kosu, who we grew up to listen to, sang one song, Which Way Nigeria? That is over 30 years ago. Okay? See, today, we're still asking that question. I'm not, I don't want to go to Fela because Fela has been overquoted. I will let us go to other people who have spoken, you know, who are, who are not radical, who are not against government, who are saying, okay, well, let us take it gently by gently. Ask the question, Which Way Nigeria? Many years after, we're still in the same spot. The same thing that we talked about in 1960 that brought e issues is still the same thing we're talking about today. The same light, light, electricity, we're not been able to fix since independence. It's still the same problem we have today. Water, fireborn water, we still have the problem today. Road, we still have that same problem today. And then a man comes into government. Remember, Buhari ordered new sets of, uh, of Mercedes for his inauguration, for his pull pulling out. Do you people see that Mercedes? It was some of the best. I mean, they, it was, they, they were all delivered to Abuja. Now, that those cars just came in for which they use in pulling him out and bringing the new district. Which other cars are they buying? Now, somebody gives a... Say, they, when, and when they do, they quote American system. America is how many billion dollars uh, economy? How much is your own? How much is your... Given to Ukraine, do we have it in our, in our coffers? So when you now quote America, oh, we, we, are, we model after America. Do you also model your money after America? And see, I, I have, it, have it here. The other day I was, I was following, you know, I followed Jesse, Jesse uh, in, uh, in uh, um, Fox News. And he was quoting the reason why Biden's son had to ride in Air Force One to China. That was a big, that, that discussion went on for weeks. Because they think he does not have any reason whatsoever to be on that flight. He not be say chop government food though. Just because in father they go to China, he follow him inside plane. They say no. Did he pay? Who gave him? You see, he's he's taking advantage of the, the, the American people's money. And now you are telling us that you take government money, buy government uh, buy cars for your wife and your cronies, your son, your daughters, and there's nothing bad in that. Is he a monarchy? Is he a monarchy? If it's not a monarchy, then let us define what our government. And some of us are expecting so much from Akwabio. 
Did I be a great year in good in good manners? Did they get you as a righteous man? No. Did they allow again as a righteous man? No. So the same house that have this this evil people in it are the same people you are expecting them to now become saints overnight and be checking what's going on in government. You see why I I I, I say I like lost righteous all man hope. is looking at you. You know, you see why I, I lost all hope. The truth of the matter is that look, I will play an audio from from you know, and I'm coming. This is going by last point. I'm coming back to the Igbos. Here I say that the Igbo leadership have lost sensibility of the community in which they are, they are supposed to be helping to build. And some people come here and be saying all kinds of things. It's not about tribe. This is a governor of Imo State telling you what he did. I want you to hear it. I'll play the audio so you can hear it yourself. I'm not going to interpret it. Because I'm not close our platform. I'm telling you on Baiba on two times. It's so I'm telling you that I'm now that's the governor of a place making broadcast with people he's using the air force nigeria air force to bomb community in his place have you ever heard that from anywhere else in nigeria even when the bank the, the terrorists were living in Kaduna state in a place called uh, uh, Sambisa Forest. The governor of uh, Kaduna State didn't use the, I don't worry. State, State. whatever it is to bomb them. But in, in Imo State, where the population is even so dense, there's no free land. There's no way you can say you find a uh, hundred um, uh, miles that is empty. He's using the fighter jets to bomb his people. And so, 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 some of us are not making this up because we are tired of the system. We don't even see. I don't tell the truth. I don't see anywhere that where the where the change is going to come from. Because you see, I said here before on this platform, when we are growing up, our community leaders, our community, when I go to the, this, what I want to that people do not, they do not reject uh, radicals. We try, in fact, we we encourage ourselves to be radical to ask the question. In fact, there's an evil adage that says that. What killed your father? If you don't know, when you grow to become a man, the first thing you do is to ask the reason why what, what killed your father and deal with it. Okay? And so, it is not for, in our place. We don't shy away from, from taking on difficult situations or asking difficult questions. But now they're training the Nigerian mind to shy away from asking difficult questions. And that's why they hate Hosseini. That's why they hate him because you put it to them and tell them, oh God, sorry, you are lying. And they don't see that. They have not seen it before. That's why they cringe. Because when you are an authority in Nigeria, you are supposed to be worshipped. You're supposed to be lifted up. You're an emperor. Nobody can ask you anything. You want to be called excellency when you are nothing, nothing excellent about you. You want to call, you want to be called your highness when there's nothing high about you. You are all about, I don't want to use the wrong word here, but you all know who they are. Okay, these are criminals, you know, in, in, in different levels. Okay, I was so angry that I just shed tears. Some people were so hungry, they stole a, 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 you know, loaves of bread, and they were killed on the spot. But you guys, the same people who killed them, have been watching their governors and their Senate members and their government steal billions of their money, and they've not gathered together to go and kill them from the office. You know, so, so it's sad. That, that's my take. Uh, uh, um, you know, that's my take. You see, if, if, you, if anybody's thinking that the the Senate is going to come and say, oh. We will add, add, you know, in no more to supply. It's it never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Okay. But these same people will go to India and ask for data. Okay. We import data. We all know how data was when it started. Today, it is a brand. In fact, near my house here, there are so many. They are even producing jeeps now that Americans are buying. When it started, it wasn't better than uh, in, a, in, in a motors. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, KJ. Righteous man. Good evening, Dr. Rudolph and the panelists, uh, Chim, uh, forefathers, 
and Ovie. Ovie, thank you very much. Charity begins at home. It's not only by talking, you show by example, you live by example. Uh, Ovie promised me data and immediately he, 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 he fulfilled it. Others have promised me data here. Oh, we know you are coming from Nigeria. We know it. Oh, don't worry. We talk, 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 talk. No, no action. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That means that some of us say if we are given the opportunity to be to hold a political office in Nigeria, that is how you are going to behave. You will promise heaven and earth that you never done it. Ovie, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Ovie. More blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Let me. Let me thank you. Let me use my own time to thank you for remembering that we are suffering in Nigeria. That was why. That was why you could do what you did. I borrow and I never pay you. And whether you borrowed it or you know borrow and but for you to recognize the suffering in Nigeria and know that oh this man is really going through a tough time for him to be in this program and you did what you did. God will bless you and bless you. It's your type that we need in Nigeria, and it's your type we need in this platform. Those who will say something and they will do it. God bless you. Right, righteous, uh, Mr. Mr. righteous man, I, yeah. I just sent okay, you a yeah. message. Hello. Righteous man, I want you to mention the name of... Yeah. Who's speaking? The, the name of what? Other people that promised you that they didn't deliver so that we can... Um, Get get them out of the studio. Are they are they here? Don't be scared. I, 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 did, I, did, not, I did not promise and I didn't know about it. But you know, Dr. reply Dr. to my, Rudolph, my I even sent a message to you. You read it in your WhatsApp. One of the persons that yeah. said I should send my number to you that you will handle it. Uh -huh. He knows. So that's just by the way, anyway. Thank you very much. I love all of you. You are wonderful people. Uh, good evening from here. It's been, it's been a tough time in Nigeria uh, in the last past one week. Uh, the truth, let me make this uh, a begging again. If you have a brother, a sister, a cousin, a relation, instead of sending $100 every month to him or her, Please make paper and take him out of Nigeria. Even if it's going to be Angola, South Africa, Ghana, Burkina Faso, Niger, take him out of Nigeria. I am begging you. Embassy is the reject now. Embassy is the reject now. No, no, no. Rwanda, Rwanda has given a free visa to every African. You understand? No, I, it's not a joking thing, no. Nigerians are going to through hell. I am on ground, so I'm telling you what is happening here. I went to market today to pick some uh, some things. So I went to where I normally pick this Titus fish, you know, that contains omega H3. So when I got there, one woman was begging for the head, the head of fishes that were caught. Oh my God. Tears came out of my eyes. And they were three. I thought they were, it was only that woman. When I turned, there were two other people standing just to beg for the head of the fish that was caught. Somebody else have taken the body, but the head, so that they could make soup, soup or stew in order to eat. Can you imagine that? This is the head of fish that we give to dogs. That is what Nigerians today, in Lagos State, in the city of excellence, that is that is what human beings are begging for. Oh, um, Rudolph, let me beg you. You see that Mr. Alex you brought the other day. If you bring somebody that is going to spite on us after they cheated us, they still come to the media, to the platform, to make us look as if we are stupid. I will do night vigil. I'm telling you, I will do night vigil. Look, the way we are suffering here, we, if you are bringing anybody in your platform, bring somebody that will speak hope to us. Somebody that we, we feel our pains and what we are going through. Not somebody who is stealing from the government and is your friend, you will bring him here and you will begin to rubbish our intelligence as if we are fools. Nigerians are not fools. Bring people that have human sympathy, people that are feeling the pain that Nigerians are feeling. 
Let's talk and, and, and discuss with such individual. Not like Mr. Alex. Look at what uh, Yeso Wicke said. Wicke said he paid for every form of every political office holder in River State. Starting from the governor to, to uh, House of Rep. He paid. Was he with his money? How rich was Wicke before he became governor of River State? That he could pay? This is, this is, the system has collapsed. There is no longer morality. They are not afraid of anybody. So they do whatever they want, and nobody is challenging them. Um, uh, the former governor of River State said it, Amechi. Uh, he said Nigerians are not reacting. And what he said is true. And as long as we are not reacting, can Nigeria work? It can't work. That is the bitter truth. Somebody is saying that uh, he is uh, let it not look as if he's tribal. Brother, I am tribal. I'm an Igbo man. Born Igbo man and proud one. Igbos have no uh, hope in Nigeria as far as the presidency is concerned. And every economic policy of the government is to bring down the Igbo businessmen. You heard what happened to Ibeto. They are about closing. They are about to arrest him very soon. His cement factory is closed down. Everything about Igbo man in Nigeria is suffering. Alaba International Market shut down. Aspanda shut down. As long as you are an Igbo man, you have no British space in Nigeria. Politically, we are denied. Tell me who is better than Obi in this last election. Nobody. But because he's an Igbo man, uh, 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 Dr. Guru said it last, last uh, la was it last Sunday? Dr. Guru said it. I'm one of his top followers. He said because Obi is an Igbo man. That was why they denied him that position. And this is the truth that when we say, people say we are being tribal. Nigeria can't work. It's not, it's not possible to work. Because, because of the diversity of Nigeria. Two tribalistic, 520 different languages. There is no country in Africa that has it. 520 different languages. How can they cohere? How can they work together? It's not possible. The center is broken. It can't hold again. Things fall apart. He said the center cannot hold again. Look at what, what the president is doing. Buying a luxurious hat for 5 billion when Nigerians are dying in hunger. The wife is not constitutionally recognized. It has no const she has no constitutional office. They have budgeted 1.5 billion for her. And teachers are not paid. Look at what Uzodema is doing to a whole president of NLC that the military did not even do. So I don't understand. All right. So I'm begging you, I'm begging you people that are in abroad, march to the embassies, write in their newspapers, and let them know that you guys are also feeling the heat of what is happening in Nigeria. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Um, let me just say, before I go to forefathers, let me just say that, uh, remind our viewers that tomorrow we have so uh, Malcolm Fabi is coming here. Um, it's important that um, I let a righteous man know that uh, this program, we are open to having conversations with anybody, just anybody. And sometimes people may not know this. Malcolm, we talk about it tomorrow. Uh, you may have your opinion and you may think that's the dominant opinion. Uh, it may not be until you do a professional uh, polling, then you will know that they are very, very different opinion uh, on, on different things out there. So Malcolm will talk about that when it comes uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, the purpose of, of this platform is to have this opinion, uh, different opinions out there, and you can you can challenge them, and respectfully, not, not by, uh, uh, we can talk about that next time we have a guest, maybe tomorrow. Uh, but you can tell them, but we have to be willing to listen to opinion that are, opinions that are different from our own. Uh, because you can't shut them down. They are there. There are many people like that. Any single person you see, there are at least 10 or 100,000 people who think I like. You know? So the fact that you shut one person down by not allowing the person to speak where you are doesn't mean that the person is not speaking and that people are not listening to that person. All right, forefathers, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, um, righteous man, shame on those people. They shall not live to see 
<laughs> all the rest. So sorry about that. Um, wow, this week has been interesting. Um, you know, I saw um, uh, the president's uh, speech um, that he made to for the retreat, and I thought, okay, maybe this guy is thinking a little bit. And then, then you hear about yachts, and you hear about, you know, like, what is wrong with these people? They are like chameleons. They say one thing and do something else. And it's really shocking. And I, it's almost as if we I underestimate their ability to perform as like actors. They say they mean to do the right thing while they are busy rubbing you dry. It's crazy. I, I don't know how they are doing this. I, I can't be 100% sure that they are rubbing us right now because he says so many things that are nice, but the signal is not good. If you start spending money willy-nilly and people start seeing you looking for yachts at a time when lives the lives of people are so hard and you've just made it hard you he he did it himself even in his piece, he said he said something that i found very interesting that made me think okay maybe this guy means right? he says don't be wicked what do you consider being wicked i, I, I i'm beginning to ask myself, what does he consider being wicked then when you are looking for a yacht when people are struggling to survive based on your actions you're looking for a yacht do you think um most of the leaders that built their nations, they were busy living lavish well while the people were suffering. No, they, they were not actually. If you look at all these countries, all these transformational leaders, they were living the same similar kind of lifestyle as their people. They were living the same way. They were showing that at least they were signaling to the people that I'm like you, I'm in it together. We are all in this together. Not like, oh, you go and um, suffer through the change I'm instituting while we live lavish lifestyles. It's crazy. And then they talked about buying um, uh, cars. The, I think on the news, I saw um, this news channel and I was really surprised by what they were doing. Um, is they said um, they wanted to buy a car. Then the reporters asked the uh, the politician, that, why is it that you're not buying Nigerian-made cars? There is innocent there. There are others there. And this is how nations behave. I was just checking it just now. How most nations, um, what cars the nations use? They are leaders like the UK. They use a Jaguar. They use a Range Rover. Because it's your brand. You have to brand yourself, but because that's how you market your country. Tinubu said it himself in one of his speech that he is the chief marketing officer of Nigeria. But what did they do when it comes to marketing Nigeria? They go and buy foreign vehicles. Foreign exchange that we need, you go and waste it on foreigners. When America wants to give all this, when they tell you that they are funding Ukraine with billions of billions of dollars of um, aid, of, of weapons, you think it's, um, Ukraine that is getting it? All that money is going back to America. America, who, who is making the arms? The arms are American. The money goes back to them. They are not giving charity to anybody. But we, if our leaders want to fund anything, they are so happy to spend the money on foreign stuff. And then he talked about accountability. That accountability part, I found that very important because he, he, he appointed somebody to do that job. And I looked at it, I thought, yeah, that seems reasonable. This lady is going to be holding people accountable. Then he said, um, when they don't meet target, then they will review it. And then when you don't perform, you leave. You leave. Is that it? That is, that is nothing. That is basically saying, you see, they, they deceive people in such a way. They tell you that they are being account, they are making people accountable, but they are not really doing that. You leave. If you leave, it means they will do it and leave. That's your point. They will still leave. That is their are job. You, are you from? Are you familiar with uh, Joseph Lennon's style of uh, leadership, where we appoint lawyer, we appoint his loyalists, then we appoint another layer of loyalists to monitor them, to put you in check? That's yeah. exactly what he's playing out here. That's how Lennon actually. And, 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 and what what, he, what he's doing is that he's instead of him to institute into them that their job is very very important and they are costing lives, and if you fail, there has to be accountability, not just leaving. Because at, at the, in the place where we are right now, living is not good enough. You have to hold people accountable because if you get into a position and you perform terribly, we will evaluate it based on the, the damage you've done. And if you've done so much damage or you're not ready to be put yourself forward for the people, then get out of my way. You're not ready to do the job. Because the, that, that stuff can be abused to no end. And you see that a lot in the West, where they'll tell you, um, this guy has resigned. When he resigns, they go into another position again. It's like a, a revolving door. They don't, they, they are not accountable. And people need to know when they are being conned. 
And this is what really good at it. He was talking as if he was trying to hold people accountable, but in reality, it's still the same thing. What did um, what did he say that um, uh, Buhari didn't say about holding his uh, joint chiefs accountable and all the rest of the people accountable? He said similar stuff. I'm going to hold you accountable. You're going to account for it. If you don't do your job, you're going to be fired. Or not. Fired is not good enough at this stage. Right now, I think Pelakola, Nigerians... If... Pelakola, Padi, Padi government. So... Exactly. At this stage, when you want to get into office, they have to make them have a, the, a, a level of awareness of the gravity of the position that they hold. Some of these ministers are in charge of millions of lives. And they go in there and they don't do their job. They don't do their job and they just walk. They just walk away after they wreck the country. They, they will ask somebody to... Um, uh, fix power and it will just do a terrible job and walk away and do more why you are, there has to be a mechanism for holding them accountable and saying if you are holding this position you, you know there, there has to be a level of honor and integrity in this type of jobs like in, in the case of uh, like the japanese when you perform badly they, they have this this thing the way you have to account for it some of them they have commit arakere and all kinds of different stuff you see there was a time even in europe not now now they've ended it now there was a time in Europe, if you fail as a banker or something like that, they jump through the roof. They kill themselves because they understand the damage they've done. But these people don't have sorry. any sense of accountability at all. They just do stuff sorry. and expect sorry, that they do damage to people and walk away. And I don't subscribe you know to what? that anymore. You know why they can't do that? Because we, we are waiting for them in our community to give their chief title, title even after they mess up. We give them saints, bishop, alaji, give them all titles. So... It's a yeah. thing. <laughs> they don't get punished I, by their bosses, I, I, and we too, I, we don't punish them. Given where we are, we need to demand more, and our leaders need to be asking more from from the people that they give office to. This is not a ticket to come and make money from Nigeria. It's a ticket to serve, and you have to be ready to make this necessary sacrifice. That if you fail, you will pay. You can't just walk. This is a serious business, and millions of lives are at stake. Our people are suffering. There has to be a, a change of narrative whereby if you hold office, your head is on the block too if you fail. Your head has to be on the block, not just being sacked. You are going to pay one way or the other. That the, the, the analysis will be done. And if they find that your failure is as a result of total negligence and you are enriching yourself, you could fall. In, in China, they do execute people that commit crime, and in corruption actually. They execute them for this reason. For, for father. Father, yeah. Now we are talking about being responsible. The FCT has been taken away from the uh, the single account of the government, the TSA. And yesterday, from the uh, what they call the supplementary, they are also being given hundred billion. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna use the hundred billion for? Um, um, are you are you for serious? Campaign, yes. I'm serious. I'm for serious. It's no jokes. Uh, yes. Um, okay, let me help you divide it. You see, you don't seem to understand this thing. Let's listen more. Let, look, the boys who brought this thing to the table have not been fixed. Where do you think the money to fix them is going to come from? It's going to come from his pocket again? No. The one where they removed to, to make sure that the things go well have to be replaced. Where it is going to come from? So now, the FCT will say to some people, the army, who also have got some big listing, will say to some people, the police will say to their people, that, I can't you see how it is divided? Everything went very well. And then they, they, they ask, ask O Rock, as a, uh, um, my boy will say, we then take the other one and say to the boys in the ask O Rock, See, so it is. It is a really settlement money. It is really settlement. All the royal fathers, all the royal fathers, the yes. past, the past, the past, everybody on payroll now. How do you think you pay them? Oh, that's you pay them. So that's a settlement money. It's not. A, it's not a, it, you know, a, I don't know what we vote. I don't know what they vote. I don't know. Sorry, I, I was going to <laughs> wait, but I want to be sure that forefather has finished. Yeah, the 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 the, the culture is that I think the, even the journalists somehow sign up to it. Uh, to an extent, I don't know whether it's consciously or not, because when those journalists were asking that politician about why they are not using um, national brand vehicles, they let him off the hook. They said uh, um, uh, they, they, should, they, they should go and ask the president. 
but you are a senator that should be holding him accountable for the money he's spending is the, the people's money you are saying they should go and ask the president no you shouldn't go and ask the president and that's what the journalist should, should have pushed back on that it's your job as the house of assembly and senator to hold the president accountable what they are spending the national resources the national resources on if you are spending the national resources on foreign vehicles why are you not spending on the ones for nigeria if you wanted to press the matter they could have pressed the matter on and you would have forced him to acknowledge the fact that these people are traitors they go on spending money our hard end and current and this in currency giving it back to the people that we just earn the money from what is the point and it's a lot of money that they spend on vehicles furniture we talk about vehicles there are all uh, a lot of other things that they go and spend foreign currency, uh, Tunaga, currency on Tunaga, because they just the like foreign you, foreign this is the items. question you should be asking Tunaga, this is right. the question you should be asking how much did innocent motors contribute to tunubu campaign <laughs> but, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Dino well, has enough money to fund himself. I think. But well, the Toyota, Toyota okay. contribute. The Toyota contribute. Yeah. The Toyota contribute. Uh, yeah. I, of course. Uh, hold hold on. On. Are you sure? They've been in Nigeria for they've been in Nigeria for twenty years. How do you think they they continue sustaining themselves? They, they pay back. Hold on. hold on, guys. Let's go line by line. I wanted also um. Chime, Chime, you wanted to say something. I wanted to go change. No, tell me what you want to say before I. No, I want to change the topic a little bit. Okay, I just wanted to, uh, you know, um, first of all, the forefathers has mentioned one or two things about what I was going to say. But uh, in fairness to the la the lady in channels, Ayo, Ayo did press. I, I want to particularly re remember when Ayo asked her, him, uh, and now speaking of Senator Ndume, that first of all, you guys just passed the budget. You didn't even ask question. You say well, it's not my job to ask. He said no. You didn't ask the president what what brand of car at this uh, five million or whatever it is you are raising. You didn't ask him. It's not your job to ask him what brand of vehicle they are asking for, so that you even know what it is you are appropriating for. He dangled around it. He tried to. Do it. But the point I want to bring out in this asking questions, which brings me to uh, the way our senators are doing their jobs. Our senators don't seem to understand that oversight job that has been handed over to them as senators. They just think their job is to do Baba Shokwe. For those who understand Yoruba, they know what I mean when I say Baba Shokwe. So meaning that Papa has said, Tunubu has said, this is what the word, ah, Baba has said, though, let's give him what, that's what is happening in Nigeria. I, I, I might sound like I'm over, you know, ridiculing these people and bringing it to a, a but that's exactly what our senators are doing. I'm sure, Ovia, you watched the um, the uh, Senate committee trying to uh, approve uh, Professor Sarah Russell, the, the lady who Biden is pushing to become a, a judge. You saw how these guys went and prepared. They came with her past. See, documents this volume. Before you knew it, a woman that was speaking with confidence started stammering when, especially Senator John Kennedy and uh, Holly, started asking her questions, bringing out, she, she just froze. Uh, even me, I was saying, even, even the Democrats who want her, they are not going to approve her. I can bet even Democrats will say, we don't want this person, this person that cannot even speak. The point I'm making is this. It is your job as a senator to drill and screen these people. In fact, you will drill to the extent that the person might even go back and say, I don't want the work again. Based on the way that they drilled me, I'm recusing myself. I don't even want this material job. You understand? You drill people that they will go back with the budget and go and correct it. Now, lastly, where is it in the world that senators are the ones who now... It's, government says, well, I want $5 billion. Government said, oh, we are voting $5 million for a yacht. And then you now say, okay, we are cancelling because people are crying. Rather, what we will do is we will take this $5 billion and put it into a uh, loan. No, it doesn't happen. Wow. You cancel it totally and Something remove it. Something is wrong somewhere. Something you can't even wrong make somewhere. it up. You can't make it up, man. That's just crazy. You know, so I was shocked when man, someone came out and said now that they are moving the money to something else. It's not your job to move the money to something else. You are a senator. Your job is to appropriate. It is either you say, we don't agree with this. We cancel this one. We don't approve this one. Approve the one you think that makes sense. And let them come back to you to now justify why they want... Rather, you're not taking the money on their behalf and putting it somewhere else for them. I, I the press conference for it. 
and call the, the press, press conference. Exactly, <laughs> and now call the press conference. So um, I just wanted to say, you know, the Nigerian senators, the, our senators, in fact, our institutions are putting a nail on our constitution. They all desecrate our constitution the way they like. Yes, we claim the constitution is not perfect. I said it two weeks ago. Our chief justice desecrated our constitution. Our senators every day, they desecrate our constitution every day. Why would the executive just be laughing and having his field day? Because the executive is supposed to be the one that is supposed to be more on the receiving end of both the judiciary and the House of Rep and the, sorry, the National Assembly lawmaking. But those groups don't even know what their jobs are. They don't know it. So it boils down to education. Is the yacht is the yacht manufactured no, in Nigeria? Shame, shame. Yeah, it's probably no manufactured that. overseas again. This is this is people. I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, I think okay. they know. Since the since the law is not holding them accountable, and we the followers are not holding them accountable. So why why just just continue? Okay, hold on, Ovia. Hold on, everyone. Uh, holding them accountable, the media has that responsibility. So let's watch this and then think about what the media is doing. Uh, in How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm Good. Okay. Patriotism I'm means okay. supporting okay. your country at all times, but also supporting the government when they deserve yeah. it. Mr. Nakwasa, I put it to you that you came here to misrepresent the facts today as regards subsidy removal. President Tinubu are now subsidy gone on inauguration day and that was effectively pulling out subsidies so you say he didn't remove subsidy quoting the PIA law that had been there for a while is misrepresentation of the facts that's number one number two since president Tinubu the, got, got the, in the, let the, me the, finish the, mr no let the, me finish let me finish please secondly don't, don't, since he please, got please, since please, got in don't raise your voice at me young man <laughs> don't raise your voice at let me, me finish mr don't. Nopasa. Let if me you finish. Want, I'm your guest. So you will since respect, President Tinubu got in, respect me. Since President Tinubu no, got in, I, I will the economy. Out of your studio, if you raise your voice at me, Mr. Nopasa, me respectfully. You may will take your decision it. if you want to. I'm asking a question. You might decide to walk out if you want to. Uh, Mr. Nopasa, since President Tinubu came in, the economy has tanked. Is at an all-time low as we speak. It has not. I, it has not. Let me finish my question, Mr. Nokbasa. Let you me finish my question. You are a liar, Mr. Nokbasa. Moderate yourself, all right? Moderate Do you yourself. Know what you are doing? Good. Listen, listen to me, young man. Secondly, Do you know what you are doing? Since you President Tinubu came in, the economy has tanked. You are pretending to be, and, uh, to be a journalist. The indicators are the there. With you. Since. He Don't came in, the indicators are there. Number one, guest. the you cost of the dollar me. to the what Naira. The, matter with you? the cost of the dollar to the Naira has tanked tremendously as a result of the flotation of the currency. All right, that's one. Is that secondly, fault? secondly Don't you know why Naira tanked? I'm still asking my question. Secondly, Naira it's been an all of your friends. Because it's been an all time malaise in the economy as we speak. Uh, cost of living I, gone up I, I tremendously. All right, and things are really, really south for the economy. So, in all of this, it's been a sloppy downward spiral. What would you have to say about all of this, Mr. Nakwasa? Thank you very much for that question, Rufayo Zeni. Please, uh, Dr. Ruben Abati and my, my adorable. Uh, 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 in law, uh, Mrs. Myrese, does anybody have a more reasonable question for me to answer? Because I am not dignifying that insulting question from Rufai with a response. I am not. Mr. Lopez, I will see that you're bailing on my question, and it's all right. It's all right for you to bail out if you don't want to answer it. But I'm it's not evading right. your question. Listen, <laughs> Please Rufai, answer it if you can. Rufai, you listen, listen to me. <laughs> This is not animal psychology. It is law. Okay? If you want to be a journalist, you can be a journalist. And you should learn the ropes for those ahead of you. Mr. Nogos, you answer my question. My mates. You can never. Mr. Nogos, okay. answer, answer okay. the question. Dignify out. yourself. Mr. Mr. Jay Good says that dignify yourself and answer the question. My God. Please. Dignify yourself. Please, and can, the we have, can we have peace? Dignify can we, yourself and answer the question. Can we have peace in this My God. I'm What's wrong? All right.
I wanted to make sure we get to can we have peace in the studio. Um, so the media, <laughs> the media, and uh, the job of holding the government accountable. If not for anybody else, I think that they are constitutionally or uh, worldwide is they 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 are the fourth uh, estate, so to say, and they have that constitutional responsibility. How are they doing? Um, let me start with you, Chim. I know you are you have uh, experience and. Uh, <clears throat> Well, are you speak? Are you asking how are they doing in Nigeria or Nigeria? Global? Yeah, Nigeria, Nigeria. We're talking about Nigeria. We're not talking about. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Um. So, we've had it, the 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 media in Nigeria has been on a up and down. You know, it's been topsy turvy. There's at different eras we've had um, media houses that have tried to stand out. I mean, we had the news watches when I was growing up. It, by then we didn't have the kind of uh, platform we're on right now and uh those of us who are old enough know that that it had it led to the battering of many um pioneer media professionals in nigeria the, i mean the, of course the case of Diligua comes to mind and all that trying to hold government accountable but over the years you see um nigeria likes to borrow but the problem with us is we always borrow wrongly so you know in the western world especially the us it's also the same thing in canada it's also the same thing there is america does not have a clear-cut government-owned media agency per se i don't know even if voice of america will pass as a clear-cut government agency i don't know but we do know that at some point we started having media houses that started leaning towards their political um the political party they have a softer spot towards so we know for instance that Fox is more leaning towards the conservatives and the Republicans. And then we have CNN leaning and MSNBC and the likes leaning That's towards the Democrats. Now, in Nigeria, we started borrowing that. But the problem is that some of our top politicians have media houses that they own. We all know that Tinubu owns the national newspaper, right? He owns uh, TVC. And all of these media houses spin issues to suit his narrative. Dito, to an extent, people have accused Arise that Ndoka, you know, is more sympathetic towards PDP and all that. And last night when I was listening to Senator Ndume, he brought it up when he was trying to, you know, comically blackmail Dr. Ruben Abati. When he said Ruben, you know, when they were asking him about... Um, why they are passing um passing uh um, what's the word so people have been nominated to join INEC and those some of those candidates are clear cut card carry members of APC and then he tried to deflect and all that now my problem is that the media right now is not doing well in Nigeria especially right now as we speak there have been moments of moments so and sometimes those moments of seemingly doing well are, is not usually the the media house but the 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 guest they have on the show so for instance channel channel sometimes is intending to create some unnecessary balance rather than ask questions rather than probe but when they have someone like Pro, uh, professor chidi or then carlo he stands his ground he tries not to allow shemu to box him he tells shemu do you want to have me as a guest telling you the truth or you want me to come here and gloss over the question you're asking now when it comes to arise we see that um what's his name rufai stands out the lady also stands out so i'll be honest with you what's her name um ayo ayo stands out but we see sometimes that um dr ruben abati maybe he's because he is a dinosaur in the industry so he comes from you know there is this dinosaurial perspective he's been in politics he tries to dangle sometimes people have accused him of maybe he's looking for appointment i don't think he's looking for appointment but I just think he doesn't want to rock the boat of where his food is coming from and all those things. So for me, oh, if I'm giving them a pass mark, I would say over 100, I would give the Nigerian media 35, 35%. I think they are part and parcel of what has led us to where we are. They have not asked questions. Like somebody said in today's show, nobody has persistently asked INEC, what happened to IREV? and to Beavers, why was this shut down? Nobody has asked that question. 
you know, and then there are some of those of them who keep telling us to move on. This whole move on concept can't work. But again, I'm going to end by saying this. You see, our politicians, some of them are fortune tellers. They look into the future. They know where they are going. And because they know where they are going, what do they do? They set up media houses. All Jesus Carlo has the sun. Tinubu has TVC and this. So what they do is they set up institutions that are going to help push their narrative. Is that good for our democracy? If you ask me, I'll say no. But I think it's now left for people who are genuine, who want to do the right thing, to start set, looking for a way to build their own alternative media institutions. Like we had um, the young man who helped with the, all the expose. He did a good job. He had to go solo. Those are the kind of things we need to do to, to check mix so-called entrenched media houses. But back to your question, how are we doing right now? I don't think we're doing very well, you know, generally. I think they, they, they are helping build what is going on in the country right now. All right, thank you. Uh, let me let me say this because I might forget. Um, the When we talk about the lawmakers, there's something we always forget, that just like a media where you have politicians owning the media, most of the people in the Senate where they have executive experience, they actually did not come from the lawmaking background. I'm not saying it's necessary. But sometimes when they come from that executive experience, when they were governors, most of them were just, they have um, lawmakers in the state assembly who basically do what they wanted them to do. So they, they, coming to the Senate, they think that this is a continuation. They are there to do what the lawmakers did for them when they were governors. They, are, they didn't see themselves in a different role anymore. They just want to stay there and retire. I'm just saying this too, just to say that um, in the media also, the ownership structure of the media is a problem because most in the history of Nigeria, most of the media we have were owned by politicians, other than people like, you know, when you think about um, um, Vanguard, uh, people like uh, Guardian. The Guardian, you know, in those instances, um, that's why the Vanguard has survived for, for that long. Uh, if you look at Champion that the one who started, it was more more like political. But anyway, I, I don't want to go to specific quick, media. Quick one before you go to the next person, just just a quick point, please. Pardon me, please. So on that issue of our uh, senators being previously governors, but there are senators who have been senators for a long time. People like this Ali Ali Ndume we are talking about is literally right now, if I'm not wrong, the doyen of the Nigerian Senate. I think he's the oldest person in the Senate so far. He's been there since 2003, and he hasn't had a break. He hasn't lost an election. He's been coming back, up and back, and back. Now, if you had listened to him when they asked him about the 1.5 or is it 1.2 billion for the office of the of the uh, first, um, first lady, did you did you hear his response? He deflected and said he knows this the first lady and he knows her not to be somebody who wants so much and 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 did that good for Ayo. Ayo came back and said no, no, we're not talking about your personal relationship. You are a senator. Distinguish yourself from the woman you know. Your job is to sit down and ask the people who brought that into you to say, why do we have a, a line item on this budget stating first lady? This is unconstitutional. They can put the money in other line items because already it's a breach of the constitution. So the point I'm trying to make is this. I don't think our problem is that these people have been governors before. No. I think our problem is the mindset. I keep saying it here. We have a people who are entitled. We have a people, and they are coming from you and I, from all of us. When I say you and I, I mean all of us as Nigerians. So the moment somebody already has a mindset that going to government is to go and butter their bread, is to go and be the lord of the manor, they will carry this mindset from whatever little level they are until they get to the top. We need to change that mindset. That is where this national orientation that somebody has raised is going to play a vital role if we're going to do it right. Clean up the Nigerian mindset. If you see, our governors are coming from within us. Our speakers, they are coming from within us. It, our classmates, your former colleague at workplace, these people are not angels. It's coming from our system. So until right. we clean it up, we're going to have those kind of people at the top. All right. Thank you, Chim. Uh, KJ, you are also from the media. Yes. Um, thank you so much on, on this. And uh, I just want to uh, put something on record. 
Nigeria has National Orientation Agency. It's still there. You know that they have been they have been denied of funds. So the director, whom I know very well, has been so denied of funds that they cannot even do any any um, you know carry out any uh, you, know, you know campaign right now. But it's there. It's almost in every. They have representation in every state. Okay. Um, the government seems to put more priority in the thing that not to educate Nigerians, but to make make sure that we are all docile and not able to do much or ask questions, relevant questions we should be asking. Now, like um, what you said, uh, Rudolph, there's an oversight function, and the senators, especially Ndume, knows what an oversight function is. But here is how oversight function is done uh, in the Nigerian context. If we're going to oversight, say, Minister of Education, the minister comes and sees us, and when he comes, he gets a nod. If you do not go and see them, if you can remember the case of Arimete many years ago, when she refused to accept their demand, then you become a bad person. And so your budget is questioned and scrutinized, and you are made, you know, they look for all ways to try and frustrate you. So most people, when they are going there, they make sure that they already padded in. Remember the word padding? What will be given later to those people? And some of them even demand it upfront. So when they are coming, they say, okay, just make sure that uh, once we reach there, the bag is given to us. And um, so that is done. It's still being practiced, it has not changed. Um, as for the media, you see, the, the Nigerian media unfortunately suffers a lot because in the first place, uh, I know some, some media houses where uh, fellow journalists are giving their, when they give you their ID card, they say, this is your meal ticket use it wisely. So when you go out, you're going to interview Rudolph. If Rudolph is not going to give you the money to take you back, that interview, when you finish it, you put it at the, you know, you put it away. You know what you call a KV, keep away. Because it doesn't have any return. But when you interview Ovier, and Ovier gives you something in return, you make sure that based on where he, where, what he has done, if it's good enough, it can, you know, to be in a very strategic place in the paper where to be heard. Now, that is how some of the media people are surviving. In fact, to be a journalist in Nigeria, first of all, I have to praise them because you cannot be going to work when you don't know when you'll be paid. At the end of the month, not many of them are paid. You know, you just have to wait until uh, money is given to you, except those ones who work in news agency of Nigeria who get salary on a daily basis. The ones that work in private companies, which is the ones that actually are giving Nigeria the news they need to hear. Not majority, not a lot of them get paid, you know, not a lot of them get paid on men monthly basis. Some of them even have to go out and look for adverts to put on their program. And from that advert payment, they are paid. I'm just telling you how the system works because I have been there. Now you go out, when you get an advert, somebody agreeing to advertise on your program, and then from that advert, you pay yourself or you are paid. Okay, most of them pay themselves. They say, oh, this is my salary. I don't collect my salary. See when I live, I won't remain for now. You pay it in. Now, why is that? That's because, again, the, the media has don't make enough money. Okay, government is more concerned. It, the only reason why some of them are even surviving to this point was because now nobody watches NTA. Before, NTA does all the, the coverages. And so once they go to NTA and broadcast, they believe that every Nigeria will get it. But because NT has lost out in the power and in fact in programming, now most people watch private uh, news news outlets, so they are now forced to go. And each government choose their own, the one they want to patronize, the one that talks good about them. And in the recent time, it has been channels. Remember before now, channels was the one we used to praise. But eventually, John Momo got entangled in the APC web and became the uh, the um, chairman of the Nigerian Broadcasting Commission. And see, he became Nigerian Broadcasting So he had to tone down. They toned down. In fact, even if you are a follow-up um, channel, so I don't know when they toned down on their you know aggression towards asking the right questions. Especially, I know when um, um, was the guy, Chamberlain and his team were being harassed, you know, by the DSS, you know, because at that time, you know, you know, Chamberlain was, you know, quite hot. He asked the, all the questions you need to be asked. He doesn't play around with it. So now that gave rise to Arise News. Before now, Arise News, not a lot of people go to Arise News until um, Ruben Apati and the team came in. It was Tundu before, Ruben Apati, Tundu and um, Husseini. 
and they also were able to go beyond what Nigerian media on, uh, do, you know, would have normally done. You know, what do we normally do? We go to you, Rudolph. We say, okay, oh, we are coming to ask you. These are the areas we're going to ask the question on. So you get prepared. Or we give you the question ahead of time. Then you come and sit. And when you cough, we say, sorry, sir. And when you say, <clears throat> can I, you say, yes, yes. What? So you go and they did. When you finish acting, they say, let me see. Let me see what you have recorded. You see, I don't like that part. I'll remove it. It's okay, sir. I'll remove it. So, but now they are dealing with the journalists that is, some of them hold a PhD. Some of them are even professors. Some of them are people that, that have come of age in the media. I will not agree to be pushed around. So government has issue with them. Because, you know, you come and they parade the same degree which you parade. The only difference is that you are a politician and they are, they, are, they are journalists. Okay? And so you begin to look at them, you know, as if you are higher in position than a journalist who have chosen to do a profession just like you have chosen to be a politician. It doesn't make you more special. So that is where the, the problem is. And they can't stand people who can tell it to themselves that, Oga, you are wrong in this case, all right? Before now, you know, remember how we, the people used to celebrate uh, Shemun? Because Shemun would say, I, I put it to you. They say, ah, the guy that they fear, did they put it to them? Because this was never heard before, you know? It was never heard before, it was, but now, and then after this level, now we have a, an Oseni who will tell you how it is, okay? It's not everything that Oseni says that I actually agree with, especially sometimes when he takes a position against, uh, you know, the Igbos, because like I said, those are, Sometimes they use a very wrong analogy, all right? But, but they are doing what, what is expected of the, of the fourth realm of the, of, you know, of the government. Even though in Nigeria, the government do not understand that the media is the fourth realm. That's why they are pushed around. That's why there's no subvention for them. That's why they don't even care. I mean, whether you are asking the right question or not, they don't think they owe you that explanation. Unlike the Western world, yeah, the question is asked and you have to respond. Okay, because you know that you owe it to them. That's, that's the purpose of which they play. Um, unfortunately, like I said, uh, it's not getting better. Okay, because if in the whole of the Nigerian population, we can only count and on our fingertips media people, personalities, not even houses that can be able to stand and ask the right question, then we have a problem in our hands. And that's what is going on right now in Nigeria, you know. Ayo, Ayo, yeah, Ayo, Ayo, you know, when she started, she was a bit distant, but she has come of age, I mean, so quickly also, all right? And sometimes the question she asks is even beyond what Ruben and uh, combined with uh, Fire would have asked. She just goes straight and picks the target and uh, hits at it. And, you know, even when uh, Dr. Abati do not agree with it uh, or her taking a different stand, she's not afraid to take her own stand which is totally different from what he had. And I think I praise them for it. And I hope that they don't change, you know, if the system will continue to allow them. And like you said, majority of the houses, uh, the media house in Nigeria are owned by politicians. And most times, like you already know, those news are written in alignment with those political stands of the owners. Thank you. All right. I'll, I'll come back to Chim and KJ. I, I want, not not now, but I, when I go, go around, I want you guys to talk about how people perceive uh, Rufa, you know, because it's uh, something that is out there. Um, uh, Mazio Vie, you talked about, <laughs> I liked when you were talking about uh, amplifiers. I don't know who this people are. But can you explain that in terms of the media? Who, who are the amplifiers? What are they amplifying? Uh, is this something that someone gave them to amplify what is what are you talking about what do you mean by that because you are in the in the media space now so i want to know what you are to. are you an amplifier or are you what are you uh Rufa is a classical example of an amplifier but this one is a, is a special case i'll get to that but i think i would like to put it this is this is my own observation of the media space <clears throat> especially out of nigeria there's one media in nigeria outside the normal platform that we have now on the internet like this one that everybody come here speak their mind speak the way it is most of the time we hear the right nerves and all that outside that all the other media they want and they only speak the voice and the lifestyle of the ruling class they don't speak for the other nigerian if you think i'm just being overboard go and ask you worry when she was running for president in 2019, how did the media 
actually receive him and give him platform, knowing him to is coming from a media that pretty much took over their own uh, shine during that time. Now, what do I mean by uh, uh, what do I mean by that? Just look at two things. You look at where they say follow the money, right? Now, what do I mean by follow the money? These are business entity, whether we like it or not. They are there for make profit. And who are the ninety nine percent of the owners of this media? You know, just like what uh, Ben uh, alluded to. Uh, the elite members of the elite community, they are related, they are friends, they do all their things together. Two, that's, another, that's one aspect. Another aspect is that the sponsors, who are those people who are advertising on this platform, this media, both prints, however you want to classify it, just like the KJ said. Even Rupa himself, when he was here, when, uh, when, he, when uh, Rupa and Rudolph invited him here, he said it himself. They don't have their own budget because he has... It's also using uh, Anderson Cooper of CNN and the rest as, uh, as an example of how much those guys have in their control to run their own. Drupal and the rest, they don't have budget. KJ self said it. They give you your ID, that is your meal ticket. Now, am I saying, oh, because like Rufai is going there to collect bribe and all that? No, I'm, I'm, I, I'll be reaching too far. But this is what, this is what I understand about uh, the role Rufai is playing. Rufai is, ve is, is very, very, necessary distraction necessary distraction in the sense that it's necessary for the ruling class rufai represents the corporate elite of the ruling class the business guys now why i did that class him as a necessary distraction he based on people who are listening to him not just him but arise news in general i've always said this every government anywhere in the world have to code one is very loud and one is silent. The loud one is that it is a need for that government to at least control all the length and breadth of that country, if it can, so that at least every, especially Nigeria, Nigeria will say, okay, this person is doing where they care about us. We are not losing our country anytime soon. But the silent one is that keep as many as the cities in Dosa away from reality as possible so then can carry out their own whatever they plan they have and that's where Rufa is very important now let me let me even go far up on all those issues and let me focus on this particular one that you play uh, uh rudolph what are they talking about they are talking about subsidy who removes subsidy when they remove subsidy about eight years down the road who cares who removes it kpc government remove subsidy who cares if it's Buhari? Who cares if it's uh, Tunu? Who cares if it's the next APC government that is going to come? It is one government. And that's why I said the, uh, the media don't speak for us. They don't want us to see that demarcation, that this is party politics. Even though I said it is one political system we have now in Nigeria. Does it really matter if it is Buhari or the Tunubu that remove the subsidy? It is APC government. So that's why I said Rufa is a necessary distraction. It doesn't even really matter who removed it. We are feeling the brunt already. Is that why they should be acting on news media for, or on the live television? For? It's necessary because the followers will inch on that. Why, as I said, Bola Tunubu has single-handedly nominated commissioners that will run the next election, because now the people will make and win the next election with that. Why so, so many things is not that even the party, the budget. They are not talking about it. They are talking about who removed the subsidy? Twin antics and other. So it's a very necessary distraction for the people who put him there. He's playing that role well. And I describe the amplifiers that they don't even know what they are actually amplifying, the meaning behind what they're amplifying, because they are so good at what it does. They are smart, they are educated, they are exposed, they are passionate at what it does. So you can see, so you can hardly see through what they are doing because even themselves don't understand people who gaslight when i use wiki as an example has a then okay we lost to VA mm -hmm. as usual the fear of profile is the beginning of wisdom i don't know what what word what is all right let me see you next okay thank you primary. um if those say nine oh, somebody who ran and yes, lost out of the yeah. primaries let me wait. Sorry, somebody who ran and lost out of the primary, if to say he win the ticket and he contests that become the president, will literally be gaslighting us to take to the streets? He will not do that. 
So that's why I say it's a gaslighting. Know what they want. People that are fine don't know why people are that are gaslighting. They are just doing their job. As I said, they are good. If they put you in that position too, you will do it because there's a talking point that will pass on to them indirectly without even giving them orders. Say, do like this. Right? It is an object of the day. Just do this. It's a corporate entity. And I'm not blaming them because they have to survive. A country whereby there is no private sector. Now only them, then they patronize themselves. How dare you not speak their language? They are not going to fire you directly. They will stop the company. So this is this is what we are dealing with. This is exactly what we are dealing with. It's a when people are saying it's a state capital, yes, I will agree with them. And one that's why I disagree with the fact that we should not plan. Because if we plan, all this thing will be visible to all of us. Because if we invite them to the table of planning, the way they'll be responding to your uh, uh, talking point, you will see it clearly. Because they cannot come out and say, this is what they stand for, or this is who they are, because of the entity they are working for. All right. As thank you. Thank you. OK, thank you for this opportunity. The media has been uh, captured, not now, long, long ago. Most of the media houses are owned by politicians. Those who are not owned by politicians have some of their ownership linked in one way or the other with politicians. There was this media house uh, that was, uh, I think it's still in operation, Leadership Newspaper. I never knew that. Uh, so I, I later discovered that the owner is equally a politician. I don't know if it's late now. So it has been the way. There may be some individual reporters or journalists in those media houses who want to do the right thing, but they will be warned that don't go beyond this place. The editors censor whatever they, they bring because they too have been warned not to go beyond this place. But Rofai is different, probably because the owner of Arise, Ndoko Obaibuna, gave them that leverage to, to speak freely, to ask the, 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 the tough questions to people who come on their on their program, particularly government officials. And Rofai. I've discovered he's a man who has a conscience. He doesn't like what is going on. He doesn't care whose cause is God. He asks the right question. I've seen many APC um, supporters or officials warning him. Even the man from Newi, Joe, um, what's his name now? Ibokwe. Joe Ibokwe said he will not rest until Rufai gets out of uh, Arise TV. You can. Can imagine the, the petty thing he's doing? He doesn't see the problem Nigeria is facing. He wants to get somebody out because the person is speaking the truth to power. So that is the problem with the media. I, I was in the media as well for, for a while. We know how these things work. If you bring story like KJ rightly said, many of them are not being paid very well. Some are being owed months. And some, some they will give you a particular bit that is probably sort of juicy, maybe Defense Ministry, FCT Ministry, Cover Education Ministry, things like that. So at because those people they, they 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 have programs every time. And the reporters, when they go there, they 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 do their job, they come. If you see what they usually write in the papers or in their broadcast houses, what they what they what they bring out are all in promotion of what the ministry is doing. It's only in real cases that you see that same reporters, like if money has been diverted for something else. They ask those questions and all that. And sometimes they go into they run into trouble with either the ship press secretary in that in that media house also. I've seen instances where they have they've called the person back to say, please, that's story, that story that we that is it's on air. That's not the way it happened. Can you change it? Change it. Then they'll call the they will call the editor. The editor will now send another reporter to that place. They will not give a new narrative, and they, that other one is kept to you, or that is damage control, so to speak. So the media is supposed to be the fourth estate of the of the realm. They're supposed to be the voices of the people, telling the people what the, the inside, what is going on inside government. But many of them have, have fallen by the wayside because of they don't have no, no insurance backing them. Few who have put their hand in the in the fire, their hands have been burned and they've been left to, to freeze. So that is why many of them, many of the non the, the ordinary reporters, they just go and do their bits the way their management asks them to do just to keep their salary going, to keep their family going. But that is not what it should be. So the media is in, is, has, has been completely 
um, there, there, there's this effort by the government. They've been doing it since at least we saw it massively during everybody's time to to intimidate and to silence to silence the media to make sure that it's only government narrative that is coming. That's why, as it appears now, it appears maybe only few of them, like Rufai, is the one who is telling them who, who is um, uh, hitting them at the at the right point. That is why he has so many fans. In Imo State, there's one man, the cardinal, I've forgotten his real name now, he's called uh, his, um, his uh, media name is Nonsonkwa. The man has been in and out of a uh, cell because he, he he says it, he says what this man does that is not good, the governor there. And he, he, was, he, was, he was thrown into uh, detention some time ago. He even made effort to even contest an uh, elective position just to, uh, to put some of those things he wants to, those changes, those changes he wants to see that he's one of those who make it happen, but they leave him out. So the media, it is necessary that they, they find their feet again. I, I, I was very, very conscious when uh, the Abasha regime was in power. We saw how, if, it, if, if not for the, what, what the media did, the collective media, private, particularly the private media, probably the man was, would have still been in power by now. But they, they, they joined forces with the, uh, the, the democratic forces to, to put so much, uh, uh, so much out about him to the world. And it even attracted up to it attracted the attention of the of the Pope then. So they should find that bite again. If, if because they know the tenets of, of the profession is truth at all times. If if somebody wants to practice media, the true media, it's not because you want to get money in your pocket, you want to eat. If the, the country is in a, in, a, in a very bad situation right now, I, I believe other media practitioners, if they can if they can do a, a part of what people like Rufa is doing. Speak the truth to power. Even if if Rufa is arrested today, we all know that he was arrested because he was saying the truth. How many are they going to arrest? And in so doing, they can encourage the masses as well. So, all right, Lubisi, thank you so much. Um, for for those who are in the media, when I come back to you, I, I want to also to think about because there are different aspects of the media, not just uh, the people on TV and the people on uh, print media. There is also online media, and sometimes people forget the differences. And then there is also the one that is of interest to me is investigative uh, journalism. So where you will now have to talk about someone like David and Denny and, and how people perceive them. Because there, I think there's a gap between what the expectations of people are and what the job of the, the journalists should be in Nigeria. All right, um, Rachel Smart. Yeah, Dr. Rudolph, um, the issue of uh, journalism or the media space in Nigeria uh, is not, uh, not something that just started today. It, it has become or it has always been the vehicle by which the politicians used to get to their desired position. We remember African pilots by Zeke, Tribune by Awolowo. What's African pilot? Well, yeah, West African pilot by Zeke, uh, Tribune by Awolowo, and the rest of it. So the media space have always been uh, utilized by these politicians, just like uh, so many of us have submitted. Uh, those who I was, um, I was one of the people that were held during a Bacha regime. You know, I have not said it out here. I was incarcerated, but I'm not going to give the details of what really happened. Um, those people that were fighting for democracy against the military junta, they are the people today that are governing Nigeria. And they are the people today that own these media spaces we're talking about. And they know that it's a tool to put the government on their toes. So they invested in it. And they are now, they do not want the media to do the rightful things. Um, down home here, we have good people, not only Rofai that is doing well. We have uh, one journalist is Kofi from uh, News Central. It's a television station. The guy is also up to date. Yeah, News Central. His name is Kofi. Righteous man, why do you say that he's doing well? This guy you are talking about, what what does he yeah. do? 
when he conducts uh, when he conducts interviews he asks those questions that are very difficult for ordinary journalists to put across to their guests you know he holds a political program called the, I think, is it political weight or whatever? I always listen to it, seven o'clock Nigerian time. The guy is good, he is bold. He will ask you that question, and even when you are trying to dodge it, he will push until you give an answer to it. And uh, in the radio station like uh, Wazobia, we have good, good uh, journalists also, radio broadcasters in uh, Wazobia that are doing very, very well. Uh, the pressure had been on them. Um, somebody like uh, Sandra Ezekwesele that works with Nigeria Info. Uh, there was a day I put a, 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 a call across to her and I asked her about this investigative journalism. Why is it not being done by the Nigerian journalist? Just like Delegiwa, the late Gele, De, Delegiwa. So she told me that the cost of carrying this out is not what we we can imagine that was what she i personally called her she said the cost is not what we can just imagine and again when you are working there are rules and regulations you work based on what you are told to carry out you know so um radio now there is another radio station in lagos called radio now uh there's one uh, one young chap there uh, I've forgotten his name. He's also very, very good. So he's not, we have the likes of Rofai so much, but the thing is that the focus is in, on Arise because I think uh, Arise has made, suddenly became the national uh, state um, uh, radio uh, TV station in Nigeria that every focus is right on. There are other people that are doing pretty well. And when you talk about uh, Ruben Abati, Let's not forget that Ruben Abati contested for election, uh, the deputy governor of, uh, he was a deputy governor of uh, Ugun State. So he has been a politician, he has been in the corridors of power. And then um, in his Twitter handle, I sent him a message recently. I said, I know, and we are very, very conscious of what you are doing. We know we are waiting for your appointment and uh, very soon it will get to you. So he is playing the politics of trying to gain something from this particular government. So, and uh, there is one of, uh, Rudolf, I wanted to send the message to you. There's one guy, a journalist from the North called Usman, uh, Usman Umaru. He openly accused Ruben Abati. He is also a journalist. That Ruben came to Abuja before the uh, Supreme Court gave their final verdict and was asking him to meet him in the hotel so that they would talk. He was saying that Ruben does not go where he will not receive envelope. So, and he opted that, he told him that he can't come to the hotel to meet him. So Ruben is a tool in the hand of uh, the APC. APC have destroyed this country and APC doesn't want anything good to come out of this country. Even the media, they have got the media that if there is a statement you'll be making, because mostly in the morning, I contribute on radio stations. They are calling programs. There are some, sta some statements you want to make, they will tell you, please, you know that we are being monitored, we are, we are being done this, we are being done that. We don't want our station to be fined 5 million. And, but during the military era, this fine was not there. During PDP era, these fines were not there. It was introduced by APC. So APC doesn't want the Nigerians to breed. And that is why we must do everything to make sure that APC do not survive as a political party to retain post, uh, post in 2027. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Um, I am not going to defend uh, any journalists, but I, I need to point out that um, we have a long-standing invitation for Ruben to come on the show. I hope he will come. Uh, but I, I always caution people, but Ruben has become a public official. You know, he was in government as spokesperson for Jonathan. So um, people have gone to that level there. Anybody, people can say things, but uh, it's common. I've been accused of being paid by government officials. So it's a normal thing that people say when someone is saying something they don't like. The point is that um, we should be cautious, you know. Um, it's not in all cases that somebody who disagrees with you is because they collected money. Because someone can turn around and say, righteous, 
this thing you come here and talk about is because some maybe some Hanese people paid you to come to this platform to talk about Ndibo this way. Anyway, um, Dan, welcome to the show. What's your take? Yeah, my take is will be very short one because uh, if you come from a system that is very dirty and stinking, sorry for, to use that language, there will be so much uh, oppression to truth. And Nigeria has that system. There's no truth in Nigeria. Let's face the fact. Whether the media is on one side or on the other side or somebody is trying to fight for the poor people. Rufa, you say a good... It's, I, I don't know who he is, but I, I always respect him so much. Is it, hold on, is it because he's saying things that you agree with? Not saying things that I agree with. He's speaking the truth. There's two differences between saying the truth and what somebody agrees with. You understand me, Dr. Rudolph? Yeah. Because you say something to please somebody and what you are saying is not the truth. Nobody, in this life, everybody knows the truth. It's either you want to say it or you refuse to say it. So I think that is clear there, that question you asked me. He's not saying something that pleases me. The brother is saying the truth. No, you went somewhere. I don't want us to push it because it's a long conversation about the truth. Because these days, I think the issue we have is that we don't even agree on what is the truth. But I don't want that to be the conversation. Yes, doctor, that is where the problem is. Everybody hmm. knows the truth. No, There's well, no how can, everybody, how, can, how can everybody know the truth and then everybody and then we are this conversation? One one truth now. Uh. Two plus two is four. Three what? plus one, three plus one is four. Nobody can tell me now two plus three is five. That person if is you're using five. binary. If you're using binary, that's true. But if you are using a different mathematical uh, environment, it's different. The answer will be different. But then it, let's not go there. The point is this the disagreement, if you look at any issue in Nigeria, even in America, it's the go back to that concept of truth is it's a problem. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead with your okay. comments. Yeah. I know you are trying to push me off my line, but I will tell you the truth is the truth. Mm. The truth is always the truth, no matter how you paint it. it. And Nigeria lacks that. There's no love in Nigeria. There's no truth in Nigeria. Whether somebody is saying this or saying that, Rufai is a man who speaks the truth. And that's why most people him, oh, be respect. Uh, don't tell me that. All because they don't want the truth. And they believe they are in the power or they are in this group of criminals who control Nigeria that nobody should tell them or uh, you know there's something in the truth too the people like to cover the truth and when you have a platform to expose the truth like this platform you have which god knows that i love it so much and that's why you see my face here all the time not because i don't have nothing to do but i'm a man who comes to where we meet brothers and sisters who are speaking the truth I can spend my whole day, though I will be leaving very soon to do my, go and look for my uh, my daily bread. Daily but, bread. <laughs> yeah, the truth is what what brings me to your platform. There are a lot of brothers here who take the effort to speak the truth, and some of them too. We come here and just bra 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 bra. We know them too. Sometimes we just leave them to say, but we know who they are, and God will help them to change their mind. So. I don't have much to say in the media, even in the music scene, which I belong to. Maybe some I'm not popular enough for you people to know me. That, it's that, also, that, that, hold on before you go for that. That your music. Uh, how many times have I told you to send me the music so I will be playing it here half time, half you know, call? No, I'll be traveling next month to make the, the full video so okay. that I will, so now you can if it's okay. if it's, it's a lot of truth, truthful things, so you can I want to prepare it properly. Yeah. And your your song too you requested for to for the to welcome people your show is almost okay. I will say, you will just, you will, if it if it suits you then you can no, use it anything from Dan we play it you know even if yeah. you are giving me I will still play it it's okay oh so let me just conclude because my time is up the thing is if you look at the music industry for example most of this music you see popular music or music that people will say is sweet there's no truth in them you know. If you bring, if you write a song that we help Nigeria the, uh, uh, morally or to keep Nigeria in the right sense, nobody will play your music. But if you say uh, if you sing a song uh, Bugaho and all those kinds, it will be selling millions. And this is how they've reduced Nigeria to the days of Fela. They will not allow his music to play. 
because the truth is there. So this media issue is not just the, the popular, like the voice of the people, for example, I listen to them a lot. You will see the truth because some of them will even tell you to please be civil. They will come and do this. They will do that to us. But at least they give the people to call in like you are doing to express the truth. And that's even if it's a two minutes truth, it's enough for people like us to, to have hope. So guys, right. I want to tonight and thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Dan. Thank you so much. Um, Henry, you're next. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Rudolph. Good evening, everybody. Uh, you know, Nigerians, Nigerians are, are, they have been living for long with lies. So when you see somebody out of the journalist came out boldly to speak the, the, the truth about what is going on in that country or has questions that none of you can ask, you come here, start making, talking blah, 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 talk a bit around the bush. Mr. Rudolph, you are a journalist. There are some things you will say. Some of your parliament, parliament, parliament here will not like what you say. You know the truth. You know some things you're going to say. They will not like it because they'll be living in this bondage, darkness, lies, living of lies all the rest of their life. So when they see somebody coming out boldly, fearless person, come out to speak, to ask the question you cannot even bold enough to, to ask, you start dancing, beating around the bush. A party cannot come out and speak like Rufai. You know why? A party is a corrupt politician journalist. We know him because he is working for his so-called so paymasters because he's among the correct corrupt elite politicians. He's a journalist, but he cannot be bold enough to speak like Rufai. Try to watch his program when they go live to see how many, if Rufai is not there and uh, OG, call, uh, OG is not there. The, 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 the viewers will be less. You see, Rufai cannot even go extra miles because he knows who he is. I said Rufai, sorry, Abati. Abati, uh, Rufai is speaking and asking questions that me, I cannot be bold enough to ask in Nigeria. When he's in Nigeria, he asks this question. Okay, what is the problem? Why they, why they cry like, like, like a little baby? Like when Obito, if you remember uh, Mr. Rudolph, Mr. Obi went there. They asked him a lot of questions. He did not fight. He did not talk to you. Are you giving me this same question? Why is all APC and those corrupt minded people we say they have a problem with uh, Rufai? Nigeria journalists are so tied, so corrupt, that they cannot even speak for the masses no more. The questions the masses should ask these politicians, they don't have, they, they cannot ask them. The only journalists can do this for, for the masses. That's what Rufai is doing. If you don't like it, it's only a, a corrupt-minded people We not like what Rufa is doing. He don't go down and insult people like the one he did last with the APC. APC man was crying like a crying baby. It was so, it was so rude. Rufa could not even insult him, but some of these people here will come here and say, Rufa did, Rufa that. You cannot be bold enough to go to Nigeria and do the same what Rufa is doing, 1% of it. Rufa is saying the truth, and the truth hurts so much. Like when I come here and talk now, sometimes I don't want to be your friend either. Here, I just want to talk to talk to what I feel is right. If you like to take it, you don't take it. But there are some people who like what I said. We, we, we should learn to appreciate our home. That is our, one of our journalists who is speaking the truth, who is speaking the pains, who is asking this question that we cannot have this uh, opportunity to ask. We should appreciate it. If it's CNN, if it's one of those CNN journalists, you people will be clapping out for them, or those uh, CBS, uh, what they call it. Huh? We don't have people like Rufai a lot, Mr. Rudo. You, you, you know what I'm saying. We don't have people like that. Like if you be in Nigeria, what of the program you are doing in uh, in, in America? They think they will let you to do all this your joke. With, all the joke you're doing there in uh, America, they will try to. If you have a, a studio in Nigeria, they will try to give you uh, give you a, 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 a sanction. They sanction them too much that like they're in prison. You know they don't have free space to to ask these corrupt, minded politicians. It's not the same Nigeria. Your your president want to buy yacht and they already bought it already before they come out before you put no i would allow sorry just give me one minute please if they allow the journalists to go extra mile to investigate these things and come out and speak it's not the same nigeria they will not allow them to speak it's not the same nigeria they said not they should not uh, broadcast out the killing of uh, boko haram you should not show it on tv it's not the same nigeria is that a country you say uh, journalists you should be happy you have somebody like in your time that, that things you cannot even do, not even your generation cannot even do it. Rufai is doing it. You should be clapping for him every day. 
Don't come here and start talking blah, blah, blah yet. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Henry. Uh, for Fedes. Yeah, um, thank you. Um, I think um, from what I've seen, uh, the results can tell for itself, I think. The media is not doing a very good job of holding the government accountable in Nigeria. You see some of them trying. Um, Rufai, I've seen him ask some pertinent questions sometimes. And um, same for Abati. Abati does have his moments. Um, you know, he was the one calling out governors when they were going overseas for meetings before the election and saying what is wrong with them and about colonial mentality and stuff like that. And uh, But they seem to do it sporadically and almost as a lip service. They are not consistent as people that are seeking answers to the problem. Um, you, 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 I get a feeling that sometimes they, they've learned some lessons from the West too, because Western journalists do that too. They tend to patronize the people who talk as if they are actually seeking answers, but they are not. Maybe it's just a feature of the trade. Maybe they uh, they have to cut their code according to their size, and they are not as powerful and as independent as one would expect them to be. Um, it, maybe this is also part of um, the deficits uh, of constitutions not writing uh, the media into the constitution. They tend to, because just like um, the um, House of uh, Representatives and uh, the legislative and uh, the executive have their place in the state, maybe the media should have some too. Um, because they don't seem to have that. Maybe that's a reflection of what the issue is, why they don't seem to have enough power to hold the um, executives or legislative um, and branches, or even uh, the, uh, the the the, the le le legal ones. Um, I don't know what they're called again. They're not holding them accountable enough because they, they, the judges in Nigeria and many other countries, they're, they're just beholden to themselves, really. Nobody is reporting on them. Nobody is holding them accountable. So um, some of the... From what I can, if I can summarize, I think um, uh, Chim was harsh. <laughs> I think he was harsh because he, he sounded more generous uh, than I was. He even gave them thirty percent. So I'm even thinking maybe I should even give them lower now, uh, because they do ask questions. It's not like they don't talk. They do ask questions, but they don't dig deep. And in in, in the context of Nigeria, um, you don't see them being nationalistic enough, like that car issue we're talking about they, they they gave up the moment the guy says one thing okay let's go and carry on no don't carry on this it matters jobs are at stake this is matter you don't give up and um, the the politicians promise you stuff and nobody is really holding the government accounting for what they promise especially on security especially on the manufacturing no 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 those things are really happening you should be asking them one on a daily basis where where are the things you promised us or not but maybe they don't have the power to do it maybe they are scared maybe they do too much uh, they will get fired after all some of the media houses are owned by uh, these uh, elites and then the question arises, how do you deal with this problem then? How, who is going to hold them accountable? Who is going to uh, sensitize these people to know their rights? Maybe it has to come from the diaspora. You, because relying on those media houses in Nigeria may not solve the problem. And thankfully, their um, sway and their power is reducing on a daily basis. Because the online medium is where most people get their news now. I mean, a lot, no, I wouldn't say most. A lot of people get their news on the online medium and a lot of people are move, moving away from uh, the traditional uh, mediums. I'm not even sure why newspapers are still relevant. Um, we tend to find newspapers relevant in uh, more uh, Western democracies and it's a way of kind of using it to control the narrative of the news of the day. Like in the case of the UK, you see that the, the newspapers will release a headline and that is the direction that the media goes in. And I'm not sure why that is the case. The newspapers are barely doing any business. And yet, uh, the whole narrative from the, main, the mainstream media and the news channels, they just take their headlines from the um, uh, this in the newspapers. I don't know why that is the case, because you are reaching more people. You have um, uh, a lot more um, if, if immediate comment on events. But you listen to the ones that wrote uh, news headlines about um, Pan-Africanism and nationalistic um, kind of tendencies in Nigeria. I noticed that, I think um, Dan was saying something about music. Um, I noticed that in the, the, the area where they resided before now in Nigeria was in music. 
uh, you tend to see that in a lot of uh, the even from Majek Fashek and um, Sonia Kosuns and all you see that by um, Fela, they that's where our Pan Africanism and nationalism was residing. And somewhere along the line in the uh, 2000s, it disappeared. That too has disappeared. And in the media, it's disappeared. And nobody is. They, they don't even see them being nationalistic. And maybe that's why they are all worried that the country is falling apart. Because there's not things that seems to be gluing us together. There are things I want to mention about orientation agency. The same thing. We have them, but we're not using them. All these things have been stood down. And we don't know why. And if I'm to give Max, based on the, what has been discussed and all I've said, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give it 25 since I don't want to be more generous than Chim. You know, it's going to be terrible, man. I can't, I can't be more generous than Chim. All so right. 25. Thank you for, for this. Um, yeah, uh, KJ, you wanted to say something? Yes, yes, thank you. I just wanted to um, add a little bit. You see, it was deliberate. Uh, for, for, I'm just responding to you. It was deliberate. Um, it was Obasanjo's government that stopped AM radios in Nigeria. They replaced them with FM radios. And in FM radios, they decided to give the people entertainment. So the FM radios play music from morning till night. Nobody hears anything, whatever is going on in government. When I was in secondary school, sometimes when essays are given to you, they ask you to listen to the radio. You listen to the radio, a particular program, and you write what you understood from it. It's an AM radio, not FM. But eventually, they decided to make Nigerians entertaining or made us to become dumb people. So they removed, they stopped AM radios. There's part certain group of people then who took it up and said, no, these are the radio where you need to educate people. Because we still hear AM radios broadcasting from Cameroon. Their, second, their primary school matches, we hear them on AM radios. Okay? In fact, sometimes you are, you are hearing AM uh, uh, primary school matches in Cameroon. You wonder what kind of, you know, it is celebrated. There's a primary school. They stopped all secondary school games. I'm telling you where the decay started from. Before now, there was all secondary school games where we all meet and, you know, uh, trash it out in all sports. First of all, from the states, then eventually to the national level. That was stopped. So it was a deliberate continual removal of the the, uh, the 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 fabric of the of the nation. Remember that it was Jerry Ghana, Professor Jerry Ghana, who was the first Mamsa uh, um, um, uh, chairman. And he did a beautiful, even though I don't agree with some of this, but he did a very beautiful campaign, okay, around the nation. So the, so much so that people understood for once what it were, what is the national um, uh, and ethos, okay? Right now, we don't have any. There's nothing that makes you say, okay, this is what you do and what and what and what you do to make you a Nigerian, okay? This is this is our national belief. This is our... So, in, in other words, we are all growing like, uh, you know, a sparagyra in every direction. No, no, there's no, there's no center. There's no center that holds anything, okay? Rather, as me and you are friends, when we get there, we just divide our own. You take your own, I take my own. We, our people, you know, we tell them they, they shouldn't worry. Their reward is here. It will be here or in the here before or after. And that is what we continually have been telling Nigerians. See, you can't, if, the truth of the matter is that I haven't been someone who was in that system, at least, you know, as an independent journalist. All right? I, I don't see how you can survive because you're picking a cry for hunger. Your Peking will cry for hunger, my brother. And when you hear a Peking cry for hunger, and then uh, uh, you know a governor says, "Look, uh, AIT is not reporting me well. I want to do uh, give me an interview. I want to do an interview and publish it. How much will it cost you to put it on AIT? Or guy to cost you one point five to put it on AIT? How much your own fee? Or guy anything you give me, I'll take. Will two million do it for you? Ah, uh, or guy by all means. I'm just telling you how the system works. You go do your interview, edit it the way the governor wants." You go to AIT and slot it in and pay for the cost of the broadcast. It is it is broadcast, the governor's response. So now, are we supposed to say the journalist um, in Nigeria is, um, is, is no, no, you they, see, let me tell you, as a journalist, and, and I'll talk about that vis-a-vis -vis independent journalist. Now, 
Look at. Uh, let's go to David. Uh, 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 in the, uh, Can I just ask a quick question? Do you think that journalism or the media should have a constitutional role? Um, we 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 have a constitutional role. We have a constitutional role. If if I if most times when the police meets you, you say a journalist. They say, hey, uh -huh. so you you disarm them because they know that you are the fourth member of the government, but they don't accept that because just like every other thing. But there are three branches. No, nobody says they have a fourth branch. Oh, that's a fourth realm. Yeah, yes, there is, there is. Okay, hold on, uh, KJ. Hold, hold on, mm. KJ. Let me just uh, widen the conversation a little bit. Um, when you talk about media today, someone said, "Why, why is it that all the media, uh, TV session, and everybody, we all going to the newspapers uh, to take the headline from there? We get the cue, you know. Like if you, are, we used to work in a magazine in Lagos. In the morning, we sit down to meet. We bring out the newspapers. What are the papers saying? That's how we get the story to begin the conversation on what to cover for the week." The same thing with TV stations. They start with the newspapers. Why is that? The reason is that newspapers have people all over the country. Arise, for instance, uh, the, um, um, Ruben and uh, and Rufai, they don't have people all over the country. So how do they know what's happening? It's the newspapers that have people all over the country. Then the online media also, they've been able to do a wonderful job in the last 20 years and, and establish themselves. Sometimes, and I've said this before, when the uh, media, traditional media, are not able to publish a story because of, for many reasons, maybe interest of the publisher, in several reasons, security, online media will publish it, like People's Gazette, uh, Sahara Reporters, Cable, Premium Times, West Africa. They are there, they are playing a major role. There are so many stories today that you wouldn't have read in any Nigerian paper or seen any TV that, if not for the online media. So, so they are playing a wonderful role, especially in, in, in investigation. And, and this is something that people don't think about. People, most people in Nigeria, they've never bought a newspaper in the last five years, not, but they read the news. How do you think they are, they are operating? How do you think they are paying people? How will they survive? So the online media, most of them, even the traditional media now, they are getting funding. They're getting funding from non-profit organizations. They get foundation, the Ford Foundation, uh, or media, so many foundations. Without mm -hmm. them, the media in Nigeria will be worse than what it is today. And but but isn't that what I'm saying about the fourth um, estate? That if we had the fourth estate, they should have, have provision in the constitution to provide for them. But it's no, not no, there. No, there's no place in the world where they are providing. Yeah, we, we shouldn't care about the world. We should care about Nigeria. <laughs> no, UK, UK, where you are, they tax people for TV so that BBC will function. In America here, people, see? people contribute money to NPR or to PBS. And mm. when we give them something like ten percent, so it's not, it's not, and I don't think I want government media. But they're, they're, <laughs> I don't want government. Media. Rudolph, I want to ask you a question as a journalist. Can I? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, why is it that uh, the online media you were operating with before, Sahara Reporters, we are so much engaged in false news? Why is it that they make more money when they report something that is not correct? Okay, um, so the, if I ask you now and give me two examples of false news, I don't know if you can give me because people say this all the time um, that they reported. Why is it false? Yeah, let me give you an example. Eh? Give me an example. There's, there's one of my friends, he owns, uh, he's into oil business, he's a big guy from Delta State. He owns uh, one of these big uh, oil uh, ad outfits in Nigeria. Mm. When Sahara reported issue about him, mm. it was 900 and 900% false. And if it was not God, that man would have lost. It was divine intervention that survived that man's business. So what, what did the man do when he saw the story that was 990% false? What, what he did? Yeah. He asked this after the, the Sahara report, uh, reporters published that their false news, their fake news, he asked he came to his office and they raided the office. Because of the news story from Sahara? Yes. We'd we'll like okay. to know the news yes. now. Yeah, no, it's okay. Continue. Go ahead. You say what? 
So no, no, continue this. No, story. that was not what was in news. The man did what? The man prayed to God and God served him. Is that how it ended? No, 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 no. I said if it was not divine intervention. Yeah, that's divine, interve divine intervention does not mean that you prayed. Sometimes when your hands are clean and upright, divinely, you will, you know, things will work out for you. That's what I'm saying. And let us not let us not rubbish. Let us not rubbish the aspect of that there is a creature that supersedes all of us. And yeah. Yeah, whether man. we believe sorry, it or not, sorry, it, it does I, intervene. Righteous man, what did the man do to Sahara? Hold on, hold on. What did the man do to Sahara now? Since Sahara wrote something that was 990% wrong, what did the man do to him? To the Sahara reporters? What, what Sahara reporters have no official office in Nigeria as then. It's an online publication. Okay. So nobody knew where they were coming from. We we're just seeing the bomb boom boom and they were all false okay and and the man told you they were false and and um, yeah when when the ESCC raided his office mm. and uh they took his uh uh what do they call it the bookkeeping mm. you know they took it away squeezed his uh accountant and picked up the man at the end of the day the man was not using a um, computer in everyday transaction. He was using, he was keeping, uh, he has a very big giant book that he was transferring every, every business they transacted, both in Nigeria and in London, because he had a branch in London then. So he was keeping, when he handed over, when they raided his office and took the whole uh, things they needed, and when they went through it, they now showed him the report that this is the reason why we came. This is what uh, Sahara reporters published. And it was in Nigerian newspapers. The, the man went to Nigerian newspapers and made publication of what Sahara reporters reported then. It was 900% 9 false. They okay. were just looking for people, attentions, who will give them money. So my question is this. Do you people do this thing in order to attract people to give you money? Thank you. Thank you, Righteous Man. You know, the good thing about the news is wonderful. It's, it's, um, they they say uh, you have the right, you, the subject of any story, you have the right to respond to that story. You have the right to sue the newspaper that wrote about you. You have, you know, so they don't have the, they don't have the ultimate right. No newspaper has the ultimate right on any story. So when something is fake, if somebody write, writes about me and 99 point, you know, it's a 900 and something percent false, at least I hope they got the name of the man right. But if it's 990 something percent wrong and the man felt that way, the man has a right to sue them. The man has a right to go uh, and demand that they should rewrite the story. This is my proof, you know. And I hope he got he got um, he got justice. You know, I hope he did that because that's how the media changes. Mm. If you believe, but well, the point is this: the point is this. I am not here to defend anybody. I don't defend any media houses. Most media houses sometimes they get stories wrong, but not hundred percent, nine hundred ninety something percent. But they get some stuff wrong. The man is doing his business. So suddenly he's in, entangled in a court case that he didn't um, no, do no his, a budget let me, for. Let me, let me so that's the problem. No, part of the job of the media, it, it happens even for the best media houses in the world. If something is wrong, you go and present, you say, this is wrong. And this but, another, but why will you publish what you know is wrong? Righteous man, this is another part you didn't mention. Before a story is published, I don't know about the, all the media houses I've worked in. You have the right to, to respond to that story. So, for instance, if I'm writing about you, I will call you. And I say to you, this is what I heard about you. What exactly. you is the truth? So in most cases, I'll give you some instances. In most cases, people like people, subjects of stories, they will not say they don't want to respond. They don't want to talk. So they will write. All the newspapers read it. Newspapers will say, we reached out to this man, and he said no comment. So, and then what do you blame them? You have the right to respond to these things. You don't want to respond. I'm saying that righteous oh. man, somebody told me that you bought this car for 50 naira, but the car was supposed to be sold at 100. You don't want to respond. I write this story. Then you say I wrote something that is 199 percent wrong. What? Anyway, but I'm not defending. Oh. I'm saying that even in the media, there are avenues for the oh. subjects who feel that it paid the newspaper or the TV or whatever medium they didn't write the right story to respond to get justice. And and it, as long as it's there, 
things will be okay. Right. And, and, and what is the status of the media in the constitution uh, so that we are all aware? Because I'm not very clear. I, I, I'm not, I don't know about Nigerian constitution, but I know that you recognize the media as the fourth uh, realm or fourth estate, so I don't, whatever it means. It means that, oh, let me, let me mention this in the conversation. We have to also talk about freedom of information. Um, it's a very important thing that we have to, if you want to fight for a better media in Nigeria, we have to get to the point where I can go to a ministry. I say, I am from, um, um, I'm from Iroko Post TV. I want to know how much you spent in this vehicle that you bought. And the ministry, we feel that they have the obligation to the Nigerian people, not to me, to give me the information. Until we get to that point, we are not going to achieve most of the things. Chim, go ahead. Um, so, first of all, you earlier mentioned that you wanted us to talk about uh, Rufai or something. So, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure. Are we done speaking? No, no, you can, you, can, you can talk about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, personally, I think he's doing a good job. Um, I don't think he's doing any doing a terrible job. He is doing a 100% good job. However, I have listened to people. Don't forget, we all belong to different groups. So, people give their views. For instance, I was in a group during the week where somebody uh, who lives abroad also said that, yes, that Rufai needs to check his emotions. That aspect, I agree. It's not something that a lot of us tend to look at. There's an emotional intelligence angle to the things we do. And uh, so I think where he gets it wrong, and that's where Sheung, Sheung uh, uh, Akim, Okimba, Okimbaloye gets it right. Sheung does not allow his emotions on his sleeves when he's talking. We may say, I know it's difficult. I know he doesn't own channels. I know there might, you know, we might, there might be that so supposedly conspiracy that, oh, channels, uh, chairman is this or that. And therefore, I know I'm not holding forth for them. I'm not holding forth for them. However, the difference is, Shewa has a way of holding his emotions. You understand? The, the only time I've seen him try to bring that emotions out was when he kept, there was one point when he said, um, you know, Nigerians can't get it wrong, you know, before the election. He was a bit emotional about it. But no, that, that, that was that was editorial. That was more like uh, his opinion. It wasn't part okay. of Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And at that point, yeah, he, he, he's allowed to exercise that. Yeah. Exactly. But if you see Rufai, sometimes Rufai, for instance, in this last encounter he had with that man, I was expecting when the man was pushing back, Rufai, keep quiet. Keep quiet. Don't go on that tangent of, let me finish, let me finish. Keep quiet. Allow him when he finishes, and you could re-educate him back to say, look, you're my guest. I'm here to ask questions. I'm not here to, I'm not against you. My audience needs to know the truth. And in addition, I needed to correct an impression you have just presented, which is that the president of the country did not remove uh, did not remove subsidy. Uh, on his inaugural speech, he mentioned that subsidy was gone. So how did, how can you now come here and, you know, give alternative views that suggest... But, so, but he, if we are honest, if we are honest, his emotions were in the way. And you see, some of these are our so-called elders. You know, I come from a community where our old elders, you try to use emotional blackmail. When we are when they are trying to avoid being held accountable, they start pleading that you're being disrespectful. Is a common African perspective, particularly Nigerian elders. I, I suffer it every day when we're trying to call our elders in our town hall meeting to account before you know, say, nah, what are you say, then then they will move away from the call, and it's an emotional black man that people easily buy. People say, Yes, so some of my friends here were saying. Uh, Chim, you know that as Africans, there are certain things you can't ask an elder. And I said, what are you talking about? Joe Biden is an elder. Trump is an elder. The people that they give them headache every day, asking them questions, are old enough to be their grandchildren. What are you talking about? Do we want to modernize or are we trying to go backwards? So, but however, that being said, I think that Rufai needs to check his emotions. He needs to personally take this feedback He's doing a good job. We know he's trying to be honest. However, his emotions could get in the way. And that's what his detractors will try to hang on to, you know, to literally give the dog a bad name. That's the only thing I'm going to say about it. And, you know, I've been, I've resisted 
sometimes I see some polls on Twitter where they will put Rufai and Sheon and they will say, rate them. My view has always been I will not rate any of them. Both of them are doing good jobs, bearing the circumstances they face. Arise is not channels. Channels is not uh, Arise. Nduko Biagwana is not uh, uh, Tony Momo. I'm sorry, is it Tony Momo? What's the other the Momo? John. John. John Momo, sorry. I know Tony is his uncle and vice versa. So my point is Rufai is doing a fantastic job, but he needs to check uh his all right, thank you. Ruben, give me 30 seconds. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Uh, let me go to electricity and hear from him, and then we'll be it, and then we'll go around here. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you very much. I don't know. I don't you have know. to speak up a little bit. You sound tired. You me up. Electricity, are you hungry? We can't hear you. We can't hear you. You have to speak up. Uh, can you hear me now? A little bit. Say hello. You're putting us to sleep. Palliative never is your hand. No lights. No lights. Speak up, please. Speak up. You're not hearing you. Speak up, please. Okay. Can you hear me now? We managed. Yes. I'll give you one minute. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's my phone. Uh, actually, if a uh, righteous man has left, when he raised the issue of... Uh, Rudolf, you've answered him well. When he raised the issue of uh, uh, the, uh -huh. the uh -huh. publication that... Uh, I mean, I wanted to ask him, do we, we have false prophets and pastors to that preach wrong thing? Has anybody gone to meet them to say, uh, why do you say this thing that is not correct? So if anybody says anything wrong about you, you have the right to reply. You have the right to to even go to court if you want to, that this thing, uh, this thing is uh, defaming, it's not correct. It happens all over the world. Uh, God, do I want to come here to do stuff? I don't even know stuff. I don't even know who's speaking. Palliative was looking on. Don't worry. That was the question. I can't. I didn't hear him. Right. Thank, you. Thank, you Thank you very much. Very much. much. Thank you. We, we appreciate it. Uh, no, no, no. no I've not finished. Uh, in terms of uh, 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 KJ. He's, he's a moderator. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Are you the floor? <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm surprised that you don't know why you're here. But... Yeah, uh, no, I mean, I'm not I'm not hungry. Let him go and eat. He has not eaten. No, no, no. I've been saying Rufai here. In terms of Rufai. Uh, hey, see, I'm better Rufai than you'll be triggered. In terms of Rufai, the only, I mean, Chim have said the right thing. It's, it's working for a right thing. On the ground that is is employed there, he has to check his emotion. If he's not employed there, nobody will, nobody will give it damn. To be honest, it's because it's representing. I mean, for me, it's like you are working for a company. You have to check your emotions in order not to bring the company into disrupt disrupt. So that's the only thing I think. Uh, it's it, it, it's not it's I I'll prefer I prefer him better than uh, Abati. About is he looking for his political position anyway? <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get it. I pray for him to get it, to be honest, because he has really suffered. He has swallowed a lot, and I pray for him to get it in all sincerity and everything. Uh, all right. We are still all crying right. out to to run a, a media in Nigeria. Uh, I'm glad they said uh, 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 your dad, Dr. Damien Show is. Uh, it's making waves in Nigeria. Uh, I pray it continues and it grows. It continues to make and bring that uh, uh, desirable change that 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 we want. So when we come on this platform, let's be positive and let's uh, let's challenge it challengeable. I like we, we don't fear anybody here. Okay? So Rudolf, you can go and bring your your guest here. Uh, well, nobody's afraid of anybody. Even if it's Peter Bissell, we'll talk to him, no, no matter what it is, because it's Nigeria. We're not afraid of anybody. Again. Before we do, let's be honest. But now we don't. If not, you will close your channel. Anyway, right. are you different? Right. I don't have much to say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I was the one to get the palliative. You go visit prayer. After mm -hmm. okay. I'll come to you and do visit. Go ahead, okay. We'll change the topic after that. Go ahead, okay. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Chima, for actually pointing that emotion part out. And I think while in the midst of displaying that emotion, he started interrogating as far as I'm concerned. When he started, when he started telling the man that you can't, you can't answer it, you can't answer it. 
I mean, I don't know the English person, you know. I mean, is this supposed to be you can't or you don't want to answer it? It's as if you are putting it to him direct, as if he's there. Uh, so you are actually provoking the man to just keep going and going. So my thanks for bringing that out. But I think there's also what I noticed here. I think it's not fair to actually, if you disagree with uh, Rufai and uh, what it does and all that. I think, to me, 80% of the blame should go to his uh, hardcore followers. What do I mean by that? Uh, the, the organization that he worked for is called Arise News, right? And uh, uh, Dr. Damage actually, you know, put in something very important how that in the morning, they actually uh, go to their newspapers, listen to their correspondent all over the place and all that. And to me, for what I understand, I am not a trained journalist. I study communication and with, uh, with a focus in rhetoric. So I know how to argue. I know when things, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert, but I can tell you the nuances there. I think to me, their job there is to present the news or the topic of the day the way it is. They got it from the raw material, from the correspondence. And they now left the listeners, they now leave the listener job to now say, okay, this is what. This is this, this is this, and you now go to work. You do your own research before you arrive at your conclusion. Now, what I say, I'm blaming the, uh, the, the followers here. They have given that ability to rationalize things, do their own research, to reply freely. So that forced reply to, be, to become an opinion journalist instead. So every morning, people turn into him to hear his opinion on issue, not necessarily how thin his. So that them cannot go to work and do their own research. Majority of them have an attention span of a TikToker. They don't have the patience to actually sit down and process it through. They just want to hit the headline and run with it. There's nothing wrong if you have if you can if you tune into either LTV and listen to the same topic they are discussing about in Arise News. Listen to AIT, listen to NTA. You don't have to agree with them, but trust me, by the time you take your time to sample everyone around. You will now you will have your own refined opinion instead of projecting Rufai's opinion. One of the experiments where they teach me when I did class, they say, uh, let me use those on the screen as an example. Rudolph, if I tell you, if I tell you, say, ah, Shima is crazy, you don't mind just turn for your whisper into your ear. May you repeat the same thing to Chima's ear. By the time it's go around to the last person, the, 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 the phrase will change. The phrase will change. So that's why it's good for you to actually sample so many opinions. And again, for the fact that everybody has biases. <laughs> we all speak from our emotion. I don't care who you are, we have biases. So everything that we come to come to our so we come in contact with, we have our own biases. That's more reason you should also listen to that person, listen to that person, rather than being lazy and carry your whole ability to rationalize it and give it to one man. Every morning you run to him to hear what his opinion is on that topic. That is what Gatsa said, parasitic mindset, an infectious disease that is killing common sense. We are just so lazy to think through things, to read, to, to investigate things by ourselves, but we allow that person just because we like how they present it and, and that's it. So I think we, the followership of these people, should also you know, take a lot of blame of all this uh, blame because, as I said, those people are opinionated uh, news, no longer news that they are supposed to dispense as it is for me and you to actually rationalize. They are just telling us their opinion, and that's where emotion overshadow even the points or the question they are trying to ask. All right, thank you, Ovie. Uh, just for you, Ovie, <laughs> I, I, I like where you, you are, where you're coming from all the time, and and I just want to make sure you understand that there are people. And it's all over the world who will never be what you are talking about. So there are people who will get the opinion from Sean Hannity or from Tucker Carlson. You know, they are not going I to read. Watch, I would never watch CNN, for instance. Never. <laughs> who will never watch? CNN. They are going. So, so that's how the world is, and I think, I think Nigeria is no different from that. The media space. Yeah. The media space in Nigeria 
is actually expanding and all the characters you see anywhere you live in the world are going to appear on the media space in Nigeria uh, because there's room for that and it's going to happen. Uh, let me also say for- oh, they, are, they are on the same realm now, Rufai, Sean, and uh, Anderson Cooper, John, oh, they are all in the same realm. Those are, they are more celebrity. Their, their opinion matters to their listeners a lot. That's why it's your energy follower. We don't want to hear anything about CNN, right? That's why John Lennon follower. I don't want to hear anything about Fox. So they are also in the same category. They are not opinion interest celebrated rather than an, a news disposer. Mm. Let me also have. mention this. I don't think we've mentioned this before on this on this channel. There, there is a subsection of the media space that I don't think most people know about. That is the uh, clubhouse. Um, I. I, I run away I run away from there because it was very addictive. And and if you go there, there are people who are dedicated. Remember, these people don't put up their faces are not there. They spend a lot of time having in-depth conversations and they are, they have rooms. They call it rooms. One room might be talking think, about it. one room might be talking yeah, I would, about I would talk about I will talk about that when we start talking about uh, the online news media that you say we should talk about. Because right. yeah. there's a room for that too. There's a reason why those people and the, the way they are mm, and right. it has a lot to do with these online publications yeah so the, the rooms and some rooms are dedicated to economy to defense to you know it's, it's in-depth and it's amazing the kind of smart people that we have so conversations are happening in several places the fact that they've not come together or you've not seen it in the place where you are doesn't mean that they are not happening. So sometimes when people come here and say, oh, you people are just talking about this, you're not talking about, there are people who are talking about Afrobeats 24 hours on, on Clubhouse. And then there are thousands of people. When I go there and look at the number of people who are there discussing this, it's amazing. So, so conversations are happening. That's where I have hope that there should be more of this and eventually to come together. Go ahead, uh, Rudolph, sorry, before, I, I know Henry wants to talk. Henry, don't be offended. Let me just say this before you come. So I'm reading comments. I want to be sensitive. People think we're against Rufai. The problem, you know, people don't under have understand is this. Um, I my my brother-in-law used to say something. He used to say that there is an abacha in every individual. What he was simply trying to say was that there is the element of being a terrorist or being a dictator in in every one of us as human beings. Everybody has a bit of that element in them. The, what helps us as human beings, and personally, I don't know about anybody, this is me, I'm speaking for myself. I've always said that I want to have good friends who, when I'm going, I'm making a little bit of a mistake. I'm not so overwhelmed and in awe of my supposed intelligence or that I'm a good guy, that the area, areas of error I'm making, somebody cannot tell me, Rudolph, now you mess up, oh, I beg, ah, no, no, that, that area. And then, yes, uh, you know, I would, you know, push back a little bit, but come back because I know Rudolph is my good friend. I say, okay, Rudolph, what exactly did I do that was not right? And then Rudolph will tell you, you know, the way you did this the other day was not right. The problem we have as Africans, Nigerians, and I understand because we've been stuck by bad leadership. The moment we start seeing a Voltron, pardon me, I'm a, I'm, I'm a generation that grew up watching Voltron, watching cartoons, so... I will use my analogies from there. When we see a Voltron, a defender of... Well, Nigerians, are, Nigerians are looking for a defender of the universe right now. Somebody who will speak their mind. They will block their eyes from any little error that person has. I'm not that kind of person. I hate... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't leave... I don't try to go into an environment where we can't interrogate things. Let me repeat it again for those who are in the comment section. Rufai is my man. That said, Rufai wears his emotions on his sleeve. I'm not going to stop saying it. If he's watching, he should take it as a feedback and correct it. He's a fantastic guy. He's saying the truth. He is holding leadership accountable. And sometimes he disagrees with his group there. Beautiful. Nevertheless, it doesn't change the fact that he's wearing his emotions on his sleeve. Perhaps, rightly so, he's also a citizen seeing the decay and is you know, is iked by what he's seen and it, he, he gets carried away. I understand that. However, we all need true friends, not people who are just going to probe you into disaster, who will tell you, bro, you're doing a good job, but you want to watch it. You want to watch it. You're slightly going slightly off. He's a journalist. 
ask questions. Don't let your emotions get in the way because the 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 the, the, um, the guest you're having who wants to evade that thing will cling on that and say, "I'm not answering because you don't do. Let me talk or whatever." Hey. So that's the point I was trying to make. So Henry, go ahead. No problem. Okay, Henry, uh -huh. I want to hear from new people that just joined. It's my so, turn. Just, no, give, me, give me one minute now. One minute, one minute. Henry. Go ahead. One minute. See, we are talking about motion or motion. Uh, this man is working. He take his job so seriously and sincere. Rufai. You see, he loves his job so dear, and he has passion of, about Nigeria. That is why I see the way he's asking these questions. But people, people refuse to answer answer his questions. He, he has to stand his ground. That is why people call it emotion. That is wrong. Rudolf, you are here. If you want to ask, if somebody asks you ask somebody's questions now. You want it answer to reply you, your, your guest to answer you. If he could not answer you, you want that same question to make sure you repeat that question against you. You answer that question. People will call it emotion, emotional. You are emotional. That's why you want to. You, you don't you focus on this. But he asked this man's question. He was beating around the bush. He was angry. He was calling me a small boy. He was calling me. Look at this. He, come on, man. Everybody have emotion. This man loves this country so dear. He wants the country to be progressing. If we have to say, okay, I have, this, I have your, you ask your, you ask your guest a question, you could not answer. Do you let him go like that? It's not working like that. Thank All right, you. Henry, thank you. Um, why, why we go to? Uh, I think the BC. Uh, uh, if I want to, when I go to the new page and go to the new. I want to also think people have been following a journalist hangout. I think on on TV. I know people used to watch it. I the became the president. I want to know if there is a change in the. Well, uh, Shim, I've been enjoying your comments ever since you joined us on this um, show. But I beg to differ with you concerning Rufai. I've not seen anything wrong Rufai said. Rufai lives a daily life. He goes home, he moves in the street, he sees the poverty that is grinding Nigerians. And these APC people come to Arise TV to tell blatant lies, and you expect him to just brush it aside. That was why when he was talking, the man knew where he was going to. And that man has been in, on that program in the past, and the man has behaved in a similar way. They think they know it, or they want to bamboos Nigerians and let Nigerians see, the, see their own view. But Rufai will not take that. There's nothing, there's no emotion in this. As I'm talking, I'm emotional. You are, you are, you are talking emotionally in the past. If we, if we are asking questions about how, why, our, why is our country going so low like this. What, what is wrong with that? Rufai didn't even saw the man. The only thing the man said, oh, yeah, you are, I'm your guest. When I said, uh, stop, let me finish, let me finish. The man got annoyed because they feel they own Nigeria. Even when he came on a private media house to speak. And this is the kind of people, because the man, is, the man is a senior lawyer. I don't know if he's a son. This kind of, this kind of, this kind of, kind of people they send regularly to media houses to come and uh, sell their opinion to Nigerians. And Block our block our faces, but Rufai will not take that. And you see Abati who is trying to be diplomatic because he has one feet in government in the past and he has another feet in the private sector. He has rubbed shoulders with some of these people in the past, so he's trying to be the be the arbiter, trying to make things nice. No, I don't see anything wrong in what Rufai has. Rufai is a young journalist. Rufai is doing his job the, the right way it should be. What are we going to say about David? If David was in Nigeria, all these all these discoveries he made, he won't be able to do it. Today, the reason for the reason has been just at the three years of age. See what see what the exposition the, the young man has has been, has been able to do. So I don't see why uh, we should see Rufai should uh, be less emotional or uh, guide the way. What does he have to lose if he has brought out himself to stand for the truth? So be it. If they arrest him, let let it be. He will go down in history. In a, on, on, in a good way. So I don't see anything wrong in what he's saying. He's asking the right questions, the tough questions. They, we are even, they are even lucky that Abela's daughter is no longer there, Tundu. She will do the same thing. She will ask the tough questions. So our 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 people and our leaders, they have so maybe it's the, the past military mentality, all those um, it's, it's something years of military rule, they have tend to turn our mind in a way that we, 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 we want to bow down to them at all uh, I mean, even when we know that yeah they, they, they want to smash us 
we want to take it, we want them to take it easy, we want others to take it easy. No, if Rafai leaves that place tomorrow and things are going, but all of us will say, oh, what if Rafai was there? We we'll first should ask the question, and uh, uh, then on Shewu's own, we know where Shewu is coming from, we know his um, channels, we know how it is being run, we know who owns it. We know sometimes Shewu will ask some questions, but sometimes he tries to be diplomatic as well. But don't you see the way he asks opposition um, party officials questions and stick to it? But when it comes to government, sometimes when they, whatever they say, he won't want to go too far because his um, bosses are watching, his, are, are watching him from behind. So it's a tough situation yeah, but, to find But Ndubisi, but Ndubisi, Ndubisi is the same show that asked um, the APC guy who came to defend vehicles the other day tough questions. And yes, asked him yes. when the man said, oh, he cannot drive his cars on that road. He said, is that not an indictment on you as a government official? So I know those are the points I'm making. Nobody's, I, I I'm not holding for them. I, I know, I know. I, I know. Shehu does that, but I, but I said that I've, I've watched him a couple of times. All right. All right. Yeah. Sometimes he has, he has uh, um, uh, deferred from asking the tough questions himself. Whatever, whatever, whatever question he asks, and he says, doesn't give a follow up. He leaves this there. But if Rufai does what he does, let's give him a thumbs up. That man needs to be put in his place. So at, at least because many of them are complaining about him, but I think he, the young man does the right thing. Thank you. All right, thank you. Let's quickly get to new people. Uh, KJ, just one minute, okay? And then just a minute for you, and then we go to the new people that joined us so that we can move this conversation. Okay, I don't know if I can be able to answer what I mean, to what I'm doing, but I'll try. Now, uh, Chim, I totally agree with you on this platform, but today uh, I want to say again, I totally disagree also. Oh, um, that's perfectly okay. Yeah, this you don't issue have of emotion, emotion. I know, I, I mean, I have, I have no problem with you. Um, now, you see, nobody goes to ask doctors. Did the patient die because of emotion? You know, no, it's only journalists that uh, when the journalist says something that everybody wants to have on him. Okay, but I'll, I'll go back a little bit more. I'll, I'll go back. See, uh, Ruben Abad, those are many people have said. Uh, Ruben Abad, I started following him when he was in Patito and the gang, Patito and gang. And so he has come a long way with a lot of experience. Now, here's what happens to individuals. And people like Ruben and, uh, and uh, Erfai, I give them that this thing because they have so much information, so much, they're almost like an encyclopedia. And so sometimes knowledge puffs up. That's the truth about knowledge. So, and so sometimes they are not also able to, to hold on to that when they know that what you're saying is not totally true with all the evidence they have. And then they're trying to tell you, look, this is what you're saying, not correct, and you are pushing back so much, okay? And then it looks confrontational. But again, if a guest comes to your program and you're asking the tough questions and he wants to walk away, it won't be the first. It happened in international media. And if, so in fact, the last one was with, with, between uh, Trump and a, a lady, a, a, one little girl in a C, CNN, you know, where he told her, look, you're you are a very nasty person. Okay, that's because the lady kept asking the questions, even though Trump was trying to be nice and he kept asking the question over and over. So there's always going to be a, you know, pushback and confrontation between a journalist who wants to do his, he will do his right job and ask the tough questions. And when this happens, we shouldn't look at it and say because they're displaying emotion. There's no emotion here. Okay, there's no emotion here. I think, reply, I mean, for me, he, he asks what many of us will ask. And those who want to stand their ground should stand it. You, you're not a pushover because a journalist sitting on a, on you know, in, behind a desk in a, in a television house and asking questions doesn't mean that he doesn't have an opinion. He took and you know, but, you know, profile his his opinion on it, okay. And that is one. Now, secondly, I love I love Shen, but sometimes you are begging yourself. You are in a sitting room and you are begging Shen to ask certain questions that just even low hanging fruits are not asking it. So comparing the both of them is not, is not going to do Shenwu you know, any good because both of them are coming from different angles. Shenwu doesn't want to rock the boat, okay? But these guys don't care. And they tell you ahead of time. when you're, It's just like going to BBC on hard questions, uh, you know, that hard question program. And you're going there, you don't want to receive hard, hard uh, you know, questions. Yeah. Oh, sorry, hard, yeah, that, I forgot the name has run away, but it had something, okay? So... If you go there, be ready for hard questions. If you don't want, you go to where they throw some walls and remain there with it, okay? These people have built a reputation on asking hard questions. If you are going there, please prepare yourself because they will ask you the hard questions. And if you don't want, if you feel like walking away, 
No journalist calls you to, even here where we are, people have walked away. The same thing now, people have gotten out and say, look, I'm leaving the platform, and they left. Nobody holds you. It doesn't stop us from asking you the hard questions. That is simple. It's a part of the part of it, you know. And look, let me tell you something, you guys. You see, it, it, the Nigerian terrain is totally different from wherever some of us are talking from. It's so difficult to operate under that that that. And you, it's so difficult. But we look at it and say, you are being constrained by a lot of things which you are not even seeing. Okay, until you talk to those individuals, then they tell you, oh boy. Now, wow. So let's let's be let's be more understanding with what's going on in the media space in Nigeria. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate everybody. And let's uh, move on to the new people. We'll just give you two minutes, three maximum to, to air your view. We're talking about the, well, I mean, you can, I don't know what brought you here. Maybe it's the former subject of the conversation about um, this expenditure of the government or the media space in Nigeria. They are connected in a way. Uh, concerns you have two to three minutes. Uh -oh. Go ahead. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Or yeah. Good morning yeah. and good day everywhere. Well, depending on where you are speaking from. Uh, I watched that interview of Rofai with that, with that stupid man. That man is a very stupid man. You know, one thing with these APC people is that APC is evil people. I never see somebody in that APC that is some, somebody a gentleman or a good man. All of them are evil. And that is where they are dragging Nigeria because they are evil people. Look at what is happening in the state now. If anybody sees somebody who is an APC member that is a good person, gentleman, let him say it here. That people are evil. You see, Rufai, I know that Rufai has been threatened. Many people have threatened. They, they, they continue to threaten Rufai every day, every day because of the work he's doing. And that guy is an exceptional guy. Honestly speaking, God is going to bless him. If you have conscience, if you, really, if you are somebody who has conscience, and see what is happening in Nigeria today. My brother, you like you will you will even what you what, when you have something, you will send to that guy to fight. For Abati, Abati is an intelligent person. He's more intelligent all, more than all of them there. But the problem is that I think he's looking, he has been to Asorok and he wants to go back to Asorok again. That's the problem. But if the man wants to speak very well, want to speak, he's more intelligent than all, all of them, all, all of them there. I watch their program every morning. I don't miss their program. And another person there is that lady. That young lady is also a very good lady. That lady is very truthful. She's not tribalistic. She's not like the former Abiola, 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 this thing, daughter. She's not like her. That one is not, it's not, uh, it's not tribalistic. It's not, uh, it's, uh, it just goes to the truth of the matter. I like that girl, that girl so much. She's honest. And she also asks good questions. You see? Now, coming to coming to me, what I mostly why I came here this now is because, honestly speaking, I want uh, Doctor Damages and all the rest. People should talk about what is happening in Imo State and in Nigeria in general. Imo State has become another another hell. That man, that evil man from APC, anywhere this APC goes, anywhere they go and take over the state, that place become a hell. That man is killing Imo people. That man has hold Imo people to ransom. When you talk to anybody in Imo State, people are crying there. And I'm honestly speaking, I'm I'm very I, I don't know what the, where this politics is taking us. This Nigerian politics is taking us to hell. Or they're taking all of them to hell. They are supposed to themselves. Because during the military era, we are not like this. Nigeria was not like this. Even the military, whatever, even a bachelor, my brother, we have we, that time we can talk, we can do everything. But these days. You can't go to Imo State now and stay seven, eight in the night. When we are there, when we are there, during the time we are growing up, my brother, we go even, we can walk everywhere in the morning time. But now it's a hell. Every village, everywhere is a hell in Imo State. You see, and that man is trying to come, do everything to see that he comes back again. How can a useless man be the uh, national uh, uh, NLC president? Where, have you, where, where has he done before? Be the man to stupid. I want to kill him with his security people. So I want the. I want. I don't know how I'm. I don't know because sometimes I cry. I cry so much because it's very very bad. All the whole countries are being have lived. I've never seen such it happening like what is happening in Nigeria today. You see every day either in Abad they are collecting 80, 80 corpses. You see in this side that even Ogun State is something everywhere. 
if God will help us and the military can come back, or anybody that is weak, it will be better. Because where Nigeria is heading, my brother, I don't know. My brothers and sisters, I like what you plan. We have to talk I about it more straight to It's true, because the, things are not going well there. I could we have, have joined the book with today, but I've been very busy. But let us not, let uh, when, for example, let people not be taking everything as politics as politics. When the time before the before this election, some people came here. Some people came here. They say all oh, the policies. They say all oh, the policies. They say every politician is small. It's the same thing. How can you say all politicians are the same thing? Is every woman the same thing? Is every man the same thing? Uh, you see somebody who said he did not steal money from the state. Uh, somebody who is not collecting money from the state. Somebody who didn't do it from the state. And you see somebody who is holding the state to ransom in Lagos State in other places. They even paid uh, uh, the gratuity which they didn't work for. But if somebody who didn't get anything, and you say all prisoners are the same thing, sometimes we, we sometimes we have no concern. We come here, we sort of forced to be honest and truthful and tell the world and tell the people the truth. We come not to do stupid things. Oh, everybody, every is the same thing. Every, every journalist says it's not. I don't believe that everybody is the same thing. And that is why some people want to go the, the right way. If some people come and they deceive them. They All right. Two mind. Concerns. So Thank my brother, you. my brother uh, Rudolph, God bless you so much. But please, I used to watch your program. Please talk about this one of human state. If right. the IP yeah. want to say let no election, it will be better. Let them see how, how they can. I, I even by now, I was supposed to be. I, I was Nigeria is supposed to be other protest or energy is supposed to go on strike by now because what happened? What's happening in human state? How can you? How can you want to? How can you get an NC president like that? That's, that's wickedness. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Concerns. Um, thank you. you. You spoke for about six minutes, and I'm worried that if you give everybody six minutes, we'll be here for a long time. But um, thank you. Let's go to Bumi. Bumi, welcome to the show. Yeah, good evening, everybody, and thanks for having me. Um, I don't know. Should I only speak on refi or should i just talk about the media itself anything anything open open forum speak on anything you feel like okay um so i'm probably not the best person to comment on you know journal journalism because i don't really watch the news like that so i can't really i, I can't really give an honest opinion on let's say refi because i really don't know him from a to z i don't know I can't tell you if he's professional or not. But I would say I started watching that interview and I think that's what most people are referring to. And when they started losing it, it was funny to me because I was just like, this is interesting because it seemed like they were trying to, like each of them were trying to play like, oh, who has the power here? the guest was like, I'm the person here. I'm the one that has the power. And, and I guess Rafai was like, I'm the guy asking you the question here. You should listen to me. So it was funny to watch, but I don't know if I'm going to criticize Rafai. Like I said, I don't know how he acts and how he does his thing. But from the guest per perspective, I did not like the guest. Like he was just dodging all the question and it was just like, He's just wasting time. And I think maybe that's a reason that he upset um, Rufai. And maybe that's why Rufai was like, let me, I'm not going to sit here and watch this guy just just play with our intelligence. So uh, that's my perspective of that whole thing. It was funny to me, but I'm very sure it wasn't funny to most people. But yeah. All right. Thank you, thank you, uh, Bumi. Uh, for those who do not know, Bumi is the star of a new program that most of you will be seeing in weeks to come. It's called Waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, from Miracle Post Studios in New York City, welcome to Waiting Concern Me, your favorite news and current affairs news show. I am your host, Doctor Jackery Damages. For a moment, I thought somebody had hijacked your control. <laughs> but, but I saw Lai Mohammed here. Where is he now? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, all right, Bumi, thank you so much. Apansat, welcome. Mm. 
Yeah, thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, good show. Um, I guess I can start off with uh, Chim. Uh, I'm not in a confrontational mood today, uh, even though we have a lot on our minds. We we'll talk about Rufai having emotions, right? Emotions. That is our problem. First of all, by even criticizing Rufai, it means that you have this soft bigotry of low expectations. The minimum every every uh, journalist in Nigeria should be Rufai. Uh, Rufai. The minimum is doing a, do a, good, a good job could do more you know the state of our nation today if you don't have emotions then what are you a piece of wood <laughs> emotions are mental, mental states that's brought about by you know physiological changes you know in the environment that you're in even though there's no scientific uh, consensus on what that definition is but it's intertwined with your mood temperament and personality of a person. How could you be in Nigeria and you're not emotional? I don't care what you are, truck driver, journalist. You know, we all have one thing in common, we're human beings. And um, uh, you come from the state of Abia state, that's uh, God's own state. And you're a very smart guy. And, and uh, we don't want you wasting it here, criticizing, it's happy to be, um, be supported you and you know he should come out and speak we don't know what he's planning um you don't always have to emphasize negatives because everything has two sides to it obviously but we're, we're in trouble here you know and you're my brother your friend of mine i like you you're you're smart but i'm just saying when you come to make your contribution it's probably better to uh, attack the problems first now, uh, Rudolph, the country, I told you the first time I came here, I said, they don't have any respect for us. Zero. I don't care what kind of relationship you're in. If, even if it's your wife, husband and wife, you have to have some respect. You don't have respect, there's no way it's going to work. So, uh, this is not... Um, TED talk, I'm not gonna talk all day. I'm happy that forefathers just emerged here uh, because he was also uh, making an earlier that was wrong, as always. Um, I don't know how we're gonna co convert this show into something that's gonna galvanize for example, people in diaspora. Because I, I believe that's not where it, it comes down to. We have to galvanize, do what other countries have done to save their country. And that includes um, diplomacy, connection with uh, political office holders in the United States. Because when you're watching Gaza and Israel, right? As much as those people are trying, now they are the troublemakers there, that's for sure. Gaza. Gazans, uh, like uh, many people with their point of view, violence and all that stuff, going out there, slaughtering innocent people, which then makes Israel act in even a, a worse way. You, you the, 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 those are the people who are even trying. They're trying by fighting the forces that's holding them down. So imagine. When Nigerians are watching that, for example, in this conversation, it doesn't even come in problem they have there in Israel, which is Islamic fundamentalism. Not the tenets of Islam, don't get me wrong. But when you have somebody like Adan Gote, because now it's gonna be more obvious because he's actually got his man in office as president. Uh, uh, disrespecting other business people, trying to create a monopoly like the BUA cement factory, even in front of us, even within the first few months of this administration, of this national administration, he's going after his people like a terrorist. 
have my arrested and closing down their business. Nigerian government invested. Let me take a couple of minutes, uh, please. And I'll leave Two after months. that. So somebody. Yeah, no, no, you can't leave because I want to talk to you also. I had that uh, you went to a different platform. I wanted to know what happened. Uh, make oh, trouble in, I know it's that was, was, make trouble there. She told me to answer. Mr. Triumph, Mr. Triumph on the comment section. But anyway, so what I'm saying is that we Nigerians they watch all these things happen to all the people who are supposed to fight for them, like Nam like, Showere and so many others, they stick in their head and then when the government apprehend them, it happens. So a lot of others who are brave, such as uh, FFK is a brave guy. He, he has to go the other side because he's corruptible. It's only our people who are not corruptible that have on the other side. But people like Abati, he's a good journalist, he's a good guy, but he's got a case. What they do is they charge these people with a criminal case, and then they have to, um, uh, you know, reconcile it by selling out. So why shouldn't they sell out? If you're in Nigeria, you'll be, a, you'll be a crook too. Why not? Because the Nigerians themselves are not worth fighting for. The country is not worth fighting for because when they come to you, Nigerians do nothing. So anyway, since you have a question for me, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll take that question from you. Rudolph, go ahead. No, no, no. I, I just, um, I, I, I was uh, going across, um, moving around the the internet um, streets and I saw uh, where you went on uh, Niger work. I wanted to know, you know, based on your experience there, what do you think about how we're doing? Oh, well, let's say, unfortunately, everything is not hunky dory with any particular platform. Uh, Mr. Niger watch uh, um, Elvis, he's a great guy. He's in pursuit of the truth on his platform. You could take that to the bank. Not many people do that. For many, a couple of years now that I've been there, he pursues the truth, but he has one problem. And incidentally, the first time I went there, I told him, here's your problem. And what is that problem? That problem is disrespect for Igbos and Biafrans. He has absolutely no respect because he's ignorant of the travails of the Igbos. So when That's I a lie. Come there, That's not true. Uh, don't okay. don't see that. Don't right, even let go me there. Okay, let me learn. Let me learn. I'm saying that aside from that, he's perfect. Nobody's perfect, but he's a hard worker. He's, a, he's got uh, he's a patriot, and uh, he does a lot of research. And he does, but like a lot of minorities, such as this Henry Omoregi right now. They no, like no, no. I just say, we, I'm a Bini. I'm not a minority. Don't, 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 don't go there. Don't even try it. Well, I'm, okay. I'm, 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 I'm Bini. Okay. Don't even come in minority. Uh, don't even okay. try it. Pansar, Pansar, yeah, I, don't I, do I don't want it to be. Pansar, we, we, we will still make you a guest, but one last question before you go. You said uh, nobody is perfect. Are you perfect, Pansar? No, but I'm a critic. It's not my job to be perfect. My job as a critic is to criticize. You follow me? Yeah. My job as a critic is to criticize. It's not up to me to be good or perfect. That's it. I'm, a, I'm just right. a plain old critic. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Pansa. We appreciate you all the time. Moby. Rudolph, okay. minute, I, tell him not to, I don't know not why, to call me minority because I'm, I'm from a do state. Bini, we, host, we, we control okay. a lot of land in that country. That country. Respect the okay. Benis. Respect us. Go and read your history properly. Go and read okay. your history. Okay. Okay. Please, so don't oh, let me say to you, uh, Henry, Henry, let me say, let me say one thing to you. Listen to me, right? Because I think you misunderstand me a lot. There's really no difference between you and I, politically speaking, right? And uh, when I use words such as minority, which is the genesis of the problem in that platform, right? Everybody here in the United States will understand that a minority is just something that has to do with numbers, facts, and figures, right? If you don't have 50%, you pretty much, if the other side has 50%, you're a minority. If, if the courts rule, you have a minority opinion. In the United States, I'm a minority because I'm a black. That includes all Nigerians and all Indians. We have different tribes in those states. Get to know this. We have so, different tribes in those states. You have to know this. 
Don't you have in the okay, Igbo, but... they have only one language there, so don't even go there saying I'm a minority. Don't All right, that so word. hold on, hold on. That's an insult to their dose. Let's, now, let not, me, go. Don't don't Let's not go there. Thank you, guys. Let me Thank conclude. You. Let me conclude, though. Let me conclude, even though he interrupted me rudely. Let me conclude still. I'll take just half uh, 30 seconds, a minute to conclude. Um, this, um, this problem that we have with uh, the people in Edo State and those areas, it needs to be resolved. To have some respect. The Igbos are the largest tribe in Nigeria. And they're, 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 being, they're being disrespected. But in order for us to work together, the people from Edo State, people from... Uh, we are uh, proud south, people. South, Don't we go south. there? Don't we go there? We are proud right. people. Answer, yeah. answer. Thank you. Thank I you. thought you were talking about Sunni Islam. Let's go. It's to ridiculous. Moby, Moby, you are next. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much um, for giving me the opportunity. Actually, this is my first time here. Um, I'm no, a very. Fine. Thank you very much. I'm an avid follower of uh, Dr. Damage's show. Thank you. Um, I watch you all the time when I'm driving to work or whatever. So, anyways, I I was actually encouraged to come on come on this stage because i was listening to um uh, she my name is chibobi by the way so i didn't want to come on stage with some chairman so that you and i don't clash so <laughs> so but anyway my friends call me moby so um i wanted to say something about the emotional emotions thing you know um i've been here for a while i mean i live in toronto canada by the way uh, i've been here for quite a while um when i come when i came to canada i used to send my mother money and my dad is late, so I have a, um, a little bit early mother. So I send her money all the time. And when I came here, a, a dollar, a Canadian dollar to Naira then used to be um, somewhere within maybe 200, 250, right? But now, and then I was able to maintain my mother's car. And I used to pay her driver, you know, do all that, you know. So, but now I find that if I just send her a thousand dollars, I it's such a big money, right? And then she comes around, I, I, and I, I used to think that, okay, some $1,000 should be able to take care of this woman for, for, for a long time and allow me to take care of my mortgage, take care of my own family, because I have a relatively big family here. So I have, I have four kids. Okay. Not so good. yeah, so I'm, I'm a little bit old school. So anyway. You're walking over I'm, time. Yeah, walking over time. <laughs> So, but then I realized that she comes back faster to ask for more money. And she, she wasn't that kind of guy that like, that used to ask for money. So in, what that means tells me is that the value of Naira is completely uh, uh, almost eroded, right? So um, the emotional thing now gets in because it's so difficult. Like the other guy was saying, the, uh, I listened to the, the musician with dreads and then I listened to this bastard guy. I can, all, I can almost agree with anyone who wants to go emotional about Nigeria. Nigeria's case is very there. So if anyone expresses emotions about Nigeria, uh, whether uh, you're on TV or you're even a passenger or you're even sharing a beer with someone, if you go emotional, I will not be, take offense on that. So I, the, the, I love Hosseini because, not necessarily because um, um, I'm anti-establishment, which I am anyway. But the issue here is Nigeria needs someone who actually feels the pain of the common man on the streets to actually speak for them, which is what I think that everyone actually has been able to express that the, the classical Nigerian journalist does not do that. You know, they don't add the emotion. They don't really, they say, oh, they just say it. They just gloss over the whole thing. But for the very first time, we have a journalist who, who takes these people head on. He takes the bull by the horn and he's asking them daring questions that, honestly speaking, if they were not on set, those guys would give him a punch, right? So that we love. It, he's actually playing. What he reminds me of is Nadeko of the, of the past. When Nadeko fought the, the military and we are reaping the, obviously the, the results of that. This, that, this is what I think Urufai is doing. And I think we are all are going to remember this time in the history of Nigeria. And we're going to say, yeah, someone was punching these guys in their faces and they couldn't do much. All they could do is go on a tirade, right? And get out of the state uh, of, the, of, the, of the podium. So yes, I think we should all lend him our support. 
You know, I learned, I learned him my surprise. I haven't met him. I said to myself, the next time I visit Nigeria, I'm going to look for him. I'm going to shake him, shake his hand and probably buy him a drink because I think he's actually a co-win. Then the other, the other part of it is, well, one of the reasons why I think Nigerians don't really appreciate how bad things are is because they don't see what's going on in places like Sri Lanka, places like Lebanon, where the governments have gone completely bankrupt and uh, the, um, the businesses are now richer, the businesses are more powerful. Actually, I read the news where someone had to go to a bank in Lebanon and rob for her own money, right? What that means is this, and I, I was reading a little bit about it, and they were borrowing a lot of money, got into trouble with the US and a couple of other governments, they were sanctioned. Now they are insolvent, right? So they can't pay anyone, they are not making money. Nigeria is, is if you look at Nigeria, when you hear, start hearing things like Nigeria is servicing their debt with 90 something percent, that is a red flag. In, in some um, societies, that is a red flag. That should make everyone sit on their toes. You know, this thing about buying a jet or the, um, buying a yacht or spending money on the, those kind of things shouldn't even arise. But Nigeria, Nigeria is so, so unique in their ways that sometimes you imagine what kind of people to live there, right? Really. So my, my issue is we should give people like Husseini support, actually encourage more, more of them to actually come online. I hear when I, when I read and hear people criticize people like Husseini, it breaks my heart because I'm like, we are forgetting the, the big the big issue here and then we are trying, kind of like talking about um ethics and professionalism when you know it's i mean i've, I've watched the journalists actually walk off stage when things go really bad and they're trying to express how bad it could get and they walk off the stage so that's on that and then i wanted to say something about what Shim, shima was saying about uh um cnn and uh and uh fox okay so my my take on that is i think that Trump happened to Fox or happened to the whole of the US media. Right now, before I came here, I, Fox used to be what we saw growing up in, uh, in, 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 uh, in Nigeria and also being in university, trying to get into the situation of things then around the world. We used to watch Fox, Fox was like our, our standard, the standard of media, right? But then I've, since Trump came on board and I've seen Fox move from the facts, you know, based media, media group to just talking gibberish, right? I'm a very uh, objective person. I, uh, I watch CNN, I watch Fox, I watch Al Jazeera, I watch BBC, and then I'm able to make up my mind, on my mind based on what I was referring to what Ovia said, right? That's how it should be. But then I, I listen to CNN, I see their biases, and then I tune into Fox, and they are talking complete bonkers, bullshit. So I'm like, where is the reason? And then several times, a um, few months down the line, a few years down the line, we realized that they were actually trying to promote something just for the, for, just for the viewership of it, right? At, at least you, you, some of you live in the US, you can actually, we've seen that they were playing a script just so they can keep the audience, right? Trump has completely rubbish Fox. Everyone knows it. So now I was the, I was the vindicator when I told people that Fox, is actually lying about so many things in 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 in, uh, in America. So my my own my what I believe is um, just like the OVA said before he left. I think that everyone should uh, probably open your mind up, read all the news you can get your hands on. I I made, I subscribe to um, every time I watch one one uh, that has leaning to the left and one that has leaning to the to the right, and then I go my international news. I prefer to get it from Al Jazeera because I think. Um, obviously, the Westerners will not report African and Middle Eastern things away. That they will obviously won't paint it in their own in their own with their own brush. And then I listen to BBC. And then nobody, I don't let anybody tell me anything about Nigeria. I want to get my Nigerian news from Nigerian sources. And then I follow uh, platforms like this because then you get the, the real feel of it. So that's my that's my sub submission to to All the right. whole conversation. Yeah. Thank you so much, Moby. I know you are, it's the first time you are here. When I ring the bell, it's a sign to, <laughs> to round it. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, Victory, I will have to skip you. I, I know um, I see you, and I will, I will go to Jagun because she came first and then he left and came back. So let me go to him. I'll come back to you, Victory. Uh, next. Thank you very much, Rudolph. Um, 
Good, uh, good day all. I hope uh, everyone had a great week. Uh, we come to the weekend and look forward to our discussions here. Um, I too would like to uh, just underline what Chim said, which was he mentioned emotional inte intelligence was the word he 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 used uh, exclaimed. So I would like to speak up for him there. At the same time. I would like to speak against him in what emotional intelligence actually means. Emotional intelligence doesn't mean that you are a stoic. Jack, you are not, you're not my friend, Shots. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy, bro. <laughs> but it, it, it's not about being stoic and being still. It is about timing more than anything and understanding who you're dealing with as an opposition. And um, I think where, where I take Rufai is that he was a breath of fresh air for me, listening to the comical journalism that goes in in Nigeria, which is how I see it. I mean, the journalism there, I mean, when I look at the news and how three people would be interviewing one person and the way they do it is just oh, cumbersome. And then somebody else would just be licking another person's behind. Uh, it's very, uh, it's very, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's a, a play of almost table tennis as though everything has been scripted. But when you get those who actually want to interrogate and understand and speak up for Nigerians and, and say what is obvious, because, uh, you know, sometimes what is obvious is being missed out in the news and it's incredible. Um, where Rufai is concerned, I, I tend to feel that it, it, it it is important to show your emotion um, um, as part of emotional intelligence, because this is not just your singular frustration. It's the frustration of the country. I mean, we all know and almost accept that Nigeria is bad in terms of, well, every, everything you can think of, you know, that has to do with politics, infrastructure, banking, any kind of professional world that we, we speak of, it's all corrupt. Having said that, we know that we're fantastic people, that we have so much energy, so much guile, uh, so much skill with, within, our, within us, so much, so much talent within us. Um, so I, I, I think where there are leaders in Nigeria, um, the political leaders have let us down. The judicial leaders have let us down. We do need the journalists in Nigeria really to stand up um, almost in, before the barrel of a gun. I mean, that's how dangerous things are back home if you're going against the, 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 the paradigm. Um, but I think it's very important that uh, they take their, their place as part of the leadership of the people, um, part of the underlining that uh, we have a right to know uh, part of the, the, the direction seeking of where Nigeria should go next. Because, you know, we, we can tittle-tattle here and speak about many issues, but as they all say when they're in Nigeria, we're suffering here, man, we're suffering. And the thing, it's not easy yeah, being in Nigeria. As a Nigerian, it will be easier for me to be an Indian or a Lebanese to be in Nigeria rather than a Nigerian. Um, which is uh, uh, an oxymoron in itself. Um, so I, I, I feel, um, you know, I'm not wanting to compare journalists. I, I, I feel strongly that um, there's one evil guy who does one show. He's, he's, he's fantastic. His his uh, his voice. Obi Law. You're talking about Obi Obi Law uh, Radio. Um. He's got a great voice, a yeah, great presence. It's on, it's on Arise TV, I think. No, a battle. He's out of a battle. Radio, a radio session. Anyway. Edmond Obilo. Yeah. Ed I've forgotten his name, man. That's him. That's him. Okay. You're talking about voice, yeah. That's him. I see. It's, it's just fantastic. I mean, you, you, we know that there are these people um, that have real talent and real skill in their profession. And I think if there is somebody who has skill in their profession we have to give them respect um especially if they're in uh if they're quite in integral or their integrity is at a certain level whereby you 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 form a trust 
with how people come across and what they're saying and the questions that they're asking. Um, I think we, again, as the Nigerian community, we, again, uh, seek low standards. Oh, no, no, not that we seek low standards. We accept low standards. And we accept that, oh, it's this problem or it's that problem. Um, I, I don't think that's sufficient for where, we, where it is that we want to get to. I read an article this week, um, and it was, uh, I can't remember which newspaper, but it, it was basically saying that Nigeria should be the richest country in the world. So I thought, let me, let me have a look at this, because I don't have Nigeria as the richest country in the world. <laughs> I have it more as the top five. That's where it should be. But when I read the article and what he was breaking down, he convinced me, he really did convince me that Nigeria should be the number one country as far as economics in the world. Um, unfortunately, we know that it's not. Um, I'll have to look for that article and send it to Dr. Jamages to, to have a look at. Um, it, was, it was quite a serious read. Um, so, you know, in, in ending, I, I just want to, uh, you know, let us know that there is still urgency that we, I believe we still need to stay focused on within these next four years of the Tudubu government um, in a way to pressure him away, him and his party away from the presidential seat, owing to the fact that in these short is it six months that he's been there now About we have seen calamity after calamity um worse calamity than we suffered for eight years under buhari and i think this is an, alar an alarming state to be in and we as the diaspora have to kind of pick up speed in informing ourselves that we don't want this we don't want it it's only us that can make that uh, uh, as an achievement. I, I leave it there. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, let me point out something that Henry Johnson uh, comments he made on the comment section that journalism is a dangerous business. Uh, we didn't touch on that part. Um, and that's something that unless you are in that field, you may not know how dangerous it is. In Gaza, about 40 journalists have been killed in Gaza doing their job. I don't know any other profession where people die that way. In Nigeria, under Buhari, um, I can't count the number of reporters that were locked up, sometimes by governors, local government chairmen, beating up. So I'm still, I'm still locked up today. Nobody, we are not talking about it. We are not counting. We don't even know the news. These are real people who look up one day and say, we are going to record the news. They are not doing investigative breaking news, the one that we, but they are locked up. So these are real real problems in the profession if you can find can you present this is the end of this so and, and these are real situations that people um sometimes we expect the journalists to do a lot for us we don't even think about what they deal with there was a time i saw someone go to channels tv channels a politician talking to shane and was saying I can pay you, you are just a reporter, you don't know. You know, this is people talk down. Who is bringing the VC back? The VC doesn't give respect to, to this platform. He's <laughs> listening to things and you know. It's just, just like FFK said to one, to one journalist one time too. Remember one journalist? FFK. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you're no right. In Calabar, in Calabar saying that I will talk to your boss and who are you? So people don't see these things as handicaps, as hindrances. You are... When people uh, belittle reporters and talk to them anyhow, and then oh, we, are, we are looking at them, expecting them to do wonders for us, um, it's, it's difficult. I, I, I read um, on, on Facebook, I follow a lot of journalists, and there was one reporter in Lagos, and he said um, he just filled the tank of his car with um, 65,000 naira. And what I was thinking is, how much, how much did they pay? reporters now in Lagos. Is this an editor? This is a, you know, how much do they pay them? And, and if you have to feel, you know, it's difficult. Um, there's no newspaper that can afford to have a reporter in all the states in the country. No newspaper in Nigeria can afford that. So how do they cover the state? How do they tell you the story of, real story of what's going on there? They can't. 
This is a tough situation. All right, let's go to Victory. Victory, welcome to the show. Thank you, Dr. Austin. Greetings, everyone in the panel and people at the comment section. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Nigeria, is this a funny, funny case? Um, I was just looking at the budget that was released, uh, and I was saying to myself, no no serious government will ever do that. That's 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 the issue with Nigeria. Um, you have a supplementary budget that is over bloated, and you're I want the money to buy yourself a, a yacht when there are people in the country that cannot eat. Again, I said to people, no serious government will do that. And no serious government will give 160 million naira to his lawmaker to buy cars for themselves when over 130 million people of your people that look like you are living below poverty line. And when you say these things to these APC people, they, they come up with all sorts of things that doesn't make sense. They try they try to defend something that is not it's not logical. You know, oh, is it the first person that have done it before? Uh, like that guy that went to um Shion Shion that was being asked the senator about the car. Look at his body language. He was just laying back, talking in a very condescending manner, like he doesn't care. So so I, I, I just think that the, the way that country is run, the country is not going anywhere. Those set of people that are there are the same set of people, like what Fofana would say, slave masters that sold people that, like us into slavery. And the same set of people that are still ruling us today, they are so compromised, and they will never do anything meaningful for people in that country. So I don't, doctor, I don't know where we're going in that country, but I don't see nothing, nothing meaningful coming out from those people in power right now. And then the guy that went on uh, that Rufa was interviewing, if you if you watch at the end of that interview, uh, Agbati asked him a question, and his his response to Agbati's question was totally different stuff. He was saying that he doesn't know what has gotten over everybody in Nigeria, whereby everybody is just talking, talking, talking. So these these people they are used to Nigerians not saying anything before. Like they, they rig election, they'll say go to court, you go to court, court just declare, people just move on. But this on this on this what is going on right now, people are still talking. So they are like surprised. What's going on here? I mean, what has Peter will be done to this country that everybody is just talking, talking, talking? But they don't realize that people are actually suffering, people don't have money. And when things are tough, people will start looking, people will start looking inward and saying, asking themselves, why have things so difficult for me? And obviously, the, the people look for alternative, and people are like thankful, thank, thankfully for this online media where people can log into a different platform and hear people's views and opinion. And people are hearing different views, different opinion, and people are speaking up. And these people don't want people to speak up. So that's what, what I would say. We must continue to speak, and we must continue to look at what they are doing and, and tell them when they are going wrong and say, this is not the right way to go. Um, and doctor, I don't know how. Um, I don't know how. We, like what I discussed with you privately, I don't know how you want to. No, I will talk to you. I, there are some uh, advancement or improvement or some um, movement along the line. I will talk to you after after this. Okay. Yeah. Because like a, like a, just to quickly let me just round up because we need to fund. If we need to, if we need to like really change the narrative, we need to fund our own platform. Where it's properly funded, so that we can we, we know we have a, a, a standard where people can actually come and hear the real news. So that's that's that. If we are talking, then we should be able to put hand in our pocket to fund our own platform so that our voice can be heard more. So that's what I was saying. Anyway. I'll leave it at that. All right. Thank you, Victory. What what will happen? Victory has a wonderful idea about what could be done, and. Um, when he's ready, he will come here and present it to, to, to people. So it's, it's a wonderful idea. So Henry, I will skip you. I will skip you. Let me go to the people who are here to speak. Uh, uh, Okija, welcome to the show. Uh, um, uh, good day, all. Uh, actually, I came here to talk to Pansat, and uh, Chim brother Pansat left. Uh, Pansat was talking about uh, people in Gaza who were given trouble. But uh, it seems you know the news now. Am I the news? But uh, uh, I will get to you. Um, 
but he, he, you know, he, he seems, you know, he doesn't understand the history of what happened. Uh, there was an election in um, uh, in Palestine, in Palestine, and um, the P PLO, uh, the, G the Jews helped, uh, you know, tampered with the beavers, and um, and um, uh, these guys won. Um, uh, Hamas won, so that's why they are they are trouble there. No, the, the they use beavers. I mean, uh, uh, Pansap's already whole joke, so I don't know. <laughs> So the Jews, you know, they tap out with beavers and these guys work. So anyway, Chim, um, I don't know, you know, like, uh, I don't know, you want to eat your cake and have it. Uh, I, you say that Pito B, you know, he, you know, he, he, you know, he's, uh, he was supposed to, you know, make trouble. And then uh, Rufa is making trouble. You know, I, I don't know what, which, what, what he want. Uh, Pito B uses his brain, you know, uses emotional intelligence. And they say, ah, these people, they go kill me. Uh, so, you know, but, uh, you said that you know you were supposed to you know ramp up the uh, you know the, uh, the whole thing. And uh, um, what's his name? Rufa is ramping up the whole thing. He said no, no, no. He should you know he should come down. So I, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, it's um, Barry Goldwater says something that uh, uh, I think you know is something uh, it, uh, extremism in the defense of uh, liberty is no vice. It's up to you to. You know, so what is happening in Nigeria? Oh, hold on. Okay, Jay, you have to finish it. You can't say one and leave the other. And moderation. Okay, yeah. I mean, I choose the one I want to. That's no, no, you me. can't. <laughs> Extremism in the defense of... Liberty is no vice. And, and then... moderation in the uh, pursuit of... Uh, I've forgotten the other part. And moderation in the pursuit of uh, justice is no... Uh, so I, I can't virtue. remember. It's no virtue. It's no virtue, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, anyway, so but I mean, um, uh, you have to what is happening in Nigeria, you know. So you have to decide, and then because that's why you, you know, you you want to, you, have, you want to judge uh, Rufai. Actually, to me, there is a there is war in Nigeria. There is war in Nigeria. So anyhow, you have to be, you know fight this war. It's welcome. Our politicians, you know, they don't. Uh, nobody reaches them. They have a um, escort. They have a uh, police. They have, you know, like you can't reach them to ask them questions. So whenever people like Rufai, you know, ask them questions, that's Nigerians are asking them questions. Nigerians are angry. How, you know, Tinubu did he answer any question? You know, uh, during the campaign, no, he has answered any question. Upon all the things that happened in Nigeria, upon all the killings they had in Plateau, Abenu, he never went there. You can't reach them. You can't even reach your local government chairman. But you know these guys, you know they go to Rufai, and Rufai, you know he represents Nigeria, so he you know anyhow, anyhow he wants, he can ask them any question they want. I mean he has a history with this guy, you know they they have uh, you know like uh, uh, I think you know the, before the uh, was it uh, before the election, and uh, you know the the thing is uh, the, the thing the, you know what you have to understand is that you know Nigerians, you know they, I saw a video someone was saying something about. Uh, uh the uh tank explosion that happened and uh people were burnt and some people you know what people were burnt some people you know like they were you know they were the ethos of their death you know like you know they, they are dying and there's some people you know people are dying that they still you know use their container to go as good fuel they forget about people who are dying so they have to understand what is going on there that some people, you know, like, you know, Rufai, maybe, you know, like, you know, when he looks at all these things, you know, he, he, he's, uh, he, he can't comprehend, can't understand, you know, what is going on. He can't understand that why, you know, you know, these people, they don't think, they, you know, they come to us, they like us, tell us, you know, whatever they want. Because then, have they told you the truth since uh, uh, inauguration? They don't tell you the truth. You know, they you know, gaslighting and telling us, you know, that, you know, oh, this is not what they say. This is the, I mean, that's... He has no respect, just like you know, you guys said uh someone was telling um uh, Sharon that you pay his salary. They come there, you know, you know, this uh they arrogate to the same, you know, all this power. You know, they they can pay a salary, you're a small boy. He you know, just about to talk talk him down, they told him to shut up, you know, listen to me first. But that's his, you know, like you know, you can't go to a man's house and be telling me you no know, nonsense. If you come to my house, you have to respect me. It's my house, even though you have, you have more money than than I do. You have to come to come to my house. You respect me. Give me you no know, respect that this is my house. So that's what the man's supposed to do. Respect Rufai. And I, I, I was happy that Rufai, you know, to, uh, you know, took it to him. Basically, to, you know, 
you know, told him to shut up. Now, this is my house. You can't come here and respect me. If I come to your house, if I come to APC meeting, you can do say whatever you want. So basically, just like I said, you have to understand what's going on. Nigeria is at war, you know, and uh, the people, they don't have anybody fighting for them. So Rufai, because that's why, you know, people, like you said, you know, they go all the way to, you know, to listen to Rufai because, you know, they, they hear, they hear themselves in Rufai. So if you come, you know, telling people, oh, you know, uh, Rufai, you know, he's, um, he has to check his emotion. You are talking to the people, you are telling them to check the emotion. That's the way I see it. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Akinja. Um, let me, uh, I'll come to you, but Let me respond to this uh, Namde, somebody, if I can do. Um, he mentioned that um, something about journalism being dangerous and uh, if we still want to do it, be ready to accept the consequences. Um, one of the things we miss in our conversation about journalism is that um, the people that I started with, uh, most of them are no longer practicing. <laughs> um, and that's, the, that's part of the problem we have with journalism in Nigeria. The older ones, experienced ones are gone leaving the stage for younger people. Why did they leave? Because they can't sustain a family doing this. Um, they go and become PR for companies. They, you know, they moved on. Um, different fields moved on. Um, but it's a loss to the profession. And you complain about what we have. It's because the people in America, for instance, somebody can retire at New York Times at 80 something. Um, Washington Post, they were there. They've been there for the past 50 years, 30 years, you know. It helps to groom the new ones. It helps to strengthen the profession. But um, if you have a structure that is not good, you will get the kind of journalism that you have in Nigeria and you shouldn't complain. Anyway, um, Janaba, welcome to the show. Uh, oh, before Janaba, he's answering the phone call. Chim, go ahead. Okay, uh, thank you for that uh... Uh, comment you made. I was actually going to say something in respect to that, which is that um, one of the reasons why in in Nigeria perhaps we are seeing a uh, the turnover of people, like you mentioned, is high in journalism is, um, and it's general across different fields of of our life is that there is no proper um, tutoring. You know, there is no handing over to them, even in politics. You know, the seemingly good ones we had before did not have the opportunity to groom other people. Perhaps we could say military rule came and um, scuttled things, but that's just by the way. Now, coming back to this uh, overflogging of Rufai's issues, listen, um, guys, you know, the closest person who came to responding, understanding what I was going to, was Jago when he mentioned the word emotional intelligence. Um, we must be very careful with one thing. People must be ready to take feedback. We can't be asking these thieving politicians to take feedback, but we don't want to also take feedback in some of the things we're doing. Someone said that feedback is the food for champions. If you want to excel in anything you're doing in life, you must be willing and open to receive feedback Sometimes the feedback is not because you're a bad person or you're doing a bad job. It could just be to call out a certain aspect, a little aspect that you may have a blind side to that could ultimately trip you off on that job. Now, I rightly said here that I don't blame Nigerians when somebody who echoes whatever it is that they have in their mind, like Okija said, and everybody rallies around the person. It is just a function of the fact that people are tired and I use the word, people are looking for a Voltron. Is the truth. You're looking for a champion. You're looking for, uh, you're looking for a David. You know, if it was the Israelites. And then, of course, if you're a Philistine, you're looking for a Goliath. You're looking for a champion. It's the truth. It happens everywhere. The American right-wing people are looking for a champion in who? In Trump. So it's, it's a given everywhere. People will be looking for somebody they feel is going to defend the cause they stand for. I repeat, and I stand on my ground, and people should please grow up. Everybody should take it easy. Rufai is doing a fantastic job. I have said it. If I showed you my banter with people on WhatsApp defending this same Rufai that everybody makes, he's trying to make me look like I am I'm thrown under the bus. No. That said, if Rufai was a close friend of mine that I had access to, I will tell him what I have said here. Check your emotion when you're dealing with these people. 
I said it here. I said that is what they will hang on. They can't answer your question. Then they will now hang on that to paint you black and blue. So my point remains the same. I'm not shifting from it. I haven't said Rufai is not doing a good job. I said he's doing a fantastic job. You don't have to agree with me. That is the beauty of the fact that we live in a free society. That is the society we want Nigeria to be, a society where we can disagree respectfully. I'm not going to call anybody here who has disagreed with me names. People who have expressed their views. I can see where some people are coming from, but I still disagree with them. What is my point? He could have still in dealing with that fellow. Allow that fellow to rant and go on and not say a word. When the man finishes, he comes back and says, sir, are you still ready to answer my question? Without going there. You could see this, um, uh, that British guy we were talking about earlier on, the Stephen Soccer. Stephen Soccer doesn't get into any verbal fisticuff with anybody. He's going to ask you the hardball questions and allow you to be the one to lose your emotions. He holds his own, maybe it's a British thing because, you know, British people are very good at telling you to, you know, to jump off a cliff without using any negative word. He still stands his ground, still comes across as sane, but still demands you to answer the question. That's what, we're, that's what I'm saying. It's a feedback. So anybody can hear, sit down here, try to defend Rufai or whatever. He's a human being. He could have some blind spot. Help him. So that's the point I'm making. And nobody is saying Rufai is not doing a good job. He is doing a fantastic job. Let me say it. But am I going to be suddenly because everybody's agreeing with me? Then I'll jettison the point I'm making. Sorry, you don't even know who you're dealing with. Rufai needs. Thank you. You are being emotional now. You said it more than three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, all this, know. All this guy, <laughs> leave it. It's okay. you I think you made a valid case, so I don't see. You know, you don't have to repeat it. Uh, uh, please, uh, who, who is next? Uh, no, can I take no, no. one minute? Uh, uh, can I take on a shift for just one minute? Don't take me please. on, though. It's not about me, please. I know, I know. I just, people I just have not spoken, though. Mr. Some people have not please, spoken. Please, Nigeria, just give me a minute. If just, you say, uh, you just allow the man to finish his rant, you know that the man is trying to sell a particular narrative. And cool and down, there man. are some, some APC supporters who are not thinking, oh, maybe we won't have voted this man or so or so. Those people, the man will sway them. So stopping the man right there was the right thing to do. The, the, the man was trying to uh, sell a lie, which everybody already knows. They, they saw when the man was inaugurated, the man said subsidy is stopped. They said it. And other things, and we see how the economy is going. The Nara has gone up. But that's, not, that. but that's not what I'm saying. You are missing the point. You're missing the okay, point. Go ahead. Talking about we, we, we get the point. I see, I get the point you're making, and I think it's a valid case because I also watched that interview. And not only the, the way um, uh, this in uh, Rufai ad, uh, addressed the guy to ask the guy to wait, then he was laughing when the man was upset. Sometimes you want, if you, you forget your purpose of being there is to get the information out exactly. of the man. So, and I, I what um, Chim is simply saying is that, you know, we have to help ourselves get better. You know, iron sharpens iron. So we should be sharpening our, this thing. you know, people, you know, it's, it's how it goes. I am one of them. I get like that too. So when people criticize me, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite here. It's, it's just what it is. No, and uh, I, I think, think I if uh, Rufa is hearing this, he should also understand that the purpose he is there for is for to get the truth out and get more information to the people. And maybe he should use tact a bit a little bit more not to be laughing at the guests too when he gets on on stage that's not um when he, gets, when he gets refused he was the one making a point and the man was interrupting him let's let's end here it's not about we're not this is not about fire it's about um Papa <laughs> that's reminded me that um all through last week i was trying to reach him i couldn't reach him i was worried about him i said maybe what happened last week <laughs> I'm happy to see him today. Uh, Janaba, what is, so I have to I have to leave, uh, but I want to hear Janaba. And, I, and I'm happy he admitted that is part of what we're talking about. Rudolph, before you leave, let me talk oh, because before you leave, they will not allow me to talk. <laughs> because, <laughs> they will allow you, Henry. No, 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 they, you are just coming, man. Okay, what? let's go to Janaba first. Janaba first. Uh, thank you, Rudy, for having me on your show and thank uh, everybody, forefathers and my fellow panelists. It's always a pleasure to be here. I've been watching from YouTube, but I've been very busy, so I didn't join live. Um, nothing new here. We are here to rant and talk about things that uh, bother us. 
we see it from different perspective, but it's okay. That is a democracy. It's not when you don't vote for a particular party and you have to be bullied in a police uh, unit or come here and side with the person. Nigerian problem is um, they affect all of us directly or indirectly. But uh, I was hearing people saying that uh, we are all blacks, we are all Nigerians, we are going after each other like this. But it's the same way. When we come to this platform, we are more tribalistic than facing the problem. We call, who is there now? Who, somebody should meet their own now. If you are not talking now, meet your own thing now. I uh, see. It. It's in the way you say all the time. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 that's why I decided to. Don't look him. anymore. Once I hear noise, I go to the bus and I meet him. Yeah, that's why I decided to stop at three, even though my love offering is not that great. <laughs> no. uh, so, you know, me, I already accumulated so much for listening to everybody for the past uh, six hours. And now Rudolf wants me to stop talking in three minutes. It's very, um, you see, bell is already ringing. Minority will never have their way. That, <laughs> and that is the reason why even you can be intelligent as a gala man, you are not going to be known because you are not Igbo, you are not Hausa, you are not Hausa Flani. This election now we know between the House of Lani and Hausa. Before we always say House of Lani, now we know Hausa because it's a talking point. So it's okay. I'm an Idomama, I would die in Idomama, even though I'm more, I grew up in the north. So Idoma people are the very thing you want to study about Nigeria. If you want to know what go wrong with Nigeria, go to Idoma land and you know exactly what's wrong with the whole Nigeria. It's a very fertile land with people with love, but they don't set their priority straight. That is who we are. I'm not gonna go there until one day when I choose to become a guest in this, um, on, the, on this show, but not like Passat. I think if Passat come here, this show, FBI will follow you to hell. So, but it's okay, he's listening to me, he's my brother. I, when I'm gonna have Rudolph here, I would love him to come. I've been walking around when um, Ove come here, we went to we went to so many places, looking for a convenient place where we can hold Rudolph and have a good time. Because this politics of Nigeria, you are talking, talking, talking. It's time for Rudolph to get a break and bring his family to come and enjoy in Texas, not this New York thing. Hey, you are leaving Brooklyn to Staten Island, you stay for three hours. What? Who, who does that? Three hours for a journey of 15 minutes? That Nigerian journey, Israel, Israelite journey. Israelite journey was supposed to be made for a few hours, but it took them 40 hours. That is what we do on days. 40 what? years. You take 40 years instead of a few hours. That is what we do. No, the Israelite took 40 years. Uh, 40 years Israelite. Yeah, Not 40 Israelite hours. 40 years journey instead of a few hours. That's what I said. So it's uh, just like Harry, my brother, in uh, I think he's in Germany. I hope you learn how to speak Germany now before they give you citizenship because that's what they do there. I have a citizenship more than 20-something years ago. So leave that but side. But you, you have to speak their language, right? Perfect. I can write perfect. I work in the, I work in, the, but in the office. But but the country you left, you don't have to speak outside. You don't have to speak uh, Yoruba. I speak Yoruba very good, friendly. I speak Yoruba very good. Only outside I'm, you cannot speak. No, because I'm not a military son. Yeah, because in your leg, when you you will leave, whether you be me and you, you, you were privileged, son. you were privileged to come to the. Airport, Harry, what do you mean military where, son? Eh? My father is not a soldier. What does he so mean by military son? I didn't travel to North. I didn't. I've not been to North once. You see, and you are very easy to criticize North, and you call them Malam. You call them all kind of names. No, and no, 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 the no. Problem, eh? You don't even. You don't even. I don't. I never criticize them. They are Mala. I criticize the politicians who who brainwash these people to become a majorist. You are not all different. So, you are not different. Even though in the, in the case is worse because to whom much is given, much is expected. So your case is even worse if you claim to be. <laughs> 
All right. Okay, Dr. Rad, Rudolph, you know, I'm on the show. We're going to rock it tonight. I'm mm -hmm. here all night long. And, Maybe and you're going to leave and uh, Forefather is going to be here. But I'm here with him. And uh, Bumi used to stay so long. It's a young lady that you guys are blooming and victory. And uh, who else again? You guys are... But I'm here for you guys. Today I'm taking cold water. And I'm going to take my medication and we'll stay here tonight. We're going to you. I see you guys when I wake up and I see you guys that stay on. Thank you so much. Uh, free Niger, uh, Nigeria, welcome. Yes. Okay, hi. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, yeah, good evening. Well, good evening, London. It's um, it's it's a few minutes to uh, 10 p.m. in London. Right. Um, I hope you I'm have recovered from that last loss. No, it wasn't. I had to attend to some uh, family um matters yeah we we got bullied i was i wasn't i wasn't surprised i, I was expecting it that if we did not hold, it's a stupid var thing you know i, I think uh, topic, I net, please. I the topic, topic. you're waiting henry henry uh let, let's have one moderator sorry, henry, can i talk please it's my time okay be nice thank you sir <laughs> right um i'm surprised that um we're talking about uh that engagement we will find. I don't see anything wrong with that. You see, it seems that when we're what we're expecting in Nigeria is is what I would call subservient um, journalism. You know, when you 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 fear somebody that he's a member. I mean, you want to be addressed like a doctor, a chief, or an MP or engineer, and all that. Then you're doing well. Rufai is the only antidote to all these um arrogant thieves i'll call them and like somebody did say i know that if you go back he's got a history with that same guy that same guy came with a with a mindset i know that he wasn't civil at all and that was why rufai was actually waiting for him so um, in my opinion if you're going to be a public officer for crying out loud be uh be ready to uh to take the flag sometimes you know in 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 the uk here an ordinary man might wake up from his uh, from his house, buy some few eggs, and wait for the prime minister. When the prime minister comes, tells him with the egg, and he will get arrested. Nobody will shoot him. When he gets to the uh, police station, they will ask him why he did that. He will say, "Well, I disagree with something he said last night or or, or some few nights ago." That is democracy. That is what we call democracy. Nobody will go and put you in some dungeon. Uh, for and, and even your family will not even know where you are. So what are we talking about here? And being emotional is um, is relative. I'm, as I talk now, I'm being emotional. Everybody gets emotional in one way or the other. It's a relative thing. So all this emotional thing is another um, uh, another word that the APC people have coined up. Whenever you want to hit the nail on the head, you will say, "Stop being emotional. Man, let's just get real." That guy deserved everything he got from Rufai. I, Rufai has not done anything wrong. He's fantastic. He's doing a good job. He's fearless. That is one thing. His unique selling point for me. He's fearless. He can take on anybody. Even if, even if Mr. Tinobu should come there and uh, on channels, yet um, Rufai will do the same thing. He will not. He, 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 he does not care. So it's. I don't think there's anything out of place that he has. Um, he has done for us to start criticizing him or bring him under uh, scru uh, scrutiny because we need more fearless journalists. You know, we need people that are, and people are unique in their style. Just like when uh, Dr. Rudolph is uh, mod moderating, is different from forefathers. Forefathers is different from electricity. Electricity is different from show. Everybody is unique in their way. You know, when I talk, it's different from how Tim Chim will present his uh, his own matter. It's different from the way Henry 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 will give give it to you just the way he 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 feels from his heart. It does not mean that he hates you, but it's, we're all unique, you know. So I don't think Rufai is doing a good job, and um, I want to see more of that fearlessness in um, in each and every journalist in Nigeria because we need to put them under pressure. A public office is not a place. Okay, talking about um, being emotional. Do you guys remember when um, Dr. Abati started having a go as uh, at one of um, um, his uh, younger colleagues for just calling him Ruben? What's, what's that about? Is your name not Ruben? Just because we, you see, we've got this culture 
being subservient, you know, he, the guy, in fact, the guy cuts across like one of those uncles in Nigeria, old school uncles in Nigeria that would demand respect, but doesn't have any respect at all for himself. So that's my take on this matter. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, let me uh, listen to T uh, and then I don't think I can, uh, I have just uh, two minutes left. T, go ahead. Uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Rudolph, I hope you listen to Bumi wrote something to you. You see, after she's going to speak. Who, who wrote? Check it. Who wrote? Uh, Bumi. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Where? Check it, yeah. Okay. Uh, compliments to the house. Uh, hello? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Compliments to the house. I greet everybody in the house. I've been listening from the background and I uh, appreciate everything everybody be talking about. We have a uh, different views and they will have different perspective if uh, i will want to weigh in on uh, the rufai issue rufai is a man of dignity he has his own personality he's well read he's well uh school you understand and uh i would not want any of us because i uh, i think uh, deliberately i've not been in this show for quite a very long time but i've been watching it every show that has been on here we should not we are humans and um, we should not remove that factor that whatever has been running this show for the past months has been emotions and the emotions that have been working in this very channel we are in here has not been stable and without stable emotion morality and ethics will be missed and if nobody is perfect which means Rufai can make mistakes. Some folks will always support him because, yeah, we are all anti-government right now because Nigeria is not working. Rufai himself is not even happy. Nobody's happy. So we should not delude the fact that emotion was on both parties forth in that interview. The, the guest was emotional, the journalist was emotional, and it left no morality to journalism. Forefather said the words earlier on that, uh, yes, it does happen. Uh, he, he, he cited an in instance of himself. And uh, I watched the other show when uh, this other lady came on, was speaking something off key and the uh, forefather wasn't there when he came he said nobody was able to to say one or two things on his behalf not like defend him now everything that happened on that show was emotional the only person who stood his ground was dr rudolph that's management emotional management that is why people go to therapist we all lose it at times okay so for that particular show it was lost by the journalist who was hosting the show. So whatever Chim had to say, Chim has a ground. And whatever every other panelist had to say, we all have a ground. No justification. No, uh, uh, let me go to Aburi Accord. Uh, no, no Victor, no Vanguish. That's all I have to say. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Let, let, me, let me go to Bumi. Bumi has something to say. Bumi, go ahead. Um, I wanted to add, um, it's because a, a lot of people keep on making the comment that um, Rufai has like, he's too emotional and he should work on it. I don't know if it's something that is true, but if it's something that keep, people keep on commenting, it's probably something that he, I think he needs to probably look at. But at the same time, people also say he's not a trained journalist. So it might make some, it makes sense why, where you can see him maybe not know how to like react react in certain situation but at the same time i do think that they have four main journalists on their eyes at least at least on that interview there were four main journalists and i feel like they both have different ways of approaching things you can tell when rufai is talking you know the way he's what is going to ask even before he even starts you know, from I think Dr. Rubet, 
I don't know his name, Rubet something oh, Abati. Yeah. You can already tell how he, how he would pre, um, ask the question, his choice of words and everything. So in a way, I feel like it's a good mixture of having maybe someone who can be a, a bit of an extremist and someone who isn't, so that there might be some certain question or certain choice of words that might be able to unlock or give us a, the answer that we might need as a people that not all journalists might be able to do if they're all the same. So I think for me, I think it's a good mixture of all four of them, whereby let's say Rufai is the very emotional one and then the rest of them are relatively calm. I think it's a good mixture of everything from my perspective. All right, thank you. Thank you, Bumi. And um, thank you everyone for uh, joining and uh, I will have to um, take my leave. I really appreciate all of you. Uh, and uh, I'll hand it over to forefathers. Uh, just a reminder, tomorrow we have Dr. Uh, Malcolm Fabi. I think if you have time, it will be interesting to listen to him. Uh, tomorrow he does uh, opinion polling and um, he has some things that will surprise most of you uh, about Nigeria. Uh, I appreciate all of you and um, I wish you all the best. And Mr. Okay. Rudolph, when are you going to bring uh, about the year? Oh, there's a standing invitation. I'm, I'm you know. Because I'm, we, I'm going to drill him when he come here. I will drill him for <laughs> it. All right. As long as, yeah, we'll, we'll get people like that to come and there will be more coming next time. Uh, in, in weeks to come. Thank you, guys. I will see you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. All right. Now, all. all oh, father, as you saw the way Rudolph was taking care of the program. Don't take the old time to talk. <laughs> talk, talk. All old rules are now abrogated. Um, um, all the women on the panel are allowed to interject as they see fit because they are underrepresented. Uh, that is the new rule. And uh, is, this panel is run by emotions. Just in case you post it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Did, did you say women are in the minority? Who are the program? No, no, they are underrepresented here. They are underrepresented here. Um, so um, I think uh, emotions, to an extent, people are criticizing emotions. I don't, I don't see. You need logic and you need emotions. Emotions is the fuel that drives logic. Our leaders lack um, uh, emotion, and uh, the people that are suffering it have a lot of emotion. So, and sometimes you have emotion. Of course, country, you have the emotion. That's for sure. And I, and I think that we should respect both sides to an extent. You know, I, like everybody said about it, uh, Rufai does very well, and nobody is criticizing him that he's not asking, he's not trying. Compared to the others, he's trying. And um, so emotion has its place, but it, it should be there to fuel logic. You can't, any of them, if logic turns toxic, it's a problem. And if emotion turns toxic, it's a problem. You have to try to understand both sides. They all have their place in our lives. Um, sorry, um, TA has spoken, NBC is next, isn't it? Uh, NBC, you know what? We can just freestyle it. Uh, let's not gossip about. Okay, let me speak before no, 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 you freestyle no, no, no. it. Let's, let's, let's speak. Let me speak. speak now. Not let me speak before, speak before you freestyle it. No, 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 no. I will speak. <laughs> okay, 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 please. For fathers. Okay, please go ahead. For fathers, can we talk about the recent uh, list of new INEC commissioners that was sent to National Assembly by the president? Because some stories have it that some of them, if not all the ten, are. Uh, either former APC members or present card carry members of APC. Yeah, I have one you name you are free to talk about it. Yes, I have one name here. Uh, Bumi or Mose Indemi. They said, uh, from what I have here from the Twitter and like, you might know the lady, Miss Pierce. She said, not only did Tinubu not see anything wrong with nominating a Lagos indigenous from Ekpe to be REC, this doctor is an APC member through and through. The former chairman of the traditional medicine board in Lagos State and a former aspirant to the platform of the ACN, then ACN, and APC for the House of Representatives. So that, that, that's one. We have Umorin Etakamba. Umorin is uh, a sub-Senate aide to Kosui Lakwabio. 
and is a member of the APC in Akwaibom State. We have um, who other person there? Is Sashaka. They say prior to his appointment as a resident electoral commissioner, his Facebook page in his name reads Is Sashaka embarked on campaigns for the APC and his candidates. But within 24 hours of the announcement of his appointment, he quickly deleted his Facebook account where he had displayed open partisanship in his support for the APC. This is just a few of them all. So you can see that we can't expect anything good from this present government. Like we always say, it's a state capture. They are doing everything to set the stage for the next election, if that one will happen. But for me, I'm watching Nigerians to boycott any further election. There's no need for elections as we, until we come together and discuss the country. We can't continue in, the, in this trajectory. It will get worse in 2027. This is, I think what you said just now is a very, very serious matter. When you consider what you said just now compared to um, what we have been discussing, this one is by far more serious because it's about the election process. If it is tarnished from the point, from the very get go, we're in trouble. There's no hope uh, at the other end of the tunnel. And this kind of stuff can destabilize a nation. If other parts of the society feels like, you know, you can't trust the system, People are going to take to the streets, or the military can take to power. This is kind of stuff that can destroy. I, I don't know what is wrong with these politicians. What are they, are they trying to get military people back? What is wrong with these people? <laughs> it's left for you the can't, you can't people. even get neutral people. Don't be emotional now. We need, don't we need serious please. reform the electoral system. I don't know now because yeah. I don't, they are trying to bring military back or what? The, the, sorry, because please let me just say this: the one party or the party in power can can keep um, appointing. People who are supposed to be neutral in elections. And I don't even know what the other parties are doing. Have they not seen this thing? And they'll bring it to the assembly ground, and the other party parties have their members at the ground and they will not protest, even if their voice will not be, will not have, even they will not have a say at the end of the day. But these are not these are not good. That is why we say the electoral, the, the electoral system needs reform. The country itself needs a thorough reform. The president can't keep appointing everybody, and they will do, they'll be doing his bidding. When they appoint people now, next election now, they will tell them what to do and they will do it for them, just like this president, uh, I make. Very serious matter. Um, who is next? Um, yeah, Ungozika, please go ahead. Uh, good evening, four fathers. Um, good evening, everybody. I'm back. I Ungo, dropped in earlier. Ungozika, there are two people in the comment section that have played your diary to me, so we'll talk later uh, in the background. My I'll dad is to your diary. Anybody's my dad is Google, so anybody can collect it. That's just by the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um I wanted to, I'm so glad, Mr. Nubisi, thank you so much for that topic you brought up. I was going to say something about Rufai, but that can wait. I really am interested in this thing you just said now, because I do recall, and most of you that uh, have been with this show since the beginning of this year and last year, we will recall right after the election and during the election where I worked as an INEC ad hoc staff and went live. And after the elections, I kept saying that although there were um, inconsistencies from what I was hearing and what we were seeing online in other polling units, this is what had happened in my polling unit. There was no inconsistencies. And for the first two days or so, the result from my polling unit was not uploaded. And I said it on the issue. And people came for me. Nothing they did not call me. That I was obedient and I was partial. Nothing they did not say to me. I was an ad hoc staff, a contract staff of at INEC that discharged my duties. I even mentioned my pulling unit on air and somebody was worried and was like, no, don't do that. People are crazy out here. They can track you down. They can do this. They can do that. I was like, what are you people saying? Immediately, I accepted to be an ad hoc staff. I dropped everything. I, I, I didn't vote. So what? How could I have influenced it? I was not the pulling officer. I said it on air. I was the assistant um, uh, pulling uh, officer. I was APO2. I wasn't even APO1. I was APO2. So what were they on about then? Uh, you are supporting Obi. Uh, that is how you influenced the uh, elect me, ordinary APO2, influence election in my pulling unit. But here you have your president openly, brazenly appointing chieftains, not as ad hoc staff, but INEC staff. And you people are silent. You suddenly lost your voice. 
see yeah, when people say things about emotion, eh, I, I just shake my head. Like forefather rightly said, it is it it it, it is what drives logic. If you think everything is logic, up ah, one plus one is two. If it is not two, nothing anybody can tell me. But eh, you forget that children when they write one. And re and they don't write the and one day see one and they see another one. What they are seeing is eleven. What if you remove the plus in the middle of one plus? What you are seeing is eleven. What you are seeing is eleven. How are you going to reconcile that? Why you people say this thing whole thing about I, emotions and people should be logical, logical, but you don't reach logic now. Now logic don't work come out. This one did not even make it to the front pages. Why? Because it is not obedience that are doing it. If it was Peter B that was pregnant, pre president, sorry, and appointed a card carrying Labour Party member as an ordinary janitor at INEC headquarters, ah, we won't hear the last of it. We will not hear the last of it, but the people that came for ordinary me that was a PO2 are suddenly quiet. And this boils down to what I said initially. I don't know how you people sleep at night, the people that do these things. I do not know. Honestly, I struggle to. I struggle to wrap my head around it. Like, how? How do you see things degenerate so horribly and you still keep defending the people that are behind it? And like I said earlier, for your own sakes, I hope you're getting paid for it. I hope, because this will be a waste of wickedness. It will be a waste of selfishness. It will be a waste of greed if you're not getting paid for it. At least just get something out of you. At least let that one... I, 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 I feel a that one say, Anna, because of money selling so, you know, to pay me, you will pay me, but I'll be like, ah, this one selling so for me, you know, try, 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 no loss. No, to pay me like that. But for now, this one are wickedness. All this blatant wickedness you people display every day, defending the indefensible. They're not collecting shame by, ah, it's a, it's a big shame. Shame on you people that defend this. Back to the five. Me, I've said it from now to tomorrow. Two people that I don't know, that don't know me. That I always pray for. You see, you see David Hundain. You see Pitobi. Few people that are all, that they don't know me. They don't know I exist. You see David Hundain. You see Pitobi. You see Rufai Oseni. These are just some of the people that don't even know I exist, but I know they exist. And every day when I pray, I say, God, please protect them, guide them, don't let them falter. They are still. They are, they are just the few. Things they, they, these are just the few people that when I look at, ah, I don't lose hope entirely because in this, I don't want to use very derogatory words on it. In this place we call a country, it is very easy, very easy, easy, easy to lose hope. But with people like that, I will keep praying and I will keep as I'm praying for them, for God to guide them and protect them. I'm, and I don't care what anybody thinks about this. I'm going to wake up every day, I go to the market. And things are getting tougher. And the belt they say we should tighten is getting really tighter. I'm going to curse every single person that had a hand in bringing this upon us. And I don't care if you're related to me. What am I even saying? I ended a let very cut, strong relationship. Cut, let me cut you short. Uh, somebody said you should not curse people. One of your sisters said I you should not I'm curse. I'm not cursing anybody. I said I will curse. Or I curse. Do you see me curse on Mr. Henry? No, Did you see me say I cut you right them, now? On don't, pray for pray for them. Don't cause them. Pray for them. No, you won't tell me what to do. Nobody you go tell me what I go do, sir. Nobody you go tell me what I go do. For where I come from, we get coconut. No, they hear word. So I won't be going through all this. I pray, pray, pray for who? Pray for people that hate me. People that hate me so much and reinforce their hatred every single day. Those are people I should pray for. Oh, please spare me that. It is maybe it is because of this whole pray for themselves that they are still here, making our woes, making our problem more and more. Even if you started cursing them, like really, really cursing them, it will. I don't know if cursing work. Because it's work. That's just by the way, but. You don't mind, Henry. Henry is like we'll, a bastard we'll in the making, really. I'm almost um, going <laughs> Imagine if give, give give Henry 20 years, it's going to be like bastard. <laughs> go ahead. I'm almost <laughs> going off point, but let me just say what I wanted to say about Rufai. Like uh, Bumi rightly said, everybody will not be uh, cool, calm, and calculated. It's it, What will happen if all of us on this panel raising the same way, spoke the same way? What would this panel be like? Even me, I won't tune into this show. Some of you are going to be the voice of logic. Take the crown, carry cup, no wala. 
some of us are going to be the mistress and mistresses of emotions. No, Allah, now cop too. You carry on like that. You know, keep person. Now, emotion we get. No, be bad thing. Now, better thing, say person get emotion. See, they feel another person pain. Eh. So, no blame or say you no get that kind of capacity. No, be our fault. Don't try to use it to shame people. Oh, you're too emotional. Eh. You won't call that you're not emotional. Aren't you worried that something is wrong with you? Somebody is displaying emotion, you're worried. You think it's something to throw them with. Oh, you're too emotional. You're controlling your control what's in. The one that you've been controlling him, what has he done for you? Where has he helped you? I beg another person to talk. Thank you. Um do me did me want to want to say something or am I mistaken? Um okay, yeah. if if it okay, Fofada, good, put good. me on the backstage no, for now, please. Fofada, All right then. Please please see. It's my turn now, for further. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um okay. I'll uh, go ahead then. Um Henry. Yeah. Since the Karin say you should cause or should not cause, I was just making a joke because uh, I will not pray for my I will not pray for the politicians either anyway. I will not pray good for them either. I will not pray for them either. Because uh, they are making they are causing pains to all to all Niger most most more, more than hundred twenty million Nigerians. They're causing pains. So you know, I will not wake up one day and start praying for good for them. I mean Nigeria happen to all of them. And those who those who are supporting them may not happen to them that generation. I will say that word. It's not a cause so if it's a good thing, it happened to them. If it's a bad thing, let it go somewhere. If you are supporting this gov this government that is making people poor, they could not eat, things are getting worse, no security, no basic basic amenity, no good roads, no social welfare, nothing, nothing is working, and you you live in a western country and you are enjoying from you are enjoying good life and you're saying. Uh, we should, we should, we should not, we should not, we should let it be put it on God. I'm not waiting for God to come and judge this. God costs people too. It's in the Bible the cost. So I, 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 I put Nigeria problem on their family and their generation. So as I was saying, it's still a country of Niger called Nigeria where people are suffering. They say they don't have money. Your so-called president, we order for yacht. They said they already bought it before you people know. And some of you will say we speak with emotional, emotional yeah, we are emotional. Are you people happy the way the country look like? What do they need a yacht for? I would no, think maybe they want no, to buy ship. What do they need a yacht let, for? Let me help you, forefather. So somebody jokingly said something. Was it on Twitter that I saw that thing? That they bought it to be transporting. <laughs> That thing that they used to do, like that they bought it to transport it. This is so, his job. This was his job before. I is don't this, know. That is what Nigeria they said. Too, ah, Nigeria, I yeah. cannot be held liable. And yeah. I didn't say anything. I didn't call any no, name. Didn't, I said didn't that somebody on Twitter. I didn't hear anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Somebody on Twitter said that it is possible. You say, what did they buy yacht for? I'm just saying what I saw. Somebody no. said, ah, you know, given their history, you know, you can't really take a person's history away from them. You can, given their history, that probably they bought it for business. That business of, you know, that business that way you you do like this, like we see in the movies that they bought it it's, for it's that. It's really, it's, it doesn't say it does. Like we are not serious people. That. What does he need a yacht for? You should be looking. I don't that. know, man. This if you had said a ship, maybe I would even respect it more. What is this no, yacht ship thing? Waiting. Ship maybe waiting. you can say they use it to travel West Africa. You, you, there's okay. something you can say, but this yacht thing is like party. What does he need okay. a yard for? This is a country they say they don't have uh, they don't have money to pay to come up to thirty thousand minimum wage. They cannot even pay. Kogi State cannot even pay minimum wage thirty thousand. Yeah, this is a country they cannot even give them twenty four, not even 12, 12, 12 hours electricity. This is a country they don't have basic amenity. They don't have good hospital. This is a country people are suffering. Uh, uh, they are poor. More than more than 30, 30 million Nigerians are poor. This is a country they are managing. They said they are managing. This is a country they steal from the West, from the poor people. Mm. And the, 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 some people will some people will come here and say you are emotional, you are uh, because you are uh, a big, a big or you'll be hip hop. 
That is why you are crying. Let, let's <laughs> correct something. Sorry, sorry for interrupting. Let's correct something. It's yacht, not yacht. So, you know, they have been laughing. they've been laughing at us. Anything that they will call call and and that is yacht. Eh? We'll yacht. Eh? Yacht. Eh? We'll correct ourselves. Eh? We, we are yet to learn. This thing, on just in a lighter note, this whole yacht or yacht or whatever thing you just said just reminded me of a day we were having a conversation. Somebody was saying, No, it's not trafficator. Why will you say trafficator? Say indicator. I said, Eh, I'm gonna carry a carry a motor and town road. And, <laughs> and, and they say, I want to own my indicator. The way I'm going to be looking, you are speaking to yourself, nobody understands you. So you see this whole thing about when people, when people there, 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 are, there are things that we understand the way we understand them. So when we get to the mm. classrooms so or we are doing academic work, uh, we can argue that one. Let Let's just enlighten it by the way. We are working okay. on farms now. They don't see what is going, what Tinubu is doing with this buying, this buying that. They don't see all this. They don't That's see all true. This. With with all this, where, um, where's your uh, banana, the best uh, so-called uh, Agbado uh, 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 human rights activist? What what is he saying about this? Corruption is going on. All this buying, this uh, uh, mm. allocation of money for the for the rich and for the for the rich people, where the poor are the poor are dying. Where are those mm. people now who say they are activists who came out during Jonathan and protest? Where are those who call a uh, Abadu professor with white hair? Where are these those people now who can come out and say stop what they are doing? Mm. This electoral people, one is a, is a, is a, it could be very problematic if people start feeling like the system is completely corrupt it's that could be a problem for, for a blind man we see this corruption that's going on you will see this contrabalism that's going on that's someone who's blind can see he can he can smell it huh? it's so alarming i'm so i'm so angry anytime i talk about this so-called nigeria I'm, for me i can travel the whole world i travel to everywhere i want to go i buy my ticket i go we are going i can travel everywhere i've been to asia i've been to america I can travel anywhere, but I'm talking about generally about Nigeria. But some people who live, who live in the uh, one-room apartment in New York or whatever they live there will come here and start making noise. Who live in America who cannot even go home for five, six, seven years, coming here to to say you are uh, uh, I'm intellectual and these people are so emotional. Why not? Who are you referring to? <laughs> who are you referring to? Because you, you know who I'm talking to. It sounds quite here, specific. I don't call their names. If I call names, people start crying again here. Yeah, I don't call names. They know themselves. I They're am, not here now. Kind of with all due respect, sir. Yeah. Yeah, talk to Please, me. I'm trying to be very I'm trying to be very, very respectful. Talk to me. You know, uh, sometimes here yeah, I will not I will not keep one that is on the floor. That's cowardice. If someone has not been home for a couple of years, that is a personal thing, and it's, it's not everybody. So I don't think it's a very no, nice thing to say. No, 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 don't give excuse for those people. Leave that thing. But we that always go go home and see how people are suffering. We are talking. They should they should keep quiet when we are talking. I will be there in January too. We go home every time. We see how people are suffering. If we are talking, those who will never be oh, home for five, six, I, seven years, they should keep quiet when we are talking. Can, can I? Because can I feel I, their pain. I feel oh, their brother, pain. Yeah, no, okay. sorry, who is that? Um, uh, okay, De um, yeah, righteous man, Dexter is oh. before you. Um, okay, okay, okay. Can I go on, or somebody want to talk? Yeah, please round up so that Dexter can uh, say something, and uh, maybe Chim can interject a bit. Yeah, yeah, oh, Chim, if, if, you can, if you want to interject yeah. briefly, Chim, go ahead. Yeah, go briefly. On, Chim. Uh, two things I was going to talk about, maybe later on, is um, a topic you may want to consider later on as the evening winds down is this Dangote and um. Um, Dangote and Bua issue, you know, it's something also that tells you how our politics is also played. If those of us yeah. who know the story, it's something I, I, I was I forgot to bring it up, but back to this whole yacht, yacht or yacht, it doesn't matter, Mr. Chim. It doesn't matter. English is not my father's <laughs> first language, but anyway. <laughs> I'm uh, uh, moving on on a serious note. Um, I think our our leaders are insensitive, you know, without overflogging that issue. They're very insensitive. See, Americans used to have a presidential yacht. I hear it used to be called uh, the Floating White House when they had it. And um, when Jimmy Carter came to office, he sold it off. He told them they don't need, need to have that anymore. And he sold it off. No American presence since that time. 
has ever attempted that kind of thing again. Mm. You understand? And you know, this is now when when we see what this guy, although in all fairness to Tinubu, he's not the one who ordered the yacht. The yacht was ordered for by Buhari's government. But you would have thought that send it back. How do we know it's true? He can plug it. He can send it back. He can take the money and do whatever he wants to do with it. He can come back and sell it. No, what I'm trying. The point I'm trying to make is this: if this man means well for Nigeria, if he's really wanting, first of all, he has a, a deficit of a um, what's it called? He people are not accepting him. Nigerians are not accepting him. But if he was even mm. trying to win the hearts of Nigerians, there are some easy wins that he keeps throwing away. Very easy wins. Number one, I've mentioned it here. Kim, Kim, let me go there. This man don't have, even have Peter, uh, uh, sympathy for Nigerians. I you know. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's the Not point I'm trying to make. That's the point I'm yeah, trying but to but make. Sometimes it sounds as if he does. Like that's, Did you watch his no, speech he made? It's, it's, it's where he was saying Nigeria. He was telling his officials not to be wicked. You know, okay, sometimes so, it sounds as if it does. Oh, and oh, then, oh, like, oh, <laughs> instead of oh, not oh, to be let's, wicked to let's, people, like, let's define wickedness. Let's define wickedness. What can be more wicked than that's a weird thing stopping people from going to vote to make sure you win or to snatch box? Exactly, exactly. So, that's I don't true. Know what he, said. he said he was don't be wicked. You know, look, listen. Number one, he appointed a lady who was serving NYSC as minister. I have an issue with that. Is the same Tinubu that appointed um, Mutawala? Matawala, what was that man's name? Former governor of the huh? And then Bagudu, a man who appointed those two people as minister. What are you expecting from him? I've been saying this thing. There, you know, you know, there's a local proverb that says, you know, the early, the, the morning, the, the decision you take in the morning will show how the day will go. Mm. So the guy has proven it. He told you that statistics will go chop. He said it with his mouth. Now, statistics we go chop. So th that tells you there are certain things he's not interested in. Any other thing you are seeing him doing is playing to the gallery. A milocon is my turn. That is what it's all about. Okay. And if and if they are playing to the gallery, they are really good actors because some of the way what he talks, he talks as if he's actually don't, being don't, honest. Don't forget about what his wife, what his wife said, oh, uh, the pastor, the angel, the angel of a God, the pastor, the noble wife. Uh, the pastor, Tinubu's wife, he said their the husband is not there to steal money. They are rich family, right? They are mm. rich. This is what he said. But they are buying a uh, president's wife cars with Nigerian yeah. money. And, and the and cars are expensive. They are not cheap. Did huh? people not defend those statements? People defended mm. it. And that is the problem I have with, with, with people that do these things. Wait, people should we should learn to be standing in one place so that we know how to direct this turn like that me, them. I will, I will always, from I will always one side of the mouth you are con um, I will always stand on one straight forward for the Nigerian people no matter, I don't, I'm not here to make no, friends I'm not saying you, Mr. Harry, no, I'm, I'm not no, no, saying I know, you I, know, I, know, I, know, I understand, I understand you. you see, yeah. I will not come here to make friends for those the, the ones that I'm talking Mr. about, they are not here now Mr. Henry yeah let me finish. Let me finish. I'm not going to come here to make friends or you to like my opinion, but I'm going to stand for Nigerian people because I know how they are suffering. Me, I'm not so, I, I can, me, I can buy, afford anything I want to buy, but people are suffering. They cannot even hit one good square meal a day in that country. And we're here to support a government that doesn't even care about the under Nigerians. They are using billions to order cars from uh, Toyota when we have our own uh, uh, Nigeria cars. They, they cannot even go there to patronize things. Do this, con do this government care about you people? And some people will come here and they are not here now. They will come here and start saying uh, because OB didn't win, you are uh, you people stop crying. As OB there, start saying you are crying because we don't win. I'm not crying. My family, is, my family are not crying, but I'm just crying about those under Nigeria that are suffering. If you know, you. If, if you have Nigerian blood in your vein, you will feel what I'm feeling. Thank you. Thank stop you. Supporting criminality. Thank you. Um, Tinubu is not my president. I will never be my president. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Dexter, please go ahead. Yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, what I want to say is, uh, I mean, for everybody that has come on this panel that joins and shares their views and their opinions, irrespective of whatever view you have, I think you, Rufayo Saini should be your champion. 
because of all journalists in Nigeria right now, that's one of the only journalists that speaks the mind of the people. And he doesn't care who comes on air, he speaks the mind. Yes, I agree sometimes on, in some issues, he kind of overdrags it, but that's not when he's interviewing politicians. So I watch the morning show literally every day. And yes, maybe when he's talking to Rotus, when they're talking about economic matters and other things, when he's talking to Dr. Uh, Dr. Ruben Abati, yes, he might drag on his opinions. But when it talk, comes to talking to politicians, he speaks to the issues. He play, he puts it play. Like when he was talking to Fayoshe, he told Fayoshe there is a recording of you planning to rig the election. What do you have to say to that? That is what the ordinary Nigerian wants to say. Rufai Oseni represents the ordinary Nigerian. And I think everybody needs to back him. People shouldn't throw him under the bus because people were coming to gaslight Nigerians. Somebody comes on the show and says Tinubu did, did not remove subsidy. There's something about continuously telling a lie. When you continuously tell a lie, after a while, the people will believe it. The people will start taking the lie to be the truth. But, but Dexter, you know that everybody... That almost everybody supports um, Rufai. It's only the only person that came across to us a little bit criticizing him or calling him like an amplifier is OVA. Most everybody has spoken supports Rufai, from what I can see. So just in case, I just thought you should know that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because I was. I think when I came on, I think I was hearing people like making like disparaging remarks, and I think Rufai does an amazing job. Rufai, David Honde, they do amazing jobs. Then regarding the Nigerian economy, you know what I think? I think Nigeria will have been, I mean, Nigeria was under military rule for like over 40 years. And then if you look at the people in power, all you need to do is do an analysis. The people in power today are between, many of them are in their 60s, their 70s. All these guys, grew up under military rule most of their youthful ages were under military rule so i think that's the kind of change we're expecting so you have people that okay experienced democracy maybe when they were in their youth and traveled out and expecting a good life but the truth about it is that the psychology of the so-called bagudus the tinibus the el rufais the truth about it is that their psychology is not talking about a free state their psychology is about state capture. That's what they believe. You capture the state. And that's what they are doing with INEC right now. That's what Tinibu is doing with INEC. First of all, he has gotten into power. And then the next thing is to put only people that are loyal to him. That's why there's always this saying that um, Nigeria will turn to a one-party state once Tinibu enters power. The same way he turned Lagos into a one-party state. Because what he will do is that the people that will decide elections will be his cronies. And that's it's just it's a, it's a script that is being played. You know, it's a script. Yeah, and if he's trying to do that, he's going to fail uh, miserably. Uh, why do you he's think going he to fail, fail miserably on so many angles? Because anybody that has tried to monopolize power in Nigeria, they always fail. And um, yeah, and he, he won't even come close to succeeding. He will try, but he won't come close. Um, I just, if for his own sake, if I were him, I would make my peace with not trying to do that. Try to govern well, if I was him. Um, please go ahead. So, yes. so I can move to a righteous man. Yes, yes. So, uh, so well, well, in summary, what I can say is that, uh, like somebody was saying, I think it's time to stop praying for the Nigerian leaders. I mean, that era of telling people pray for, especially from the religious perspective, these people are killing the ordinary man. Things are very difficult. People, some people can barely eat one square meal a day in Nigeria presently, and then they go to the church and the religious leaders and they go to the imams. And they tell them to pray for the leaders. I think that time has come. People need to take their destinies in their own hands. Thank you. Thank you. Um, righteous man, thank you for your patience. You've been waiting for a while. Please go ahead. Yeah, forefather. You are being cool today. Wow. That's very, very good. I'm being cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, very, very, very <laughs> I don't think I was, but it's okay. Okay. Hey, forefather, take me out. Me bring somebody. KJ, they are outside. Bring him in. I want to go out. Take All right. Thank you. So what's this? What's this cost of Fastland today? Um, I don't know. I'm not I don't follow Arsenal. I gave up a long time ago. I was because I was Arsenal, which I mean, uh, that one. 
Uh, adults are mostly busy look. inside. What is the point? As long as yeah, as long as we to the person, Nicholas will be the most zero. Hello. Mm hmm. Um, sorry, uh, who is next? I, I, as the, as the, I am the one talking. I'm the one talking. Okay, Arsenal lost. Now you know. Okay. Go to Arsenal court, lost. You know how it runs. Yes, Arsenal lost. You know how people court. Oh, when I went in, I went because I was Arsenal. What is this I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, forefather. Yes. Uh, did you read about the beheaded bodies and skeletons found in Abia State? Yes, I I saw the headline on uh, this uh, Twitter's. I think it just popped. I think it was Peter Wee that said it, so that's why I noticed. And um, that was serious stuff. And um, you know, this is the issue: it's no lack of security uh, in the country. So uh, go ahead if you want to talk about it. Yeah. But what, how did that happen? Have, even have you wondered why such thing will be going on in a market? And the security operators never knew about it. Or could it be they must know that some could some it of them be must that know. they were they were there was a security report, but the former PDP governor Ikazu ignored it because it was shocking. But the shocking uh, revelation about this thing is that the media in Nigeria have played down on this issue. It's not yeah. in the media space. 80 bodies. And you can see how bad this country has gone. You can see how life matters nothing again in this country. Is there any country in the world where the citizen's body will be discovered in a shadow grave, 80 in number, and the government said nothing about it? The federal government have not commented on it. The security agencies have not said anything about it. 80 bodies, 80. Come on. And somebody is still telling me that Nigeria is alive. Nigeria is not alive. Let's not allow, I don't know. What, what, what will I use? I don't know. Sometimes when I sit down and think about this country, I begin to lose touch of reasoning. I, I, I don't know. How can, how can we say Nigeria is alive? 80 bodies of Nigerian citizens, of, of, of Nigerian citizens beheaded, buried in a man. shallow grave in a, in a market. Man. Somebody went to court for kicking a cat in this country. For just kicking the cat. Imagine. He went to oh, court. Yes, you're going to go 80. to court. Too. Yes, and you probably see counseling too. <laughs> Just the, sure. the, the person you call the president of Nigeria heard of it? Is it not enough for him to make a national broadcast and address that issue and tell the security agencies to move into that ground and find out what really happened? In fact, it was true. Uh, it was when this issue came up that would be made uh, the revelation that the 30 bodies that were seen in one river when he was governor, that mm -hmm. he wanted to pursue that case. But this man you people call good luck, Jonathan, stopped him. I'm on so, and they still throw him with that till today. APC people will not him. let him breathe. Exactly. Good luck, Jonathan, stopped him that he should not probe it. So that but shows you the not, kind of leaders. No, the federal, the federal government took over Okay, now why, why did you not why did you not fight the federal government like he fought them when it was taking charge of the, the, the money of the state? I don't understand. Can you why are you, you asking not, the question about the bodies, OB? excuse me? When he saw the bodies, hmm? now the bodies yeah. were dead, he saw the body, he was the state governor. Excuse me. Yeah, he was the state governor, he saw the bodies. Okay, yeah. Now, he wasn't happy with it. He wanted to pursue it. The federal government said he should step down. And he stepped down, he kept quiet. And that same man, you want us to make him president. We did not see step down for the cabal. <laughs> can I answer you? Can I answer your question? Can I answer? Hey, hold is on, it hold possible on. to get, sorry, are you are oh. gonna go T? Is it possible to get closer to the screen? Because you are very far away 
and uh, yeah, yeah, your camera, you are very far away, you see, and uh, it's like uh, the whole of you is on the on the media on the YouTube. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, please, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, you've got a rich face now, so why are you hiding it away? Um, yeah, uh, please. Um, KJ, please, uh, not your hand. You know, I see it so much. Uh, righteous man, let righteous man finish there. You can go because I think this this is an interesting uh, situation. Really, I don't. It's just sad to to be hearing that type of stuff. It just happens as if it's nothing. Please, uh, righteous man, go ahead. Okay, um, I think where you see he has gone. No, no, he will be back. He, he, I think he oh, stepped out. Yeah, he he, back. he 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 asked me a question. Let me answer him. There is no governor in Nigeria that control the army, the police, the navy, the air force. There is no governor in Nigeria. The person that have the right, 100% right, to command any of the armed forces or security agencies to swap into operation when there is a national issue like this is Mr. President. And Jonathan was briefed by the governor. That's P2B. And the president asked him to hand over the file to him for further investigation and persecution, which Jonathan failed to do. So it's not the fault of Obi. Obi, okay. Obi, is, Obi is a bad boy among these uh, this, uh, okay. this cowards that we have as politicians. Okay, okay. They see now, okay. now I, you have just answered my question, but okay. now, uh, I, I agree with you to a level eh, and to a perspective. Now, you see, now when you when you fight for a cause, I listen to this program every day. I hear revolution, I hear fight, I hear campaign, I hear go to London, go and do rally. Okay, now if Obi stands for what Labour stands for, or for what the common Nigerian stands for, for what you stand for, for what you are crying for, that pe so people die. <laughs> Nobody's talking about it, okay? Now, if you are a city governor, I'd rather resign eh, than to sit under that coffers as a governor and shut up because the president said I should shut up if I am a true Nigerian. The president did not tell him to shut up. The president okay, asked no, him to him, hand okay, over. Okay, you said, you said, okay, said classified. Okay, but let's take it as a classified document. Okay, bring this classified. Okay, for yeah. the federal government. And now, after as a sitting governor in your own state, after one month, two months, three months, one year, and you didn't hear anything, and you waited till something uh, re replicated itself, and you that come to the limelight, and you're talking about it. You see, so, uh, see, one thing, see that one thing which is on. I don't want Nigerians to understand. Eh? You see, Obi, Atiku, Tinubu, they are all bags of the same feathers. No, no, no. I disagree with you. Yes, we Completely. can never agree. We can never agree because you know why. Now I am not talking about the election. Now we're talking about human rights. We're talking about feelings. We're talking about pains. Okay. Now you are crying. You are not a governor. Electricity comes here every day. Said all oh, your local governments, whatever, whatever, accountable. You are crying here. You are not even. You are not even in the government. Are you doing anything? Uh, Ugozika was crying. What people were blaming her because she was an adult staff. Okay. Now we are all crying because we are humans. People die. We don't even know why they die. And here we are. Yes, after that same person comes to us as the Messiah, because Nigerians are always running from pain. So we we'll run to any corner we can find. He did not come as a desire. Not claim to be a desire. Please, just please. Are you trying to? I'm trying to understand where you're going with all this. Are you okay. trying to say that Obi did not do the right thing? Do you do you understand what is called chain of command? Oh, chain of command. Yeah. Okay. Now, you? yes, I understand that you are a military man. You understand that you a military. Let's just keep military out of this. But yeah, there's, there's see, when you talk of, listen, when you talk of chain of command, even the office, there's see, a protocol. You, you have a line chain, manager over yes, you. You don't, can't go don't, for your line don't, manager. Don't when you're talking of chain of command, that's military. We're talking about democracy. That's not chain of command in democracy. Okay, maybe but, 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 but the, the president is the commander in chief and he gives the final authority. So let's leave chain of command. We're talking about democracy. We're talking about pains. We're talking about people being dead. 
not okay, die. Let me though. use another word. Yeah. Okay, let me use another word that will be, that that will make much sense to you. There, there are okay. protocols. There are some steps. If you work in an office and you have um you have some grievances, you can't go over your line manager. There's a there's there's a there's okay, hold there's, okay, there's okay, a now, protocol let, that you let, need now, to follow. Okay, cool. Let me ask you a question. You agree? When, okay, now when uh, the federal government or INEC mm -hmm. gave mm -hmm. a decision on an election. Mm -hmm. That's the protocol. So why did Obi not go with it? Why did Atiku not go with it? Why did they challenge it? To which means protocols can be challenged, right? So yes. as the same, that same protocol should have been challenged as when people died. We well, know what I was challenged. Let's continue. But until, 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 until this friend. very revelation, people were blaming I, Peter Obi that, that Peter Obi did so on please. it. Can I make my oh, no, I, are they saying that Peter Obi sat on a I, kind of I, similar I, massacre? Uh, I have not yes. made my total submission. Yeah, no, no, don't worry. You, you are going. You are here. Yeah, you will commit complete. Just to be clear, are they accusing Peter B of sitting on a massacre that happened previously? No. They, 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 were, they did that before. Hold on. When he was governor, they did that before, and even IPOB was accusing him of being responsible for the death of those people. But he, when he came back to say, he knew nothing about it. Then when this recent one happened again, he opened up and said exactly what happened that time, that he is one into action to fish those who were responsible out. The president asked him to hands off so that the federal government will take up the case. Hmm. So you, you can't fault him. Yeah, I, I guess I can understand that if the, the head of state wants to come in, then you can't, you know. Please go ahead, Bumi. Um, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a, 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 a you know you know they are underrepresented. They, they, have, they have to have a say. Uh, don't worry, uh, KJ. You be, you go next, and then uh, I just make a roundup. Bumi, please go ahead. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm not going to talk for too long. But I just wanted to say, um, doc, uh, Dr. Damages did say that um, Peter Obi is going to come. So I feel like this is a question that you should really ask to figure out if. I, I kind of agree with Mr. T in regards to like if the pres if the president should say leave it for the federal government and he left it and let's say one month, two months, three months pass and he had absolutely nothing, what was his reaction? And you, they, this is not the same as chain of command. This is absolute 80 people were basically massacred. And you're saying leave it for the federal government and you've had nothing in regards to it and you're just gonna let it go. That makes no sense. You're a sitting governor. Okay, so hold on, hold in on. a way, Bumi, I do Bumi, think Bumi, Bumi, we do not know whether he responded, do we? Let's leave that until the man comes yeah, here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I have a lot of questions. I've got, I've got a lot of questions don't, for don't. If he responded, we would have had what if he responded, what I'm saying okay. is that, mean if he, no, if he had the person, about the person that Nigerians should hold responsible is Bumi, Mr. Continue. President Let Bumi finish. Let Bumi finish. Let Jonathan. Bumi. Jonathan was the person who saying, took over the case. So Bumi Nigerians Bumi should Bumi ask Bumi Jonathan. Hold Nigerians hold should ask finish. Jonathan. Rajas, okay. man, you're, you're going to round up. Let, 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 let Bumi just finish, then you will round up. What I'm saying is we cannot go into conclusion. That's one. He's going to come on this platform, whether it's next week, and we'll ask him. But if he said that the the president says no, and after a period of time, and he had absolutely nothing from the president or from the federal government, and he did not go ahead to figure out what exactly is wrong, that sounds like a he just forgot about it and he, that's not his job to forget about it he might not be able to physically challenge the federal government but i don't know if he went out to make it a point that look by the way i sent it to the federal government to the president and they they haven't said anything now we as people will know that we should hold the federal government but if he said he does nothing then it's on him because he he didn't tell us any information so that's just my point, but he's going to come and clarify. I'm not going to judge him or anything, but that's from my perspective. Yeah. I think that that's a, you know that's a valid point to make. Um, right, man, please that. round up. Don't worry. No, yeah, of course you're going to take exception. Uh, please, right, just man. Let right, just man finish now. The reason I take exception is that investigation of criminal of of crime is down to the police. 
It's down to the police in Nigeria. It's not down to the governor. And so you can if, ask questions. Your citizens, good. your yes. your subjects yes. have just lost their lives. Yes, which yes, you must take responsibility. Actually, get the impression. No, this is so, 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 yeah, like KJ, are, so that we can rest. We are converting KJ again, no? Yeah. Okay, please. I wanted ahead, to say that I understand where Mr. T and Bumi were coming from. It was not that yeah. he did not do anything that's the problem. He's, he, he saw what happened and wanted to take it up and was told to drop it. And he dropped it. So when he saw that the people that told him to drop it, that they would take it up, did not take it up. Why didn't he make any noise? Fair Why point. didn't he say something? Okay. I just Ngozika, wanted to say that I understand where happened. the question is coming from. Yeah, Ngozika, let me tell you what it's happened. It's not an eh? indictment. Yeah, just, it is just a question. So when, when yeah. the president said, drop this on my table, I'm going to look into it. And you waited, and you didn't see any result from the so-called looking into it. You didn't say anything. Why mm. didn't you say anything? That is the question okay. they ask, and I think fair it's point. a fair question, a really fair question. Yeah. yeah, this is what happened, eh? According to him, um, he was about handing over to uh, this man that drinks so gogoro. Um, okay. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was a <her> pastor. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kaila Chamai. <laughs> so he was about handing over Kaila Mai. So in the process, he handed over the established case file on this issue to the federal government. And then he was no longer in office. So there, there was no way he could be shutting Abuja to know what was going on. And as at the time he was leaving, this man conducted the election also and lost uh, Jonathan. Yeah. So Jonathan couldn't pursue the case again. So this is a case now that if the federal government loved the citizens, this present government now should take this case up because OB, OB has opened up the file that was hidden. That the people that were killed that time, he took in, he started the investigation. Well, he never said anything till now. Yeah. He never said anything that, about Robert, it again. He, he didn't now. make too much of a noise about it because that that's no, some Obi, 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 Obi is not that. a Obi is not a noisemaker and he's not a Rambo Rosa. He, he you know he's a gentleman that handles his things according uh, uh, to the rule of law. Man, sorry to interject. Yeah. You see. Uh, hey boy, uh, oh, hey, sorry, sorry. You know, let's respect um uh, rule a bit here because KJ okay. has been a gentleman oh, and oh, he's oh, been oh, trying oh, to have say, say something. Please, KJ, oh, go oh, ahead oh, and say something. Can we follow the sequence? Like people are just interjecting. People are just yeah, talking. yeah. That's why I don't want me to. That's why. But, but he said he was a free. Show. I wanted to make it a free, free flowing no, one. You are you got to the one that's open. Okay, okay, we are going to try to get to uh, victory at least because I think the rest are, he hasn't said anything at all. I don't remember you saying anything. But, but, but forefathers, it's my turn, and they have not even oh, allowed me to you use know. one minute. Your, your turn is going long, but still, <laughs> let, let's let's allow KJ talk, then you round up, then we move Bro, on. Was that, uh, was that other people? <laughs> so, so, so KJ, go ahead. Please try to keep me brief so that right <laughs> man can run off. Oga KJ, Oga KJ. <laughs> I've not been obstructing you at all. I've not been obstructing you. Chai, that is God. Though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what I want to say, and I totally agree with uh, you know my dear Ngozi and uh, Bumi. You know, and even Tia, Tia. I mean, Tia was quite on point. Look, let's call it spade a spade. That's the challenge we have in Nigeria. We usually call a uh, spoon spade. No, spade is spade. The guy dropped the ball, simple and short. Whether Peter B was out of government or not, they, he dropped the ball. That's what dropping the ball. He dropped it. And so, because you, you cannot tell me that 30, 30 lives are not important to you, even though if you are leaving office the next day. Okay. And then there's what, what we call in states. Commission of Inquiry is not organized by the federal government. It's the state governors that institute it. When they do that, when the date, what was handed over to the federal government, when Tinubu was fighting Lego, uh, from Lagos State as governor against the federal government, when Rupturu to me, Amochi was fighting the federal government on behalf of uh, the oil in Nigeria Delta, did they, did they drop it on the table of this thing? What about it when he was fighting the federal government? 
Did they drop it? So what am I saying here? People always like to go behind the door and go and say, oh, no, we were not there. The truth is, just tell them, you are out of government, you run out of time. It's better that way than to say, you dropped on the table of the president, and so the president uh, also went out of, come on. He said, is government not a, a continuum? It's a continuum. Mm -hmm. And so it, there's no, in fact, you also had some fuel. Why didn't you call the governor who took after you, uh, Obiano, to say, look, oh, these are uh, 30 citizens that lost their lives in this river. We want to know what happened to them. Mm. And then you guys didn't discuss it, didn't play it up. I, and uh, you see, I understand the system. As I'm even talking, I'm being reminded of the 500 people that are still lying in a, in a mass grave in uh, Dogona Hawa in Plateau State. Okay? And that one, nobody ever found out how they were killed. I did that story myself. I have the videos you know, of it. Nobody ever asked them. Nobody ever even went to that state, that uh, community to go and find out whether the survivors, those who escaped with gunshot, matched, you know, cuts and all that, are uh, hard, they striving. Those children whose parents were all killed, the little ones who... No, you see, that's the system. There's so much chaos in the system that it doesn't... The system is, is, is bullish. It doesn't care who survives, okay? And it doesn't care how you survive it. And that is what we have been saying. We keep saying it and saying it, and, and some people don't they misunderstand what we are saying. Okay? If we, if we cannot organize ourselves so that, because whenever you say anything, they say Nigeria is so big. You know, this is a, this is a big country. They forget that's a, a country called Canada. There's even a country called Indonesia. So you want to make this our breaking up again, seriously? People have lost their lives. Listen, 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 my brother. You see, if you didn't even believe in breaking up, with the recent event that happened, it even culminating to the Supreme Court judgment, don't you think that's a problem, you know, systemic, systematic problem? Don't you think so? The problem will exist, break and up or not. Let's not problem. bring it to the, we'll always get to that point. I know where you stand. You also know where I stand. Let's leave Mr. That. King, Mr. King, so Mr. King. So that's why we would have preferred us to actually deal with the matter at hand and going into That's what I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that, and I'm saying that I, now I have not You see that? You, you like to, you know, I don't like it. I spoke about the East. I spoke about the North. Okay? I didn't speak um, of But you are now choosing me to, to try to give me a tag by putting me in the East. No, because you were saying, I think you were saying no, that no, the you country are, is not you know, I gave two instances where people have been massacred. No, no, I didn't say South. I didn't mention South. I'm just saying break up. No, no, bros. Yeah, you are the one putting that word in my mind. I have not called that. You know, I have not called that into place. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm sorry if I did. But you have made me lose my train of thought. I don't want to stop again. You made a good point, by the way. Um, okay, you know, um, for no, father, no, let I'm me sorry. finish up. <laughs> I'm sorry I made you finish. Let, 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 let Rachel's man finish so that I can go. <laughs> one minute, Rachel's man. It can be one minute. I've been listening to people here. It can be. Instead, let me just okay, two, quiet, minutes, okay? two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, can two be. minutes. Four father, no, I will fight you. Now, uh, uh, here you go. Big there. Talk, talk, talk. talk, 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 talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, let the other guy talk. Let him talk. No problem. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Um, uh, Victory, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Russian smart. Um, sure. I was wondering, can you can you drop your email at the uh, private chat? I want to I want to send you something. Is that is that possible? Sure. Can you hear me? Yeah, I said, can you drop your email at the private chat? I want to send you. I want to drop you. Send you an email. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, um, was, uh, Victor, Victor. That's right. I'll, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Um, I was gonna say like. Uh, now I think we're in like free free session. So for that, I was gonna we will say that again. I will say that a serious government they will know what to do. So for that, look look at a scenario whereby if Tinubu wants to do the right thing um, for the young people, what he can do as the first step, I will say, how about? Um, allocating, we have seven hundred seventy-four local government in the country. What about disposing seven hundred seventy-four billion naira to create a ski-based section for every local government where young people can be trained in different field? And when these people are finished with their training, you allocate them money as well to start a business, right? That would like literally keep, that would like inject some serious like manpower into the economy and even create employment for the young people. 
these people they are not doing anything they don't care right so that, that's just one secondly government all over the world i'm talking about civilized country advanced country they subsidize the farmers so the nigeria the nigeria government can buy food of the farmers and make sure that the price of food is stable in that country because if you look at the inflation in nigeria at the moment it's crazy like things are just jumping up every day what is it doing to ensure that the food prices stabilize in that country? You know, there are people there. There's a fight, fight going on in the, in the um, central part of Nigeria that is meant to be the food basket of the, of the country. What is it doing to stop that violence in that part of the country so that farmers can go back to farm and farm and ensure that our food price can be stable? It's not, it's not, they're not doing anything about this. So again, I, I said that the, the, that the, the government is not working for the people, and for some reasons, like the people there, the Nigerian citizens, like enough of them is not getting this thing that these people that are ruling them, they are just saboteurs. These are people that are working for Oyibo people. Un until the people get that, I know that these people are not working for us, and drive them out, the better for them. And Rufai made a statement that until the government start fearing the people. Nigeria will go nowhere because the power belongs to the people. The people have to realize that and seize the initiative. So that's what I just what I have to say for that. I won't say other people can speak. Thank you. Um, thank you for that. Um, I think um, henceforth we can make it a bit freer, but we we'll have to be um, co uh, cognizant of the fact that uh, we have um, the opposite genders here and whenever they want to speak we have to allow them interject freely and um so um janaba welcome um so what do you think i, I oh, sorry let, let me ask um uh, Rachel Suman a question about this uh the the topic he raised but i wanted to ask it if it escaped me but i just remembered do you have any kind of idea of who the people responsible for these um massacres I should ask uh, Dr. Damages that is uh, a journalist and worked with Sarah reporters. So Dr. Damages should be able to furnish us with information because he's connected to Sarah reporters. I see. So um, no one has any idea. KJ, do you have any idea? Because you tend to have your ears to the ground of everything going on in the, in the region. I, I, I know what <laughs> Why? 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 You see... What? Why, why is he laughing? Why, why is righteous man laughing? I don't understand. Laughing? Maybe because you had to go at me, so it's a surprise that I'm asking you. KJ doesn't hold grudges. Come on. No, 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 no. It's not about grudges. You say he always has ear on ground to know everything happening in the east. That is so, true. I'm, and I'm right and KJ, KJ, KJ is not talking about the east. KJ is talking about all the regions in Nigeria. But you're limiting it to the east, and he's ah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. But he's not. He's not. I think he understands what I was saying. Uh, he's not. I, I truly want to understand because I feel like he may have an idea of what happened, and maybe the kind of forces responsible for doing carrying out such gruesome acts. So I'm, I'm asking KJ. Are you frozen? Is KJ frozen? Or is just no, he's, uh, not. Okay. he's not. Yeah, forefathers, can I just say something? No, he was frozen. No, KJ, mm -hmm. seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. So, I, do you have any idea no. who is responsible for these things? Honestly, it is not clear. Um, at the time that happened, I was still in Nigeria, by the way. Um, you know, it, it wasn't clear. Honestly, it wasn't clear. But every attempt to get to the the finality of it was proven about it. So. Hmm. Um, sometimes there are certain things you hear you don't want to go until you have an insider for instance when when that happened if you didn't get any insider in or nature who will lead you through you know to discover it will be risky for you to just jump in and begin to do any form of uh, research but I know that uh, Odin Carlo has a, a report on that and um, it's in his book I cannot remember exactly what he said about it but he has it covered okay um, can I now, I just interject very quickly. Um, it's interesting that he mentioned Odin Kalu. I was to mention it. You remember when he came here and he was telling us about countless bodies, bodies we are not, that do not mm. even have any identity. So let us politicize this thing. Those bodies could be an Ausama or Yoruba man, a, a Shakri person or from any other place. There is, we have serious problems with kidnapping. Kidnapping has become an industry. 
in Nigeria. So the fact that they were found in um, in uh, Abia state does not mean that it's not happening in Lagos state, does not mean that it's not happening in any other state. So let's just get that, um, let's just get that a uh, fact, you know, let's, mm. let's, let's educate ourselves. It's not about any tribal or anything or anything. It's, mm. it's purely, it's purely a pandemic that we have that is going on in, in Nigeria. Mm. And the, the federal government, the past administrations have not uh, come up with a very robust solution to, to, uh, to nip it in the board. So that's, that's what we are just dealing with, unfortunately. Yeah, too. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think the government of Abia State have said they are all Igbos. What the community said is that those are the kidnapped victims, some of them who didn't pay. Okay, they didn't say whether they were Igbos, they were Yorubas, they just said some of them, they are taken from different parts. And also. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's of, what I'm saying. I just paraphrased. I just paraphrased that. No, the understanding. That's the understanding I know, yeah. That that's a lot of that's a lot of people and a lot of pain out there in the country. That that is the one. These these are people, human beings, like every one of us. All oh, Father, can I ask you a question? Yeah, please go ahead. The journalists and lawyers who who should be trusted? Is it the, should we? Among two of the, these uh, two uh, professions, the, jo uh, the journalists and the lawyers, who do we trust? Who is worse than each other? Okay, um, I think it's based on individual, but professionally, worldwide, people will say um, journalists are less trusted than lawyers. That's the general, um, you know, trajectory, the way people look at it. Um, so, but. I don't know. I think it, you can't use that to judge individuals, though. Uh, I don't think you should use that because journalists are risking their life. I don't know how many lawyers have risked their lives for anybody. So, you know, uh, it's a balance. Right, let me ask you. Uh, between doctors, nurses, and pharmacists, who should you trust? Is it, you're asking me? You trust more. Yeah, I'm asking you. No, we are talking of the report of falsehood here. You know, the yeah, journalist. Also, when somebody dies, when there's a patient, a patient dies in the hospital, who do you blame? You, who do you, is the journalist, is the doctor or the nurse? Who do you blame? It is difficult for one to actually say what it, brought about death. So, so, so don't, 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 don't try and you know compare apple and orange. It doesn't go together. Both of them are. No. Dealing. Both the lawyer is dealing with different profession at a different level. A journalist. No, is but in the scale, in the scale of reality, in the scale of reality, people look. I have, I have, I've read, I've read in the scale, of, in scale of reality, the comparison of these two professions, and it is generally globally agreed that journalists are more problematic. They report falsehoods that trigger crisis than. The lawyers, the lawyers defend what what is presented to them, but the journalists can falsify information and sell it out and cause havoc. So the, the, there is the profession is the profession where you are. Traders, I, I don't know what you do exactly. They also fortify things and sell. Out. Everybody gets good and bad. So don't say journalists. Journalist, that, journalist. that is true. It's just that lawyers I are a kind man. of shield. Man, and um, journalists take risk themselves. You, 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 you as a lawyer, you are sitting, you are sitting in your office. Somebody right. brings a case. A journalist goes into the into the hinterland to go and look for stories that other otherwise you wouldn't have. Yeah. Heard. And then when he reports it, you say he's lying. Okay. Yeah. Is, is there is there any profession that don't have good air and bad air? In the in the US, where where where, where are general reports that are totally wrong and and, and not correct. Don't people well, forefathers gave us the answer when I asked the question. That's he responded that, 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 that the that, global that, report that. is that journalists are worse than lawyers because they are false. You, you know why I asked that question? Do you know why I asked that question? Eh? Let me let me let me tell you the reason why I asked it. The problem of Nigeria today, if you if if you really study the problem of this country, it is the information that people refuse to dish out and they want the dish out that are false that is triggering crisis in nigeria and that are making things not to work and who are those who fundamentally report this uh, give out this information they are the journalists something that did not happen they will write and color it that it happened if three people died journalists can blow it that 800 people died 
in order to sell their paper, make news. So okay, you uh, see, they create uh, more uh, crisis. Okay, let, let me just let me just uh, help this, my brother. You see, before now, when you if you went to a journalistic, journalistic school or if you went to any of the schools in Nigeria, the first premise of their reporting is they say it is for development, a report for development. In other words, they're not concerned about reporting anything that is negative about the government. You are taught that whatever you should report to be to the advancement and development of the community. So in other words, we already have a problem in that 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 level. Because you're only reporting what government said. If government says you report the way government said, you're not you don't even have the right to interrogate it. You just say, okay, today government has said they'll build nine roads. You will probably not go there because nobody's going to give you money to go there to go and find out whether the place they say they build the road, they built it. So you just make that report. Now, if the community you are calling is not included or there's no road there and you didn't have money, will you use your own money to go to up and to go and look whether there's road there? You won't do that. You, so since you are, your bit is to go to government house and report what government is doing and you got there and they gave you a paper saying this is what we have done today, you go and write your report. What are you going to do? You write the report. Are you now going to blame the journalist because he didn't do this thing? No, because he had limited information and limited limited resources. It is only now that people like the, the you know, independent media that are coming, broken by AIT, I say, say you know what, will go behind what you're telling us to report the otherwise. So if you are going to be judged by development in Nigerian context, the journalists have been one of the people who are in the forefront of pushing the society to where it is today. I don't know why you get uh, this. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I have to agree with that. I think we are, the journalists are the ones who started uh, even, even even against the, the wow. Military. You are, you are really are, gotten it under KJ's nerves today, man. The, the KJ take it easy. You I don't have to. We, I what, think we know. I, I, Many journalists have died in the process that their family today are languishing in in all kinds of issues because I, of what is concerned about. I agree them. with what KJ is saying. Righteous mm. man, why are you actually cooperating lawyer and journalists? What was what do you want to achieve? Why, why are you cooperating them? The free, this is freestyle, yeah. though. This is yeah. free. anybody what, what can join. Is uh, uh, so, sorry, me, sorry. Let, let me announce. Let me, let, me, let me announce it so that everybody knows the rules. And you can, we can have a discussion, and we can self-regulate as distinguished gentlemen and ladies that we are here. So we can respect each other and have conversation. I don't want to be interjecting all the time. So, um, let's just. This is free discussion. T T T. I hope you are aware of it. You don't expect, I'm not going to call you. You, so if you, you ask me a question, talk. right? Yeah, All right, go please, ahead. let's go ahead. Okay, okay. This is the reason why. Sorry, Nepa just sees light. So that's why my background is dark. Yeah, so this is the reason why I asked the question. There was an incident that happened within the area I lived about uh, three weeks ago. You know, a woman was taking her kids to school she hired this keke marwa so while the while they were going to school there was this private uh, vehicle uh, that was trying to escape the bad road the potholes you know so he, usually people take one way whenever they are trying to avoid that pothole so in the in the process this last my people and the police caught him and then jumped inside his vehicle. And then while they were dragging the steering with him, the, the driver ran over this uh, Marawa. The pregnant woman died. Her three kids died. The driver of the Marawa died, you know. So the next morning, it was on radio, and uh, people were calling to contribute. Then I happened to call the radio show. And then the journalist was saying, allegedly. So I asked her a question, the anchor of the program. I said, you are a journalist. Can't you come down to the place where this thing happened? It's just within, uh, 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 it's not too far from Lagos Island to where I'm staying. So why don't you send your, dispatch your team to come and have one-on-one -on -one talk and uh, witnesses of, I mean, people who witnessed the event when it happened, instead of saying to the whole world that allegedly. So then it, 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 it was done on me that these guys are not sincere enough. These guys are not truthful enough. Journalism should be able to give projection of accurate accuracy of any event. 
not saying allegedly. So allegedly, are you accusing people saying that this is what happened? When you've not been able to do your work by being on ground, interview lie. people who were eyewitnesses to this thing that happened. Can you I were not lie. there and you are claiming allegedly. I just man. See, That's why I asked the question. You see, you see, righteous man, you have to understand one thing. Before you become a journalist, or before you become, you, before you have any professional job, first of all, you are a human being. Okay? Before you become any professional in life, first of all, you have to be a human being. And now, as a human being, now, the first thing that gets you into trouble is your mouth. No matter how professional your career comes to be, because your mouth can make your career go forward or go down. So now, you don't expect a journalist who has a routine job to work, maybe to wake up in the morning, 6 o'clock, by 7 o'clock, she's supposed to be by the studio. To come and leave the studio and go and confirm a report that has been brought by outside journalists. Come on, bro. Take it easy. For someone to say allegedly, eh? now go to the dictionary meaning. First of all, look at the word allegedly. That you means it, it, it may not be that, right that, 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 that those that, people that, died. That, you cannot. She no. didn't subscribe to the that, fact that, that people that, died. That a journalist, sir, a journalist cannot be definite. That is why even the lawyer you ask about, you say, I put it to you. It's a reference. It's not like I said you did it. I put it to you. So you see, now this is that this is English. It's in the borrowed language. It was borrowed from Latin and all the de derivations it got was gotten from. So when you came into the dictionary, that Okada, there are some even pidgin language that is not in the dictionary. So these are modifications. So if a journalist says that, don't crucify anybody, sir. Okay? It's, it's, it's a human being. If it runs into trouble, you don't go and be like, yeah, yeah, thank you, sir. T, uh, T. and um, uh, righteous man, let me just add a bit. You see, when when you say allegedly, because it's up to now, it's still at the realm of speculation because no government, no court have said that is exactly what happened. You do not want to put yourself in the line of that because someone can sue you tomorrow or sue your media and say, You said I killed this person, but you didn't, I didn't do that because there were other circumstances and situations that didn't, you didn't know about. So for you to be on the safer side, you say this is what is been going on. You are only saying this as a report that's coming to you. Eventually, when the, if they, you see the problem again with Nigeria that news do not progress. You see, in a developed world, as they say allegedly today, they will report to that, and then tomorrow morning or before they, you see, they begin to pick up the news until they to the point where they say we can now have an eyewitness report who said I was here when this was happening. Then they will now quote the person and saying, "Oh, this person was here and was able to witness what happened exactly." So you see, um, again, you see, like I said, the Nigerian journalists, we they are not there, but they are doing a lot because if not some of them, there are certain things you will never have heard at all. You know, they are doing a lot with the little resources and the so much danger because Nigeria is a place where you can just be picked and nobody will ask after you. And nobody will even know where you are. And, uh, did you hear what happened in the court, the, in the, the, the prison they went to the other time? Somebody has spent 12 years because he crossed his house to go and buy bread. And police picked him. And that was the end. 12 years in prison. Wow. Was um, never taken to court. Yeah, so, well... I agree with you, um, uh, KJ. I think you have spoken well on journalism, really. Um, um, Jonaba, please... Um, you know, go ahead because he hasn't said anything. Thank you so very much. Uh, my brother KJ is a journalist, so he came to the defense, which is a good thing. Uh, righteous mind is, is in his own corner. I think he used to stay in Europe like you guys, so he see things from that perspective, which is okay. Um, the what baffles me on this platform sometimes is the 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 obedient loyalist that somehow obedient uh, obi is a, a saint is not a politician uh, some people even say here that is a is better than mandela and that uh, is is be measure righteous man if righteous man will tell you is jesus christ <laughs> I, 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 i'm from minority i can't say that body like you that's <laughs> 
Uh, uh, is not Please, can you withdraw that statement? Ah, righteous man, you. Uh, can uh, you withdraw it? Can you please withdraw it? I've never compared any human being with Jesus we, Christ. We, I've never. We so withdraw it. Uh, and then the, that we go to. Yola, but go ahead. That we go to Passat. But I, that, I'm trying to. <laughs> I, I, I have Sunday service tomorrow, so I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be holy tonight. So. Uh, okay, uh, Jonaba, so you're a pastor? No, I'm not. I'm. I'm a righteous man. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the issue is that we cannot go forward with these excuses of uh, uh, this person is a thief, but he's not a thief enough as far as I love so much. Uh, to to me, today, as I am today, Jonaba, if I commit any crime and the FBI is looking for me, I assured you my family will turn me in. My children will say, Daddy, we love you, but you got to go. I will call the line. And I really want them to do so. Uh, because it's a human nature, but there are certain times you want to look at your lifetime and what you subscribe to and what you should not. Because end of the day, end, end, after all said and done, we are all human beings and no one is perfect. And if you can rate another human being less than yourself, then who are you? Your word is your word. If you can say something and you don't live up to it, then who are you? The notion that we always come here to defend one politician or the other because they are from our place and we are agitating for certain things and humanity eluded us. Then what are we here for? It bothers me a lot when people say all of this, when they say, oh, Peter Obi says that a uh, uh, human remains was found and whom I will be said is Obi, who is Obi, and so what? When he was a governor of Hanabra, said, didn't he order suicide? So those, when he, when he, it's okay for him, when he sees from his own narrow perspective and he can order it based on whatever he thinks and he shouldn't go through judiciary system because maybe for some reason, whether he trusts it or not, or the crime rate is too much for him, and he has the belief that certain people are committing crime. You can't eat your cake and have it. The notion that we all Nigerians cannot come at this point to realize that politicians everywhere in the world, including America, are the same thing. They will look at you with bold face and lie to you. Sometimes you don't have opportunity to tell them. But here, sometimes we have opportunity not that to tell them, but to speak because this is the life I want. When I am gone, when I'm expired from this world, I want my children to look at the history and what their father have done and what he have said. And they can lift up their head up and square their shoulder. Even the whole world is going the, the other side. There's a book written by Sam Wolfen the founder or the owner of Walmart, you say that if if everybody is going to the left, it's okay for you to go to the right if you are convinced in what you are doing. Sometimes we come here to defend people based on their own thing, whatever, and dissident or not, and most cases never add up. I see people here can subscribe to a garbage or give a fake news on this platform that sometimes Rudolph has to tell you, oh, where do you get this from? Oh, we have no, no this is not true. And they will, tomorrow they will come and say, say another lie. Are they pathological liars or they just subscribe to this thing to just speak to people or we're going to have a fact check in what we say? So please, for God's sake, nobody is God. We all make mistakes. Doesn't matter your your party, whatever you are doing. Put yourself the first thing that you want the next generation to know you as a man or a woman that speak true to the power, not because you belong to certain power or you believe in somebody more than yourself. Why? Why should you believe in someone else more than yourself? So please let us distance ourselves from all those names. Oh, this is person who oh, is better than Mandela. A man that never slept out outside his own comfort zone for one second of his life, never been to sell, sell. 
what we call Nigerian say, police custody. And you're going to compare the same man to a man that spent seven years in prison. That 20, 27 that. years. 27 years. Seven years. Not, you know? mm -hmm. And we come here to defend that man. The same man now that things are going on. That's so all he cannot speak. Oh, he speaks is an evil man who oh, is going to be he going to get picked up. But the evil man wants to be a president, right? And people like so they can go to prison. And Unandi Kano can go to prison. But the man that wanna to, to fight for the whole country, Igbo Hausa Yoruba, who voted for him, will not talk because he's an Igbo man. But he, because if he says something, it, it, you already believe he's going to get picked up. What is he fighting for? Nigeria is a rugged place. And you're going to blame somebody that say, grab it. Do all means. It's my turn. And you want to blame him? Well, for but I'm not sure time. anybody is bad. I don't, I'm not sure. What, what are you trying to say that People are kind of protecting. Can I ask Mr. Mr. Nava a question? There was something he said at the beginning of his statement. I just wanted to ask him a question. Please, can I do that? Yeah, please. please go ahead. You're always free, man. You are free. This please. is uh, please, Mr. Yeah, please, it's Mr. a session for, for I, you. I, I, you said something. You you said uh, Obi has no moral right to speak about the dead bodies discovered because when he was governor, he ordered shoot on site. And I was a bit lost. What is the correlation between ordering shoot on oh, site and dead bodies it. found in a shallow grave? I'm trying to connect the dots. The same, the same body was that... found in the water. The same body that he, when he ordered shoot on site, if you do not find out the story very well, the same, what, the same body was floating on the water. And this, sir, let me finish my question. Maybe it, there will be no need for an answer because you just give me will not prolong this. You said that he ordered shoot at sight and that he is coming to complain about bodies in shallow graves, that he does not have the moral right to do that. This is not verbatim what you said, but that is, this is me putting my own words in it, that he does not have the moral right to say because those same people he ordered to be shot, we are human beings. So why is he not making it look as if he cares? That is what you said. Sir. So I'm wondering, what is the correlation between unidentified dead bodies in unmarked graves? And then shooting criminals at sight. What is the correlation? Uh, what, what, I'm what, what, I'm... Do you know? Do you know the, what these people committed? Do you know this crime they committed? Those the, the time that what when it, it has been said they were here, found and in I've the not water. seen anybody challenge it. That huh? I've not seen anybody challenge it here. That everybody, so, so some people everybody here, is here has said it's even better than Jesus Christ. So to, to you, even no. some of you, you are coming out to say what you have the... not answered my question. No, <laughs> I want to know what is the correlation between shoot at sight. And people in unmarked graves. What is the correlation? Because you made it sound as so if he other shoot outside and, you know and the they kill people and you went to bury them in the unmarked them? graves. Do you know who killed them? And how are you certain it was the shoot outside order that he gave that killed those people? How are you so certain? But should you, as, as, uh, uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the society where the rule of law matters, when you want to preside over the people, not with impunity, but justice and fairness, shouldn't it be fair for everybody to go through the, 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 the legal Mr. system? Mr. Abba, Mr. Abba, hold on. If you can come on, at it from this angle, wait, 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 which, um, See, I, which, I, um, this, uh, is, this is almost one day. There is no one who have the right to appear in the court. Shoot aside, should not be an order for any governor. What you're saying now, what you're saying now, I agree. If you don't order that, I actually if you agree with what you're saying now. If you don't order that, if you don't order that, your you're neighbor saying can now. be Please, killed can by your side because you, it's because you and him are enemy. So let everything Please, follow can I, do, can I just get this out? I agree okay. with what you're saying now. But my problem is this was not what you said initially. What did I say? This was not what you said initially. Okay, if you I had say? come at it from this angle initially, I wouldn't have bothered with this question. Okay. You came from a very direct angle and you were indicting Obi in that angle that you came from, that you were you were almost drawing a part, you were, you were connecting the dots between the shooter type order he gave and the police in a market grave. And in that river, that was what you said initially. You did not make it about human rights or anything or rule it, of it law. Is, you did not go from that angle. Matters. It was maybe, when I brought maybe, this question, sir, I put it in was, it was when I brought this question that you started saying it from okay. this angle. Now you give me the opportunity to elaborate this it is more. not right. That... It is not proper. 
You it's don't say do it is like proper. This. All lives matter and all lives divide. All yes. lives matter. Why didn't you say it like this from the beginning? You have. See, I don't care if you have a thing against that man. I don't care. Oh, you, 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 you I don't have an apology for you. You made it as if he was responsible for those dead. For those people to me, this is the place. way how we come. I don't have to come in your own way. So, let me, let me, let me, let me add a little to what Jonaba said, right? See, yeah. Uh, with some point John Abba made that I want to support is we should stop worshipping politicians. Politicians are human. Oh, guys, so say what he said from the beginning. You should stop what this thing you used to do. Yeah, say what he said from the beginning. Yeah, Chris, if, you, if, you like if you don't like OB, just say it. You don't like OB. If you don't like OB, just say it. You don't like OB. You are taking it from the middle. Don't take it from the middle. Start from the beginning. Exactly. Uh -huh. There should be a contest to it. The contest well, of him is clear, and I don't his, know what you want to hear. He's changing his statement. He's changing the angle he's coming from. OB agitator or OB follower have their own It is not fair. It is not fair. It is not fair. It is just not fair. What is right it is right. It is not about OB. It is about the dead bodies that are in the United States. Let me ask a few questions. I think Ngozika has a point that you can make an argument about human rights and extrajudicial, you know, just taking people out without due process. But to just link the people that are being buried and the scamming people be from that point of view seems a little bit off. And that's why I asked the question, what is the point you are trying to make? It's almost as if you are trying and to indict people. All lives matter. You see, it's no, I agree with you. All whether lives matter. It's a, whether, it's a shallow grave, whether it's a shallow grave or they are floating on the water, as far as you do not go through the judiciary system, whether you think now you are speaking for people that are killed and they are unmarked grave. Oh, no, but they are not the same thing, though. Both, both are not the same, to be fair. Well, that is the way you choose to see it. If no, but it because, the because the, the other one... Uh -huh. We have to be, do with criminality. The other no, one, the, well, until, while one of them is trying to restore order. You are not a criminal until you are found guilty. So what? Don't oh, you know hold on. So, uh, one I side wants to restore order. The other one wants to carry out uh, criminality. That is, is different. that is what you see. This by that standard, you see, you see, see Jonaba, by that standard, me. even the military no, 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 no. is not even allowed to act. This may be a sniper issue. Maybe a very terrible thing. All life matters whether they are killed as a result of being a, 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 a according to what some of you guys are saying i don't look into it my general assessment is that all lives deserve to go through process of judiciary and seriously nobody... and yes and those lives we are not those are you, lives no, and let's just be clear the bodies cases, that we are found on the cases, you that, we are not from the shoot at, we are not from the shoot at sites order if you are saying this you have to prove it should be people are the ones that say hey you are saying this prove it I go to I will you be able to prove this that the bodies found on that river were for the shoot at site order. Can you prove what you're saying right now? Because that is what you said from the beginning. And in the beginning, and the, when you got to the middle of your statement, you suddenly changed mouth. Why will you change mouth? Why did you make it about human rights from the beginning? You made it about the being and the shoot at site order. order. And the people are saying that you cannot let someone finish that statement, then you depend on how they finish it. I am the, the, the only way you can see it is that when you have already have a a, a, a bias in your mind, or I you do not own... have a bias. Okay. The truth is all the I'm truth. saying is that the fact that the fact die, whether on Mark Grave, whether they are is a kidnapper that killed them, or they are or the other lives were killed as a suicide without a due process, you cannot even certainly confirm it. Do you confirm that these people were kidnapped? Uh, kidnapper was the one that then where were you linking it to the shoot at site order? You know, you can't confirm it. So, where oh, were you trying to link it to? Why are you order? going to say that? So, if if in Nigerian judiciary system that you are following, you are going on the street right now in Nigeria. When this, no, this, if you have a so if you have a problem with Peter Obi, you should go and drink your medicine before you get that attack. Uh, don't worry yeah. about this. You why are you changing your voice? Why are you changing your voice? And I told you during the election that is you so going to take, you're going to be like on medication uh, for the next four years. Most likely, if it's not eight years. So your number is not exactly fair. Some of the statements you have made today, I'm surprised, is a little bit unfair. Honestly, your number is against Peter B. It's a little bit unfair. Your number, what has Peter B. done to you? What has John P. Your number. Jonathan, is it to be that is causing the problem in Benue State? Uh, in the Benue State, is it the one, is it the one in Abia? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Why are you after Pitobi? Is it Pitobi denied you anything in life? Eh? 
Is it Pitobi that is responsible for the killing in, in, in Benue State? Why every time Pitobi is mentioned here, it's like heaven should collapse. What's the problem? I think I think I think I I think what AY um uh, Jonaba of what they are trying to highlight is that they are trying to say that Peter B is not your is not necessarily that special compared to other positions that oh, is just no, is similar. To other that. I personally am yeah. not arguing that. That's the summary of I am not arguing it. So what I am saying. If if Mr. Jonaba is done speaking, let me just say something. Let him speak. Then when he's done, I'll speak. I will interject so again. Please, 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 please allow me to speak. So let me make let, let me make, make this clear. Your side because you you are biased. Let me make so this clear. One side. No man no is God. God no, is God are, and are, no man is God. If I if I if, if no I man should be worshipped. <laughs> No man should be worshipped. I subscribe to all that. All life matter. I subscribe to all that. But what I am saying is, what Mr. John Abba did this night, it is totally unfair. And he has contradicted himself. If he come, if he started with saying, yeah, all life matter, and every other thing he said in the later part of his submission, I wouldn't even have bothered. But this man, before our very old, tried to pull a wool all over our eyes. By trying to link the shoot of uh, uh, water, a governor <laughs> gave to the bodies found on a river. And when I tried to ask him questions, he deflected that no, all lives matter. But that was not that's what he insinuated. That was not that was not what he insinuated. And that is not what I'm pointing out. I am not saying that no lives matter or some people are better than others. No. I'm not saying have any have man is God and should not be critiqued. You could have criticized. That is not what I'm saying. Yes, I'm, I'm saying that if you want, to, if you want to throw somebody or if you want to accue somebody, do it of his mouth. No, they go through corners. Mm. If you want I to, if you want what, to accuse somebody, no, you sir. If I you want to say, if you want corners. to. I am no, not. You went corners. If not, why did you deflect? How why did you deflect? Go through corners. I you end went through up corners in, because I whether asked it's in the I middle or it's in the beginning. Listen to me. Whether it's in the middle or in the beginning or in the end. End of the day, I make my own. When you put all the puzzles together, you, you know, have to stand I, by your words. You talk with two parts out of your mouth. Serious. That's the problem. Uh, Harry, 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 let him talk now. Harry, no, please, can you quiet. hold your peace? When somebody's talking, can you hold your peace? I'm not talking. Be quiet when I'm talking. Can you hold your <laughs> you know, you know, you know, Harry reminds me of a future pastor. There's sometimes the way he comes across, he's like, shut up, be quiet what I'm talking. I don't, you uh, remind uh, me of pastor uh, quite a bit. Uh, Madam uh, uh, Ngozinka, or I, them, I think, I, my sister, or whatever, whatever way you ever you say, I contradict myself, or I don't contradict myself. The end of the day, all life matters, and all life, whether they are criminals, I don't know the one they say they find in shallow grave, whether they are, uh, whether they were killed by the kidnappers or whatever. No life need to go on time, whether by it suicide or by kidnapper. I, 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 I take exception. I take exception, sir. I take exception. I think all lives don't, all all life don't matter in I take exception to what you are saying, sir. All life need to go on want to hear anything good about no people. Okay, okay. okay. Let, 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 let me ask you now. Let me Whether ask you this now. No, 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 Let's say the um uh, the Boko Haram is operating in the bush, kidnaps people. You think when the security forces are going there, they are looking at uh, the two sides as the same. They are not the same. They, they are all living human beings, but the context matters. What Peter B was doing was trying to restore order, but what we are seeing here seems to be an act of criminality, some very serious one. You see, that's why I, I wonder why you are going from that direction. Because I, I know your, I your general argument is that... Uh, I say he does not have a moral compass in this sense. That if he could have allowed no, no street assign, but they then to go through the judiciary system, then he has the right to speak to whether it's a kidnapping what issue or whether it is. That is a moral compass. To me, you have your own right as a person to see it whatever you want to see it. You, mm. it's, your, it's your Jesus Christ or more than Jesus Christ or more than Mandela. It is your own prerogative. I don't have apology for you. But all I say, I remain 
fervent in what I said. If it is like that, no life should be taken. No kidnapper have a right to take any life. No, no governor, no president have order without the judiciary system or without a due process to order so, any suit aside. Period. Um, in, so, in certain cases, they do have powers to do that. I'm sorry to say. Without due process and without investigation, the federal society we are in. No, the, 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 I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he, he's saying that you should go to the street and just shoot people aside. He's okay, talking about context. Know, know, right? No, no. I don't know whether let, let, me, let, that Jonah, really but let me finish my point. I think he's probably talking about context. Like, like when yeah, ben Buhari said anybody carrying AK-47 or gun should be shot. He's not saying anybody... He, he, we shoot police officers, wouldn't you? But the, the idea is that in the context, if you are in the forest and you are, you are in operation, you see anybody like that, you are supposed to act in certain way, not just because you just see anybody on the street, just shoot at sight. You are you 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 have, you have to understand that too to understand. We have you know, a lawlessness country, go on, take your medicine society, and stop that the, the bush. very police that are supposed to yes, protect please. you are the very one that robbed you on the road, and it is evident, it's not my what have you done word. So that the without the due process, um, 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 um Henry, Henry, calm down you, now, please. Come, Henry, <laughs> guy, nah. Henry, mm. which one now? Nah? Henry, okay. Henry. Henry, I'm not your came here for trouble today. I think you just came here. You, you didn't say that you prepared for this. Yeah, you came for trouble today. I told you I'm going to be here a long time, right? <laughs> you come to make trouble today. The issue I raised is no longer discussed. Bumi, Bumi, go ahead, please. Bumi, go ahead. Jonaba, allow Bumi to speak now. Can we allow Bumi to speak, please? Ah, they are underrepresented. Biko, Biko. Self-regulate, eh? self-regulate, gentlemen. Please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to ask uh, Mr. John Ava that if he should say all life matters, I feel like he then contradicted himself saying that they still have to go to the judiciary to get approval or not. Because all life cannot matter. But then when the government says, okay, fine, go ahead and kill this person, then they are not part of the life. So you basically what you're saying all life only matters based on a certain circumstance in this case if the circumstance says those lives don't matter and the judiciary says go ahead and attack then they will attack so i'm just saying that you just kind of contradicted yourself with the whole whole all life matter situation it, it, it I doesn't don't, I don't understand. thank you Jimmy. thank you very it's, much it's, 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 i don't understand, understand what i'm saying you yeah, understand yeah, no, no, me one more time but... and i explain what? myself one what month. happened in the election time? That's one, what we're trying to tell you. Once so you, English, that, you, you are the governor of a state and you give suit aside without due process, right? To me, you can see it the way you want to see it. To me, you have no moral compass to say whether body was found in a shallow uh, grave or a marked grave. What? Or whatever reason. No so way. No, no, no. That, okay. Okay. You say for us. Okay, fine. But I, 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 I don't subscribe to that. Say, you are a fan of him. He may do whatever he do. He no, it, it, it's him. not about being a fan. It's about reality. If you let's okay, say there is a rap, hold on, that, Okay, you let me give you this scenario. You let me give you this scenario. Have that side. If you think that governor have that power, that he can order. Jonaba, now let me give you this scenario. Say you, you, um, somebody in your state, all those people that are coming to attack people and cause havoc in that state are operating freely. Hold on, and uh, righteous man, please turn your this thing down. They are operating freely in your state, coming to cause havoc. Then your governor says, hey, you people, my police officers, go into the forest, shoot at sight. You will be against that. You, in a society where we live, with the corruption in the police you are not department, serious. I do not order, I do not approve of that because end of the day, they can even kill their neighbor the way that they disagree with. That's what I'm saying. So that I don't right. believe in Nigerian society yeah. that to the point that they have that standard of morale to go to the bush. I believe they will do whatever they want to do, even against their own enemy. So the best thing to do is to if 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 you are confronting your enemy in this in the issue issue of whether you go to house arrest. But the bandits are going to shoot at sight. But you, you are telling them not to shoot at sight. Eh? The bandits, uh, the people that are going to come and uh, they are causing all that havoc in Benue City, they will shoot aside, they will slaughter aside. If but you, you are telling your people that not to do the same. Fire, listen to me. If you are having a gunfire, like, let's say you are giving order 
to go to so 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 or operation is going on or, or robbery or anything is going on and you go there and there is a fire exchange and somebody died in the course of it i don't have a problem with it for you to offer a blind suit aside in nigerian police constant that i know i grew up in barracks i mm. drug, i from one barrack to another i know nigerian police very well if you give them that order they can even kill their neighbor that they are having misunderstanding with but they so won't be able me, to do that you know that that's not what happens that's not what happened don't, that's they don't the exactly kill any yes, other person that is the problem because that is no the whatever problem. order they give them you think the governor is stupid whatever they are giving them that order is based on context the oh, environment they are in what, 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 the what, environment you are in they are operating in why should you give a suicide where you can arrest the person i think I no think because it's a dangerous situation they could kill you okay yep. when you um, are if you are going for a to arrest for and somebody we should go for it for and somebody dies for it because they will kill yeah. 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 okay yeah. you know what Hello, i think we are we are all of your views and i think for father when you are privileged to manage a state or a sphere then you can manage it that way and you are privileged to your views i mean Nobody's, nobody's I, I think he has them. an argument. He has an argument, but I think all this stuff is based on specific context. He, he's exactly. not open. Exactly. There's no. He's not exactly. blank check. He, 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 he's he's not blank check. I raise it. I raise a topic here, State. and the topic. There was a time in Benue State during the topic the, uh, was the grave that was discovered that containing this 80 bodies in Abia State. It's not a puppy to me. Listen to that me. Was go, 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 in Benue oh, State. Okay, Jonaba, your your your, your turn has come and your your turn. Jonaba, Jonaba, please let all people speak. Yes, so you get your chance. You come back again. You don't worry. It's not about me trying to shut you down. It's just so that other people can speak. There are quite a few people in the backstage. The topic, the topic I wanted to comment on, Ungozika. What me I wanted to talk comment on was the topic they were discussing earlier. Um, when they discovered when Peter, they said Peter B said uh, he wanted to erase an issue about the dead body to Gulajuna Gulajuna said he should go and keep the fire, he should, he should something like that. That was the topic I wanted to comment on because Righteous Mark kept defending Peter B on that issue. Peter B is a good man, no doubt. The truth is, as a state governor, if anything like that happen, state governor, they are also chief security officer of their state. My you theory. have every right to pursue that issue to a logical conclusion. But you, you can't... Good Lord, Jonathan was not fighting with Peter Obi. Don't, don't forget, Peter Obi ended up working with Good Lord Jonathan. He was very close to that government. You, you still fight for your people. You let it, It's not like you will fight the president. You let him know, like, this issue should go into investigation. Disturb the president. The president also, they have a lot of things to do, right? They, they deal with a lot of things every, thing, every day. This is the truth. But is the governor that will make sure that issue is, is investigated and whatever is there should be open, should be, should be related to the... Uh, um, the people of the state. This is what we discover. This is what, if, if there is any um, um, a need to get anybody arrested on that, do it. Do the investigation. So we should not completely isolate Peter B of what happened. He was the governor. You have to take responsibility. This is the only truth. It doesn't mean people hate uh if person is sorry saying, mr Ewa, yeah. when did you join the show because this thing you're saying you're just repeating everything that's been said here bumi asked that question Hold she on. asked that question and and a good number of people on this panel said yes why did yeah, Tito is, not follow it I up? Thought, hold on, hold on. I she thought asked that, that question. And we, most of us don't that. Why she, did he not follow it up? Hold on. I thought that was where Jonaba was coming from. Because even the issue that Jonaba raised, I tried to understand it. I thought that's where he was coming from. Because one of the reasons I joined this show was because of that discussion. Because the state governor anywhere, they are also chief security officer. They have... Uh, 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 um, a reasonable amount of power to make sure the right thing is done. It's just like today, Abia State Governor discovered that, kudos to him, he was able to speak up. Now he needs to follow it up with the president, make sure that issue is investigated and get back to the people. This is what we discover. For your correct, and one thing um, uh, the Abia State Governor said, 
He said they install CCTV camera to know what is really going on. And they got some information. Now, it's to work with the security agency. I mean, that's a good one, right? So it's not that when people say this kind of stuff, oh, they try to bash Peter B, everybody hate. No, no, no. It, I don't think that's the way. We should not look at it that way. As for I write your man, Omar, you love Peter B, I know, but let's come hey, in why? now. Hey, why? can I interject? Why? You know what? I raised the topic. We are discussing about the media space in Nigeria. Are they living up to the expectation or not? So I brought this topic that, okay, look at the case we have on ground right now in Adja State, where 80 bodies were dis uh, discovered in a cattle, cattle market. Mm -hmm. And the governor have decided to make sure that it's no longer going to be a residential place for marketers, that yes. it will be a daily market. People will come and buy and go. Then that P2B also made a reference point that he was shocked that this kind of thing is still happening, that while he was governor of Anambra State, he was out of the country with President Goodluck Jonathan. Then he had the breaking news that bodies were seen in a river floating. So he has to leave, he left the president there and ran down to the state to know what actually happened. Then he set up a commission of inquiry while the investigation was on, the president returned back to Nigeria and called him to hand over the file of that case, which he handed over to the federal government. And he left office before Jonathan. Jonathan was the president when uh, good, uh, Peter will be left as governor of uh, Anambra State. So my, 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 the reason why I brought this issue is that the media is not highlighting on this discovery that if it were in an ideal country where such 80 bodies were discovered, the president would have made a national broadcast. Because so, yeah. that's that the so why didn't Peter Obi dragging Obi, Obi, Obi make noise about it? That's the question. Is it was governor of the state? No, let, let I trust my finish. He's making a good point there. I understand he's making points, but if, if you are telling me that Peter Obi, Peter Obi was was the one who, who you know, the files he was, he, 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 he put up a committee to actually look into it. And the president said, give me, give me the files. He handed over the files to the president. He's the governor of the state. He could have said, no, you, you know what? This is my state. Let us, let us find out exactly what happens. If you want to work with you, work okay, with Okay, let me, let, let me answer you. Let me answer you. Obi, Obi has no power over the police, the army, the navy. There is no security agency in Nigeria that any state government controls or command. The commander in chief of the armed forces of the uh, Federal Republic of Nigeria command. Hold on, let me finish up. Let me finish up. Let me finish up. Let me finish up. Obi, when it was happening in Benue State, the hometown, the village of Jonaban. Autumn was crying, going to the president, telling him how his people were massacred. He has no command over the police. He, he was not in control of the army, neither any security agents or agencies. So why didn't your governor then take over oh, the, oh, the oh, issue oh, of oh, uh, oh, defending oh, the people? Oh, and oh, 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 Obi oh, did what he's that, supposed that. to no, do. Obi shouldn't have handed oh. this. You're talking about murder. Hey, Obi shouldn't have handed out the to the president. This governor of the state. He's the governor of the state. If you don't have power over the... the, the uh, Eddie, no, Eddie, the Eddie, can I stop you? Uh, Eddie, excuse me, Eddie, excuse me, excuse me. Eddie, excuse me, excuse me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, is the, what is the meaning of mother? I think it's so clear. That, I think from what they are saying that they recovered the 80 bodies in the kidnappers then. So it's, so it's the act of kidnappers. You can, can set up a panel of inquiry. Kidnappers that it is. You can set up a panel of even if you do not have Power over and when Obi gave, let, let me let me now, let me say something. Now, now, when Obi when Obi gave the shoot aside order talk, talk. was when there was a hundred percent rampage of kidnapping in Anambra State. Obi, My own very not, good Obi friend, not, his mother Obi was kidnapped not, in Orif. Man, they are wicked. They, they are that that wicked time. people, man. Me, they deserve to get what was coming to them. You are the one saying Obi does not have power over the police force to direct investigations, but Obi has power. To direct for us to, to shoot outside. It doesn't make any sense. You are the governor of the state. If you do not, if you do not, if you do not have 
power over the police force. You can set up uh, 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 over your state. Okay, can I answer you? Let no, I did not contradict myself. Let me clarify. Listen, as a governor, and there is criminality going on, you can tell the uh, 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 I mean, you can report to Inspector General of Police who gives you a go ahead order to involve the commission of police in your state. Listen, wait now, stop shaking your head. It doesn't change anything, just listen. Then the commission of police liaises with the governor. The governor gives a directive. But this one, a crime has already been committed. There are two different things. Dead bodies were floating on top of water. It's different from people carrying out criminality. A crime was that, committed. That, you that, you listen to me, listen to me. So that, that, wait, that, listen to me, can you listen? Can you listen? Can you listen? Can you listen? When he gave shoot aside, Anambra was the, in fact, the heaven of kidnapping in Nigeria. Obi stopped kidnapping in Anambra state. He was bulldozing their houses, any person that was caught as, as, as a kidnapper, he will go to your father's house, he will bulldoze the house, and the government will take over that particular land. Right. And then wow. he gave that uh, order. Uh, Listen it, now. Wow, he left, the first time he I'm gave hearing that this, order. Actually. He gave that order to cop criminality in Anambra State. My own very good business partner, his mother was kidnapped in Oriste. Listen, listen to me. Listen, listen to me. Let him finish. Come on, let him finish. Let him finish. Come on. You know where he's going to now. You have been talking and talking. We're all listening. No, no. How? How? I raised the topic, so I need to defend the topic I raised. Do you want to? Do you want to lecture us? Let people talk about Obi did on, not commit me. any crime. That's just one thing well, I want to tell you. He never had. Can, can I just ask you one question? I will put people backstage. Oh. Let me just ask. Oh, AY, please hold on. Did what Pete Obi do regarding uh, this kidnapping? Did it work? Did he reduce? Yes. Yeah, it worked. That, that is it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let let the others go. Let me let me respond. Now, on the one hand, you are saying Peter Obi gave a shoot aside order. Who did he give the shoot aside order to? The police force. Who you are saying, on the other hand, he does not have control over to investigate murder cases in his own state. It doesn't make any sense. If you have the fire and the president is saying, give me the fire, it is your state. You can, you can as well refuse. The, the, okay. The, uh, yeah, you, you have to. Yeah, that's a fair question. Excuse, excuse, uh, me, I just excuse, excuse me. The, the, when uh, when uh, uh, Buhari was trying to go after a, a judge in in Cross River State, did uh, what's his name not intervene and stop it? Even if even if as he had the police police force there, he was there. He stopped it. Uh, uh, Wicked, Wicked went there when they were trying to arrest the, the judge. What happened? He, 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 the, 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 that was the, not a crime. He was not investigating crime. But my, crime has already been committed. My point, integrity you can design, right? My, po my point is, they have the power. They have Wait, the power. Just you are contradicting state. yourself. You are contradicting yourself. How? He set up he set up commission of inquiry and the president demanded he should hand it over to him. That is right. If you went with your power, it is simplicity to listen. People are listening to you. Why can't you listen to people? Yeah, yeah. T, please go ahead. Gentlemen, we are supposed to self-regulate here, but T, please allow T to talk. He hasn't said things was anything for a long time. T, what are you trying to say? You the first narrative you gave. See, listen, people listen. That is how Ngozika came after John Haber. Now, you're contradicting yourself. The first story you brought was Obi was, uh, dead bodies was found. Then, now, Obi uh, brought up the story that something happened similar in his time. That Then, he didn't talk about it. He gave the fight to the president. Okay? Now, that is gone past. That was the first narrative you brought to us. Okay? Then, now, you now brought this... I didn't say so. Please, please, I didn't say so. Then, you now brought this president one that happened in Abia State. Okay. I Who brought the story of Abia State before Obi's own. Okay, but you brought, okay, you brought the two narratives together. Okay, now beautiful. Now we went in on Obi's narrative. Okay, and we came to a concession that Obi on his own failed. How? Okay. You are still asking how? Jesus Christ. 
Holy Moses, I don't have anything to say since you're asking her. Somebody have to tell you. <laughs> it's all right. I think it's all yeah, good. See, let me uh, say this, right? Let yeah. not make it. Um, I think Ngozika, you can go ahead. He you don't have to read. Um, AY, AY, AY. Let him, you let him you just finish. I'll just say something and go to bed. 30 seconds. Okay. In yeah. all the state, in most states, this thing is going on, right? The governor have a way of, 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 of try to like run away from their responsibility. I'm not gonna make it only about Bitaobi. No, it's not only in a number of state. It's going on in a lot of state. This governor, we should not allow them to go. Listen, Nigeria governors, they are powerful. They have reasonable um, um right. power when very very security. powerful don't let yeah. them deceive you yeah. we should hold them accountable for some of the things that are going right. on I, 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 this is the goes. truth but we should not make it about it i'll be in most states this is going on they that they have sec why do you think they give their security vote every month they give their security mm. vote. They collect so, millions uh, of. Abel, uh, hey, well, sorry to interject. On no, what happened in uh, what? Is, what is this guy doing in Kogi that uh, rented that uh, ordered the whole hotel to be shut down? He must say too. He must say the same thing right now. So then you say that 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 person is not powerful. Come on, now what are we saying? A People at Kogi, they do the same thing. And he's he able to right? he's able to destroy houses. I didn't Why? know that. He, that's hardcore, man. I didn't know people to be harder in him. Destroy houses where they you committed. You see, that's that's hardcore, and I that he, and he worked. He, so so we have to we have to give him that. Yeah, because guy, please go ahead. So let me just say this. This is three minutes after one a.m. I mm. wish I could stay with you people, but I need my beauty sleep. Mm. Uh, this whole I'm just a bit disappointed that we are back to square one with this whole Obi said Obi did Obi did it. We could be talking about more pressing issues. And Mr. Jonaba, I am I, I did not come after you. I just asked a question. And if I in any way disrespected you by my question, which I didn't, I apologize because my senior man you be sir. But I stand by what I said. You had no moral authority, the same way you said P2B did not have it to come from the angle you did. It was unfair, it was sidelining, and it was filled with a motive you do not want to state here. And that's on period. Number two, righteous man, I understand where these people are coming from. Let me not lie. Bumi summarized this thing simple. P2B was not in the country when this thing happened. He was briefed and he came back. He said, oh yeah, let's look into this. The president said, no, leave the file at my desk. He, Of course, he respected the president's orders. He couldn't have done otherwise. He did. Well, he could, Nobody. He could. I don't think sorry, any sane person will... He could. He I could. don't think any sane person will fault him for that. But no, what I and most every other person is saying is, why did he not say anything after that? Very good. Why? Very good. And it's a very fair yeah, question, you, no matter you, how you look at this it. platform in two weeks' time or one week time, then very we will ask him this and question. Somebody asked him this question. Have and you said bet, that? And I will bet, I, eh, I, he's I not here. Like, he's going to come in two weeks. If you ask Obi this question, he will speak you have a political in, answer. In his statistics and he will avoid it. Will answer it. Him, he he will uh, that, that is again unfair. He's not giving me any chance to answer the question. Now politics. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't just assume that. He has not done that. No, no. I beg to disagree. Obi is not like other politicians. I beg to disagree. Obi is not like other politicians. Never. Never. Market place. We let's calm down. What? What is this now? That's what people are going to go to. Let's hear from Ngozi before she goes to sleep. Please, let us give her that uh, opportunity. <laughs> lady, uh, let's give her that uh, opportunity. So, yeah. that See, I have, <laughs> <laughs> this, this open session is getting a little bit too excited sometimes. Now that we have hashed that one out, Please let's let us let us go on to I'll go back. You know why I'm going back. This topic I'm about to go back to. It's a hill I'm willing to die on. And it is the topic of inflation and how it is affecting the everyday Nigerian. 
You see all this plenty grammar we are speaking here. It's good though. It's very good. I like that the conversations are ongoing. If not for anything, it is making people pick interest in what is going on. Prior to now, Nigerians were very less concerned about what happened with the government. We only heard the news about it and we moved on from it. But now there are, there are discussions about it. There are, there are open forums about it. And people are talking about it and really interested in what is going on. That is a good way to go. But me, the hill I am willing to die on is this. Inflation, inflation, food inflation. And it is at an all-time high as we speak. And the reason I brought it back to this is because at the end of the day, everything that goes wrong with the masses, you can trace it back to hunger in one in more ways than one. A hungry person is, is hardly rational. They are desperate. A hungry person is a desperate person, not to mention angry at the same time. So when you have prices of food, so basic, there's nothing basic again in Nigeria. 150 Naira has almost lost its value. 50 Naira. As I remember the time, almost all of you know where I live. There was a time that I don't in, know where, in where I live okay. here. I don't know where you live, bro. No, don't tell I've all been this on this show for don't, over a year. If you don't, that's your problem. I've been on this show for over a year. Continue, continue, continue. continue, 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 continue. That's your problem. Continue, continue. That's your problem. Really, that's continue. your problem. Anyway, there was a time where you could go from this bus stop to the next two bus stops for 15 era. Maybe the sun was too high. You didn't feel like trekking. Or maybe you've had a long day. We're having a migraine. You just want to get to the next bus. 15 era. I said, nobody will carry you 15 era. You didn't look where they go for your front like this. You didn't look the place. 100 naira. 100 naira. Everything is almost, the prices of everything is times two. And the reason, I, I'm going to keep saying this. The people who make fun of things like this and go like, eh, she has come to tell us the price of this and that. Let me say it again for the third time today. Your weakness needs to be sponsored. Your greed, your heartlessness needs to be sponsored by some hard currency. If not, you are wasting it. Nigerians are hungry. The hunger is getting worse, according to Gen Z people. The pressure is getting worse. And if, as long as it continues to get worse like this, you are going to have a society that is in trouble. You're going to have hungry people that are desperate, and desperate people are really dangerous people. You're going yeah. to have hungry people that are angry, and angry people are really dangerous people. You're yeah. going to have hungry people that are disillusioned because they can't, they can't even for the life of them imagine where their next meal is coming from. And these are the this is the crux of the matter. So, in all our doing, let's please not for lose sight of this. Let's then, not lose sight of it. I don't care. I will say it again. I don't care who uh, you support. Madam, and I've been thank very you, consistent. Uh, thank you, Ungazi. Let that anger you're talking about uh, get thank you. So they can Madam, push back. I've been very consistent it. about this. Madam, 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 I don't Madam, care who you support. And, but I hate... Other people. I can we mute this out, please? Let, can we mute who? Let that anger. Can we mute ourselves and allow one person to finish? Let that let her finish then with yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah, please go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. I said at the end of the day, I always say this it doesn't matter who you support. You can support whoever you want to support. I might not like it too. I might curse you out for it, but at the end of the day, it's your choice. But what I will not stand for is people seeing black and calling it white. People seeing white and calling it black, or trying to rationalize it and tell us, eh, in the daytime it can be black, in the night it can be white. No, that is what I will not stand for. And that is the problem I have with so many people on this platform. They see white, but because it does not favor their agenda, they call it black. Stand for the truth, regardless, regardless, because you might be in power today, tomorrow you'll be out of power. And the same thing you condoned today. For those of you that are defending Danya, Shabiyot, Abiyat, those of you that are defending it, the next day, the next administration that will come in, that might not be from your party, will do worse than that. And where is the moral authority that you're going to use to call them out? You sold it. The same things you condone in this government, you think you're doing it because a party member, because this is your people, 
you're, you're supporting everything, every wrong thing they are doing because they are your people, they are your party. What will happen when they, these people are no longer in power and the next people come in and do something worse? How are you going to open mouth to condemn them? You can't do that. At the end of the day, I hope whoever you, whatever you support or whatever you defend, you can live with yourself at the end of the day, even though I know some of you already lost your conscience. And a good morning. Well, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Can we can I will take both of you? Okay, okay, I'll take both of you that back still now if you don't stop. Okay, let's stop it now. We are supposed to know how to self-regulate here. Um quiet, not the moderator of the show. Can we leave it, please? Leave it because he hasn't said anything, so you can you could have a little bit deferred to him. I said we should self-regulate so that if since he hasn't said anything, you just say, Okay, what are you trying to say? You see what I mean. Uh, please, um, uh, Free Nigeria, uh, what is it you wanted to add? I need him to calm down. He keeps jumping on people's mouth. My guy, settle down. You're not the moderator like of the show. Settle down. It's, it's friend, okay. You better watch yourself. What you leave it, leave it. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, please. We, we can't do that. What I was going we, can't, to say, we can't do that. Uh, hold on, hold on, mm. hold on. I'm not an unruly person. You're very, you're very mischievous and unruly. I should tell you that. I'm telling you that in your face. Watch yourself. Take, take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. Guys, free, free Nigeria. Take it easy. Let's, let's not do this. Somebody in, the, somebody in the comment section what said that about? he highlighted something. Kulata. Uh, he highlighted what? Behave. Kulata, <laughs> you ignored him. His super chat. I didn't see a super chat. So, too. I'm looking for a super well, chat right now. No, I did see it. I think you missed it. Guys, okay, so I saw okay, the last one. Good. Yeah, Kulata was against the, the yacht. Okay. The yacht. So, or yacht. Uh, he, no, was, he didn't no. like he didn't like for once Kulata found something he didn't like about uh, the government. But uh, you know, we all live and learn. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, uh, so fathers, who's, yeah. Forefathers, I'm not quite finished. What I'm just trying to say to Eddie. Eddie, I'm sorry. Like, I don't address I said, me. I don't want to hear you. Don't address I, me. I said, you. Don't I, me I said, yeah, yeah but me. because you're you're, 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 you're being an you're being an asshole. I don't have no respect. Oh no no no! Come on, you. man, you can't do that now. Nah. You can't do that. Come on, you can't be cussing. I will not descend nah, to your nah, level. No no no! You can't do that. I mean, why would you descend to your level? That's below the belt. That's below the belt. I will not descend to his level. I am not. I'm not. I'm not even going to. Yeah, I appreciate. I appreciate that. Come on, tone. You are disappointing me now. Come on. You can't do this tone. Eddie, Eddie, it's okay. Uh, let's let's move on. Let's move on. Let's, 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 uh, we can't be cussing uh, each other here. Governor, please let us move mm. on. Let's not judge. I'm gonna say, all this, right, right? Please, um, please. <laughs> what 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 Ugozi was a name Ugozi was talking about, right? Like we 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 should try and uh, stay on issue, which I agree. And the other thing is, me, I've 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 always been saying this. No matter who's in power, Nigerians we need to question them it doesn't matter the moment we have this trust me these guys will know we are not joking because all of them they use one system the president is from the north the people from the north we said some of them they support him blindly he's from the southwest some people will support him blindly it is a problem itself it's a problem what does it take even if it's your father that is doing something that is wrong daddy no this is not right it doesn't take anything to me what is going on for example the uh, uh yacht why will a no. president in this economy we are today use a, a budgeted five billionaire to buy which stupid yacht where people are hungry. Yes, yes. We are just talking about the, the 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 SUV for for the legislators, and we are coming to this again. If you keep telling people, be patient, uh, uh, don't worry, this will get better. Why are you not doing the same thing? Why are you not cutting cost? If the a common man on the street see you cutting cost as 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 leaders. Then we understand things are really hard. Let's all manage till we get this better. It actually shows the, most of this money they are using to budget this stuff. Don't forget, 
it is borrowing money. They borrow this money, you spend it on stupid things. It's, it's a pain. Chim was speaking this afternoon, I listened to him. He was just speaking my mind. You budgeted cars for, for, for office of the uh, 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 um, first lady that is not existing. Nigeria, we need to speak up. If we allow this thing to go, no matter who's in power, these guys, what I have discovered, they don't care about this country. They don't love the country. Because if you really love the country, you gonna do you know what, what 60 million will do in your constituency? You we are giving to senators, even if you tell them go and renovate schools in your constituency, what 60 million will do very good work. Mm. It's a lot. It might look small, it's a lot. It it will do something. I mean, we can't be by cars four years, every four years, you know. They are even telling them. I said the interview I watched on with she on with one senator. I was so disappointed. This guy was just talking trash. Look at uh, the other senator from Bornu. Um, same thing. They talk, they just pretended they don't know what is going on. And you guys are doing this stuff. How do you the, the hunger is real? You see people in Nigeria, they are complaining of what is going on. Like you pay pe people that earn even half a million in Nigeria, they are struggling. Talk less of most Nigerians and, and have jobs. So, sorry, one, 160 million for each of the cars, is, is that it? Yeah, so yeah. that's the million for yes, around 160,000. How can it be that expensive? What are they by? Is it bulletproof? Well, what, more, what kind of one sixty thousand? But, but new SUV is expensive. I mean, new less. <laughs> yeah, new but not one hundred and sixty thousand. But why are they buying the most expensive one? By the, there are cheaper so, vehicles cars so, that can so, last. So that's that that guaranteed. That one is of the forefathers. Uh, one of the that one is for the elected arise, uh, officers. Uh, that arise or channels and said that because how about the one for Tinubu's wife? That is one point five billion. That's why 1.5 billion is completely unacceptable for one vehicle. He unacceptable. 1.5 billion for Tunumbu and, and, and if it was that, Nigerian, that has no constitutional role in no, the, in the Federal office, Republic the office, of Nigeria. That's the office of the First Lady. Why are you arguing it? If, 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 it was, if they were buying the car, the, 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 the Constitution of Nigeria does, does not recognize the office of the First Lady. lady. Sorry, the Nigerian sorry. constitution does not hold recognize on, on, the office yeah, of the okay, first lady. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's, where let's, we, let's, where, where let's, are the Nigerians who have been voting the president that have first ladies from uh, Maria Babangida? You think, you they think didn't vote for first you lady. Why are you saying no, 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 no. They didn't vote for first lady. They didn't vote for first lady. Nigerians know that first lady is not in the constitution. Mr. Yes, the office of the first lady is not in the constitution. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. The first lady is not in the constitution. Is that the okay, Mr. Hold on. Let's clarify something first. Hold on now. Let's clarify something first. Sorry, let's say something. Mr. T, Mr. T, let me just clarify something. The one point something billion, is that only for a car or just for the office? No, it's for the office of the first lady to take off cars, oh. whatever, whatever. She okay, is everything there. else. That okay, you see, yes, I think, I think, okay, I think, see, I think maybe, um, righteous man, maybe there's a point there because first ladies entertain people, they do all kinds of different other that things. That is an office that was created so, in Nigeria. If it was Hold on, for a car, if it was only for a car, car I would have had an issue with that. Poor father, then uh, one of the lawyers, SN, have debated on this can, issue. Sorry, can I come the in? Nigerian um, constitution does not recognize the office ahead, of the ahead. first lady. Sorry, 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 Therefore, sorry, sorry, there is no sorry, way sorry, the federal government sorry, will budget sorry, money for the office of the first lady. Sorry, it's unconstitutional. Sorry, 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 some of you guys just talk too much. I mean, precious man. It's, look, it's not by talking too much. I, I, didn't, I didn't really want you guys trying to prove, you know. I just listed to some of you and um, look, this is, is a point, I mean, everybody has made it, right? It's not constitutional, okay? So, it, you have to kind of repeat it and tell us, we know that. And by the way, um, the fact that it's, you know, it's been happening, it does not make it right. If it is wrong from the beginning, then it's, it is still right now. I'm referring, I'm talking to T, okay? So, um, look, the only reason why I just came up, really, um, um, I know John Abba won, and um, perhaps, uh, okay, a while, and maybe Eddie. Uh, some of you that say that uh, all politicians are the same. I don't know. Can somebody explain to me what, I mean, when you make this statement, what is the import? What What do you want to, what's the point you're trying to make? What does it mean, that statement, all politicians are the same? 
you you since you take your time to come to this platform to come and ask us you, uh, yes yes i'm just yes okay. i want to you know, tell us okay. what is no, no, sorry, what? Hold, on, hold on you, you don't want to answer hey, just tell me you no, no 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 you answer us you, you tell us what give us a perspective of let what me explain let me explain let me ask him who is that let me ask him let me ask him if you don't answer this question let me ask him i ask the question let me answer him Okay, go all, on. Yes. All yes. politicians are the same. That statement is so right, so on point. No, no, it's so it's so flippant as well. Let, 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 okay. let me answer. So, what that statement mean, all politicians mm. are the same, which mm. I actually believe. It doesn't mean some are still better than some, right? It, the, the golden law, hold on, let me finish. The golden law of philosophy said. Where you have two evils, evil with what, what do you mean, God in law philosophy? That is the law. You need to have look, a God it in law. look it up. Philosophy doesn't have a God in law. Hold oh, on now. Oh, oh, please now. Let him finish. You're a lawyer. No, the God God in law philosophy so says that whenever you have two evils, evil with the two evils, he said you should choose the lesser one. Oh, that is the case for politicians. Hold on, that's a question. Oh, that's you answer. need to let me talk. That is the rule for politicians. Some of them are better in terms of, you know, <laughs> it doesn't mean they are not the same. What they mean they are the same is, for example, mm -hmm. politicians love division to control the people. Right. Politicians, they are all corrupt. Right. Where you give them that free access to, to what they, they want to do. That's not accurate. Hold on now. Hold That's on. not correct. That is every woman being is corrupt. Not true. Uh, that every that human being is corrupt. For you to say that's oh. not right. What you are you, you asking a question. You don't want no, to finish. You're talking nonsense. Okay, no, I give no, up. Let him answer. Let him answer. Come here. Are you going to tell somebody no, 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 nonsense no, without the person is telling you what? Nobody have time to come and be. You're not sure I'm actually prepared to do. Now you see, he said all politicians are the same, and then now you start to say well, some are corrupt and some and this and that. Yeah, that's it. Saying lesser oh, no, evil. Listen. There's a lesser evil. Some are more corrupt than others. No, but they're not, they're not the same. Yeah, no, no, they're, yes. I mean, corruption is corruption. Excuse me. They are not the same. They are not the same. They are, they are not the same. There is a degree. There is a degree to everything. A thief is a thief depends on what they do. A robber is a robber depends on what they carry. A shoplifter is not the same as an outlaw. I think some some politicians have hijacked this platform. Excuse me. If all politicians are the same, so I ask you. So, so on what basis then can you tell somebody or yourself, okay, a, a voter, vote one as opposed to the other? On what basis? All if, politicians uh, are the same. They are not 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 the same. They are not. You that say they are not the same. Define what is politician, oh, father, and then we oh, take father, it. You see what the question has cost now. Politicians well, are, uh, are, 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 are discussing uh, originally. So, yeah, we'll go back there. Politicians are individuals that are participating in the political process of any nation. And from that pro point of view, especially if they are running for office, that's what they are described as. Some, no, no, some of them are, see, they are not, the, you see, you can say, okay, as politicians, they are the same. No, it's like saying it's like saying teachers the it's the like saying all oh. teachers are the same oh, no they are not the same are you all, saying all, you have, they're not in the medical practitioners uh, all cars, medical practitioners are not the same they don't have a background they don't have values they don't have personalities they're all the same what do you mean you're talking nonsense they are not all the same yeah, yeah, they are not all the same the a politician is a politician are we all going to agree on that all fathers all politicians are not the same all politicians are not the same all politicians are not the same all politicians are not the same. They are, they are not the same. All they human cannot, beings are not the same. The same. They cannot be the same. They can't be the same. Are we they, going to agree on that? The reason why they go for power. Bumi, go ahead, please. Bumi, go ahead. All doctors are not the same. All journalists are not the same. Right, righteous man, you are breaking the rule. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, let me catch anybody that is talking while I'm trying to correct this. Oti, 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 you have to allow Bumi talk. I said it before. Maybe you are not aware. Oti, you are not aware. When the ladies want to talk, okay, okay, no, we right. allow them to talk. No, Given no, how rowdy, no. rowdy we are, they are underrepresented too, so they cannot no, shout no, like all. No, 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 please, Bumi, go ahead. Um, I think Mr. Oti can speak because I thought they were just interjecting, but now everybody let's, let's, has let's, come down. Maybe let's, he can speak let's and not then come here to conversation. Okay, you guys don't have anything okay. to do or what? You know, but I mean, if you come here, uh, we are adults, right? And then, unless you don't understand the use of language, you know, somebody's saying there's a golden rule of philosophy. I don't know where he gets that. Now, listen, 
Um, okay, all politicians are the same. I asked the question. You could not tell me what you mean by that. Okay, let me ask you a question. So, what is the, what is hold on now. Okay, hold on. What is the job of a lawyer? Would you say, oh, you let me finish, finish. I'm talking. You can ask me the question. What, what I'm saying, okay? Now, all politicians are the same, right? I asked you, what do you mean by that? And then, they're, they're individuals, the human beings, right? Okay? They have character. Characters, different characters, different values, different visions, different, I mean, background. Okay, all these things. And then you come here and make this statement, all oh, politicians are the same. What does it mean? What are you trying to achieve by that? Wait, I mean, it's just to tie everybody with the same brush. I am trying to what is your goal? I am trying okay. to now I ask you, hold on. I ask you, if all politicians are the same and you believe that and you're saying that and you, you mean something by saying that, if, if not just by making careless, flippant statement, I mean, on people that are serious. Now, so why do you, why would you vote one politician as opposed to the other? Miss Alton, Alton, that's what I'm trying to be a question. Let, let me, let me look talk. at the Nigerian politician, for right. example. They move from one party to the other, right? At their earlier covenant. It does not make them the same. Hold on. Hey, why? Hey, why? You're more clever than this, man. Don't do that. Hold on. Hold on. You're more clever than this. Hold on, guys. Politicians are the same. No this and no peace. Yes. Some of them, in terms of very wrong. Oh, hey, 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 hey. In what sense? In Some what of them, sense? in terms of delivery, in terms of delivery, they are better. Like they, what? some of them are less corrupt. You make one sentence. The second sentence, you're contradicting no. yourself. No. What are you talking about? No, I'm not it, contradicting it, anything, Mr. Okay. Okay. You just feel you don't want to hear people opinion. Exactly. Exactly. No, 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 all no, politicians no, are the no, same. No, period. No, so he are you going to say, let, 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 let me father. ask some people now. So all are you going to say all religious prophets are the same? All, 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 all are the same. Are you going to no, say no, no, all no, religious no, prophets are the same? They're not the same. Talk, 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 no, 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 because when you start making flip and statements like because it has something to do with politicians, it's not fair. Because why people are being It's a perfection. It's a perfection. For example, why do you think it's a political and somebody? Is the name not card. all of them is told somebody. Not all is of them is told somebody. All, all of them. them. All of them. You are just talking about Nigeria. No, not all of them is OT. The OT is told somebody. Um, uh, Autumn. Did he insult anybody? Ooh. Your governor Autumn. He lost Otto his position. Has a card. He had a candidate. He failed. What are you talking exactly. about? Exactly. So what do you what expect? That's what, poli that's what politics is all about. Is what you say all of them are the same. Fathers. So can we who, talk? Who, who can is we different? Have, Tell uh, me who is different. That is what doing what they are doing. There are, okay, so if Shore gets into office, Shore is the same as all politicians. He's a politician. Gani, hold on, now, hold on, hold on. If, if Gani, if Gani Fahemi made into you office, are a hold on. Gani Fahemi, Gani Fahemi was a politician. Is it the same as all the other politicians? He's a um, politician, uh, right? You yeah, call him politician. No, no. If, if you say he's a politician, if if you are describing them on that level, let me hold on now. If you are a physician, I know. You are making me raise my voice. No, yes, yes. Others, if you don't get into office, if you are gotten into there, only God knows what. If happen. you are describing them on the same level that they are all politicians as name by name, right. fine. But yes. if you are trying to say that they are the same in terms of the way they practice no. and the level of no individual, no, individual they are, the no human being is the same. We are okay, all good. What is the point? But the you name called politician. You, know, is he, is he, is you are a politician. Show, 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 show is, show is watching this. Like, what kind of what kind of debate is this? You guys, I think. Uh, Ay, um, Eddie, and um, uh, Jolaba, you guys are just gaslighting people I'm, today. I'm surprised. I'm surprised people are falling for this argument. I'm telling you, it's no, unbelievable. No, no, stuff. There, there are things people say to you, and you act like David Udain, and you say next, next. Let's move on to the next. <laughs> Somebody tells me every politician is the same, and I'll tell you next. I won't dignify it with argument. Because I think some by half. Half. No, 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 no. For said, being clever by half. The people playing that game, they know what they are doing. You can't convince them otherwise. No, they no, they know what they're saying. Not, to not you. When, when you go beyond don't say that. Now, don't, don't say that. You are the one that is not serious, but not understanding the context. You don't want to be politicians. You don't want to be politicians. Wow. Come here with such a political agents have hijacked this platform, honestly. And they define the definition of politics. It's a politician. What are you talking about? What are you speaking about? Forefather, what we are saying up to time, right? See, it's okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
are you saying just by title or are, are you saying if what you ask a very fantastic question if you're saying they're exactly the same then we can go to the polls and blindly vote but you will be here in four years time campaigning for somebody but yet they are the same scratch beyond the surface and these people start to unravel you're saying everybody's the, how can everybody be the same how can is, they be? But well, what is the you are sure, right? Are you are, are we all here? Are we not all human beings? Are we the same? Yes. Okay, are we not all human beings? I'm asking the same? certain context, yes, right? Certain are we the on same? the context of being a or, yes. on your career. What exactly. who, who are you? You, 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 people, you know what you are doing with that? Oh your God. you see when people give you those loaded arguments, Flippant. it's I'm loaded, just, they know what they are doing. These people are, they, 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 see, they are not stupid, they are, they're intelligent men. And they know what they are doing. Are so because you say we are all human beings. You see, when you are a grown up man, you think that not the right thing to say. I keep saying it. Because I know I need to show somebody by definition. Some people representing parties have taken over the platform. It's your profession. You run for an office. You are a politician. And you run for an office. Some agents of political parties have taken over this platform. We have a different antecedent. Everybody has their own file and their own antecedent. Wow. Oh, this is this you know, Jonaba, AY, and you who have gaslighted us every year today. No, 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 it's one of the lowest conversations we've ever had on this channel. One of the lowest. Yeah, so is, support. Uh, How can you say, see, we're not, so you're the one that will tell me that it is fish that's inside, that's inside uh, sardine. I right. know that. So do I look stupid to you to know that? Let, to know let, that me, give let me give you an example. By the let name, let politicians. We know that. So that's not what we're discussing. So don't come here and tell us and lecture us that, oh, because they're all politicians, they're the same. Do we look stupid to you? Of course we know. Footballers are the same because they're all footballers. Chinese okay. players are the same. because oh, there is Maradona. Pedra there's Pele. Okay. There are different then types. Then we talk about the antecedents. But we are not talking about the definition is different. And nobody is going to come here and make the person look stupid because you have your own world. So this you can tell us that the this is that this is that you find the person from the other <laughs> one. But you cannot come and tell us they are not There's no game saying, there is no game saying me coming to you and saying all footballers yeah. are the same because they share the same title. What is the name of a footballer on the pitch? What's the name of a footballer? You have diverted uh, this. Uh, this is not what you meant by the argument. This is not what you meant by the argument. You have talked about it. This is not what people do. But they, your initial argument was not based on this. That's not what you were saying initially. You but left that so you, you, you decide to see because you know, you all, have all of the all of the all of the followers and lawyers, anything that want to put that they want to define it differently. I'm not discussing it, Obi. This see when I'm discussing this, I'm not saying Peter Obi. For me, when I talk about politicians, for instance, so you're telling me an Awolowo is the same as uh it's in that you talk about the antecedent, he's not a politician. Are you gonna say he's not a politician? Oh god. John Abba. I think no, sorry. <laughs> sure, sure, come now, come no, now. No, I, no, I think what is going on here is that I think I think I think I think John Abba is hold on, calm down. I think John Abba is talking about it from a slightly different point of view from Ed and AY. John Abba is trying to say, if I'm not mistaken, like they are all politicians. Is that where you just want to stop? Yes. But, but John Abba, do you agree that as politicians they are also different individuals? Yes, in a dissident of what they do, but in the professional, they are all politicians. Exactly. So, but the others are saying something different. The others are saying that oh, I'm they not are divisive. I'm speaking uh -huh. for myself, exactly. and I'm going. You're going to come and swing here. So this, then you say, okay, this is a politician. This is with so 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 record that you distinguish the other people from the other. You exactly. are all human beings. We all have different character. Exactly. We have. We, so we can talk about that. But you're going to say, oh, they are not. Politician, they are not. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Well, somebody just said Tinubu is better than Awolo. So, how can you discuss with someone like people? Excuse like me. Instance? I mean, I, 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 I was at the house. You said Tinubu is better than Awolo. Is that what you're saying? I like it. But what are you talking about? I was yeah. at the house woman. What do you mean when you make this statement? I, I, I said this on my own. What, what is the input? Wait. What, what's, what's, what's the wait? reason? Why? Because we don't make statements. I was at the house woman on the 26th okay. of August this your year. Your grammar okay. have not helped you, old king. Or your grammar uh, in any way have no, not helped you. No, 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 no,
God. Hey, why are you boy just, just beat me? Jonathan used to be a jet-top man. Uh, be a jet-top man. No, hey, why are you a no, no, jet-top hey, why, why are you not gentle? Can't you be gentle? You know, let, let's cool this session off. Let's cool this session off a bit. Let's cool it off a bit. They are all waiting. The let's, let's cool this off. This is crazy. What is going on today? I said change the topic. That's, is that, that's the solution. Yeah. Um, free, free Nigeria. What, what, what is it? What I'm trying to say is that, listen, I'm sorry about the shut up I used for that gentleman. But this is just what I'm, why I, got, I, I, what drove me mad is, I just felt insulted. I hate people insult. We see the truth. The truth is just telling us in our face and all that, and we we'll just be gaslighting each other. And it's so, so please let's just move. Let's move over to something else. Maybe that will bring sanity in our. Let's uh, just talk about. Uh, else. Yeah, yeah. I need John Abba manager to remember. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me. Let, let me respond to that. Let me respond to that. Let me respond to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. I'm just trying to regulate the this. Is, sorry, um, let me see something. Uh, just hold on, hold on for a second. Um, yeah, Jonabak, let's take it easier. No grandmothers into this discussion at all. We shouldn't. Yeah, we respond. should respect um, people's prior this thing. Yeah. Um, please go let ahead. Let, let me respond. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me just respond to you, really and you. I'm sorry if I came at you strong to, but I believe everybody has um, has uh, how would I put it now? His or her own opinion to give out there. And it should be led to express it freely. Okay, I'm really sorry I came at you so strong. It's, it's, it's not in my nature. I'm sorry about it as well. You see, gentlemen, self regulating. Very nice. This is what we want to that's see. Good, that's um, good. So, that's what good. is the next topic? Uh, who is who is next in the discussion? There's no next in the discussion. <laughs> 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 To say that you can have your own definition. You cannot come here and show us. You cannot come here and show us. I have precious my own. It doesn't make you make you offer that. You cannot come here and say all the people we are saying is nonsense. Let's take another topic. People are saying nonsense. But you know what? You be okay. Let let some other person start. Some other topic. No, you make him say sorry too. You, no, you, no, no, no. you remove all the we, you all the obedient can have that, no, 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 but we cannot have that. No, 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 no. Not to be. I, can, I can say that you were talking about his grammar. He no, wants to talk. He said no, not no, grammar, 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 grammar like English. Uh, grandma, no father, uh, grammar, not grandmother, grammar like the level of English he's speaking. He didn't say his grandmother. Grammar. Oh, so he said grandma. Okay, yeah, I think we were talking about grandma. Okay, I apologize, but I thought you were bringing his grandma, his granny. I cut Bumi off. Let her please. Okay, let her go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. I just wanted to say, let's just agree to disagree at some time. Like, Never good use like we're not all going to agree on certain things. So sure. maybe that would. Sorry. Oh, are, you, are you watching them? They are enjoying the argument, whether it's going nowhere or not. They seem to just be enjoying it. You know, it's just, it's ridiculous. See, I, I enjoyed it, but I feel like we should also know sometimes that. Let me, let me add a correction. Look, sure, can we, we have to agree on the meaning of words, okay? Because if we can't agree on the meaning of words, then we don't have we don't have a conversation, you know. Oh, you, don't you don't come here and don't tell anybody to agree on what you see no, from your definition. That is crazy. I'm not lecturing you, but we have to have at least a common understanding of Mr. 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 Please hold yeah? on. And then we have, please, I mean, please hold on. You know, we're not gonna invent you're not gonna invent. Mr. 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 Please, please hold on, please hold on for a minute. Sure. You remember the um you remember the um the rules and there's somebody in, on this comment section and all of them are happy to hand that to you that you are the one that why will somebody will still be abusing somebody personal insult this is just this just a mecca yes, you need to speak okay. to him let him know the rules yes, yes, sure. of engagement yes I, I would pay attention to the comment i apologize um I I clap take... out, please uh, thank uh, you yes I, i'll pay attention to the comment section but in the meantime, if anybody's giving you stress, please block that person personally. You stop saying that comment, but I'll yeah, pay fine, attention but to But listen, these are people that, you know, it's it just a fire that they light to other people. Other people will say, okay, if um, just a maker can say this and all that, then I can say whatever. Let's be responsible. That's all I'm asking for. Yeah, sure. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, that, that Thank was you. nice of you uh, to uh, come back and apologize for that. That. So that is the gentleman thing to do. Um, yeah, uh, righteous man, yes. 
I am asking you a question as a moderator. Even if you are dead, don't you think you are the one question. causing this confusion here? Yeah. So you want to put it on me now? Eh? Uh, it's my fault now. Eh? Now, now it's my fault. I, I started this to no, fight. No, you are the one that started it. Probably you. you that's on a lighter you. note. That's on a lighter note. You have. You are doing a good job. Honestly, I appreciate you. You are doing Thank a you. good job. Yeah. Thank you. I think the problem we have is a y. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh my god. No, 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 no. We just, <laughs> you know there is one fish we call electric fish. Electric fish is chopped. Hey, why we just come smoothly, just talk like a woman and just keep in one word and just go back and I have noticed it. No, 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 it's their yeah. fault. This is already all the problem. But, yeah, but, uh, I, I believe the Aban. problem of Nigeria. I believe the problem. John Aban. <laughs> John Aban. You know, Ngozika, Ngozika made a complaint. And that complaint is real, is valid. The cost of living in Nigeria, it, it has gone beyond what an ordinary man can, you know, uh, reach out to. Don't you think that the failure of your state? Go ahead. You are mute. You are not bad. Well, well, I'm, I'm he, he is warning me. He's I know. I'm, me. I know. I'm mute. I'm just telling him not Shout to take that it easy. Good night. Take it easy, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Jonaba is in, in no mood today. He's ready for fight. Uh, so nobody yeah, so, should start that. Start Jonaba. With him. Can you don't know why your father would never tell you his states? Can you yeah, I'm here. I'm listening to you. Don't know about Benue states. Anything, don't know about Benue states. That's why your father would never tell you his states. No, I'm even if he did to you. Even if John Aban did not tell me, that name alone, I, I worked in his in his, in his uh, state. My Oga, the man I served is from Otupo. So I lived there. I understand them. They are very good people. You know, very accommodate. Yeah. But, but what I'm saying, the failure of your state to defend their land is costing us this high cost of food in Nigeria. Yeah, Dexter, Dexter, sorry I missed you on the backstage. I didn't see you backstage on time. You are far away from the camera, Dexter. So why are you laughing? You see, the monkey they walk, baboon they chop. Now, so we will now go farm. You stay in Lagos and buy it for peanuts. And that is what you want to come here. And say that the failure, all you want us to do, not for peace in our own land, but for us to be at peace to go to farm and bring yam for you to Lagos. John but see, see, you a righteous man is not among the poor people in Nigeria. We need to know this. He's, he's a rich man, he a rich here, <laughs> spent thousands to, to be online. His poor man cannot do that. Don't let him deceive you. No, I said, said you are started. You are started. I said, and bring yam for him in, in 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 Lagos, and now all he's advocating for is that there should be peace in Benue so that they can go to farm and bring more yam for him, not for the people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you saying people. that you don't want you don't want peace in Benue? Are you saying fair that question, you, fair you don't question. understand what supply chain means? Are you saying oh, are that you, are you saying supply that, chains? Oh, my people are, are farmers, that, and you stay in your own land, and you come and eat, right? That's what you are telling John, me. John Sorry, said he was going to take you here? to the <laughs> to us tonight. <laughs> I think he gave, he gave you a trouble today. Why don't you stay in your lane <laughs> as, uh, uh, as, uh, uh, as a good business people that you are, that you are dangling into uh, mm. politi uh, politics? You could have stayed in your business and you don't do nothing again. And you don't run for office. No, don't run for office. Don't run for office. Are you comfortable with the state capture in Nigeria? That's the first question I should ask you. Are you comfortable with the state capture? Your state is not capture. I know they're killing your place. Your state is not capture. Why are people keeping up with the lava? Did I buy some of the energy today? I didn't mention your plan. I didn't mention your plan. You are not killing yourself. You are not killing yourself. You didn't get my question. I didn't mention. No, I don't even want to get it. I said, are you comfortable with the state capture? Are you comfortable with your state people killing themselves? I can nap. 
One thing you have to give Jonathan is Jonathan is the man of his word. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You cannot come and tell me that why you have your own baggage. Don't come and tell me. Jonathan before we both left. Jonathan said, I'm going to go and take my medication. The food basket of the Federation. I'll be ready for it. The food basket is that we are monkey. We go walk for you. Federal government is not giving us anything. We will never become any governor. We, we can only, at least, we can be governor of our state. We can never become any president in Nigeria. <laughs> we will never. <laughs> to to That's a very point. We can be governor of our you, state. You stay there. The, you stay there. You are telling them we are food basket of the nation, and the only reason why you want us to be food basket of the nation is for us to go to farm, and you stay in your comfort zone, and we bring yam for you, and you take, and we will remain poor, right? We can never. So, do you want that? I think the solution. Do you want? Be, uh, do you want to do uh, to be in, at war? Yeah? The solution. The solution. Do you to want Benue to be at war? You don't want peace in Benue. Uh, no, you want peace in Benway because they will bring you yam, right? Man. But, <laughs> but that's not the question. <laughs> that's, that's not the question he's asking now. The sheriff formula is not working. All you are campaigning for, you want peace in Benway, not because the people should live to their God golden potential. They should go to farm and bring yam for you. I agree I with you, Naba. The sheriff formula is not working. You see, when we stop this sharing, I keep like, going to change the topic. I got something. No, no, no. Okay, what, what no, other topic is there? Let's have another topic. Because it can make a submission, made a submission that the cost of living in Nigeria is yes, too it's high. Yes, part of the things we want to discuss. So yes, so, so I now ask Donaban. I said, don't you Jonathan. think that so our own they, cost of living for our farm now go set to the whole Nigeria, right? <laughs> but that's the food basket of the state. Okay. <laughs> and we will never, we will become Jonathan a food basket of the state. <laughs> but we will never share in the national cake. You know what? We never become so, anything in that country. So you know, middle class has not said the same thing. The Zidmak was the senior president. The Zidmak was the senior president. The Zidmak was the senior president. Hey, guys. The one of Ambido Bet now. I Okay, you guys can come and talk all you want now. <laughs> okay. so, so some of the topics I think we can discuss. We can discuss the godfatherism, which is not um peculiar to rivers, but like the Fubara and Wiki case. It only happened last weekend. We've not because you remember, forefathers, the news broke Sunday night about this time mm. last week. So we've not actually discussed the census happened. We can discuss that. You know, what does it potentially yeah. mean for Wiki? Because during his interview, he said, I don't want them to take my structure. That's Wiki's meal ticket to Abuja. If you take reverse from him, what does it go to Tinubu to bargain with? It's useless. Not so we can discuss yeah. that. We can discuss um, uh, Undume's, I know you've touched up on it, Undume's interview. The man said so much. That would annoy anybody. I mean, some of the things he said. He said when they present us, because when they kept um, Rufai kept saying about you know saying and nod mottos, he said, "See, go and discuss it with the executive." He said, oh "God, Nigeria." He said, "That's so annoying." Us, he, he said when they send us this um, budget, mm. they don't include the brand of the cars or the amount. They just put yeah. one point five billion for the office. And, of and the he said he told Rufai to go and ask the executive. Is it not our yeah. job to make sure there's a yeah, spend that money? So we, we can discuss that. We can also discuss the elections coming up, the by election. It's next weekend. Yeah. So yeah, true, state, for true. instance, I'm not sure, sure. if you saw the video of so sure. sure. are you yeah. saying that the cost of living that is fundamental is not necessary to be discussed? Sure, it's what it was it like this, right, right, man. Man. everything we are saying? What, 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 what do you think it goes man. back to cost of living? It goes back to it, of course. I'm coming to that, but I'm just saying, you know, like the pressing matters. Um, the election in Imo. Kogi and uh, Bayelsa. Ayasa. I listened to the person that wants to be Bayelsa's deputy governor. He was at a rally, APC guy. Yes, he said yes. to a group of young men, Should he, go said, Trace our, he said, Trace anybody their comes their way, please them into the river. He said, buy them. They won't be the first uh, to buy, and they yeah, won't be yeah. the Bayelsa. Bayelsa, yeah. somebody that wants to be deputy yeah. governor, saying it on live TV. Yeah. Yeah. But if you ask the police, they will say he was only joking. You remember, that happened a while ago. We can also discuss Imo State, sorry, where the um uh Ope Uzodimas booked, block booked all the hotels. This Same is the video of the of, of some women. They I think they are celebrating their 50th school anniversary or something, their alma mater. They've booked this hotel, Maria to tell or something. They booked it to do their anniversary. They got to the place to check in. They came from Canada, UK, US, uh, Sweden. They got to the place, they told them that the reservation has been cancelled. 
because the governors booked everything. These are some of the things that I think we can flesh out and discuss. They, they can, this is all of us. We sort hotel. of agree. Sorry, um, Eddie, I know you wanted to add something. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, but, well, it's in, like, it's in, you know, in context. And please don't forget uh, cost of living before righteous man takes my head off. Um, yeah, I, I, I think cost of living is quite an important topic, but what you, everything you've listed, man, you do have a kind of grasp of what is going yeah, on. Yeah, everything, everything, everything. That is quite said. comprehensive, I must say. Um, go ahead. Every, everything you just said, you know, what I want to say actually captures it in a way, because, you see, the problem is, when we are talking about putting these leaders in power, right, we have to start from where, from the beginning. When the time comes to elect a, a president, we go to, to uh, they would say, okay, the delegates are coming to a certain mm -hmm. part of Nigeria, and they are going to be voting, they are going to be voting for this person. Look, that is not the way to practice democracy. I'm sorry, because those delegates you are putting there are not going to be voting for the conscience of the people who are feeling the pinch. They go there, they give them one, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars. They put it in their pocket, and who who, who you say more vote for? Tinubu? Okay, we we'll vote for Tinubu. Who you say more vote? We we'll vote for Atiku. They are not doing the proper thing. Push the power back to the people. I tell you the truth, the way American democracy is being practiced. That's why you see the politicians, they respond to the people when they are angry because they know when the time comes and you come back to come and say vote for me, they will ask for what? In well, how do you push the power back to the people? Yes, that how? is the key. I think what Eddie is saying is the uh, delegate system. I think AY, the is delegate AY system, this guy brought it up the other day. That, that delegate it, system is OVA. our biggest problem because we it's the biggest know, problem we have in country. We, see, yeah. we, we choose amongst the people they select for us. That delegate system is the is a big the, issue. So is, the delegate system the is done party. from within the political party. They select they people, they select some people who want to vote for. The, the nominee. Mm. They don't do I that. Mean, look at the ABC primaries. Everybody dropping like fly for Tinubu. You understand? Exactly. Look, exactly. You look at what Wiki did in. Uh, yeah. during, you know how much money. But isn't that how it is done in the US too? Where no, political in the US, parties elect people. In so, the US, people go for the. Even if that's what they do, it's not working for us. For, for, in yeah. the US, the party you are affiliated with, people come out and vote. They will have different different candidates mm -hmm. from a particular party. Let's say the Democratic Party, for instance. They come out with five candidates. The people. You will have to go mm -hmm. out there and campaign to them. This is what I want to do for you when I get there. Eddie, now, Eddie, 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 Eddie. Those, those are American courses. Those ones just, are the same. Just, they just, are, they are, they are, they are even worse. They, they just no, 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 they, they, they actually no. vote in the city room. Some states do that. Eddie, just a point of correction. So the delegate system in America and in Nigeria is the same. The only problem is. In Nigeria, like what Eddie said, is so correct. The delegate system is the biggest fraud. It, if it, that is remain in Nigeria, that is where we continue missing it. We will never. So what would be what, what is the recommended solution then? To push that? the power back to the people. If you How? belong to a certain party, hold on, excuse me. If you belong to a delegate to a certain party, let the people from a particular party. I am coming to campaign in this state. You that way. You are coming to com campaign in Lagos, for instance, right? People who belong to APC, right? They will have, there are five, just an example, five different people who are standing out to want to be president in APC. They will come to Lagos, campaign around the state, tell the people what they want to do when they go there, and these people will vote. Who their conscience tells yeah. them to do, who That's they like. Fair. To go in so there. what now, made those five people the ones that are chosen for it? So they just want to, is that no, it? They, 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 they buy the form to actually contest. Okay. Okay, it should be so free. Okay. So let me just give you how, how this system works, right? It's just like when you hear Wiki uh, uh, cry that don't collect my structure in rivers, that's what he's talking about. Exactly. So if, if, if they're exactly. going for a delegate election in Abuja, we can we order all the PDP, all the people that we vote in that delicate election. Hey, this is the candidate to vote for. Give them money, and that's it. They, they give them money, they go for it. So that is structure you hear. The structure, structure. If you don't have that structure, so what are you offering different? Uh, Ay, instead of that. You know, I mean, Eddie is talking about it. I'm just trying to explain the. Yes, yeah, but system. that structure is the structure that is practiced also in America. So in it you is. now to want because. 
American cannot be compared with our own because even our constitution is similar. But what are you offering differently? That, let, okay, the let the people who are affiliated to a party. People must have a representative, right? So, I agree. I, 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 no, just let me ask him, Eddie, sorry, sorry, one minute, please. So that system, Eddie, is explaining, I'm explaining now, is, that is the indirect system. You can employ the direct system. In the direct system, what happens is just like the normal election. It's a bit difficult because the 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 um um INEC, they don't want to get it. It's, it's very hard. It's just like a normal election where majority of the party people we vote. In that way, you might have people that have their own mind because this one, like you might have three thousand people voting in a state. What is three thousand? Up to. 50, I think 000. what you are trying to say differently, based on my understanding of Nigerian politics, is that they want the governor choose that the councillor is a peak of people. That that is what you are trying to say. That yes. they should when, be when the governor peak by the governors. Like yes. Let them this, be this is, by that's the, because yeah, if you go the way you are going, it's like you are against the system of uh, the delegate, which is through the delegate is the peak. But you are trying to say that instead of governor can pick those people, let, let the people. The, vote them from their exactly. grassroots and let exactly. them represent them. And if they do not do well, the government, the people will say, you are not going the second Thank time. You. Because Thank that you is what, it's so, so differentiated yeah. that way. That, because when you're talking about them, that makes sense. there must be delegates. That's, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Let, okay. yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I don't make sense. Even though I don't run for office, to the people. I'm not like a, it, my it, bomb, my bald head is not as bright as a show, a show but at least I'm bald head. Yeah. 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 A competitor yeah. is yeah. coming. Let me leave the room for Paul. Can you put it in black and white? I'm just going to leave for Paul. I'll come back in a minute. Mm, the, the thing that, okay, that delegate thing, I think it may be a valid point. Is it all the states that practice the delegate thing instead yes, of going to the United The way it's done in the US. The way it's done in the US. The way it's done in the US. The way it's done in Nigeria allows direct Eddie. and indirect primaries. So uh -huh. the thing about delegates, we are saying the parties can decide to employ indirect primaries or direct primaries. If they go through direct primaries, then what's Jonaba is saying is what to apply. It goes down to the grassroots. The people will choose the person Thank they you. want. That is what the only are. problem in that is that INEC will be dealing with a large pool of large voters. number. They can this do it. INEC doesn't want to. They, INEC they can do it. Manage. But no, the direct way means that the governors will not have control of that. The governors don't own the structure again. The people are the structure. The people exactly. will decide who they want. And the direct one yes. does it restrict um, people that vote to party no. memberships? The, no, it's no, party, it party, party membership. Registered party membership. Registered party member. Registered party member. member. But okay. with delegate system, please, it is maybe this, this, one percent this, uh, of party uh, members that we. So how how does I make no who is registered to a political party? Do you have to show your? Have the right right you have to be registered. The party will submit the list put it in of right registered right members to INEC, and then those are the people that will be accredited to vote. Can okay, you put well, it in right? We can. I guess. When they've already chosen the members, Forfather. then you can say they're already corrupt. However, Forfather. no, no, we, no. Yeah, you can. I can. You can. Forfather, you can go and register to become Forfather. a party member now. Are you? Getting no, no I, I agree. I agree with what you are saying. I'm saying that, like, because some people are complaining about the delegate system. That the moment the the governors choose the candidates, it means that they're already compromised from there already. Yeah, it's, it's so already, already compromised. Mm, so that that is Forfather. where the problem is. Uh, go ahead. This submission is very fantastic. Can you can you put it in writing? Which one? Uh, what AD submitted and uh, which uh, uh, John Abba no. elaborated more, expanded oh, that, I more. Want, I don't want this Nigeria now. Make the homie say I want me this. No, I said put it in writing. Put it in writing. You see, AD is thinking out now. Well, I, I, you know, you can put it in writing now. You are there now. <laughs> Mm. I think okay, it's in video. It's not video so anyway. That you put it in writing. No, no problem. No problem. No problem. Mm. Send, send back. I'll probably just mm. take it down. Write something. Okay. Like okay. I will do that. I, I guess maybe we can look to change that. The system we practice in Nigeria, most of these things we are seeing will stop because we will have. Uh, to are you it sure? Will. It, no, it will. Because if you go back and say you want to, you want to vote me for another time, they will ask you what did you do. 
Yeah, but you are going to be part. Of, okay, think about it now. You are going to be part of the party architecture. Uh, this in, uh, uh, in, uh, in big weeks, and then you go and buy the form, which is going to probably be expensive to an extent. And then you're going to they will make you go through the hoops. They might even try to ruin your chances of getting selected uh, or be becoming eligible to run for that party. So the, the control will still be there to an extent. You always well, have an element of control from the yeah, yeah, yeah. leadership well, of the thing. party. Here's the thing: the house. These guys can actually come together. And write, write, write up, put up a guideline on how members are chosen. It mustn't you must pay a certain amount of money, or you must pay this large amount, which people who want to go there for genuine reasons might not have. You might not have the yeah, money. But, but the, the, what I'm trying to explain is that in a capitalist system where some people have more resources than the other, they will always have that advantage. That's the problem. Well, well, hey, but no that's basically how much, what's happening in River State. That's basically what we did. We paid for the forms for, uh, for for the whole lots of them. Including the governor, mm. and so, it, it, so he has is entitled to, uh, I think, twenty five percent of the state's money. I think if he was not entitled, he was trying to not get his support. No, he's not taking it. There's mm. an agreement. Uh, you have no, have you not listened to him? Uh, no. Lucas said uh, there was an agreement between him and Fabura. Yeah, but if. He's he bought the phone. He bought the phone for him. He bought the phone for the ones that were in the house of whatever, the house of our assembly. But we can do the same way now. What are we forget. talking about? Don't forget. Uh, uh, this is the form. And he gave them an agreement. This is something billion that comes to the state. He holds 25 of it. And it was Mr. an agreement for the election. Mr. T, Mr. T, the state belongs to River State's people. Not exactly. State. Okay, now, when the state belongs to the people and you operate on a capitalist system, we have, look at now. Have you asked yourself one question? The people who sing those songs for Wiki, who are they? I see you and me. Is it not the reverse? Yeah, thing? but the issue right now, if the federal government do not put their hand in it, if the president do not endorse what is going let on, us, see, see, let us see. This is why I like what the RTC says. Wiki see, let us leave it. the presidency. Okay, let us not Mr. only clamor on presidency. This is a state Mr. affair. T. They are looking Mr. for better affairs. Okay, Mr. T. Sir. River State can never be like Lagos State. Okay, sir. Okay. Why? That practice, that practice that uh, Tinubu had in Lagos State that made him to control Lagos for 24 years. Okay. It can happen in River State. Okay. It and can never work. Okay, who is controlling for the government? For the past 24 years. Listen. Okay, who is controlling? Listen, this is how many years is the controller, controller now? Time. That hold on, hold on now, hold on. Let me explain. Hold on, uh, hold on. I mean, you ask your hand, tell me. I'm listening. I want to learn. You, you see, Wiki. Okay, sir. The winds of Wiki will, will very, very, very soon. They are going to uh, win his speech. And uh, that was what they said before but, the election. It's not minister. No, uh, no, hold on. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was what they you said see? before. He, he's not a minister. They say he's not. Hold on. Okay, okay. I'm hold on, hold on. Are it's not the folks that are pride that. Are you a politician? Oh, righteous. Why you ask? No, righteous. Why you ask? Yeah, yeah. There's a question. Sorry, sir. Are you a politician? Of course. Everybody here is a politician. Hey, why? No, why? Hey, why? I mean, what did you say? I mean, is he a politician? Are you directly involved? Are I say you. Hey, why? What did you say? I say you be my guy. Or maybe I no talk to you like. That. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, Paul, please, can I come in, please? I'm leaving because you are weird. Please, yeah, can I come in, please? Paul, go ahead. Let's allow Paul please. to go ahead, please. So let please, me let me finish what I was saying. Okay. Um, Wiki, Wiki is Equator speaking, uh, come from Equator speaking area of River State. And since 20, since 1999, democracy started. No person from uh, the Ijo speaking area have ever tested that position. Okay. Not even a so, Krika Calabari, no, no, no other group. Are you saying it's no, only Kwere no, people? Yeah, no, I told you before, no. forefather. Is only it only Kwere people? people? That yes, is yes, unacceptable. Yes, that's correct. This is I the first you, time because Kwere is the majority. I told Ikure you. Kwere is the majority. They are not the majority, actually. Hold they are not. on now. Ikure, hold they are on. just yes. a large group. They are not the majority. <laughs> uh, before, 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 before Bayesa was created, he just were majority in River State. The yes. moment they created uh, Bayesa State, it just mm -hmm. uh, were no longer my, uh, majority. The yes. query, the chair. My mom yes. is from they there. They are the largest group, my mom no, is not from the there. majority. Listen. 
the Ukwere people, the Ukwere speaking rivers, yes. the Ukwere, they, yes. they are the majority mm -mm, right now mistaken. in number, in population. You are mistaken. What are you talking about? I'm telling you, I've looked at it. I will pull it up now so we can see it. Okay, four father. There's no, there's no, there's no clear majority. It's like in Nigeria where you no, say no, the houses are, they are, the majority. Um, they, are the majority. they are not. They are not the majority tribe. They, they are, are the majority. Now listen. I think this might. Be this, is this, is this is the first time. This is the first time. And the person. They are the, they are the largest group. They are not. They, are you telling me they are over fifty percent? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, why are you telling me they are over fifty percent? They are not over 50%. Let us stick to what we know. Let's leave issue of who is majority. They are not over 50%. Not Only Ogonis make up over yeah, one point something million continue, in, the, in the, so the river state. Let us stick to the was going somewhere. Let Since 1999, it is people, equally speaking, extraction people that have been in power. That is the fact. That, that, is, but that's unacceptable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Somewhere. It's unacceptable yeah. if that's the case. This is the first time they're having a fisherman as a governor. That is a bit ridiculous now because um, River State is made up of all kinds of people, and I guess those days were the, the new River State is different, but it was still made up of all kinds of there's Calabari, there's Ogoni, there is Ogoni is very very large set of people over one million. That's where Karen Sarawiwa is from. The Calabari was very very many, I think at least five hundred and seventy thousand people at least. So you have various other groups. So when you say the um, uh, the, the queries are majority, they are like majority, like you say, how are a majority, are big people too in Nigeria, but not over 50% of the population. And to rule for since 1999, I think that is just, I thought they were supposed to be rotating it. I don't know what, what is going on. You I thought have they were not allowed me to finish my state. submission now. Continue. I'm making okay, my own uh, point. I'm, you, you, I'm letting me finish. So I'll take one minute to round up so that uh, Paul jo can go then. Which which guy one minute? <laughs> ah, you Jonathan need five minutes said, again? Jonathan why say continue, continue. Ooh. You've already made your point now. <laughs> ah, you always need more than one minute. Is that the time you, you yeah, finish with one minute? <laughs> <laughs> eh? Paul, please go ahead. Since he doesn't want to do it. Okay, uh, so so talking about the queries, sometimes, you know, it's this politics of when we say not now, the first thing that will come to our mind will, is 19 states. You understand? And we call the 19 states figuratively like our uh, one people. But we, we, we understand vividly well that these 19 states are not one tribe. This 19 states comprise of Muslims and uh, Christians. They comprise of different ethnic groups, different tribes, you know, and even colors to some extent. So, but when the staff loses anything, the first thing that comes to the South mind is say, oh, the North are very, very corporate, corporate food. Then you see an Awusa man who will also tell you from the South that the South people, they cooperate so much, the North never help themselves. You'll be so shocked. It's always common with the way we use all this type of words. Remember 1999 to 2007 that Odili ruled that state. Odili come from a minor minority, Andoni, Undoni people. You understand, minor minority, just a small piece of land surrounded by water. You know, but because people don't really believe that that election will actually happen, that 1999, people believe that, nobody believe that Abu Salami eventually will hand over from military to civilian. Then from Celestine Omeya, from Omeya to Amechi, two brothers, completely two brothers. From two brothers to Another influence coming from an Ijo part to also from the other side too, patient Jonathan and um, uh, Wike, that's how Wike gained the power. It is because of the way Amechi, uh, uh, Amechi tried to destroy Waterside. And Waterside is where patient Jonathan come from. That's how patient Jonathan said, okay, I'm going to push Wike to do my bidding. This is how the people felt Wiki would do the fight. So that just like push back the job people to some extent, push back the job people. And maybe Wiki in his own wisdom to also understand that this guy, Fubara too, is a loyalist. And also to pay back, you understand, the time of the jobs. That's how he gives to the job. But the thing that I argued last week, and I want to still argue the same argument here, when people said all this thing that, oh, we can sponsor this, we can sponsor this, and everything. The last time I checked, Wike is a lawyer, and I think he has certificates, and he has schoolmates. Let Wike come outside with any document that people sign, seal, 
you understand, notarized to say, this is the agreement you sign. This is what we call gentleman agreement, where they drink beer, where they light candle and do all type of agreement, or bony agreement, you understand, with no spiritualities and power. That's how it is. There is no document. It's just, it's just an influence power. Anything I say as at that time, you, you will give it to me. You know, I'll use Lagos. Lagos has 16 families. So if a king died today, that tells you that 15 families will be lobbying to be the next king. But Mr. If Paul, can I ask a question, please? Uh, let me finish. But is it right? No, is it right? Is it correct that Wiki bought the phone for the governor? Wiki did. If Wiki bought the phone for the governor, let him put it down. And why did he buy the phone for the governor? Uh, why did he buy the phone for the governor? The governor is capable enough to buy phone for himself. Let him exactly. put on the document. He knows how to carry media people. He knows. Wiki knows how to carry media people. Let him bring all the documents and say that by form for but governor. Citizens of, but the citizens of Nigeria that bought uh, uh, form for presidents. That's, that's the what thing that we're telling you. When people buy form, even though Adam Sushumol has made us understand that people buy form for him. Okay. You understand? So okay. so they do all those things. Most but of what the people so, so, want to What I want to understand, okay, is it correct uh, or is there the possibility or that we can bought the form for the present governor of so, I, I, I still don't even believe that. It's, it's a yes. Okay, say thing. Allegedly, I don't allegedly, believe. We can, we can will not be so stupid to even come out and tell you with his own man that he bought a form for a governor. Was it not this? He said, he said that he gave, he said he did not 500 million. You think that man that, has anything to hide? Listen, that happens anywhere. There's a fire outbreak you can support. You are from a real state to support a poor state. They do it everywhere. That, uh, that, that so is if, no, if that, that person comes and says, I bought a form for this governor. And the yeah, governor said his father and son. But, so but how come? Did the, governor, come, did the governor refuse? How come? How come is not saying it? You know why? Because it's not the right thing to do. This who, thing, who's, come, not this, saying, who's, this, who's not saying what? How come Wiki did Wiki officially tell you that he bought well, the phone for the governor? Oh, you understand? Oh, no, oh, is, 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 but but wait. however, I get uh, wait. I get where Paul is coming from. It doesn't mean uh, they don't have money to buy forms. It doesn't mean they don't have money to buy forms. If you buy a form for a governor, does that mean that if you buy a form for a governor, the governor holds you 25% of the state? I don't think okay, you know the okay, governor okay, will okay, come okay, outside. Okay, you, you mentioned, with you mentioned the straight... word, you mentioned the word gentleman agreement. It's but then it's not mean, agreement, it's not a void. We care is a lawyer. When they call gentleman Ooh. agreement, simply Ooh. mean it's never bind. My Ooh. brother, my brother, if you sign any document, uh, let me use here in the US, and it's also in Nigeria. If you sign okay. any document with somebody in the US, you understand? Okay. There are different type of documents you will sign. Maybe you want to borrow me money and everything. If I want to borrow you money, I send text message and everything. I can use that document. That document just helped me to show Prove that you will not even deny okay, that okay, you owe me you. money. Okay, okay, but that, another, hold on, now, hold on. Another way of document is that if we can sign all this document to prove that I want you to pay me in this way, why didn't he notarize the document so that okay, legally he is bound okay, by the no, law no, okay, of no, the no, land? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about the word you said. You said gentleman agreement. It, because gentleman it's not agreement. agreement. No. Hold on. You said, Hold on. Because it's not agreement. I, I, I want to share something quickly Wait, about minute, reverse minute, That's minute, what I find it disturbing. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So, does it mean that uh, gentleman agreement doesn't stand? It never stands. Okay, have you read? Shiloh? It never stands. Have you read? It never stands. Uh, uh, Mr. Paul, have you read Shakespeare, Sherlock? I don't know what you are talking about. No, I don't know the I don't know the context of why you are talking it. But what I will tell you is that when I tell you that gentleman agreement never stands. If I borrow you 1,000 naira today in Nigeria and I promise you to pay you the whole 1,000 back next week, if I didn't pay you as a gentleman agreement, if you go to court, if I agree to pay, the judge will still calculate my finance and everything. There will be a new agreement because gentleman agreement never stands. In good faith, I agree that I owe you the money. But because gentleman agreement never stands, I can pay you that 1,000 for 10 years. But that's the question, though. Why is there? Do you understand why I can pay the one thousand for ten years? Because gentleman agreement never stands. The judge will not bring his own agreement between you and I. This is where I will say, my lord, I don't have that money. I have nine children. I have an aged mother to take care of. I have this and I have that. I don't have the money, and so the is, whole thing will change. You so understand? What is the contest that we can say it? 
Oh, Quintess exactly. matter in some of this world that we talk it, about. Yes, absolutely. Very, very, very correct. But now, if if you are saying a word, if somebody comes to you with a word, which is not your word, I've been on this platform, I've been behind the cameras on this platform, I see people say, no, I didn't say that, you are changing my word, this is not what I said. Okay? Now, if somebody comes, somebody as powerful as Wiki, comes and says, and, say, and says something as strong as what he said to a sitting governor, and the governor does not refute back, there's yeah, no rejection to that word. That means there's truth to it. Then you are telling me it's the gentleman agreement. I have to pack my shoes. See, if, even if there is truth to it, I don't even know what whether it even matters, whether he, buy, he bought it or if anything, you can say, okay, you, you spend your money buying from for him. So, so what? So, what does that mean? Oh, so, let me just deal with it. Exactly. Let me just deal with the issue. Let me just deal with the issue. Yeah, yeah I, I just wanted to deal with I, I wanted to deal with a larger issue that I find a bit disturbing because if it's since since uh, 1999, a state one set of people have been ruling. Even if the the other side is 30 percent, um, uh, 70 percent, one side cannot just rule since 1999 till 2020. That uh, 23, that is not a representative system. You are supposed to allow Nigeria is supposed to believe in a kind of you know informal rotational system. They, they talked about it even within states. I think that's the one they were discussing in, in I think, Aquaibom or Calabar recently, and which they had to do. They, they, did, they did the rotation in that uh, situation. So this is River State, and uh, this is information that they have here um, on, on River State, and the language that are spoken. It's just, I don't think this is representative of the actual population, but this is a kind of coloring of what one should expect to see. And look at the language speaker, the number of language speakers of this language. These are not, these are not uh, equated language. This is equated here. And look at the numbers here. How is that possible that a group from the, speaking this language are the ones ruling for how many decades now? That doesn't sound right to me. And, um, but I think there are, there, there's also a little bit of influx, you know, into the state. This is not traditional. These are traditional rivers people, but there's a lot of um, people that come into the state. So maybe they are the ones influencing the vote in the direction of the query uh, speaking people. But it, it's just something that you want to understand. This is what, because I, I, I was in Port Harcourt for a very long time, for years. So I found that baffling that a day came when only equity people have been running uh, river state for 20 something years. That is crazy. Um, so it's something, and that's not democratic, if you ask me. Um, all right, Father, you are for you in most of the state. That's what is going on. You don't know that. I, I, the last time I, I heard about it, it was you. in Calabar. People they, they were trying to rotate it within Calabar, so I don't know why. Politicians are greedy, they don't allow rotation, they speak off and of all, all kind of language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it horrible. Happens in a lot of states, that's what we mean when we say politicians are, are the same. same. You get they're it. not the same. No. Stop, stop trying to spin it. All these gaslighting <laughs> people. They're all the same. Ah, Jesus. You want to go back there again? No, I'm not <laughs> saying. I'm just pointing out something. Oh, no, no. I thought, sorry about that. You see, let me tell you this. Okay, for example, Yaya Belo right now, the next governor he support is from his whole local government. After eight years. Hmm. It's from his whole... Some people are even say it's his cousin, but they are from the same local government. Wow. It, what it, you it was the same guy who booked the whole hotel in this Don't state, forget. Like, don't forget. His people, his people, they are not evil majority in this case, in Kogi. They are not the majority. So, mm. politicians, the more you look, the less you see. I think it's about yeah, power, isn't it? The, 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 the once they have power, they try to uh, hang on to it as long yeah. as possible. Yeah. The question now is that, do you think Wiki can hang on to this power? Or is going it, to no, no, not for long. It, it will be so it depends on the governor really it will be very hard for if the governor want to fight i strongly believe the wicked can do nothing there, there, there have been examples he will, been yeah examples. he can't do nothing he, if, if, he, if he tries to this. fight he's going to cause serious problems there, there have been examples yeah. of this thing. my he fear is river is too is too is too is too um um corrosive man the people like they got to give it's too much. The See, stress is too much. That's it. There have been examples of this this mm. uh, a particular thing you're talking about. Take mm. Lagos State, Tinubu and Fashola. When Tinubu went against Fashola, what happened? The, the governor, the governor, most of the time breaks the wing of the breaks the back of the the, the former governor. They, he mm -hmm. told they had to leave. He had to leave Tinubu uh, Fashola alone. 
Take the other yeah. case, what happened in Edo State when uh, somebody was trying to, to push uh, what's his name around. He refused. What happened? Or somebody had to back out. That's what happens yes. most of the time. What because he's just leaving kind of the same thing. Yeah, oh, because uh, he's just leaving the governorship. And, uh, because he just leaves the problem now is that the wiki is sitting in Aso in uh, next to Aso Rock. Even, That's even problem. in Anambra, it happens many times now. But if you say it now, people will say no, 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 it's not correct. Even, if, even if even if it's what this guy was this guy was close to uh, what's it called to now? Shomale was close to the presidency. At the yeah. end of the day, yeah, he will back out. He's just leaving power. Yeah. He still has a lot of it. The government, the governors are very powerful. They are elected yeah. in news. Yeah. Over time, yeah, yeah in Nigeria, the Nigerian governors are. I think they are about one of the most powerful yeah. governors. Uh, if you want to fight with K, if you want to fight with K, he will start fighting anybody that is supporting with K. The legislature, the legislature, he will put for further. For this one, he will even go after. So. The governors they have power to withdraw your CFO and destroy your house. It can start doing that. Nothing will happen. Yeah. This, mm. So you don't know who the power these guys have. Yeah. They will withdraw your CFO. No, no wonder they, they are trying to impeach him now because they know that's the only way they can get him. And uh, but if they so, if they cannot succeed in that, then they, they have bro, to for father, the governor can fight on. Nobody will impeach him. Now you know what happened. They elected a new speaker, even if they elected him with two members. The court will not determine that. He will go to the court and start fighting. If mm. that speaker stand, it's done. They will use, he will use the House of Assembly to scatter everything. Mm. Bro, these guys, they, they have a lot of power. I'm telling you, he can fight. But for me, I think the peace is still good. Reverse is, 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 is kind of like... Um, if there is war in fighting river, it's not it's, it, it can even affect Nigeria, man. So because if you are Tinubu now, if you are Tinubu, then they came to you with this matter, what would you tell Wiki? Um, they, they, they had a meeting with Tobu. But what would you tell them then? What would you say to this? You gotta tell them to make peace, to, to, to let peace reign. They should stop because then how are you gonna tell are you gonna tell Wiki to pack off? Are you gonna tell Wiki to back off? Tell we we to back back off. I will tell Wiki to allow the governor be. Exactly, okay, exactly. But guess yeah. what? Guess anyway, what? Anyway, guess what they are anyway, saying on TV channels. On, oh, sorry, sorry, that. sorry, Paul. What they are saying now, I want to add this point to the to it because what the reason why I'm asking AY is because AY is saying he's going to tell Wiki to back off. Guess what's going on on uh, TVC channel uh, in uh, that GD guy? He was like, um, you know, you have to respect your godfathers, and no. this is how it is. I know these people no. are some of the most. It's like you you, you have to settle now that the son has returned to the father. You know, it's like poor father, yeah, you, you already this understand. Is, you know, American Nigerians is practicing the same. You see, he uh, has no, 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 no. He has, no. He has, he has to give you a brief about these issues, right? In 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 a number of state during Igige, Igige as a governor was kidnapped with the support of the president then of Asajo. In um, in uh, in your state, uh, Adedebu, if you know mm. Adedebu, he was the father of Amala politics in Nigeria. He was in control of every state government with the support, with the support of Obasanjo. Adedebu will tell you, you can't go second term. Omo, that is it. That is it. He's going to fight you because why they had this power was they have full support of the presidency. The president is still very powerful. If the president don't want Wiki to do anything in reverse, it's very simple. He just like obey the law. He will call the uh, 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 IG. That's true, actually. Go to reverse, mm -hmm. yeah, make order. Wiki, Wiki is too small now. Yes, the yes, only reason yes, why Wiki he is doesn't have any protection. Now. Yes, he yes, has yes, yes, the, the president. Yes, the thing at the back of Tinubu's mind, he needs reverse states. When yeah, he, he like, does the other politics. What you understand? That's what I tell you okay. about politics. If if Tinumbu if Tinumbu needs reverse, if Tinumbu needs reverse, this is not how to go about it. Let's tell us said it too. This is a problem. This 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 is a problem rubbing on Tinumbu that Tinumbu may not even like. Tinumbu is a politician. He understands the system. If Tinumbu needs reverse, he will never take this side that he's taking. Just the respect of this Fubara, that is just what Tinubu is trying to do. Remember to Tinubu, Tinubu want to simply pet Fubara for him to decamp to APC. That is where Tinubu, Tinubu can control. 
And remember, they need River State resources. River State controlled that part of the, the, the zone. You understand? So, but saying this that you are saying now, it doesn't really work. It won't work. The governor has immunity. The governor can do anything he wants to do. Remember yes. what Fayoche did with Buhari? Buhari couldn't do much. This is how governor have power because yes. of immunity and every other thing. And if you want to follow history, from Ladoja, from uh, Chrissy Gige, from uh, Fashola, even Tinubu couldn't handle Fashola. From Fashola, we, we, I can make mention of name. Theodore Oji, Toji Zokalu, and everything. He never worked with Adam Sosomole, fight the godfather himself, called Tony and Nene. Oh, yeah. And Oshomole become the godfather. Even and Obaseki take him down. Exactly. You understand? So it has never worked. And it won't work. And remember, this is your people that we are talking about. These are people who already on their own mm -hmm. initially failed defeat. The then for this thing to want to happen and everything, they're going to put their feet on ground. Yes. You understand? It's and you remember that Nigeria needs River State very well. They not don't want anything rivers. that will happen to the pipelines. No, no, let's just even talk rivers. Because anything that will happen next now is to obstruct the pipeline. This is how they send their own, their own signal. Before you know, our oil, this thing, will drop. You understand? It will drop That's tremendously. Right. This is That's how you right. send handwriting. So, River it's State is not dropping. a state that you... The latest no. news is that it is already dropping because uh, during this, during this um, issue, you know, um, Fubara and um, Asari had an issue. And after two days, Asari came out and said that um, he was not going to join hands with Fubara on this issue. That Asari doesn't like um, Wiki, but because Fubara was having an issue with him, he said he's not going to join. However, the Ijo elders have called on Asari to join their brother, Wiki, in the fight. And as at Friday, the news is that they have already started making threats that they are going to disrupt oil flow. They have already started making the threats that they are going to disrupt oil flow. So, so I can say it. Tinubu will definitely micromanage Wiki yeah, as at this time. We know why Tinubu will manage Wiki, not just to say fire Wiki, because Wiki is like a market woman. Wiki will open up and talk secrets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, Tinubu yeah, yeah, will micromanage yeah, yeah, Wiki because That's of the way Wiki is. Wiki yeah. is not that person that closes his mouth easily. Yeah, but, but, but what I'm telling you is that. Tinubu will not want Wiki to say, I want to use the might of the federal government to overpower Fubara. I don't think so. The, oh, neither exactly. Tinubu will want to manage Fubara very well, how he will be succeeding in transferring that state from PDP but to Wiki APC. Doesn't, Wiki doesn't want to lose his grasp on power in River State. Because if he does, he's, he becomes irrelevant. He has lost his grounds on power. That, it's, that's it's, why he's fighting. No, 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 Wiki, Wiki, Wiki did not lose his ground. Not yet. But Wiki, Wiki did not lose his ground. But Wiki on his own self wants to lose his ground. <laughs> you understand? You, if you understand the power of statesman, that's what you enjoy. But when you want to, be, when you want to transfer yourself from Godfather, uh, from statesman to Godfather, that's where you lose it. See the way IDB is enjoying his power. See the way Abu Salam is enjoying his power. They are statesmen. You understand? Yeah. When Obasanjo yeah. nonsense himself twice, try to put Yaradua and try to put Jonathan. These two people, he fought them. Oh. <laughs> you understand? So stop as a statesman. You will enjoy a lot. But when you take that one more step to Godfather, you lose everything. Bro, Wiki doesn't want to be bro, a statesman. He, says he wants to remain politically relevant. Bro, that's, that's, that's what he's fighting for. He that's wants to remain true. politically relevant. So basically, what he wants, he wants to be in control of the delegates by 2027. He wants to be in control of all the delegates in River State. It's not going to happen so, because in and that, for him to be in control, that. that means he has to control the governor yeah, because the governor controls the delegates. So that's where Wiki is coming from. And what he has said is that impeachment is a legal process. He has said it out in the public that nobody is above impeachment. So his plan is to impeach Fubara and put somebody that will be a stooge for him. Impeaching a state governor is not an easy job. It's, it's not, not an easy job. 
Wiki, did you hear what Fayoshe told uh, Fubara when they were swearing him? He told Bro. him, Wiki, Wiki is a, is a trouble man. Oh, that anything that your eyes want to see, close your eye. Because see, Wiki will fight see, you. See, see, no, let me tell you. Lost, let me tell you. The solution to River's problem is peace. Wiki we not succeed i'm telling you the truth because what what uh, paul just said now is your people they will fight wiki all over niger delta that's one the second thing is is river state right now don't forget the the the, the governor's camp they have a speaker on the side already except except you go into agreement now the, he will now withdraw that speaker and say, okay, let the status quo remain. What is going on now? Why Wike is talking today is because he is a, he's close to the president. That is why he's still talking. If he was an ordinary citizen, after, him back. he will not... See, these people supporting him, even the senator's rep, they will not even give him the support. The governor will tell everybody, fall in line. If you are against me, you are gone. These guys, they are powerful. So he can do, the governor can actually fight on, like nothing will happen. They are powerful. Then anyway, also add another one to it again. When mm. people talk about Ikwere, you can, even though Wiki, first comment that comes out of Wiki, Wiki say he has nothing to do with ethnic group. You know why? The jaws are way bigger than the Ikwere's. Because everybody from Bayesa will troop in. Yep. <laughs> Delta, we that have Delta, where, Edo, we where have... another place equated people will come. Yeah. Delta will troop in. Yeah. Ijo, Ijo is a politics. Now, nah, like no, I was no, a no. politics, so Ijo and yeah. Urobo, they fight. People, they come from Bayesa, from, from oh, River yeah. State. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so people don't really understand. So, Ikwere is a minority. Compared. That's why we can use the first word. He has nothing to do with tribe because they will use tribe to muscle him down. Wiki is relevant because of their own illustrious son. Good luck, Jonathan, that they respect and his wife is with all happen. That's why the Ijo people come. And we can do the right thing to bring he, an Ijo person. He, he did the right thing. But trying to be too much in, uh, distoxicated with power, that is where you will get it all wrong. He, he, he has already got it all wrong. He, he Clark grad, uh press conference already. He was telling the president, call Wiki to order. Okay. Bro, don't think Ijo will fight you. They will the fight will, will be messy. So the for me, oh, we can, <laughs> it will be, it, it will to, be like, very messy. He needs yeah. to like just make peace. I, I don't think we can we survive. It's just a matter of time. I, I I don't know whether he will not survive, but he's not going to have as much power over the River State government. Maybe that's. Is it with the president? How is he not going to survive? Okay. Is the president? He's not controlling the governor. What he's doing now is that he's controlling all the structure around the governor. He, he appointed out of 16 commissioners, he appointed 15. Dexter, Dexter. Dexter, what the are you state, talking about? The state the governor can fire the everybody. <laughs> Dexter, the, governor can the, pre the state private jet okay. is in Abuja. The governor is not using the state private jet. We can tell the government wow, not to travel. Desta, what I'm telling you, right? The governor of River State <laughs> can wake up tomorrow morning and dissolve the whole executive. Yeah. Yes, yeah. nothing will happen. Not dissolve them. Not and, uh, and I don't think. Them. I think uh, the, hey, the the politics of uh, Chernobyl is very smart he will not like to lose wiki as a person that he want him to use True. but at the same time he will have a people that talk to the governor how to set to it uh, wiki is analog brain wiki is the most primitive <laughs> man you can ever see so it's not a person that you tell him something you know there are people that fight you that come to the table and see talk to you wiki is one man here they say it's a maniac so the only thing that uh, Tunubu and his team is going to do is to play the game well so that they, when where they need the uh, wiki, he will be there. But I think the governor wiki, when his, his muzzle that is flexing, 
is going to weak because the 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 the, the, uh, the your people and so many people in the grassroots politics there he already lose grip over them it's not their governor he can't do so much and the governor has more power in the state than him so i i uh, i think uh, tunubu people will they will know what to do with him but apart from that the only smart thing he did in his lifetime was trying to switch to APC and, and buy Koboko for his citizens so of Logan. He has not switched oh, switch officially. Oh, I said, no, 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 no. I said the only smart thing he has done was for him to buy Koboko for his people to flog and, and snatch <laughs> the election that make him relevant. Apart from that, uh, go ask Governor Otto now. Governor Otto and uh, people, they, all the people who make all those dumb uh, political, they are poli that's what we are trying to say, that politicians, they are looking for green pasture here and there. Politicians, anywhere they see, they are, the they, they are, going, to see, we are going back again now. We are, they are the same. We keep saying it. But they, they, they are the same. No, they are not the same. People, people should stop this gaslighting nonsense. No, no, let's, no, let's, no, let, no, let's talk about, let's, no, let's, no, let's talk about cost let's of living. Then. Paul, from Paul, Paul, and hold come up, back hold up, John, number. Paul, do you believe politicians are the same? Or no? Um, Jimmy Agbaje said it clearly. Jimmy Agbaje said it is the same of the same. Politicians are the same. Oh, Father, they don't want to believe. They don't want to believe. They the are not the same. The same. <laughs> so, they may so, have a different so, so Paul, if, you, are, exactly. if you become politician today, are you going to be the same? They are career politicians. Hey, for, uh, for Father, let me tell you why I say politicians are the same. I will use the context of America. So now you will see Democrat is doing something. Republican will condemn them and they will give good reasons why some people will buy into it. Right. Republican will do something. Democrat will condemn them and they will give good reasons why some people will buy into it. But guess what? As a country, they are still first world nation. As a state, the state of Texas is a pure red state. They are doing well for themselves. As a state, the state of California is the richest state in the world. They are doing well for themselves. But they still have their flocks. You understand? So ideologies may be different, but what is the outcome? But at the same time, Democrats tell a lot of lies that we know politicians for. Oh, the God. same way Republicans no, tell no, a no, lot no, of no, lies no. that we Paul, know politicians Paul, for. Paul, Paul, correct that statement. Democrats lie like APC. <laughs> yes. That's where APC lend oh, so, that so, land. Paul, correct. Paul, see the difference now. Uh, when when a Trump was doing it, Trump will speak mm -hmm. up, right? He will come and put it on your face. Democrat mm -hmm. will not put it on your face. They will do it anyway. Do you get it? Yeah. So when we are saying police are the same, these are the kind of things they do. We don't know. We think so. If you ask somebody in America, they are different. Democrat, Democrat. Uh, AY, AY, let me tell you. Those people in UK, they don't, Queen is their queen. So we are now after finish. So we're now. Like for <laughs> Okay, yeah, they are very monolithic people. Yeah, yeah. that is why. Yeah. They are king we get now. We know where they are coming from. Oh, now we know where they are coming from. Long from, from, from what Paul Long. just said, from what Paul just said, they are different. They have different stripes. They have different yeah. donations. We are back to, are back to then individually, one. they are also different. Of course, individually uh -huh. so, they can be different. They are different. Yeah. Can be no, different. that's what they I'm are, saying. We're not saying they are the same as. They are, but they what, is the at, what is they the what is the outcome of it? What is the outcome of it? The outcome of it comes out the same. They tell lies. Both parts tell lies. Thank you. Which you understand? They are actually both different. Parts, actually, Trump both, is not the same both, as George Bush. Both parts. Who, look, let me tell you. Oh, my nearly God. all the things, for father, nearly all the things Joe Biden criticized Trump for. Oh, we will open the the the, the world. We will not build the world. What about Biden is building the world. He's building the world. Good luck for. He you understand? It, it, exactly. Everything. What Biden criticized good luck. He did the same thing. Uh, oil subsidy is scam. Buari maintained oil subsidy for eight years. These are politicians, but they use it as a way to gain power. Yeah, that's that's what politicians know how to do. They have never they play on the ordinary citizens. The idea that they are the same father, is false. What, they are not the same. Ed, what Eddie was talking the other time, but I think AY get it a little bit wrong and everything. thing. So the way they practice politics in America. Because of the old country vote for primaries, 
For example, if the whole country votes for primaries in Nigeria today, let's tell our said the truth. Do you think an average Yoruba man would like to vote for Tinubu for primaries over Osteba and Joe as at that time? The answer is no. Thank you very much. That's how you you understand? You but it's only a few people, 2,135 2, people, you understand, vote. that Millions. decide for the whole country on oh. one of the biggest parties. That is very, very wrong. Remember after the primary, every one of them keep coming out with cash, with dollars, is dollars, the, dollars that, raise up. I think we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna say it in a let way. Bumi like, speak, let, let, let Bumi speak, speak. Oh, let Bumi uh, speak, please. Uh, let Bumi speak. Let Bumi speak. Let Bumi speak. Let Bumi go ahead. Bumi go. Bumi go. Oh. I'm, I'm so happy you guys came back to this whole delegating stuff because I wanted to ask. I wanted to also contribute, but ask that. If the problem is having a certain people pick the person that will run for the the primaries for the main election, um, isn't yes that can be a problem. But don't you also think the bigger problem is the fact that Nigerians, majority of Nigerians, don't vote based on ideology? For example, if you're telling me that people like most people wouldn't even vote for. Um, select Tinubu, they might select um, Osibanjo instead, then why was he even selected at the end? If they know, okay, this guy is not going to achieve anything. And it's like, it's a different thing, let's say, in an American system whereby you will still vote regardless of whether, for example, most people didn't like Biden, but they had to vote, Demo uh, they're Democrats, and they're voting based on the ideology as a Democrat, but that ideology does not work in Nigeria because we don't have a party that says, this is what we are here for. It's it just vibes. Up. So in America, up. it might make sense whereby okay, so they, they still vote regardless of who is there, even though you can argue stop that Trump up. might be better than Biden, but he's still president. But in Nigeria, we don't have a system that says, okay, if I have APC, Based on the name, it's all progressive Congress. We should have a progressive party. But we have seen from the last four years, there was nothing progressive about that party. So yes, it's no, like... Okay, let me let you finish. I'm sorry. No, you can no, ask no. the question. Yeah, what I was going to say is because, you know, it's, it's not being practiced yet. It takes, it takes a while before... If you start something, it takes a while before it becomes uh, better, before it becomes properly structured. It's not been practiced yet. I mean, if, if 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 let's say we start it today, we have people come out and say, okay, APP, APC members, these are your candidates. They will go ahead and debate. They will come to they will, they will go around the states, each and each and every state in Nigeria to to campaign. When the time comes for your state to vote, vote who you want to become the president. I believe, for me, oh, this is just my thinking. I believe if we do it that way, then you will start to have the right people. Who want to go there and actually want to make good impacts in the in the affairs of Nigeria? It's because you have these delegates, two thousand five hundred. One of these politicians can, actually, <laughs> you know, just dollar dollars to all of them because he knows if he gets back in there, he's going to get back his money times ten. So that yeah, way, if he goes back there, he's going for his pocket, and whoever is screwing is up. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm pointing out something that even with this one that we have, Nigerians, majority of Nigerians are not seeing that. Regardless of whoever the delegate selects, they're not obligated to pick that person because if Nigeria actually works based on a party system, then it would not then voting Tinubu wouldn't be a problem because you know the party's ideology would work regardless. But now that we know that one, the person that we vote for does absolutely nothing, the party also has no ideology. So nothing works. So I'm just saying that why is it that it has taken us so long to realize that this method does not even work at all? So Bumi, so Bumi, so Bumi, what, so Bumi, I like the, where you are coming from, but what you must understand now from where we are, where I, I am coming from now in the American system of government. The American system of government will make a fantastic person. For example, now every one of us know Ali Baba as a comedian. If we like Ali Baba as a comedian, and we want him, we like him so well. Ali Baba can just stand up and say, you want to contest for, for APC. Ali Baba is free to do so. 
Do you understand my point? At the end of the day, primary simply means you can't bribe for primaries Just because me. it's the whole country that will vote for you on your primaries. But when we lost it from the place right, of primaries, right. this is now where we don't have options. This is where now politicians right. will lobby the right. people. But if Alibaba knows that winning is primaries, it is not because of the structure of APC. Remember that the old Republican don't want Trump, but it's not about them. Right. It's about the people. The people. You understand? It's right. about the people. And I will tell you, going forward in the next one to two years, watch what Palestinian will cause within the West. Watch all the countries, like say France now, if Macron choose to say he's supporting Palestinian at all costs, with the level of immigrant in that state, he's going to lose. Yeah, it's, it's, you it's understand? Different. With the level of immigrant in terms of Christian, Christians, not only Christians and everything, Biden going to lose. Which you understand? America is going to affect Biden tremendously. The, yeah, the it's way he's supporting... To you understand? It's going to affect him so much because people will feel that, okay, you take decision by yourself. You don't want to think our own yearnings and aspirations. People will decide. So it's going to affect. So this is where we the, the people have that power. Where yeah, if politicians take certain decisions, Trump take America to the best place for the past 50 years. But because of Trump did not manage ordinary COVID very well, America voted. Him. You I think, the economy was I think fantastic. What, what, what Bumi is saying is, if I understand her correctly, the weather is... He said, let, let's narrow it to American system now, is that you can have that representative as a Democrat, and then you can have Republican. But in general election, anybody can switch to vote for whatever, right. whosoever yeah. they want to yeah. vote yeah. for. Yeah. And yeah. that in that mm -hmm. case, even though you have a, 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 a certain party that bring the worst person from their party, in general election, the people vote now can count. Is that what, where you are coming from? Yeah, I think so. Yes. So it's... the point, yeah, the point is, yes, I also agree to see it from that perspective that the only problem we have in Nigeria, again, go to corruption. Now, they believe that regardless of whether Tinubu was nominated by APC, other party, whether it's a PDP or LP, might have won the election. I'm not totally sure, and I, I just want to stay there. But then there is this corruption that anyone that ha have access to whosoever can pronounce the, uh, uh, the winner is the one doesn't matter the number never can't end of the day but then i understand where you are coming from that it doesn't matter whether you the delegate that come and nominate from each party but in general election if i am a, a demo if i'm a pdp i can vote for apc because i do, i see the other person in the pdp i don't like the person i don't want the person to be my president so i can go across and vote and then that is the people's choice. And I think that's the way it should be. And that, that is the way it is in our constitution. In the general election, you can vote for anybody you want to vote for. But the question is that does your vote really count? It's another thing altogether. Yeah, but, but, but excuse me, let me, let me just interject. But before the general election, during the primaries, you have, I'll take this current, this, um, this current one, this last election that happened, you have candidates who are not really fit for office being put forward by most of these parties. I don't know about Peter Obi. I cannot say about his, uh, when it comes to him being in, in, in uh, power, federal, federal power, I don't know what he would do. But if you talk about Atiku and Tinubu, because of what Tinubu did is in Lagos State, I don't see him as somebody who's going there with a sincere heart to do something good. I feel he's just going to enrich his cronies and whatever. Atiku, I do not know whether he feels he's entitled to be the president of that country. I don't feel he, I don't feel he has the qualifications to be that be the president. He's a very corrupt human being. As far, that's my just my own judgment about him, based on what he has done. See, because the other day he said he wanted to address the nation. He came out and he was saying that oh, um, uh, uh, the court system should address the election stuff. 
before the person is sworn into power. Yes, but this is the same system you benefited from. Oh, yeah. When he, when he benefited from it, he didn't, he didn't see any complain. reason to call it out. He didn't call it out. Politicians are the same. That the <laughs> you same. see, don't go back again. That is what you're still <laughs> saying. See, when he benefits them, they don't complain. They don't want now to believe us. Calling out, oh, let us restructure it because he wants it to favor him on the other end. I mean, come on. The what? APC in government today, you know how they were crying before they came into office. Uh, exactly. Oh, restructuring this, this. Uh, exactly. Now they rule for eight years, nine years. What have they done? Nothing. Nothing. Politicians are the same. Labour Party will come in. They will do all the same thing. Go, go, going back to your point. Go, going back to your point, Benny. Where the, where the, we need to get it right in Nigeria election is from the primaries, and the power needs to be pushed back to the people. Let the people who are vying to be president of the country travel around the states and see what the problems are. You can't sit down in one city and here you are. You are going to go to one state and just go and sit down in one place. No, I, I, I don't think. I don't think that's. I don't. I, I, what you are saying is a nice idea, but practically, I don't think it's possible. We can uh, push for it. Wait, wait, so, sorry, let me land. I think to land on what Bumi is saying, if I'm right, if I'm wrong, correct me. Well, I think the summary of what Bumi is saying is about having strong institutions because what she said is it's not about the candidates. If a party has a policy, even if you choose a bad man to be the president, but because the party has a policy, the moment he gets into office, it will not be about what he personally wants to do again. It will become, let me learn, it will become about what the party's policy is. And so he will have to follow what the party is. However, we don't have that in Nigeria, which is true. And you can't have that in Nigeria if you don't have strong institutions. It's Thank not just you. about the people. That's what I was just saying. It's not just about the people. You need to have strong institutions made by the Kaluza state hijack by one man. Whereby, even if you are, and even if you are, even if you are the wrong candidate, when you come in, the institutions will align you properly. I think that's the summary of what she's yeah. right. Right. But at the same time, right, you need to have the right people in place to manage these institutions. If you don't have them, it's not going to work. Yeah. I think I, I think it's about ideology, as she said, that they don't seem to have any ideology, and they, as a matter of fact, they've gone on to strip Nigeria of almost any sense of ideology. I don't, because they, they, I, I mentioned it earlier on that in Nigeria before the 1999, the Pan-Africanist nationalist kind of uh, instinct and messages tend to show up in music. But it disappeared after that time. They stripped it out and they stripped it out of politics. The only thing that remains in politics now, the only ideology that I seem to be aware of is uh, Godfatherism. There shall be no other Godfather. There shall be no other Godfather besides me. Attitude nonsense. That, that's the only thing you see there. And you have to start building an ideology that people can sign on to. Then you, I think this is the opportunity that Labour has, but. Are they going to take it? Are they going to keep it the same? Uh, me, so that's the question. Let's, 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 let me it's tell you. not. Uh, so far, you know why they are not going to take it? So far, you know they, they have, have never. So far, they have not proved different from any other politician. Thank you. So, Thank you. Uh, so the, politicians are the same. They, they have not proved. They, they are not the same. Are you? Are you, are you are what kind of point is this? You keep betting over again. It doesn't. It never make individuals the same. You can say political parties are somewhat similar. Elected LP. To Similarity is not the same, you know. Mr. Alpha, the Mr. Alpha, this is... to the house have wait, never wait. had or come out after their meeting and swing say, "Oh, we disagree with these people. Uh, this is not the direction we want this country to go." They are taking us. Rather, they will also take the money, take yeah, whatever they are giving to that country and never do something different. They are the same. No, but is that the same in America? Is, is it the same in America? It's a switch of party. It's not a switch of ideology. So, well, but in America, where there's a switch of ideology, you are still like them. If people like AY are still like that, they are all the same. Eddie, we keep, no, keep, let's uh, uh, we remember keep, uh, that where, where Republican, where Democrat is today, Republican was used yeah, to before. be. Yeah, yeah. It's when they see that they are losing the yeah. vote of the people as a result of the immigrant they coming just, and the demography started changing. Yeah. Uh, most, uh, uh, most immigrants tend to vote towards the Democrat right. now, currently. Right. Right. But right. in those days, it was 
republic. Right. So right. Uh, you know what, uh, the, what politicians do is to size the people and to see what the people are allowed to happen at that time. There was a time uh, Barack Obama that passes this gay law, the, in the time when he think that the issue was not popular, he do not go there. He withdrew yeah. himself. When he knew that the thing was popular, then he came up with, they size the people. There are places in America today, the core places in America today, if you if you like, you call Donald Trump moron, call him a name. You don't dare to say that, because if you go back to your constituency, you are not going back to... Uh, yeah, Okay, let me ask you this then. Like when you are in America now, uh, Obama gets elected and uh, Trump gets elected. Is there anything that changes in the country within the way you interact with the state? Who? No, because they they remember that uh, 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 delegates also matter here in America, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They call it, okay. What happens in that the core belief, the core, um, uh, uh, whether you call them redneck or you call them uh, uh, whatever you want to call them, they tend to be more of a Christian kind. Uh, up to today, the Christian, the the the, the Christian, the, the Christian in America, they still can go towards Trump. Yeah, but the question I'm asking is that when Obama is elected or Trump becomes a uh, president, do you see any uh, difference in the way America is run and the way people behave in the state, the narrative in the state? Of each? Okay. Exactly. Yeah, so this yeah. is what this is why I'm saying that you, are, you can't say they are all the same uh, because no, clearly they're they, all they, all they, the no, same. You're not oh, gonna father, call, no. And I think no. we are th I think what you are, when you go there, what you are missing is that what personal I'm trying to tell you that you you are a professional. Carry your professional. You are a yes, yeah, they are professional. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, when you talk yes. about policies, so policies whatever the ideologies based on how you side with the policies. policies. Yeah, but don't yeah, you be careful when you side with AY because AY people like AY are twisting it and saying they are no. all the same. No, they are all the same. So are we not? Are we on this place now? Are we not all human beings in one way? We can say that. Yes, yes, yes we are all are human beings, but different. Can can't we all say now? We are black here without saying anything. Yes, different. yes. Okay, but when we come to individual person, we are different, right? Right. right Good. Right, right, right. That's what we're trying to make. That's the distinction we're trying to make because no, yeah. this is not the point. You have some belief. That's the decision we are that that making that. as an individual. With P2B is different, and here they keep lumping him as he's the same as every other politician. Forefather, uh, forefather is a politician. If you enter there now, he's the same. 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 <laughs> it's because, it's because it's not but it's still thing. different and a different no, individual because, so look at look at jonathan when he got in there when he got in there what we thought it was going to be different what happened he fell in line he admitted i don't know who says who, who thought jonathan was going to be different where did you get that from jonathan, <laughs> jonathan was, was the vice was, uh, was the vp have the opportunity of both houses if there's anything could have implemented it could have been easy for him yes even if even in his state he didn't do nothing for his own state he could have done it how do you know? Forefather, you, know? you don't follow politics. That's why you don't understand these people. I'm telling you. you, you, you follow politics. I'm sorry, I didn't do anything for me. All I'm saying is that similarity is not the same as the same. So we shouldn't when necessarily people, say... See, see, see. All I'm trying to tell you, politician is a politician because that is what they choose. When you are a doctor, you talk about policies, this is different. You, you can put on quote and, 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 yeah. and categorize so people the way you want. I've got a question you. Is the policies that are different? Politicians wait, 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 hey, why? wait, 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 wait. wait I, I've got a question for Eddie. Eddie, I know you support APC. I've got no problem with it. Every one of I us. I don't. I'm sorry. I, I don't. You can't, I, I don't. I'm sorry. I, I don't. You say it doesn't know, support APC. No, it doesn't. Okay, okay, okay that's fine. So, do you, do you think that this present government is doing the right thing? In what context? Honestly, hands on hearts. Let's be let's let, no, let's in be in what honest. context? In what, general, in what, general, in, general. In in moving in, in in moving because what is the purpose of our administration? I think to you are trying to say what is your assessment of this forward? Of yeah, assessment. So yeah. For me, for me, I've said it right from day one. Mm -hmm. I said it. Look, mm -hmm. Tinubu in power is not going to make any difference in the country. I don't. So I don't like Tinubu. I'm sorry to say, it's, I don't. I won't say I don't like him. I don't like his politics. politics. His politics, okay. He believes Fair in enough. he believes in you know, okay, Godfather is him. I will say to my boys, everybody do what you want, no matter what happens. I'll, I'm here, I'll cover you people. He wants to take his own part of the national cake. Like he said, Emilio Khan, how the hell does somebody come out to say 
you amongst 200 million Nigerians. You say it belongs to me. Who the hell are you? Because he knows he can do it. I don't like his politics. Uh, we gave it to him now. After he said it, then no, he said that they're going to vote for him. I'm, so, I'm sorry, we didn't give it to him. Southwestern and didn't vote for him. They, took <laughs> they voted for him, but at least he got that base. They took That's it. it. They took it. I don't, I don't, they right it. From the, again, I'm going back to the premise. Right from the premise, they took it. If okay. you go by the structure I'm, I'm saying Nigeria is following today, Tinubu would not near. After what he did in Lagos, he would See, not. We can't, we can't necessarily and, say and, that. And, though. And, and, Let me just add and, this, though. If you look at the dynamics of the election itself, it, other than the passions and everything that we are talking about, if this was in a different country, you have two major parties in the country, like uh, Republican and Democrats in America, and the, let's say the Republican Party broke into half and their votes were split. You are not going to expect any of those two that split out to win. Uh, not, that's yeah, yeah, let me give you an example of what you are talking about. You are going to expect the other one that remains the other two actually win. No, 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 far 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 let me correct you. Wait, excuse me, excuse they me, why? let me make four. my point. They divided into four, not into two. PDP divided into four. The WK group, the that, okay, you know that was even worse. Conco saw even move out. Don't forget. See, let Conco me give you an example of what you are talking about. See the Republican Party today. Trump has captured it. How did he do it? Through the people. You have the, 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 the billionaires and the donors of that party. They don't want him. He has captured that party whole state. Nobody can take it from him right now. Yeah, Trump will, will win. He will he's in a primary the with he's in a primary with I think about six or seven other people. They're having debates, he's not attending. My pace will draw. My pace will draw. It's not he has already he has, yeah. my pace has withdrawn. That's a former well, president. You, you, my pace has dropped out already. Yeah, um, you, you, well, don't be so certain that he's gonna win out. Oh, but... Trump will take the ticket for the primary. It. Okay, for yeah, Republicans. Okay, yeah, yeah not necessarily the general election. No, uh, yeah. the general election. It's gonna happen. So problem. what we are okay. saying, right? In the May okay. election, why I've, anyway, anyway, I've not finished though. In the <laughs> sorry, in the May election, you yeah. will not have Trump and Biden select between two evil. What do you want to do? You must choose somebody. That's the issue. Now, it's there you will not assess them, but they are the same. But you now say, okay, this one I see a lesser one. Let's pick this one. I think she already says it. I can go and stand. Yeah, so, Papa, I finally agree. I always have show already. What, 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 what I'm saying? Where, where did you get that? I didn't say that. Who said that? that? Sorry, sorry. Free, free Nigeria, go ahead. Free Nigeria, oh, go ahead. Free Nigeria, go ahead. That, it seems that we do not even understand the... Um, uh, the 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 um i'm just trying to find the right words the most appropriate word we don't know how deep we are in nigeria especially especially for people living in nigeria because all of us live outside nigeria we are we are uh, constantly comfortable wh wh uh, wherever we are and all that but we don't know how deep this is and we're all playing about it we're all playing politics playing uh tribal sentiments and all that sometimes we fight with ourselves, we tell each other of okay, look at look at this time of the day. I mean, it's it's um it's two uh two o'clock um um early hours of the morning in London, and I'm still sitting here talking about Nigeria. Why? Because I'm passionate about my country. The loads of people out there, I know that I know how many people in the past one month now that have called me and said their rent has expired. These oh, are not the people that I get text. I know, I, I I know my brother. Even sometimes I get I I get some I I get some phone calls and all that. My heart cuts and all that. The people <clears> are paying their school fees. They will tell me one thing that they are, and this is not. They are being honest. The school fees has been increased. And I have to do it because I've committed myself to do it. Now, mm. knowing all this, how how do we go forward? We need to stop these people. See, all of us, even here in this panel, we come every weekend, we talk and talk. I'm sure, I am very sure that if we are given the opportunity, I'm not saying we are perfect, we will do something better. These people are insensitive. They've, they've shown us now and again that they are, they are insensitive and they are liars. And it surprises me why some of us that are supposed to be intelligent are still making a case for them. I'm not Sorry, sure anybody has anybody made a case for any of these people in office today. I don't see anybody as part of the No, 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 no. I'm just saying generally. I'm just saying generally. You see, mm. let's let's the, let's, to ourselves. Think, let's 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 be honest. Yeah. Okay. We, we need, mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. brother, go on, go on. free Nigeria. I'm sorry to interject. You see, 
we can influence Nigerian election in one way or the other because we are in diaspora, right? But one thing you should know is that the choice of the people back in Nigeria, their awareness, their knowledge of the people they want to be there. For instance, uh, look at Sowore. Sowore, uh, of course, he's a politician, he choose to become one. But look at how rugged is that guy. Look at what he has gone through trying to run for office. Who, I cannot tell what it could have become of him when he become, if he get to any office. But so far, you see how rugged is this guy, that this guy is with the masses. He have never taken the state money in any way to sponsor his campaign. But look at the youth. They never even look at him much. So when you come to Nigerian issue, even those people we are sending money to, if they have opportunity to occupy any office, I'm telling you, they are they not going to be that different from yeah, these people. The that being oh, they won't. Oh, they won't be different. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, I'm convinced of this. You know, when I, I, I've been in London for quite a long time, every time I go to the Nigerian embassy, the behavior has not changed. And you ask yourself... Mindset. That's what that, that, there are people. Mindset. There are people. There are people that are um, in the, in that office that were once diasporans and they've been humiliated, uh, waiting outside that embassy. They go in there and they repeat the same thing. It's unbelievable and stuff. And 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 I, and I said that to our fellow Nigerians. I said we are the ones doing these things. And you you are blaming the leader now that he's not doing it. But the moment you get there, instead of you to prioritize fixing that problem, you prioritize fixing they, your they pockets. Join, they join. They join the system. A, that's the problem look look see see the let the me embassy, give you one example here. let me, the embassy here in Georgia. Let me give you a personal experience on this to sell you to tell you the mindset the human nature i'm privileged to maybe have been before audience or people or preside over people but i've seen in my lifetime that those honest people who want to do the right thing never have opportunity the bully will always subdue the truth and the gullible society will go with them said it. for some reasons i don't know but that is what i've experienced and i can't go into it much deeper than those people even those people that are so hungry today that say you must feed them even local government chairman let's say the, the any one of them I will tell you, they will, they will never be different than the people they are meeting. Look at from 1999 to present, every president that come, you think the other one will be, the other one is always better. Can, exactly. you imagine, can you imagine that we are already missing Buhari at this? Can you ever imagine? Can you imagine that people can say, oh, oh Buhari was better than this? I don't know in the next six months if things can turn around. And people, but foundation matters. So yeah. let us see what happens. But these people, our 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 mentality is very is something we need. We need a pure deliverance or God intervention. No, just, whatever. Just, it's, it's a, I think it's, it's it's a way of the Nigerian people. I'll give you an example of the the Nigerian embassy here in Georgia, in Atlanta, right? Mm. I've been to I've been to several embassies here, right? The one. The Nigerian embassy here in Georgia is the only place where you have a fence around it and a gate. And when you get to the gate, you have to stand at the gate and wait for them to come and answer you. When they answer you, you're not going in, you know, they will direct you across the to the next uh, building to go and go to a business center. I got I'm there. In <laughs> oh, my God. I got there. I saw business center on the door. I was like, wow. <laughs> I did not know that we had this in the, in the U.S. Now, when you enter there, they will not start telling you what to do. You have to pay some certain monies, pay for everything. Then they will not ask you, do you want it expedited? So you can actually give me this thing within a short period of time. It's for that, yeah, yeah. That one, when you bribe them, you get something you, out you of it. That you use. See, I, I, I went in there one, one time when I started to get uh, Nigerian passport mm -hmm. back then. I went in there and the guy told me, I said, okay, he, he said, do you want it expedited? I said, what, what do you mean? He said, you have to pay $160 extra to get it. Usually it takes about three mm. to six three to six months. So so he said, 
It's you horrible. Want to yeah, it takes six months. So I'm, I'm one day. of them. I've gone through it. It's all. You want to you can get it within within two weeks. Then he said, even if you want it today, 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 you pay a little extra. We will take you to the ambassador. They will stamp it right there for you. I said, I, I shook my head. I said, what? So you can actually get me this thing today, but you want money. That's how it is. That's how it is, Eddie, in London. It is unfortunate. That's how it is. It's, it's, unfortunate. it's just unfortunate. It's almost like they are punishing. They are punishing people that don't pay them, so they make them wait six months. That's bro, what they did. They, bro, they did the same thing to me. Now. I, I, I'm but not ready to start reading the Bible. Yeah, those though, idiots. Express that you pay for, but no, no doubt, no doubt. But that money no, goes to the government. The one yeah, that's what I say. The one that goes to the government. Atlanta. If you go to one in Kudra Street in Manhattan in New York. Oh that toilet doesn't even work. So, oh my and, god, yes, yes. I, I went there and oh. they asked me to go across the street to one uh, Pakistani store. To go. after I already have my own printer with my wife and my little child, then to go and print. I said, print out what again? I, this is the evidence that we have paid. And they say, oh, I, I said, I'm not going there. I have to. I'm not, I mean, I, some days I wake up bad if I don't take my medication at all. So but I told them I'm, I'm not going nowhere. I told them I'm not going to that store. I have the evidence. And this is what I print out from my own house. And I'm getting my passport the way I should get it. And I'm not going nowhere. And I say nobody will enter. They say they'll call police. I say the good thing that no police is going to answer you guys here. Because this is Nigeria here. We're gonna do it like mm. that way. Mm. So we're not gonna. I'm not gonna. So somebody came. I said, "Oh, I know you. You are. You live in Staten Island. Are you not pastor? This. Why are you doing this? I said, "Why am I doing this? Nigeria make me do this. Nobody's gonna enter here today until I get my. You are asking me to go to Pakistani store to print out what I already have in my hand. What do? What do you have with them? You don't mind. Them. Don't mind them. Yeah. So they they ask, did they, did they ask you to buy postal order? So, so I stayed there, they didn't ask I you to buy online, that. printed out, I just went there for capture, and they said, as you I said, no. And see, see, so you just tell you to go and photocopy, you're complaining. Then here in the UK, they asked us to go and buy postal order, 20 pounds. <laughs> so, so, yeah, in Georgia, they tell you to pay for that for me. Then they they after after everything, uh, and somebody, <laughs> somebody came and signed a document, and they told me, in one week, if I don't get it, I should call back. And they gave me uh, less than one week, three days. Somebody they mail it to me in Texas because then I already left New York. So this is the mentality you see. This is this is happening in abroad. These people live in the system where they see humanly possible, but that local brain is still in them. Oh. See, I, when I was there, um, a Nigerian uh, guy, when we were supposed to come to pick up, because which was shocking because they asked us to submit a self-address envelope, but uh, they, at the same time they put on the form collection date so are you posting or you are coming to collect they didn't tell us the difference yeah, so a lot of people money. showed up a lot of people showed up at the office they say oh you're not supposed to come it's just estimated delivery date you're not supposed to be that but they, why, they say, why didn't you just put estimated delivery date instead of putting a collection date then they said oh you, you can go home then i told him so then i said i was supposed to collect it today and i was supposed to edit the get it delivered today so when am i expecting it say three months uh, three weeks now i said but that is going to make it about six months. He said, no, it's not six months. I said, because I waited three months to even come in in the first place. Then after that, you ask me to wait long again. Then, as I said, we have been doing this for many years. Are we not going to change this? He said, you go and tell the uh, this thing, the big people at the top. I said, but you are a staff. You should report what people are telling you to them. He said, you two are the government. Go and Nobody wants to take responsibility at all for anything. Bro, at bro, all. bro, come on and I end, right? They asked me, oh, I, I apply online, I pay the money, I think it's like $50 or $55 or something like that. I, I went to the office to get my um, uh, biometric and all that. The lady said to me, look up. There is something there. Oh, you got to pay extra $25, blah, blah. I'm like, for what? I'm like, pay this money. What if it's legal? Why did you not put it on the website? Let me... Bro, you know that's how it's, uh, if you don't want to pay, you can go. Uh, it's okay, take your stuff. NIN like, has been contracted out here in London. Come at, on, at NIN. Pounds. These that's people are insane. That is why when they don't want to do the right thing, just imagine these kind of people are in government. You think they're going to do anything different? No, they will nine, not. Nine. 
Uh, so the problem is, this is why we keep saying, let the right team, let's have an institution, um, 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 have a system that, that will checkmate everybody. We should stop calling people they are mini god or something. I don't not like at all. They are not. They are not. We, and we should never do that. We need to have a system that will work for everyone, no matter who is there. This system is checkmating you. Until we have that. And and Ewa, you know what? Almost all systems that I know in the last 30, 40 years, 50 years that has come and built nations from China, Singapore, all of them, they have a system like that where everybody's checked. And even when the dictators are there, the dictators don't become exorbitantly rich. They don't make themselves rich and, 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 and leave the people poor. They tend to live the same level. The Chinese, they are communists, so basically they can't even have money. The, the Singapore, the, today, the guy retired like a normal person. Um, uh, just name them. They are all ordinary leaders that the people... Because when people... Are, you see, I think there was something Ngozi has said that I said, I think I wanted to correct that. It's inaccurate to say that when people are hungry, they cannot be reasonable and they will just be angry. It's not true. People can be hungry as long as their leaders are hungry with them. They will be willing to suffer with the leaders because I've seen it happen with the Chinese. They were living on rations in that country. They didn't revolt against the government because the government was in it with them. But when you are living large and asking for your yacht or yacht and you are telling people and to go and suffer, that is the one that drives people crazy. That, that's why poverty is not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily make people not at reasonable. People are willing to suffer, but they want to feel like you that is asking them to suffer is in need with them. Was, so uh, I think that was the point I wanted to make to uh, Ngozi. Well, Please well, go well, ahead, well, Eddie. I will suggest, uh, uh, MBC has been here for a while. I think he should be allowed to contribute if he has anything to say. He has been sitting back for almost two hours now. Oh, on the BC, I, I don't know. He's been a gentleman today. Yeah, on the BC. You go ahead. I'm listening. No, uh, then uh, Bumi <laughs> want to say something, right? Bumi want to say something. No, go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to say, but I'm slowly forgetting what I wanted to say. Um, I would, yeah, I wanted to say about like, I feel like one of the problem is that as a people, I don't think we have respect for ourselves. Because I've always wondered why growing up, I'm just like, I can understand you stealing. I can understand you being tempted to steal. Fine, okay. But what I don't understand about our politicians or about, or about us as a group of people is that they will, for example, I'll give, I'll give Bari as a good example. Bari came into power. Let's say he did absolutely nothing, but one thing every single person can agree on, APC, PVP, Labour Party, B, that you're living under a rock is that this man was sick for a certain period of time, whereby no one knew where he was. Everyone thought, he, everyone was going with their conspiracy. He went to the UK, whatever, for treatment. He spent eight years in, in power, but did absolutely nothing when it comes to the healthcare in Nigeria. Let's say every other thing is on fire, but let's say we have just what health care that we can see this guy could relate to. Absolutely nothing. Now we have another person with similar behavior whereby he has gone to France, maybe the UK. We know he has, he has health problems. And I'm like, fine, let's say you want to steal as much money. But if you can focus on one thing for the country, but they don't do it, but then they take themselves to the west and go treat themselves and i don't even understand that as a it's like even if you want to oppress people create some certain things as fundamental for your people they don't it's like they they don't even think it's like it doesn't it, it baffles me sometimes i i find it so hard to comprehend the way their brain works it's like well, let, me, let, let me let me uh, let, let me say let me touch for 30 seconds but me see, when President Umar Musa Yaradua was sick, was, was was outside the country, it was the same Buhari, President Buhari criticizing him. Look for the videos. Oh, why would they take the president? You can't treat yourself here. Yeah? You can't do this. Politicians, 
are the same. You don't want to believe us. Okay, go ahead. One thing that even baffles me the most is that they are not the same. You can say that your face goes blue. They are not the same. One thing that drives me crazy and why I think that not just us as not our problem is not just politician i feel like it's us as a people because understand that you know this guy did absolutely nothing before he left they said they renovated the aso hosp uh, hospital whatever how many billions is spent into it we still have this same present president still going outside for treatment and then you have someone that will look me dead in the eyes and say with this administration actually wants to function how does that make any sense i don't understand any argument you can ever sit down and look at me and tell me that this administration is working to save nigeria if okay. it's just one thing when yeah, it comes let me, to healthcare, let me interject for a moment uh just mm -hmm. as a young lady uh woman for president and i hope you become the I, first I appreciate one. too i appreciate uh, too. Let, uh how are you sure she's not gonna like do the same thing? I thought the Eddie hey. said everybody no, was the same. Now so she's different now. Like the kind of people yeah. want the power. Uh, yeah. he, he, he let me the uh, uh, moment ago he was saying all positions are the same. Now he was high to be of it. She's gonna wear the uniform too. Where especially in the head uh care um uh services. If, when you say that what's wrong with us is what really that is the question during Bo, uh, this buhari and idea gone maybe if you were born you may be late if you were born i doubt they were war against indiscipline mm -hmm. because the citizens were so corrupt that the general hospital in nigeria the workers will go there and steal uh, the equipment. They will go to the hospital and steal the equipment. Mm -hmm. This, uh, during Buhari and Idiago, what they did now was no staff come with any bag. The hospitals, the doctors, in their own private clinic, they will tell you that we don't have this thing, which it was there, but they took it and have it in their own personal clinic. That is what's wrong with us. That even when there is a meaningful leadership, you can still be frustrated by the citizens. So that is why I'm always the campaign of the grassroots to turn on the mirror on ourselves. Because it's easy to say, than to get there. I've, I have seen in Lagos that somebody tells somebody, say, why are you arguing with this police officer? Why can't you just bribe the person and go? The person was sitting in the front of his house and the other guy was telling the police, say, exactly. this is my right, you can't do this. It becomes part of the society that somehow is difficult to, to, even when you mean well, how to carry it out through the citizen is very difficult. I, I think the reason why people say that uh, that you should let people that you should bribe on, um, you know, just get on with it and you know get it over with. I think it's one is because they are impatient; they want to get you know they don't want trouble. And secondly, because they in in the bigger scheme of things, they've observed that even when you fight these things, you is still going to lead to the same outcome. The outcome is still going to be the same, and it, it's a shame because those things are not the things that change nations you can't moralize for nations and you expect them to turn the wound the reason why the when nations turn is when the people themselves feel it deep inside them that they need to turn and it's because of one big event or one big act or that brings them together like that unites them that's when they do that and it has to reverberate throughout the population they are their consciousness has to change and if that consciousness has to doesn't change, you no matter what you say, I've because I've had us say this thing over and over and over again, and I've watched many nations. So I, I think that's why I think people should be studying other nations just to see uh, how people behave because this is a psychological thing. If you, I think they have carried out experiments where individuals will know something, but as a group they will act totally differently 
But if as, as an individual, they will act totally differently too. So it tells you that there's something else going on that we are not taking into account as a group of people that is responsible for our behavior. And every time we keep thinking like just praying, or moralizing is going to solve it. It's not going to solve it. The things that are going to solve it are things that affect us on a macro level, on a bigger level that would reverberate through the population. And everybody's eyes will be like, you know what? Um, enough is enough. We have to do this. And everybody will be on the same page. Because I, I ask all, all the time, when I watching, when I was younger, I was watching some of all the documentaries of our other countries, and you see some crazy things leaders have done, terrible things they've done. I was like, who is obeying these orders? Are these leaders gods? Why are they obeying the order for them to be doing all these things to people? Now I'm beginning to understand why. Because even the people around the leaders have changed. They've realized that some things need to be done and they don't care what, what the cost is. And to do that's what is happening to us. We have never gotten there. This is why even under Idi Agbo, I can't believe it, the fact that you said that. Even under Idi Agbo, they were, still, they were still taking hospital equipment away. It they, tells were take, they were we are, taking things to the point. We are behaving like spoiled brats. They stopped them that nobody, that will tell you the mindset of the, 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 the way the corruption have eaten our society become a way of life right now in Nigeria. Yeah, it's it's mean, not even calling. If we don't have strong institutions, I, have I don't know what I would see it as corruption. I don't. I don't. I, it's not fair to call it corruption because there's corruption everywhere. I don't see it as corruption. I mean, there's, I mean, there's corruption, corruption everywhere, but the level of corruption of it in Nigeria exactly. is different. It's the, it's, of the manifestation is just a symptom. Yeah, but the way of it, at least when you at least you still you can be shamed of it when they say this person do this in Nigeria. If they say it is ah, forget it's about it, it's like a normal way. Why? Like, why is, why is it acceptable? It because from other, because we, we, other, we have imbibed it over a long period of time. Become that's a way what, of life. What, it's exactly we don't know better. In, we don't know better. I think sometimes I feel like as a nation uh, and as a people. We have been in a way spoiled to an extent. It's weird to say that because we are suffering and it doesn't seem like we are spoiled. But from a strategic point of view or from a macro point of view, we have been spoiled. We don't seem to understand what nationhood means to the point whereby a doctor would take equipment from a hospital to... You, you, there are certain things you see here in the UK, but you will not see that kind of stupid behavior. The corruption starts from the head. Once the head is bad, the whole body starts to rot. That is the problem. If we can get it right at the top, maybe. So I think it's, it's when you down. talk about that, it has to take a vision. You see, when when Idiagbo and Buhari came before uh, Babangida go around them uh, and take and uh, snatch uh, the presidency from them, is that they really try to get Nigerian on track. Yeah, if, if they are continuing, I'm sure Nigeria would have been on its So, uh, the issue we are having is that, remember that is when they call war against indiscipline. That right. even at every bus stop in Lagos, Lagos was one of the things you can talk about where there's a lot of population. It, you cannot jump a queue. You can't. Right. Right, so right. that discipline that man tried, he did yeah, try with a vision. Yeah, they tried then. That discipline with a vision. Could have restored our institution, but when Buhari uh, Babangida came and took over from from him, is when Babangida introduced four uh, uh, four, uh, four four one, four one nine. nine. Yeah. So to him, uh, he, he, he was like Nigeria have so much because then uh, the crude oil was a big thing and everything was going well. So money was everywhere. And they misuse it. Remember that time, Captain was giving Peugeot 504. And then, if you are major, you'll be getting from 505 in those days. So, it, it, they, and those things that could have not built any infrastructure, and everybody, everybody just just lose up. But if we still get a visionary who can come and say, you know what, this is where we are going in the next maybe four years, start something. And the problem again is that we don't have a continued government in our place. If this person come, he started his own, how he can buy a build a first lady office or build something in Abuja or uh, baby mother's uh, kitchen 
and then all of those things. So we, we don't have any and no consequences. And in that kind of uh, environment, it's a long walk to freedom. Mm. V visionaries, um, they are certain visionaries. I'm beginning to be, see visionaries how only can operate in a situation where they can they can flourish like you know when the bible says something about a seed falling on rock you, you okay. cannot expect it to germinate no matter how uh, nice or fertile that seed is so visionaries can only occur uh, can only manifest in a given specific environment and this is the area the aspect i keep trying to say that nigeria something there's something more fundamental that is wrong in the con not i wouldn't call it wrong per se but that is um the, that is going on that that is the reason why we cannot break out of it it's not that simple it, it, the only thing that will change nigeria right now is going to need a some big event some some big event or it could happen slowly it's possible because the real ingredient is for us to set our differences aside unite to want to actually build something that is the true ingredient that needs to be there but for that to happen right now in this context is very very tricky maybe it's something that can be done but i've never seen it done before the only the closest example is ethiopia that i've seen where the citizens came together they said okay we are going to build this massive dam that egypt doesn't like but if they don't like it they can go hug a transformer but we are going to build it and if anybody threatens it, we are going to fight back that is the way it united our nation that's one the only example i've seen of anything uniting black countries on one agenda for their nation and in the context of nigeria we don't have one thing that unites the whole country not one i've never seen one thing i don't know if anybody knows you, you, can, tell you, me. you can you cannot say that now hunger is not everybody i was gonna say poverty uh, <laughs> po poverty is bringing the people together no it is it is, I, I, I it is. That. The way, I see poverty you will say poverty unites all but the way people manifest that one it's not like they are signing on to something the way people <laughs> manifest that one is to go and steal or to go and cheat to go on to get one it, over the other I, I believe it is look at the arab spring what happened it was just a small incident it was well i would say a small incident mm. you know somebody lit himself on fire and next thing the whole arab world was was uh cutting cutting there uh, uh, people trying to take down. Oh, the you see, this guy says football. You see, I, it's, it's even the even the Ethiopia one is on a small scale. It's not on a high high level. The type we are talking about, like the type that Link and you a lot of went through, where when they came out of it, and these leaders, and weirdly enough, I'm I'm sorry to say, all these great leaders that transformed their nation, almost every single one of them were military background. Almost Link and you, Mao Zedong, Stalin. Churchill, what George Washington named it. Yeah, so it's only um, um uh, what's his name, um Abraham Lincoln that wasn't uh, from a military background. They almost have all these major leaders have military background. I don't know, maybe because it's in the past, but in this current era, maybe there's a different way of doing it. I just haven't seen a good example of it. If you have them, research and we can share discuss it here. Well, at least some of us can now me, say all military, all, all military men, uh, all military men are not the same, Avi. So we agree on that because we have, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have <laughs> but we have the fighters and we are not the same. I mean, we've had our fair share of military, and they are the worst. They we are, are like brats. Our own military. militaries are just like we, bro, we behave bro, like brats. They are, they are still, they are still returning uh, a bachelor loop. Don't forget that 150 oh, million. Yeah. Of, um, see, I, 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 I read it to I service read our president. Thing, Do they I mean, give I, us interest on all this no, money? Even no, that is it. foolishness. That I think they should keep it for Tinubu's medicals. But at least we don't have to look for money to pay for Tinubu's medical when it goes to money. 150 million. When they return that money, the monies will find their way back. To mm. the same country. They shouldn't return it. Let them keep it for Tinubu's medicals. To me, I just feel just keep the money there. Till we if we have a reasonable person in power, then they can return it. Because if mm. those money come back, it's going to end up, you know, going back out. Loot, loot. <laughs> they will reloot the loot. S seriously, I I think I want I would like people to look into how nations are transformed and um and group or national psychology because this type of stuff is at the level that is affecting Nigeria. It's not on a micro level where you moralize if it was the case with all the choices we have all the religiousness that we we practice we shouldn't be where we are right now there's something else that we are not addressing so to me i believe 
you know, our the, the democracy we are practicing is not working for a country like Nigeria. We're too corrupt to have that kind of democracy. <laughs> we are not I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, we are too corrupt. As, I'm, 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 I'm being serious. Take, mm. take. We just give an example of uh, Buhari and uh, what's his name? Uh, Idiago. It was a military rule. Look at what they look at what they could achieve by instilling discipline. It came from the head. What now, democracy, you have a president. Yeah, but they didn't last one year. Oh, no, maybe a year and a half or so. You know why they last one year? Maradona kicked them. You know why they last one year? Because the man was breaking the, the backs of it. He was breaking the, the way people were making money. But it shows you that the people are not ready. The people are not ready. If, if the environment was right, what he was doing, everybody would be on the same page. Our woman president has raised her hand. I, I wanted to ask a question. I know Forefather is going to disagree because I also, at the start, mm. I also disagreed. But now I'm slowly trying to put that into perspective. Do you think that the reason why Nigeria is so corrupt, I just think is wickedness, is because we are so diverse and it's like we, we have this opportunity to just put the blame on the next person. For example, someone comes in here and say the reason why Nigeria is bad is the way it is because of the Northerners, the Fulanese, or then someone from the Southeast can put the blame on the... I feel like it's so easy to put blame to each person and we can actually work together. So in my, in my screen, do you also think it's, it might be better if Nigeria should actually divide? Because guess what? You cannot say... See, I know it's controversial. No, it's not. It's not. A lot of but, people say. But as you cannot put a blame and say it's that person that caused it, you have to take accountability and responsibility for your okay. actions. I, I hear you, but were you here when they were discussing the river state politics? The exactly. That's what I was saying too. So, so look at it from that perspective. That's one state. If you break Nigeria into smaller units, you what will happen is you will now localize. You're muted. The demons is will be localized. Forever. And the Ikuris will blame the Ijoz. Have you seen the Jebus and the Egbas argue before? I'm from Ogo State. That's what I'm, if that's you, what I'm If you break saying. it now, if you say Ogo State should be a country, the Jebus and the Egbas will fight till forever for capital. People don't know. So you will localize the different. problem. It might mm. reduce it slightly, but you just localize it. There's mm. something unique about Nigerians. I've never met anybody like us anywhere my mom was admitted at hospital um a few years ago and she about four years ago and she said you know she had to bring her own medications when you bring your own um home medications with the hospital ones and she had them by her bedside and she woke up in the middle of the night and she saw the nurse took taking her med medications some of them are quite expensive that she lives on and the nurse was stealing medication so my mom woke up and saw the nurse and the nurse knelt down and said her I still, you know, started begging her in Europe. And my mom said, no, that's fine. That's fine. That, you know, everything belongs to God. She said, because I don't want to go and raise alarm or say something. And they <laughs> go and inject me and I'll just be <laughs> so, Exactly. I'm even surprised that she had the, you know, quickness of mind. She said, mm. I didn't create an issue. That's I just told her, it's my daughter, take it. She said, yes, because, so. that, she said, because <laughs> that lady might inject me with something. And that's the end of it. That, 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 you see, the, the, the that nurse. part of it, I really lament for Nigeria. There's a little bit of, there's a further decay that I've noticed when I go to Nigeria. Really? The young generation, they've gotten even worse. But I still think what is affecting Nigeria is on a, a, on a higher level. Because those leaders that removed uh, um, uh, Idiagbo, in another in another context, you will see people that will be lining up around them to want to do his bidding, because everybody is now aware of what the problem is. I think that is where our problem is. You can Nigerians are nice people. They are, I think, given how much we are suffering, and how different we are, and we are still getting on. Jesus Christ! If you try that in the UK, and I think show sure you know subject uk nationals to the condition nigerians are facing they will rip sunak to pieces look at france they just want to increase their retirement age by two years i mean yeah increase it by yeah. two years the country was set mm. was almost being burned down just by two years in nigeria you don't even have retirement <laughs> <You know? laughs> this, is what, this is what i keep telling people indefinite for peter oh, no. to come and lead one revolution or come and lead the riot i said no see even if i was peter Obi, I will have looked at the people I'm about to lead 
if you're leading the people that are ready for a change, it makes sense. If you're leading the people that are not ready, it's suicide. They would say if they, if they, exactly. if they pick you up, they would take you out. Would just go back with their business and I start praying for mm. you. Hashtag what's worse, they will create hashtag free Peter Obina. That's mm. the end of it. See, but this is what I this is what I believe. So sorry, was, you... someone thinks that I this supplementary budget, they're more than enough to burn down a government, not nation, to topple a government. You know Dodan Barracks in Lagos that used to be our mm. You know, Asso Rock in Lagos. It's been abandoned for a long time since the military didn't, you know, remove mm. Abuja. In this, their supplementary budget, they've budgeted four billion naira to renovate it so that when Tinubu goes to Lagos, he has somewhere to stay. Tinubu has a palatial home in Lagos. He can stay with uh Songulu. He lived in that uh, government quarters for eight years, but they put four billion to mm. renovate this place. Buari had 13 billion for his presidential fleet this year the actual budget no just just to be clear most of the state there is presidential quarter in in the state uh, government so this Dodan barracks well, what is it about so that's purely federal what i'm saying is he just what you said if he can come to Lagos and so go to the government be, house why why is Dodan? so my question is we're borrowing money to fix Dodan barracks what, what why yeah we so, shouldn't be borrowing so, money so, for that kind so, of so, stuff yeah. So yes, for it. They, budgeted, wait, they budgeted money for Buari's presidential fleet. Show, show. Here they is not the adding another money in supplementary. Show, show. Here is the simple question you will ask yourself: One month, one month, just a month before year end. Why do you need supplementary money? Did you hear what Indume said when they asked him why did you rush this? He said we have only seven weeks before the end of the year. The president needs to start spending. That's why we rushed it. You see, no, they've they they given them their cards. These are the things that are enough to cost. A, I mean, look at what you said, France. They increased something by two years and they burnt the country, almost burnt it down. In Nigeria, like this guy said, you can take the message and ignore the messenger. Uh, I mean, this one, I'll slap this one, and I just will move on. We've learned to adapt. Too I, much. I, sure, there's, I, sure. there's, something, there's, there's something you said about you know leaders coming up and. If, if you if they are not if people are not ready to line up with you then you are on a suicide mission I, I, would, I would agree with that but at the same time if you come in as a leader and you are truthful to the people you take the situation of the country and tell them this is what's happening in this country and they see the genuineness in you they will line up behind you I don't care I'm the amount of politicians that you have against you I'm not saying they, they won't but if the people be today the people will go back to their businesses. Because, have, you, well, have you met Nigerians? Hashtag <laughs> go, hashtag go finish. Hashtag <laughs> free Peter will be. Well, for Misha, for Misha, I believe if and you go in there... People are fine. You are not enter many people. I have so, go. Some, <laughs> someone like Buari, <laughs> someone, someone like Buari, when he got into mm. power, people were expecting him to at least cross corruption with the, with the way he ran the government the first time he mm. was in there. Unfortunately, he, he missed the step and started going sideways. If he had with the with the mindset, okay, people wanted you to change the situation of this country. Come in there, be truthful to the people, tell them this was going on. They would have lined, lined up behind him. But like I said, for some reason, being a politician or maybe democracy didn't make him do the things he wanted to do the way he would want to do it. Then he missed his way. But you see, Nigeria as a people, I believe if we have a genuine leader, a sincere leader who goes in there, this was happening, this was going on. I mean, just the way Buhari started. He used to call in the press, have uh, 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 their uh, so-called um, um, this thing monthly whatever mm -hmm. press 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 conference. He told people what was going on. But like I said, once you enter the air, even if you are not a politician, even if you were not a politician before, once you start thinking like them, you become like them. Which is which brings us which brings me back to my my other argument, saying politicians are all the same. Buhari, no, no, I, no, I, I have to, no, I have to come back to that. See, Buhari, you, you. when he was in power the first time, he came in as a military ruler. When he came in as a politician, he became like them. He said, their ideologies are the same. Nigerians, we need a responsible person in power, not the likes of Tinubu. We go nowhere with him. I'm sorry to say, even Atiku. I don't again. I don't know about Peter Obi because if I talk Peter Obi matter now, some people will start to attack me. That's why I try to avoid. So you cannot just take attack, and you want to. No, no, no I've been it's actually a problem. <laughs> people <laughs> see <laughs> that thing is, is, is a, it's a disease. 
No, they don't doesn't. want you to say anything at all about Peter Obi. No, 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 you no. are against him. Against then that is not. Then there is that no is guarantee. To democracy. I, I promise you, there is no guarantee that yeah. Peter Obi will enter power, and the things he said he will do. There is no guarantee he will do it. It is no guarantee. He might get in there and change to a different person. And let me tell you, and the Eddie, reason why there is no guarantee is not that somebody meant uh, evil. It's simply because there is no structure to run on with. Exactly. And the people will be overwhelmed. I believe it today, Buhari meant well, but it's here to tell his story. Eddie. Uh, uh, the reason is that if you, I don't know if any one of you have met him in person, uh, the other side of him, I believe, is a religious fanatics. That is aside. Mm -hmm. When he come to a man of a leader, he has a lot of charisma. If you <laughs> if you ever come and encounter him, his charisma is too much. And I think he uses people that are close to him, just like his military time with Idi Agbon. He was yeah, able to do what, what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I think if he have, if it is not this handpicked by the same guy today that people don't want him again. Or Subanjo that you guys say could have been this. Subanjo was a handpick of Tunubu to him to yeah. become the vice yeah. president. Yeah. Yeah. So if I if he have any other person more than uh, uh, not uh, Pusibanjo, that is a, a rugged human being. That is how I believe that is the style of leadership. There are leaders that doesn't come out and swim, and those are the leaders that walk behind the scene, you discuss with them on the table, and you carry out whatever they want. And John, think, uh, let me say this, right? In 2015, you see how people are supporting Peter B like he's, 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 he's God is going <laughs> to... That is the way I was, I was supporting 2020. Buari. Uh, 2023, sorry. I actually thought Buari was going to make be the change we want, right? Right, right. After like six months, I'm like, That's never. Right. I'm no, never going to invest my anything in anybody. Buari don't carry you go where you don't know. <laughs> Well, see, carry us go where we don't know. See, again. Peter B is a good man. I believe Peter B will cut costs, which would be a good thing. Like, is Peter B will not be involved in this wastage they are doing. Definitely, he will not. If, but like a if you are man, thinking Peter B will him. come but and change the system overnight, Baba, you gotta no, no, no. see a big see, shock. I, I have another thing. See, but, but if you understand you know, economic run in every nation, though, the economic run in a nation by the rich people. Holding back money, it is what is called recession. So if you go and the, the elite are not with you and they want to frustrate you, except only in Nigeria where everybody say create job, create job like federal government has to be creating federal thing. I don't know. I think it's to create a enablement environment where everybody can strive, but and regulate well make sure the every uh, there's a check and balance in the system but when i hear people say great job great job i don't know what they mean no, what, what let, other team, yeah. that, i'm sorry sorry let, let me let me let me come in here please um sometimes leaders need to take aggressive actions to change the course of a nation ghana for instance jerry rollins took that, that that move he tried if they did in nigeria that, the, the country will burn i'm sorry now, Buhari tried that the, the institution. He tried to to go after a certain part of our government, the the judicial arm of it, which is where our problem, one of our problems lie. The judges there, most of them are corrupt. He tried to go after them when he was trying to arrest them. They were putting out mm -hmm. this, this, what they stolen this. If they had let him, maybe maybe it's against the constitution. Well, it's against the constitution. You cannot go after people that way. But like I said, sometimes you need to take some drastic measures to correct course. Now, yeah. when he was going after the judges, they said, "Oh, Buhari is attacking judges. He's uh, not practicing democracy." Blah 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 blah. At the end of the day, look at where we are today. You catch you 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 in the, you you get someone who's who's uh, who has stolen money. Governors who have stolen monies and have left power, they will tell you to take me to court. You know why? Because they believe they can buy justice. They believe they can bog you down for however how long and nothing will happen. 
how do we get it right? When well, uh, Eddie, I'm not cutting you short. When they come, when they say take me to court, it's not because the judge is going to uh, favor them. The consequence is minimal. If you stole a uh, uh, hundred billion, they're going to ask you to pay a fine of ten thousand. <laughs> that, 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 that has nothing to do like the judge is say somebody like they, they are trying to reward them. Is the, uh -huh. another thing is to strengthen the institution where there is a consequence Mr. that there won't be that cheap loophole. Mr. Uba, I no. personally, Eddie, you know, you you mentioned something that that move that um, Rawlings uh, pulled in Ghana that you may right. not uh, work in Nigeria. Right. I was slightly, I respectfully disagree, and I'll tell you why I disagree. Look at what just APC did to the whole Nigeria. They can't even come out. Even now, they are even calling for people in diaspora to come and do and and, and lead the fight for them. Listen, if any person in the military you stand up today, arrest all the big wigs and line them up in Babbage and shoot them, nothing will happen. I'm telling you, the only people that will talk, the only people that will talk is you uh, uh uh united kingdom and and um and and america they will, they will start preaching they'll start preaching uh human rights to us and nothing yeah. we need a strong person we need a strong person and listen i'm not saying this is my this is my this is my um my view is not the view of um this is a disclaimer it's not the view of uh dr damages and all that the only thing that these people will fear is a very is a punitive action I know, I know shedding blood is not is, is not a nice thing, but what these people have done to us is more than um, um, a mother. We we see, listen, because we, we are talking, we are here talking, talking, talking. They are already they are already grooming their children, and somebody will come on the comment section and be abusing me instead of you go to go back to Nigeria and, and enjoy the loot with them. You are in the comment person. section from for the past. Yeah. What happens? You are busy today. You are busy today that you yeah. enjoy his life. That but, but probably all your family in your life all combined. You never see the kind of money I've seen in my life. Don't mind mm. them, they don't know you now. Self -life. Did you do that? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> see, but, uh, the thing is, I mean, it's a punitive. These people don't care. You see, they, 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 they just, they just think that they are just God, that they can just do anything. You know, it's. it's, it's I'm it's, telling you, of Senate own president, own. Senate president has, it's Senate president of Nigeria has, a slot for six hundred staff. The deputy I mean, Senate president has a slot for four hundred staff. There That's was a time thousand. to create the office of the wife of the Senate president. I think it was kicked. You can imagine. Office. He was trying to create that. an office for his wife. You can imagine that nonsense. And see, no. I, I'll tell you this much. This within that 600 yeah. staff, these are jobs that are given to people that don't even show up. I'm not just saying this. This is what I know. They don't show up. Oh, this person will come home. My person says, I should come and meet you for so appointment. Okay, find where to put this person. The person takes the job. It's gone. Gone home. Oh, this, just start receiving the salaries. amount of psycho fans that hang around them that are officials that you wouldn't even know that they're employed by Nigeria. So, some things I pick up on, I'm sure you saw the two videos of Wiki that um, surfaced when it was cooking the first one for whoever and the second one for Saraki. I can't remember the first person that visited him that was cooking in his kitchen. Can did you see the amount of grown men? That were in the same kitchen where Wiki was just cooking for it was like 15 wow. men. Bro, I'm talking men in their exactly. fifties. Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> Don't be surprised they are special assistant on this, special advisor. Mm. Oh, you meet yourself. Yeah, Wiki is cooking for his guests. No big deal. He's a minister in Abuja, he's hosting Saraki. That was the first one he was hosting. Oh, I can't remember whoever, another big poly. Oh, Gajabi Amila. And you had like mm. grown men, 15, 20 of them, just laughing. Ah, we go tension the uh, internet today. We go shut down internet. I can bet my life those people are officials. They are employees, special advisor, special assistant on God knows how much. And they're looking for how to tension internet. We are broke. How can we be broke? It's when it comes to the people that you, it's like the church. When you're poor, 
the pastor will say, pray to God. When the pastor is poor, he will say, donate money. Donate money. <laughs> Jonathan, don't do that tomorrow. Don't, don't ask me before. <laughs> yeah. We are, we are going to be running up around the 12 hour mark or so. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't so want to go early. too long. Yeah, yeah, because I'm a bit uh, busy at this. Is, I'm yeah, quite no, engaged. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday now. Nah. Kilo share. Yeah, you, we, you know, we had uh, you know, the, the, the church. You'll be, I'll be, you deserve I'm having a se- I'm, I'm getting busy. Let's be this. I'm getting busy. Ah, you, hey, hope that they, you, you have guests tomorrow. No, not necessarily. <laughs> Somebody is looking for you. <laughs> are you talking about tomorrow? You are talking about this morning, your time there. I guess it's this morning. Yeah, I guess it's this morning. And, um, yeah, around the 12, 12 hours is relatively long. And, you know, after 12 hours, they don't even record anything on YouTube. They just about cut it off and bye-bye. Do you Nobody, think these people are talking to you so that they can post it so that people in the village can see it? People are it's, it's, it's also, like, yeah, yeah, that, that's fair. That, that's so, true. So, I mean, what you can do, you can end the um, stream. At yeah, they carry on backstage. Yeah. backstage mm. and talk. Well, Nigeria, I, mean, I, I think we all have to actually start coming up after all this, uh, uh, the initial hype of uh, whether court case, no court case, all that is over by now. Let us start it a constructive criticism of how to want to direct them and i mean forming a talking point of bro what i said expected. this last week they all have so uh, we cannot uh, we, <laughs> that's what is called constructive criticism and it can be fair in it that okay this is not going well this is not and you can suggest all these people you see come and like the one that attended the one interview he was just diffusing the answer he just want to just he just come there to cause he was not ready for anything so but such people have a thin skin because in the means of all of that if you are in the public domain is there is a way you carry yourself that people you know you are serious about your job need this not this agboro style of hey can i all those divide and control it's it's, it's a shameful thing that in 21st century i don't know is it because they are not exposed i don't because they don't have agenda and they just all they want to focus is distraction distraction for the little money they want to make i don't it it, it, it baffles me when i see uh, uh whether they belong to a party or they have a um, they are for the lawyer uh, they are loyalist to a point or they are a minister whatever their position is in the government there are way there are times you put your own integrity but i don't i know all politicians look at you and lie but then we are looking for a serious in 2023 let us be a serious person that they we can all stand by not this one that's oh if i come out uh you know i'm i'm so 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 tribe i don't want to go there before some people wake up from sleep now so they'll say oh if, uh, oh i'm if, if it's because of me if i do that they will lock me up if you are not ready to be locked up you want to be a president of and bring a change in this uh, environment where you're supposed to stand on your toe and say enough is enough so I think we need a more rugged person that will run for president. I bet you on this show, if you see Dr. Aruna, he says that if it was Dan Ladi, say Nigeria will not be where it is. I don't know if you guys had him when he came to Rudolph show. That if he was the one that is a principal person of the, any, the vice president, the yes, VP. yeah, he said Nigeria will be on fire, that they will not get away with it. But so we need somebody that who is just shake them and say no business as usual if not all those talk and they after four years somebody has come then it's a long walk to freedom of bro if 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 you give so a racist million vote it go put nigeria on fire man <laughs> so we would lock everybody up so are you ready to go this, to jail, those of not this scared case, of anybody you will look for all of us and <laughs> play our videos and lock everybody up i wanted to say <laughs> that if I could vote for one person, and even though I don't agree with this person's decision, 
I'll probably vote if forefather was, was running for office. Which one? Uh, this one that likes a bunch of Why are you even trying to ruin it now? Let us speak now. Why are you not voting for me, right? I know your friend is gay. Why are you trying to ruin it for me? 